That's it. That's it. Yeah. Go, okay. Sounds good. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to grab that tomorrow. I got you. Yeah. Let, no, I don't think I'm getting a Porsche yet. Right. I gotta leave the door open for that in case you know. Porsche is like, hey, we want a sponsor. Uh, Zenbata, thanks for the eight months of the features Prime. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna set the streams up. I don't know. I, I don't. I've never driven one before. Do I drive an EV? Well, yes, because I told the story to chat. For anybody who missed this story, I, I need a second opinion on this one, chat. If you... Are you, are you ready? Let me ask you a question here. If you have an electric car, and you want to charge your car, and you pull up to a charging station, and all of the charging stations are full, do you go, oh, I'll have to find a different spot, or I'll wait, or do you go up to somebody's car, unplug their charger, and then plug in your own charger? Because guess what? That happened to me. My car was at like 15%. Someone showed up, said, wow, there's no spots here. Unplugged my charger and plugged in their charger and just left it there. Keep in mind, we were, we were going somewhere after that. Like we, we were going like... I think we were going like an hour and a half to uh, like Lonnie's like uh, friend for like a little a little shindig, um, gather around and talk about our days, and we were like, okay, we got we got to charge it up. It's gonna be you know a drive, and we get there and we're like, why is the car only at nineteen percent now? It's because they got there, unplugged the unplugged the charger and plugged their car in, and I'm just like, I'm sitting there going, who does that? It's not even like my car said it was at 85%, they're at 1%, and they, like, had to do it. Right? It was at, you can see the percentage, you can see it. And they're like, I'm unplugging this and plugging it into my car. And I'm just like, who does that? And then, we find out that person just works there, and just always takes the spot, and is there for 10 hours. So they work there, and then they unplug people's charges and plug their car. I'm just like, who does that? Who does that? There's just no way. That's like a... Sorry. Hi, YouTube chat. How you doing? Sounds like I should go there and unplug their car every day. No, I wouldn't do that. It's usually not an issue for my car. Because, like, some of, like, the places that you would charge your car at. Like, some of the places that you would charge your car. You said file a complaint there. I'm actually pretty sure that the manager there. I, I, I've come to the conclusion, I think, that the manager. Um, But, um... It's one of those things where, like, most of the times... You see that car there all the time, right? You're going to go overcharge it now? Make sure they don't plug it. You're going to give the car a dirty look? So Lonnie said, Lonnie goes, uh, she saw the chat asking what we did about it. Wait till you find out what we did. All right, you ready for this? We both ranted to each other for 30 minutes about it, and that was it. We spent 30 minutes driving going, who does that? Like, just... <laughs> yeah, they don't know what to expect. It's the person who beeped at us? Dude, that was so that was so random. So Lonnie and I went up. Uh, Lonnie and I took a... Okay, one more story and then we'll get into the thing. Lonnie and I went up to uh, Salem. So um, obviously chat knows I love like horror movies and like, you know, Halloween. So we went up to Salem. Um, anybody knows, knows Massachusetts, like Salem is a, a, we went during a couple days before Halloween. So we went up there, we drove up there, you know, it took a little bit, 
We get there. We, we go there. The lines in Salem were longer than an amusement park line for a roller coaster to get into a store. So we're like, 30 minutes later, we go, yep, I'm good. All right, you good? I'm good. So we leave. We're driving. I don't know where we're just driving. And we're, we're heading back, and we just, we're just sitting there. Out of nowhere, like, someone starts, like, just beeping at us and, like, looking at us from a window. And, like, just looking from the other side. So imagine the car's to your right, and they're just waving, like, hello! And they keep waving. And then they just left. Pulled yeah, pulled up beside us. Exactly. And then drives away. We, we, to this day, we have no idea why. And we try to theorize, okay? Keep in mind, we, we, keep in mind, the car, we were by ourselves. So, like, no one got, like, cut off by the car. There was no, like, we were by ourselves for, like, a while. And then out of nowhere, they just showed up, started doing that, going, like, hello. They must have thought we were someone else, but we couldn't figure it out. And we have no idea why to this day that happened. It was such an experience. It was such an experience. We have no idea why. Like, is there, there was no reason. It was just like, okay. And then we, and we went home and we still talk about it this day. New video of the kitties. All right, chat. Go look at the new video. You got shaky tail? You can see a video of uh, Arnie's shaky tail. Arnie's shaky tail, you'll see. All right, all right. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play some Doomfist games just as like a warm up, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Cat video is called "What a Swell Cat." What a Swell Cat. Ever reacted to the Overwatch short stories on YouTube? Um, like the ones that they like the. What are those? Also, Ivy, thank you for the 22 months. Happy surprise. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have I seen Honor and Glory? Yeah, that's legendary. A Corvette stopped in front of your car, parked there for five minutes, put their top down, and drove away? Why? Like, where was your car? Were you in, like, a parking lot? Thank you for my videos on YouTube yesterday. What videos? I already forgot. Wait, which ones? The rank game ones, wow. uh, we have a bunch of videos. Great. You said they just. Alright, here we go. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit of Doomfist practicing because I need to. Um, in case I have to play Doom for the tournaments when we play. I'd say I'm pretty much already dominant at Doom. What do you think, chat? Send your best. I agree. Oh, you're done with the stream? Oh, heck yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. What was that? I can't hear you, so I'm Out of the video. Thank you. I... What? Oh, that's not for free, okay? <laughs> there we go. What are we doing? Um, Plagueis and Doomfist until the match. Matches start in an hour. We're going to be co-streaming OWCS. Did you enjoy the co-streams yesterday? I had fun. It's definitely something I want to continue doing as we... It's been fun to do, like, co-streams and, like, do tournaments. But I don't know. I'm having so much fun. What the... 
You know what? This is what you get. That's the only way to play Doom? I mean, I'm just surprised I got on the limb with my ultimate. Or, I mean, are you? Oh, you enjoyed the uh, Overwatch Red Zone yesterday where we bring you all the live action? Unfortunately, today we won't be able to do that because they are not allowing players to stream their POVs of the matches. So, we, we, so don't get me wrong, I'm super happy I can watch the main cast. We've never been able to do that on Twitch. But at the same time, it just feels bad that the players aren't able to stream their POVs. Today it's uh, the main cast. So we can still watch them. Well, I'm we're trying to give you all the best ultimates. You know? Hey, did you like the Overwatch Red Zone? Divergence leads to defeat. I'll see this matter resolved. Honestly, Overwatch can only I don't think so. Maybe I just don't want people to go to the main cast. Am I live on Twitch right now? I'm live on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok, yes. I'm live on all three right now, yep. Uh, click. Thanks for the 14 months of the Peter's Prime. Thank you. Appreciate it. In my defense, that looked cool. I don't die that easy. Hello there. Right, this is my moment. You ready? Let me just sit here and do nothing. In my defense, though, it looked like I was doing something. I've come too far to stop now. Uh, optical? Thank you for the Fridges Prime Seven Rinzu. Thank you, love and monster Fridges Prime Seven. Thanks. Appreciate it. Send your best. I'm ready. Just wait. Hide him. All right, I'm down to blame my team because I'm I'm playing perfect. Are we down for that? I don't die. That Meteor strike. Yep. 
Seems perfect, chat. Shed the weight of your doubts, and your mind will become. Clear. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> Did submit a vod to me with a paragraph about how my team's holding me back. I'm sure. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're gonna dominate his doom here. I know the rollout. Watch this. Ready? Look at that. Didn't even know what to do. said pathetic gold level play watching me be this washed is sad I agree Yeah, that's TikTok, Jackie. Ready for a knockout? Yeah, you know what, chat? See, the thing is, though, is what they don't realize is that's a compliment. Now, let me explain why. They just said I was washed on Doomfist. That means that at some point they thought I was good at Doomfist. So that's a compliment, is it not? That's what I'm saying, that's a compliment. If you think about it. You, you get value for your DPS and you keep the enemy tracer busy? Yes. This time we'll crush them. Oh wait, you're right. Wash does mean clean. <laughs> oh, another person on TikTok's gonna be mad. Back in a second. I save you. Made it. What are you gonna do? Go for me on point? Guess what? Not on my watch. Okay, wait a second. No, that was impressive though. You said they came to troll and run away? No, I don't think that's really what happened. It just, oh, it's 11 o'clock. Yeah, they're allocated uh, iPad time. It was already done. So they, they they wanted to respond, but they had to hop off. Hang on a second. Do we have any uh, scrims planned yet? Um, I think we couldn't do it this weekend because I, I know Jay was busy. I think Jay was doing something with something. We didn't really say. Oh yeah, he's in like he's he's doing the thing with Blizzard, right? Like they sponsored him to do the thing or whatever. I think. In five more minutes, you read my comment. Did you notice? Absolutely. What's my favorite, most dominant comp uh, yesterday? I don't know. It's, it's funny because I got to see a little bit of the. Um, you know, I got to see a bit of the Ramatra gameplay, which actually was a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what was more of a surprise? Just seeing a really good amount of variety of heroes. I'm, I'm glad to see that, right? Like I'm, I'm glad to, to see that more than anything, right?
There was a lot of hero variety, which is nice. Is Jay gonna drive a Porsche? I don't know, maybe. Uh, Nate, thanks for the six months of the Peter Prime. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. You're the only one who liked the live? Yeah, well, if you're on YouTube, make sure to like the live, because that helps apparently put it in the algorithm. So people are like, whoa, I can't believe streaming on the on on, on YouTube also. What a treat. And with the Divas skin, looks cool. Just another day in the office. Oh yeah, I'm still I'm still co-streaming this kid, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Hello. Let's get started. Got a lot of systems. We're, we're gonna watch it from the main one. No, the the uh, it won't Red Wolf. We'll let you know when that stream is live. That way you can get, get, get those drops. I know people are super amped about those, alright? I know people want that. We'll make sure to direct you in the right direction, okay? okay. But if you do like drops, you know, we're getting close to mid-season, and usually during mid-season patch, they have drops coming up, too. So make sure to follow the channel if you haven't, if you do like those drops, because mid-season's next Tuesday. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely a little bit on that one, Red Wolf. That's what I'll direct you in the right place, all right? I mean, technically, people can tell you in the chat, but once it's live, I'll let people know, so that way they can get those drops. I don't want y'all to miss out on drops that you really want, all right? Oh, that's not nice. This is your warning. Yeah, did you like when the last drops were like the sh the, the shop drops? Cubics, thanks for the three months of that, British Prime. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. We also really have the drops that were like skins in Overwatch 2. It plays actually get that. Oh, and uh, FM Dumplings, thanks for the nine months of the tier 2. Thank you, appreciate it. Practice and Doom has been fun in the sense that, like, I feel like me increasing my hero pool to Doomfist now will allow for me to have a good variety of heroes that I can play in tank, right? One thing I do like is I'm, I, I can play a lot of heroes well, but Doom and like is not one of them. All right, I'm gonna blame my teammates for that one. That wasn't my fault. Play that perfect. Yes, this is quick play, so I can I can get better at the hero. One, I have really long tank queues where my ranks at right now, and two, um, where number two was. That's it. Warrior, have fun. There we want. Grizz, thank you for the baby Groot, the disco love, and the tiny dining. Thank you. Why is there a baby Groot TikTok? That's interesting. Got him. Okay, my defense, that looked cool. Right, here we go. Oh, I had 69 HP. It's okay, it's working. Nice land. Over here. 
Got him! Got him! Hi there. Hello. Every plan must evolve. Broken one. Enemy here. Prepare yourself. Uh, anonymous. Thank you with a hundred dollars. Appreciate that, Jane. We had some uh, blankies in the chat for Anonymous with a hundred dollars. Thank you. Hey, Anonymous. Thanks for the one hundred dollars donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Life. Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> Sounds like me! Dude, they peel well. But thank you, I appreciate it. So was that meme? No, probably not. Yeah, that's very kind, appreciate it. Yeah, I wonder really I wonder when they're gonna do the venture play test, right? Because they mentioned they were gonna do something like that. I don't know if I can go up there actually. I think it might be hacked. Are you ready? Honestly, I'm just impressed I made that play. Like to get there. I'm getting better at Doomfist. <laughs> Are you just doing that in general? My audio is so loud compared to my voice? My voice level should be good. Unless I hex something up on TikTok. Actually, is TikTok double in the sound right now? It probably is. I don't say anything. I might fix it. There you go. In my defense? the best thing and why is Ramacha? I wouldn't say Ramacha is the best thing, but Ramacha is definitely being played a lot. Get out of my way or I'll run you over. Enemy here. I just gotta play slower to be honest with you. Well, I haven't really had too much avocado toast before. I don't know if I like it or not. I feel like I do, but I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Got him. Got him. Fisher over here. Not bad. Maybe gonna be a dub. We'll find out. You said add hot sauce to avocado toast. I still haven't find a hot sauce that I like. I didn't really grow up having hot sauce. Like I know some people like will carry around like a hot sauce like filled backpack or something where just a bunch of hot sauce in it because they like love hot sauce but like I just don't I don't know I just never grew up on hot sauce there's always ketchup it's like a holster yeah so I've tried some of the Oh, so I I've tried some of the um hot sauces people have mentioned, but I just haven't quite found the hot sauce that I like. You know what else I don't like is a sauce, and everybody is always like confused when I when I go with this one. I don't really like um honey mustard. Is it me or is honey mustard not good? I don't, I don't know, like... I am not a fan. I know! I don't like honey mustard. I, I, have I not had the right honey mustard? I feel like it's such like a, a hot take that I just don't like honey mustard. 
But I like regular mustard, but not honey mustard. Yep. It doesn't taste sweet to me. Like, when I hear honey mustard, I'm like, okay, that's going to be like a sweet taste in, like, mustard. It tastes the opposite. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I had a, I had a definitive way. Wow. Oh, who uses their cooldowns correctly and gets me? So you can forgive hot sauce, but not honey mustard? I don't know, I just don't like it! Maybe I haven't had the right honey mustard, right? Like, that's probably what it is. Like, there has to be, like, this honey mustard that I'll have, and I'll go, you know what, chat? You were right. Honey mustard is really good. Right? Is there a reason why I don't use the healing aspect of Duel? Yeah. And thank you again, Anonymous. Appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. It's basically, I just going for, like, crazy plays. That's pretty much it. It's actually interesting. I've actually, since I've been doing the nutrition plan for the past three months, I've actually kind of, like, haven't been putting sauces on anything. I know it's probably not good. People are like, what? You're not putting anything on anything? But I don't know. I've been, like, I don't know. I haven't put any sauce on anything. Did eating healthy? You know what I can't wait for? Maintenance mode where I can eat more. Mm -hmm. The more sauce is the better? Oh, I get that. Don't get me wrong. I get that, but you use honey mustard for salad? Oh, see, that would be gross to me. That'd be gross to me. Select your Not bad. Like I don't. I don't know. I also don't like like I don't like blue cheese. Even with wings, believe it or not. Our future will be forged in conflict. Hey there, Moira. How have you been? Busier than you, I just mean. Ah, chat, can we get some blankies in chat for Tay Noobs? Great, by the way. With the five gifted. Thank you, Tay Noobs. Appreciate it. I love chat. Empty head. You said there's blue cheese dressing and real blue cheese? I don't like either. Thank you for the five gifted. And World Champ, thanks for the two months at tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, blue cheese is very hit or miss for me. I feel like ranch is just like a safer pick. I get some blades in chat for kilometers with the five gifted. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm loving the chat. Oh, wait, Chad, do you, uh, do you want me to have. Are you excited for the when we're going to have more uh, blankies emotes? We're going to have a, a, a blankies emote for Luna and a blankies emote for Arnie. So we're going to have three different versions of the blankies emote. I think. Somber right from the get-go? That's fine. You said blue cheese, you used the thought smelled like feet? Oh no, it tastes like that. Not, not the smell.
Laura, thank you for the one heart me and the four bracelets. You said Blanky's emote for TikTok. I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I, I, what was I just saying? I just was about to say a sentence and I just got lost. There's no, um, there's no animated emotes on, on TikTok. That's why we don't have it, like, on there. It's an animated, anima, animated emote that we have. Ball could work here. Probably, maybe. I'm, I'm practicing Doomfist because I need to get better at Doom. Just in case. I feel like getting better at Doom will be really good for tournaments if I need to be need to play Doom. So it's a little bit of practice, but I think it'd be, it'd be worth me getting better at Doom for my team. And just in ranked in general if I need to. I'm not looking to be a top tier Doom, just sufficient enough to where I know how to play the hero, you know? And still be an emo? Yeah, I can grab cra uh, crap look into it. Am I going to Pax East? Yes, I'll be at Pax East. Dude. On, I think, Saturday. What is Pax East? Dude, I... Uh, I, Pax East is like a, think a gaming convention. Think like Comic Con, but like for gaming. Yeah, I mean, I've been to almost every single Pax East ever, so. It's in Massachusetts. So I usually stop there for a day now. A lot of people. A lot of people are there too, which is. You know, I know my Doomfist is, is unreal, like top tier unreal, but I love when they just go like, I love when they just go uh, Cassidy and Sombra just because I'm on Doom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind it. It's, it's fun. You get to check out fun booths. Look at like different like things they have there. I, I enjoy it. It's a good time. As as I am with a bow, it's I a good time, you, at least in my opinion. I was better with a sword. Stay close. I can't hear you if you stray. Yep, thirty minutes to OWCS. That's why I'm just doing Doomfist practice. There's no really. I, I just didn't feel like getting the rank. I'm just chilling. Yeah, cast is good this season. I agree. Right on rank, this is a quick play, yes. Right now, it's all about practicing my mechanics on Doom, and then we bring that into ranked when it's time. Still, the number one issue I run into is my right clicks. Once I'm better at that, we'll be in a good spot. Nice shot. What do I think the season 10 mythic is gonna be? I don't know. I, li I like the mythic this season, it was good. Yeah, working on my right clicks is the most important part right now. I do. You guys are not enabled on here, Snowy. Uh, that will be done in the esports game. Should be soon. Dude, th this is... I'm not mad. Ready for a knockout? Meet your strike! I can't fight all your battles for you. There 
There we go, not bad. Then we have a Bastion now. Feels bad for the other tank, but they're also going counter swap on me, so I get it. Let's do it, chat. Gotta right click Randall up here. Get you indeed. Oh! I mean, I, I'm just impressed, if anything. The commitment to the right clicks? You can only respect that. And they weren't like going for me there, but I'm still mad. I'm gonna act like they solo ulted me. Uh, I can't believe I got solo ulted. Uh. Foolishness has consequences. Okay, I will admit that was an impressive hack, and I'm impressed. But we won the round. Feels good. Feels good. What rank is this? Well, I'm top 500. What rank is this? This is just a quick play. We're just get we're we're learning Doomfist. I don't like to play for this long and I'll get burnt out. I just I don't know. I enjoy doing this. It's fun. Yeah, I enjoy it. Hello. That's pretty much where I'm at with that one. Hammer check, turret check, backup turret check, second through fourth backup turrets check, yep. check and check. How can you submit something VOD wise? Uh, just my Discord. That's that's where everything is for that. So. Make sure to read the rules, the description, all that stuff. Like it, it can take a bit. Oh, this was comp? No, I mean it, it, quick play does play like comp. That's for sure. Yeah, I hope you wanted that health pack, because now you got it. You're welcome. I felt bad. I didn't want to get a free limb because I was just dominating so hard. You get too tilted playing tank this season? Why is that? You don't like just taking damage for a bunch of your teammates over and over again and then getting rolled and then probably getting yelled at for playing tank? And probably sit here when they appreciate it. Thank you. Almost had him. Damn. Almost made it work. 
Doom fist, doom fist. Uh, one jewels, thanks for the three months of the Fiji Prime, so thank you. Wait for it. Appreciate it. Going main again? Playing a lot of Cass and Ash here. Good heroes. I mean, I, I definitely, I definitely think Blizzard will be looking to, to make the tank experience better. Oh, Back this way. Oh, I got you baited. Wait, it still might be winnable though. Come on, team. There we go, chat. All worked out. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you, Allie, and uh, the other person who was also... Uh, I have no idea what that means. Oh, did I get play of the game? How do I feel my Doomfist play has improved? I mean, it's better. I mean, if you watch me from, like, day one on Doomfist to, like, now, it's it's definitely a lot better. I still need to work on my right clicks. Right now, my number one thing I'm focusing on when I'm playing Doom is not really about, like, some people be like, oh, you just got to slam in and punch out. I'm like, yeah. And you know what? I really like that concept, but I also need to know how to hit my right clicks because I can slam and punch and do all this or, or punch in, slam out. But if I ain't hitting my punches, it don't matter. So that's the first step. That's the first step. Why do you stop combat? I mean, I don't know. Just vibe in TikTok chat. Just chilling. The, the right click is definitely the, the, the big issue for me on, on Doom. Um, once I get that punch down and I really can kind of like get better at that, it will get a lot better with that overall. Oh, that's good. It runs some ranked. We're doing co-streams here in about 
15 minutes, so I won't be able to uh, run some ranked. Because the queue times would be too long. So we're, we're doing that. You said you're at a factory for 12 hours today. Well, I hope you have a good day. Hope it's hope it feels like it's a quick day, even though it's 12 hours. Yep. I think I'm on TikTok. Should be good here. Should be good there. Right, one more quick thing. Will there be drops? So the, the when the esports stream goes live, there will be. I'll, I'll make sure to direct people in the right area, so that way you can make sure you're getting your drops for that. Okay? Does that sound good? I'll make sure people know as we co-stream the matches. Hey, you can watch both if you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, both open if you want. You know? Are we playing today? No, we're co-streaming today. The matches. I mean, I might play ranked in between matches a little bit later, but yeah. What are the drops in the esports stream? I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I'm, I'm basically doing watch parties on, on everything, yes. I'll enter for Doom, I don't even know what I have. What are my cats doing? Uh, Sully is sleeping on his chair over there. I say his chair because it's just become his chair. Arnie is probably sleeping downstairs, and so is Luna. This is usually their nap time. This time of the day, the cats are napping. They'll wake up in a little bit, play, and then nap again. Cats, the cats sleep a lot. How much is the Diva poor, uh, poor skin? I, I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. You tell me. Our future will be forged in conflict. You were truly. Like my content, thank you. I appreciate your prime. it. I want to respect. I didn't get to see a storm. How was it? Was it a was it a really good matchup? I'll be honest with you. I haven't, I haven't watched too much of the matches there, but I've heard they've had some good games. That's awesome to hear. That's awesome to hear. Five, five, four, three, All right, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, Belty Bubba, thanks for the 17 months of the Phoenix Friday. Thank you, appreciate it. Meow. Meow? Ooh, I didn't mean to hit that button. I got Rock out. It's all part of my plan, so I can do this! Get rolled by a Hanzo, Storm Arrow, Steve, and me. See? All a part of the plan. Alright, uh, uh, I, apparently there's an update right now. Which, by the way, props to uh, uh, props to them doing this. Apparently, players are now allowed to stream their POVs again. They heard the feedback and have decided that players can stream their POVs. So there you go. Apply just let me know that, so that, that's where I'm getting that info right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. It, it was one of those things where... For years, it was the reason why I, I I love hearing that. By the way, too, is because for years it was always like we would talk about how we really want to be able to co-stream OWL and watch OWL and how like they're like missing out or not having like those type of things, and they were just like, yeah, that's fine. Like okay, so now to hear that like the direct feedback is, you know what, we're, we're, we hear what you're saying on that one. Players can do that again. I, if that's the case and that's actually what's happening there, that's cool. I'm glad they're doing that and, and, and hearing that out. So. Which I, I feel like they've been doing a lot more of that recently. In general. I mean, obviously the esports side will be a little bit different than the other stuff, but I'm glad they're, like, actually looking at that and be like, you know what, you're right. Let's let's let them still do that. It won't take away from the main. It won't take away from the main um, stream as much as, like, they might think it will, and then players still have access to those really cool, like, aspects of it. Yep. You'll have to watch on the main channel for the drop stuff, though. Obviously, if you want to watch the coaching, you can have both of them up, and you should get credit um, from that channel, but that's up to you, obviously. I'm, I'm, I won't be mad either way. I, I want you to be able to get those drops so that way you're able to get them. Right? So I'll make sure to lead people in the right direction when those drops are, when the stream's up for drops. Alright? So people know. Alright? Kiss, thanks for the tier one. Thank you, thank you. Did Doom get buffed? Doom is buffed um, at the midseason patch on Tuesday. Well, that's not nice. 
And now Rage and Demon, thanks for the six months of the Future Prime. Thank you. What are, what are the specific drops? I don't know the exact specific ones. But. Everybody? I rise again. They're on the point. Oh yeah, I see it confirmed here. Apparently Funny Astro said they changed it. We can stream POV again now. So there you go. So it's confirmed. Players are able to stream their POVs in matches. Love to hear it. Love to hear that. What are they buffing with Doom? They're buffing Doom's um oh, so it's a little bit better. Which actually I was kind of memeing a little bit about how they how they they buffed Doom even though Doom's been really strong. But after using the ultimate on Doom, I'm okay with it. This ultimate is awful. Right now. It's not awful! I'm over-exaggerated, but let me tell you. Let me tell you. It is something. I'm dead there. Do like four damage. Yeah, I mean that's why that's that's why I'm, I'm going with like the aspect of I, I I'm definitely over exaggerating a little bit on it, uh, uh, Easter, for sure. But it's just like I see why it's something they're looking to buff because they just like oh my bad. You just it, you it, like it feels like you just tickle the enemy team and inconvenience them enough to where they're like ooh wow that was great thank you for that. Got him. Yep, Brock. Okay, there we go. Not a bad start. The Yana did? Yeah, they were just like, yep, I'm good. Which I get, because at that point they really weren't going to be able to do anything, so. I get it. What are the drops? Uh, you'll have to look on the drop section for that. For the drops I have. You can't believe you're playing against me? Heck yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm having fun, I'm playing some Doom. You going Sherman? Yeah, matches start in 10 minutes, and so we'll start watching some co-streams. Looking forward to it. Did I ever play Doom as DPS in Overwatch 1? No. I, I didn't have much practice on Doom in those. Uh, Neon Light, thanks for the 200 bits, thank you. Don't mess this up. Thanks will now be referred to as off DPS. Yep. I mean, even then, you don't even do much DPS. Supports probably do more DPS, so. He's half the time. Get out of there very quickly. Thank you. Are we ready? Let's do this team. I'm, I'm impressed. I, I, if anything, if anything, I'm impressed at how I I, I, I don't even, I, I'm not even mad. Like, I, I, I'm not even mad at that. They just look cool. I don't know how I did that. Where I... I Oh. Wilson, thanks for the four months of the future press. Thank you, appreciate it. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not even mad. Did they got me in here unless my team goes in there? Nope, that's not happening. I'll change you the drops will be on the Overwatch Esports team when it's live. I'll, I'll make sure to link you when it's up, okay? All 
All right, I'm down to play my team again. I'm playing perfect, and by perfect, I'm feeding. This quick play, yes. I had to use my ult there. Ugh. I'm impressed about everything? What? Because I either see a really good right click or hinder by their Cassidy? Like, that's what it's all about. That's what the game's about is getting hindered and CZ. Are you kidding me right now? I'm fuming just thinking about it. Umbra, thanks for the 17 months for the features promise. Thank you. Appreciate it. A submarine. Don't be afraid to ask for help out there. How's it going? Make my way downtown, walking fast. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully good. What, what, what emojis are those supposed to be? Have they been good? How about yours? All right, watch this chat. Oh, what a rock. Yep, rock. But in my defense, it's all a part of the plan to not get my charge punch. See? What a hinder! Woohoo! Did you limit your FPS and Overwatch? No, it's up to you. I mean, I don't limit it, but like some people will say yes to that. I, I don't really tech with that stuff too much. Can you hit your shot on me, please? Oh, come on. You know what? That's it. That's what you get for not hitting your shot on me. plays like that, I get really confused because I don't even know how I got there to begin with. Charge punch, thank you. Ah, oh, my bad. I need to sing for you? No. One of my controls? I wouldn't recommend copying my keybinds. I play with arrow keys. Yes, yeah, I just, we got, they, they just updated that players can stream their POVs now. So they went from saying they couldn't to now they can. Which I think is a good choice. And I'm glad they listened to the feedback there. Cool, and I didn't look cool. Chilling. I think it goes what, Jermaine? I'm Lord Sherlock. Thanks for the six months that finished. Prompt up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, in my defense, I'll let you know what my my, 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 my mindset was there. Uh, that I wasn't going to do that. There you go. 
My left handed? Yes. I mean, I play with the mouse in my right hand, but. Danny, thank you for the one heart me, the one team bracelet, the nine team bracelets. Thank you. I, I still wish I knew what all that was, but I know what it is, but like. Right, that's a charge punch. I have no hinder. Okay, we ready? I got high noon out. No high noon. Wonderful. Okay. That's DPS, Kiriko. Yeah, just like that, we won. I think. Hello. See? That's how you get a quick play dub. You said, you said the worst tank is Doom? Actually, Doom is probably one of the S tier tanks, if not the S tier tank right now, by far. Okay, so it looks like the matches are starting very soon. For people who um, were wondering about like drops in general, OW underscore esports is where you'll be able to get those drops for the matches. So, players have been, people have been asking about that. Obviously, we're co streaming everything. Like, for the drops, next, uh, it's Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash OW underscore esports. I told people I make sure to point you in the right direction when that stream was live. It is now live. So you can get your uh, your, your drops there. Obviously, we're co-streaming the matches still. Um, if you want to leave up both tabs, that's up to you. Uh, but either way, I'm, I hope the people who have been looking for their drops get them. So It's time, chat. Are we ready for the co-streams? I am going to go to the bathroom. I am going to go to the bathroom, and then we are going to... Watch these matches. Sound good? Sound good? I'll be right back, chat. Season zero. They will fly high. San Francisco is shocking. I can share it here. Whoever said lightning doesn't strike twice has never met San Francisco shock. Shanghai Dragons are your champions. Dallas Fuel takes their place amongst the stars. Slow to mayhem on your dreams for all time. Official broadcast of the Overwatch Champion Series EMEA and NA region. Uh, we have a new year, new name, new logo, new graphics. Same old faces on your screen, unfortunately. Hey, but good oh, friends. No. Yeah, we're getting old. And Matt, uh, any, any, any news? Any, any, any enhancements heading into the new uh, year? Matt knows. Matt knows. I was extremely I was slender. A, I think I can, he's had some work I am, done. I can breathe, I I breathe through my nose. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch had a hair <laughs> transplant. That's why you could see the, the forehead. Oh, no, yeah, away so. from the forehead. Because I'm told <laughs> that a big forehead is distinguished. So I've really, I've actually done the opposite of the Joe Buck and put it at the back to yeah. get myself a mullet going and increase the size of my forehead to establish you, further dominance. You might notice that the, the three oh, box, they're all not equal. Right, we had to make Mitch's a little bit right. extra wide to fit that. Fit that hey, head that's in my contract, brother. That's got nothing to do with my forehead, bro. That's just stipulations, man. Read the fine print, brother. I'm surprised. Good to see everybody back here, by the way. Good to see everybody back here, by the way. We're working on it. 
I mean, like leading off with with with. Which is a Mitch highlight reel anyway. Ah. It's a rough time. This is this is good to see everybody. <laughs> at the beginning. Oh, I love it. I, I mean, unfortunately, oh, he had no voice right with that first clip, so it's just yeah. like eh, the mortals have done it. They, they did him dirty. Sorry about that, though. Uh, no, well, some things never change. We're here for two minutes and already. Uh, you know, good to see everybody out, back. Uh, our show certainly has changed, though, uh, at least from the contents and the format. So let's talk about what we got in store for you for this very year. Let's take a look at what's going on so i'm here. thinking of going to uh, dreamhack dallas mages, as you can see in your obviously I'm, i'm i want to see if i'd be able to co-stream there i think that'd be awesome so i'm considering going to dreamhack dallas i'm super excited to bring the party over to europe and you may also notice that there is a, a bit of a gap in owcs action between june and august but don't you worry uh, there will be plenty of other top tier oh2 competition to watch during that time more info on that soon tm I love uh, announcement of an announcement, I guess. Uh, but back to things that I can share with you. Uh, DreamHack Dallas tickets are already on sale. So uh, there's a whole bunch of options. There should be a link flying through right here, right now. There it is. Get the wow. most expensive okay, one. Let's it's go. always the best option. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get value for I, for the thing. But yeah, obviously it's a dream hack, right? So you right. you have the opportunity to join I, the uh, lab. Manny, thank you for the uh, 43 bracelets. So you thank you, yourself, appreciate it. Or you can just join as a, as a viewer, as a watcher, and enjoy the show. We will be there, so we hope to see some of you as well. Uh, I'm very excited for... Yeah, I'm thinking of going. I, I'm thinking of just going for fun. Uh, I don't really go to too many events, events, but we'll see. also love drops. And of course, yes, I like drops. On that front as well, all year I long. Yeah, I, I like drops in general. As a streamer, I hear drops, and now I'm interested. What's going on? As they come along, but for now, you can get the first OWCS drops in history. All right, so you get some bragging rights attached to your sprays of whatnot as well. Uh, so all you have to do, of course, as per usual, is uh, linking your Battle.net Who's the first matcher today? Every streaming platform you're currently watching us on. And uh, tune in, watch... Who's the first match? Um, throwing it out there, uh, I know Mitch probably doesn't doesn't want to receive the hate, but... Uh, he, uh, ASA, he ASAP, thanks for the thousand uh, bits. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Yes, no, I just think, I just think see you with like like, like, If I do go, yes. I, like I said, it's about 50-50. I, 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 we'll see. I'm thinking is, that is gonna I, I kind of want to go to the Sweden right. event, too, but we'll see. Just we'll see how everything's going. Yeah, short legs, long body, kind of cute. You know, Corgi's, like, Mitch is like a... It's like one of those people who they buy a car, and then if other people have that car, he needs to get rid of it to go get another one. Like... Kind of what he thinks of animals, like oh That's man, everybody's true. got a I, corgi. I would love a dog. I don't have dogs. I, I inherited. You have two cats. kids. I think you got. Yeah. That's where you messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Dogs. Yeah, no. Cats I'm... are cats are kind of out. They're on yeah. the out. Okay. I, 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 I nope. Not on the out. I would agree. I, I'm a dog guy, but yeah. nope. Anyway, I have three cats. I nope. Right. I just. Yeah, I like know, both like, dogs and cats. That's fine, right? Time in the sun soon because they're pretty awesome. But right now, yeah. Do so you like her chair? Yeah, that's a that's the the, the Secret Lab Diva yeah, one, right? The, the I don't know if they still sell it, but that, that, that that's a known one. Yeah. Just watch. There's a couple of versions of that. in chat for sure. And uh, now, of course, uh, they are watching not just us bantering. They will also be watching yeah, put our out a good players volume. rising to the top. Like thirty percent is usually good. Since there will be a lot of returning faces. How do you get drops? See the channel right here that I'm watching on OW underscore Esports right there. Let's talk about the competitive format. Keep in mind that whenever there is usually drops here. We'll let you know, and don't be surprised to see drops next week because it's going to be mid-season. So hit the follow button. Sixteen teams came out on top, and they will be moving into a group stage. So the way that Swiss style works, by the way, is basically Swiss is. It's like a piece of Swiss cheese, right? Swiss means you play each other. Everyone else with the same record as you is the point. There we go. Exactly. Uber got it covered. I was like, I know I was going to explain it, but then Uber's like, I'll cover this. Thank you, Uber. Thank you. Stage, uh, as you can see on your screens right now, we're going to have four teams per group and the top two teams in each group. They will Second be one moving thing. on and earning their spot in the main event of stage one, which is starting on March 21st. Now, the main event will play out over four days. Now, keep in mind, uh, Team Overwashed will be playing in the next event, which is in April, but we probably will scrim beforehand, okay? Cold hard cash. You love so, honestly, Sharptooth, we have no idea. Pretty much every channel has been having that the last couple days, and we have no idea. Why? Up for grabs, so Maybe because there is drops coming place. next week or something sharp, uh, which would make sense. That did happen last time too at the beginning of the season really nine. Important, so uh, rewarded on an individual player basis, right? This will help you know rank teams for further. But I consider Swiss wearing a Swiss watch for the next Swiss event. Uh, into stuff like dream. How much is a Swiss really watch? Uh, you see, kind of you know, 
at nine through sixteen. You know, they don't like how they just play show play nine now, nine through sixteen. Lose, you win zero dollars. <laughs> good for the players at the top, right? You make it to that main event, you're in a good spot. So obviously, no, no, no handouts, no handouts. No, here. no. I mean, yeah, I, I do love that they made sure they included like the zero dollar uh, like graphic, <laughs> just so you really know like, yeah. what's on the line. <laughs> Not only that, right? Obviously, the circuit. I like how Uber and I are in the same wavelength, right? The right now. Year, but another new uh, addition we have is that uh, we're on, like the same wavelength. The team just sort of picking the map uh, throughout the course of the series. Both teams are going to be engaging in a, <clears throat> a pick and ban map veto at the start, which I'm glad is back all the way through. Which is going to probably add another layer of complexity. To the pick bans having them. Uh, I, I really like the way they're going about things so far. Here we got me and Matt. Uh, to sort of play out like a mock veto well, for you. Well, so for the zero dollar ones, ones, that's so you get the pro points, and like those pro points can lead that yeah. there. Okay, okay. Loser, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. I mean, lo 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 losers stay losing there, number oh my God. <laughs> All right, so Matt, you're the highest seed, so you get to ban first. Uh, I will remove Ilios. All right, so Matt gets rid of Ilios. Samoa. So I uh, get to take a map out of the running Samoa. as well. I will choose to ban Nepal. Nepal. My dad's goal can say. Actually, yeah, ban Nepal. Ooh, but I feel like you get to choose from the remaining maps after these bans. Li Zhang. Uh, our head coach of uh, Mr. X Gaming is. No, I don't vent. Who is really I, I'll, I'll get another one eventually, but like Samoa. After after that, we went to that PO Box one, and we had that. I don't know if you heard the story on that one where we got there, and they were like, "Yeah, you had these packages and." You need to get them within a certain amount. I'm like, yeah, we, we 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 pay for the thing where like it will let us know if we have packages. They go, no, you have to come and pick up your packages. I'll turn it down for a second. They're like, you have to come and pick up your packages within like when you when when you get them. And I'm like, oh, you're supposed to let us know. You're supposed to let us know like where the PO box is, right? Um, I mean, when we get the PO box stuff. And they're like, yeah, like, we, yeah, exactly. And we're like, well, well, last time you called. Us. They go, oh yeah, we call you when you have packages, and I go, well, why didn't you call us? Oh, we lost your information. So wait, you're mad we didn't get the stuff, but you you lost all our info and couldn't tell us? I'm like, what is this? And they said it like five times before they went, like, oh, you know, we lost all your info. We couldn't call you or let you know because we just we lost all your information. We're like, how are you mad? We would have been there. I would not. If they told us there was stuff there, I would have gotten it within a, in like a day. Instead, they were like. Uh, now we have They're like, yeah, no, what are you doing? Out for Nepal. We added Hollywood back into the mix, mm. replaced Route 66 with Rialto. Like, what are you, like, I'm like, okay, sounds good. Whatever works for you. Do some reordering uh, in the series for the flow. So we finish with Flashpoint yeah. and Escort. And as you also already said, this is going to add a whole new level of death. I don't see any reason to, to do that, Roberto. To the approaches. Even to, like, no, there's no Doom Bingo, you, by the way. You, Sorry. Like, I did it yesterday. Players who sign up for your team. Like, uh, I generally think, like, there's a, there's a lot going into this now, thanks to a map votes. Did no yeah, watch? Yeah, I'm sorry, Ben. What like, was that watch? I didn't even see. Right. The maps that lend themselves to those Let me look at that. Try and I, sure. I Nox Chrono. What is yeah. that? Now, uh, let's uh, talk a shop, because uh, we are about to head into our first oh, uh, match that's series cool. here. Uh, Swiss stage was wild. First day of our group stage yesterday was... Well, a bit of a bloodbath, to be honest. Yes. Uh, let's take a look at our top six. Yeah, yesterday was the 3 0. I know we're missing stuff on the side there. I'm sorry. So, what are the matchups here? So, Group A, basically, to give you an idea, because it's a Swiss format. Group A is going to be the two one and those teams are going to face each other, right? Wait, who's the, who's the EXO? Because I wonder how that SSG matchup is going to be. For me, it's Space Station. We're not going to see them today, but you, you know this team, you love this team for years and years. It is that sort of London. There you go. I turned it up. That's the best I can do on the volume. Otherwise, it gets too tough on my uh, full side. Coming in here, Hale is one of the best sort of in-game leaders, callers uh, in the region. Psycho as well. Uh, also, are these all the over the old Overwatch this League teams? No, no. There's new teams. We've seen, you know, Hardy in the past show strong preferences. So this team right here is really good. But Winston's also uh, pretty insane. Uh, SSG. We were watching a lot of their scrims yesterday against Masa's team too. Like, continues to be an incredibly reliable, very good team with a lot of individual skill expression, especially on some of these picks. Like, the where's Jericho. Dante? Well, Dante so plays that you should expect to see tonight, right? right? With LG. Here. I think their first matchup will be Garhart. Thanks to the uh, tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. If we would have won the open, as in if if we were. 
if we yeah, if we qualified for groups, yes, we would have been playing in this. But thank you for the six months of that card. Right. The free so Thank you. For? Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm looking at Twisted Minds. I mean, this is uh, you know the team that ended playing up tank? winning the learn World cover World more and more. It helps a ton. Team pretty much with some extra you know, new players in the mix. Sky Ripa and Kellex. Uh, you know, two former players who played in Overwatch League. Kellex like played in Overwatch League. Didn't have the greatest shouts, but has been fantastic in contenders. Really all throughout mm -hmm. but uh i'm looking at could be good matchups right? today he was absolutely you know insane who does twisted minds play like, tonight really like made a case for maybe the best hit scan player in the world so i'm excited to see how he kind of progresses throughout this year now that you know the kind of a target on their back right everybody knows how good this team is they've been very good so far in EME. yeah lg uh, or luminosity Pepso uh picked today. up maryville yeah, as like a like a partnership uh, so like they the yeah that, that's lights out. and that's like the college team how, uh, also uh, Kellex and Co will start so. into this any predictions i'm not uh, sure I yet i still right, haven't seen right, a lot of the players yet to like know faces. where and new faces. the matches are going to be at but i think it's going to be super fun and i'm also just as excited uh about the people who's the first match of the, the, of the day today co-streaming uh one individual actually very much stood out to us yesterday because <laughs> man he spared no time and effort when it comes to production value he pulled out all the stops talking about apply and now he will be with us for a quick chat Oof. we got no other than apply yeah. from the oval wash team hello. on the line for hello, people hello. uh Apply, I have to ask. I mean, what was your personal highlight from your own stream yesterday? You had it all. You had a musical act to open it all up. Yeah, which, by the way, I did get the copyright strike on YouTube for yeah. Applies Music. Yeah, the desk. It was so good. <laughs> well, honestly, my favorite part was putting the suit on. I don't know if you guys saw. Yep. Uh, yeah, I did get the DMCA from. Without the suit, I had to prepare. You know, it was a big day. <laughs> A big day. I, I like how you comboed the suit with the uh the the, the Walmart creeper pajamas. I think yep. that was a, a nice Perfect. little touch. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, I mean, look at graphic here. design right there. Running production on the really side. well done by apply. I mean, get to some man yep. who can do it all. This is uh yeah, it makes me you gotta have that going. Well, that's something I've uh, forgotten to do with the pie. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> this desk. I recognize that desk. <laughs> yeah, that desk, so. that desk. Uh huh. I googled uh, Overwatch esports desk and just got it. Yep. <laughs> that that is. Is. Oh, that is so funny. Uh, yeah, applies on our team. Overwash, team Overwash. In the, in the Swiss stage here, uh, obviously with team Overwash, which was really awesome to actually follow along with. You guys were, were very, very serious. I mean, yes. you know, Jay had a couple silly, silly moments, but you guys, yeah, really put okay. the work in there. And I mean, I'm curious to know like how it felt. Like obviously you've been a competitor in the past at the very top level of Overwatch. How did it feel? Did it feel like the, you know, the, the scene has leveled up. You feel like there was a real hunger for people to sort of make it into the top echelon. How was your experience as a team competing? Well, the Swiss uh, stage was really interesting because we got to gauge where we were as a team. In traditional tournament style, you can have bad luck and play against the three best teams in Happy a row. Happy 23 years and in all. I think you suck. But very interesting in playing through the different levels. Yep. Of I like, I like the way it works. We really are. And it was really enjoyable. It was very fun. Uh, who, who are you excited to watch compete? Uh, Nurple, thanks for the uh, 23 months of the team. Thank you, Pisha. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of our teammates. I think that's one said, of our uh, team Overwatch. I mean, they pretty much just won World Cup. I think they're a very underrated team. People are already looking at them. But what team? They're going to prove us even more that they could be the best. I think the game today versus Team Peps is very interesting. They have Hybrid, Naga, Ben Best, FD God, names we all know. I think it'd be a very interesting game. Wait, is that who Twisted Minds yeah, plays today? Be... Well, team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I much. think that makes them more eager to prove themselves. They they were also saying stuff. Wow, that's gonna be a good matchup like, then. During the Overwatch World Cup in interviews, like they feel underrated, they want to show the world. Uh, right. That's gonna be a good one. Now, uh, apply. Are we gonna see more from you in Overwatch, or is the team in shambles and everything's disbanded? Oh yeah, yeah. I think we're planning on playing the next qualifiers uh, in April. Yep. We're already scrimming. Hey, awesome. we're well, already. Though, is don't we're not don't scrimming. Sign up until Custa changes that name. Yeah, He's Team Custa. Right. Team Custa. We keep I don't know what his problem that. is. It's Custa's ego. Know, if if we make it to land, they're gonna though. announce us as Team Custa. Yeah, nah. You gotta make sure you change that before the next one. Custa and his yeah, ego like, over yeah, here. Yeah, team Custa can't even make it. Custa's team Overwatch. Name, so you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that for yourself. Apply. Thank you so much. I assume you will be co-streaming today. Yep, I'll be there. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Be there no matter what. We can't wait to watch more of you and everything you got going on in your stream. Super entertaining. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. I'm fun. I'm very excited for today.
But that was a ply from Omar. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, Megan. It's, it's, it's getting kind of unreal. Okay. And if you want to be in on the action... The Cust is well known for toxicity, like yeah. Sign up to be a co-streamer. Two things Cust is known for is his toxicity and, and, uh, and having four or five beers because uh, people from this chat gifted him 50 subs per shoey. And then won a bunch of ranks. You don't want to miss it. People in this chat gifted like 250 subs to Custa so he could drink five five shoeys and then play ranked. And he, and he dominated in ranked. <laughs> I think it's time to blow this thing. Get everybody in the stuff to oh wait, I have to mute the sound. Okay. I got DMCA for this last time. Not again, I can't do it. Chad, I'm sorry, but like I keep getting copyrighted by the, the trailer. So I have to do this. I, I keep getting the copyrights from Overwatch trailers. It happened with... The Seraphim, it happened with Cowboy Bebop, so I have to just wait. I keep getting the DMCA and copyright strikes. So I gotta wait. Yep. Yeah, I, I think I kinda, I wanna watch it. I definitely wanna watch and catch up on it, so. <laughs> See, so you blame Custa? Oh, it's a great collab. These skins look really cool. I mean, it, it's just... This whole video was really well done. I said I would do a shoey for 500 gifted. Yep, I have two Sunny D's downstairs. It's Sunny D uh, alcohol. Like they, they actually sell that now. If you ever grew up having Sunny D, there's now Sunny D alcohol. I have two cans of those. Yep. And how's it going, Megan? Yeah. You had a rewatch with your team one episode a week before the trailer release? That's awesome. How many episodes does Cowboy Bebop have? Is it like a long one? Ryan B, thanks for the future prize. I thank you, appreciate it. Did I don't drink alcohol? I barely drink. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of... I, I just don't drink that much. It's just for me, personally. To each their own. Now, some days I might get really, 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 really hungry. Just like Matt, for example, rejoice. I love Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, tell, tell me, all, tell me all about Cowboy Bebop. Times the game should be up well, soon. You know, it's uh, it follows the lives of a traveling bounty hunter <laughs> crew aboard a spaceship, the Bebop. Uh, and it can it be 420 so gifted? Or or genres, uh, <laughs> okay, before I even commit to the idea of, of a 420 uh, gifted uh, shoey. I love that stuff. I mean, Matt's been using ChatGPT to cast for. Oh, it's only 26 episodes. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I'm just the AI. Time. Yeah. He's basically, right. he's, he was actually the first. How does it work? And he's been using <laughs> like, can I just use a brand new shoe or does that have yeah, to be like my worn like gym totally shoe? Because that sounds awful and I don't even know if I want to do that. Um, that's why we pay do you have to chug it? Because I've never chugged a, a, anything in my life when it comes to that stuff. And, cool. it's more I don't know any of the you, and it's short episodes? That's good yeah, then at no, least. Skins are cool. Even if you're not a fan we need a Death Note and I'm JoJo's sure collab? I am sure, you in and, and Megan might be able, be able to confirm or deny this, of course, the I am sure in whatever Blizzard use, whether it's Slack or Discord, that they have a list of like all these collabs they probably want to do. They probably have an endless list of collabs that they probably just send to the team every day, hoping that they can get it to work. Worn the shoe, but you can clean the shoe Hope first. You have to chug it. Oh. A good day so far. Nine months. I do have a dress shoe. When you have a fun stream, uh, uh, Doc, thanks for the nine months. Do you want to appreciate? Thank you. Appreciate it. So four hundred and twenty gifted. Yeah, no, absolutely. This team looks and then a shoe. really scary. I, I will say that, you know, like... I have to see what I have available. Team Saudi Arabia that sounds awful. Why would I even do that? Some key Wait, differences, right? like, this is I'm a streamer. I'm, I'm that definitely going to do gonna that. Look what am I talking like, about? Again, have like a play, like an iliari based composition. And, and like, I'm a streamer. Of, I don't... I make use of, you know, Majid in that sort of regard. But very powerful team. Kalex is... Yeah, uh, why would I do that? Well, I mean, hey, you said 420 gifted, right? I mean... So, really, really veteran player. Sky Reaper as well is an incredible flex support. So, this team... Well, custom is an expert in shoeies and he said that he said that the strategy is to to get a worn dress shoe somewhat like still i wouldn't say like underrated but somewhat still like under the radar so to speak they brought a lot of people back so teams that people uh, i know from all different regions are excited about and it seems like twisted mind still kind of going under the radar but team peps on the other side i mean to that patrice i get why they play that so down this lineup right so many of these a shoey is is like drinking out of a shoe so to give you an idea chat like, you know, gifted uh, like about 250 you know, subs to custa because custa said he would do a shoey for 50 gifted and it's like a, it's like a huge thing in like i think what is it australia where you just put beer in your shoe and then you chug it i mean it's interesting like hybrid a worn shoe i mean the team sign up uh sort of per role hybrid 
on Great for Wilder. Thanks for the tier one thing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, obviously, pretty prominent yep. UK player. Crotus they do it in the UK as well. Scotland uh, in the World Cup. Uh, and we're looking Why is like Poco a sub? Poco is a so, great uh, tank again, player. Curious to see what but Poco also runs into the issue I have where we can't play Doomfist. And I'm pretty sure Hybrid's playing a lot of Doomfist right now. But expect them uh, crunchy snacks. Strong. Thanks for the 22 out. months. That was your friend. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, that, I, I don't even know why I just said word wise there. I just said like a sentence that was a bunch of jumbled <laughs> words together. Long. That's crazy, man. <laughs> These guys be listening. Absolutely. Uh, this, again, Twisted Minds, you know, this is also a team that has. Let me get confirmation powerful, from uh, and such, whereas, Lani yeah, that we still have the like Sunny D when she's back from her walk. Especially tank roster i'm looking forward to see like what they sort of deliver for us here having poco and ben best both on the team naga always been an incredible projectile uh primarily uh hit scan player uh oh, sorry projectile play excuse me so yeah a lot, a lot to look forward to i think in this matchup here twisted minds i think for a team matt that was built with one purpose one purpose only which was to stop the competition here in the owcs so uh i want to i want to see them be really living up to that expectation yeah, I, I'm I'm curious, like you kind of mentioned, like without like an, you know, an Iliari type of look like with Sir Majestic. All right, she's putting the two Sunny D's like, in the fridge in case I decide to do it at one point. Of, uh, heroes, but, All right. Uh, it's a hero that hasn't Apparently really we still have two left, but it wasn't all. in the fridge. I uh, know kind of watching through the qualifiers and he was like ranked, you know, uh, Iliari definitely needs some help, I would yes. say. All right, here we go. Uh, where this is a good matchup for the first here. game. Uh, Lucio Twisted Minds versus Peps. Does anybody? Some people even think like Moira is Samoa as the first right map. I, what, what comp has uh, Twisted Minds been running? I, I haven't seen any of their matches yet. Uh, it looks like what has been like the go-to comp? Kind of I know that Peps likes to run the Doomfist comp. That's why they have hybrid on Doom. I, I think we're going to be in flux uh, for a little bit. Uh, Ramatra seems really strong. Uh, Junker Queen seems pretty good as well. So uh, I, I think a ton They run the Ramatra comp? Oh, yeah. I saw it. Oh, I did see it. Did they run Echo? Or is it just like. We, we talk about sort of the, the, the return to the Lucio here. Well, oh, Kellex obviously was. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Fat. No, 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 no. When Mercy played primarily uh, during a much. I haven't committed to it yet. Coaching, come back, play. No, I haven't committed to it yet. No, no, no. No, you know, twisted minds in that no commitment yet. Pretty well it's, it's a thought that counts. Slay is a player that, like, you know. Oh, you'll go first? Oh, I thought you were talking about the. A little bit more he's got a lot the of shoey like, teams like i have to wait till like uh, i can find the dress shoe i don't want i don't want to make you no 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 so that particular roster here but keep an eye out for him he's a he's a sort of a not yet not yet rookie uh, i guess they all are at this point uh that Everyone's i want everybody to be have their eyes trained on here as both these teams had pretty comfortable matches to start off group a i had you debated well i'm i lonnie's putting stuff in the fridge and we're seeing if we can find a viable option <laughs> Uh, Heine, thanks for the four months of the finish prize. Thank you, appreciate it. You know, Back from grabbing some pizza? Heck yeah, what kind of pizza? Like Overwatch, you know, Overwatch 2, right? Like, you know, they, they've had players who've been playing. Yeah, I'm curious to see the changes too on that one, I agree. All right, matches game. are finally starting, chat. Here we go. Type ...days where uh, it, it feels like Twisted Minds is kind of like, this is where the game is going, right? They're playing a style and, you know, every... Okay, so Peps is running things. the Doomfist comp and actually the Twisted Minds is running the Zarya comp, a comp that we've been seeing a little bit in different regions. So I'm curious to see. Remember Custer Twitty and he's back in his hating Doomfist era, so we're seeing plenty more of that at the moment here. Quartz again on Hitscan, something you want Yeah, it's the Cast Tracer comp. Is it... Does the Zarya... I feel like the Zarya bubbles the cast a lot, right? So that... Because the... the Cast would be the dive target, but if you can prevent the dive, then you just bubble the the cast, and the cast becomes unkillable. Then everybody else can kind of back away. Slightly miles, thanks to the five months damage prize. So thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. You know that they know that there's going to be the doom fist on the other. Why cast? Because it's it's to prevent the doom comp. So you so if you know they're going to run a doom comp, you run the Zari comp now. It used to be you would run like the diva comp, but I guess like people figured that out, and then you would also run the um like another comp. From those flanking angles, Naga never really had to commit to that fight. But like the cast is can help hinder the doom, and then you can kill the doom or make them out of the, get out of the team fight. But honestly, a, a good start for Peps. Peps had a bit of a like a interesting match yesterday where like, it felt like they it was a lot closer than it should have been, but they still won. So, but that time they didn't even need to actually dive on in. They just kind of took out courts from a distance, but. Now it looks like yep. Twisted Minds after that first pick want to get aggressive, get back to point. Yeah, Pep's definitely playing yeah, there we go. Because they're scared. Oh, See, they made their dive play, and then now Zari is able to kind of just shred people. And that's kind of what you see right there. Like, just a really good start for uh, for both teams, actually. Pep's had a good opener, and then and then Twisted Mind, obviously. Wait, why does it say away? I'm confused. Why does it say Twisted Minds away, and then Pep's away? Why, why does it do that? 
Cronus can't get caught out. Ah, uh, look on the uh, the Twitch Esports channel, Apollo. That's you better get those. Chase. Again, this composition requires that line of sight to your Kiriko in many cases. So sometimes the traces have. They're both away. Oh. Have an opportunity to be top right back. Did up. no one's home today? Oh, okay. Just, that's it. I actually don't be surprised to see them lead off with double Kiriko ults right now. Because basically, that's what a lot of teams do. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So you see that? I I, I just saw it happen exactly how I thought it was going to happen. That what they're doing is they're basically just keeping the Cassidy alive because the only dive target for Peps is the Cassidy. But then if they bubble the Cassidy and the Zarya doesn't get pressure down, then they can just dominate. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you just see how low hybrid got when he goes in. Is and they know that Peps has been running this comp, so they kind of came in with like a prepared strategy, right? It was we're going to play the Zarya comp, and if they want to switch off of that, we can make adjustments. Because obviously, I think people say our Twisted Minds runs the Ramatra comp too, which has been a safe pick against a lot of comps. So that's pretty good right there. That was a good start. So Peps has. Right there, I mean, hybrid, Pulse Bomb, Echo Wall, Beat. In and he just gets Twisted Minds doesn't have anything, so don't be surprised to see Twisted Minds try to play an aggressive play. beat play here, and then it gets countered by Pep's Beat. But we'll see. Lead off with the Echo Wall. Okay, there's the Beat, and then one, two, three, and now Counter Beat if they need it. They may not even need it. There it is. There's the Counter Beat. They waited it extra, so what they do is, if you can survive their initial Beat play, you just use it as, like, almost an aggressive play after, but to be honest with you, Twisted Minds disengage was so good that they may not even be able to... Like, they haven't even given up the point yet. Quartz is just hitting shots right now, too. Like, yep. See, I recognize that Doomfist gameplay when I play Doom. The one where it looks like you're doing something, but you don't do anything. You know what I mean? I'm a bit surprised there, Mitch, because Twisted Minds, right? I think Peps gets what they want early. Like, they force out that sound barrier. Yeah, but the, but the, the Twisted Minds comp is like... And you I think, and I say I think because I, I could be wrong, but I think it's the new comp to, to prevent Doom comps. So you just go Zarya, you play a defensive Zarya, you bubble your teammates that they dive, and then you win the team fight. So like, even though Pep's got the early pick and like a slight advantage, Twisted Minds is happy with the way that they're staying on that comp because they want to play against that. From FD God, where it probably should have made uh, a reasonable difference. Oh. I think Stelios there was really hoping to find some value with the pulse bomb. But his opportunity one opportunity where he was actually behind enemy lines and undetected. Yeah, it's funny. So which I'm listen, if we go into the tournament in September or not September, in um April and I get to play Zarya, that's fine. I have believe it or not, it's one of my most played heroes. Did Hex named it the Space Cowboy Comp? I mean I think I've heard that before. Too, which is cool. Punishing like how they want to play aggressively, Team Peps, like the composition that Twisted Minds is running, right? Like if you do not get these kills early. Like, you're gonna be able to outlast this Twisted Minds, and you think that that Zarya gets charged up and then starts, you know, you get a speed boost in there, and... Uh, the thing is, is, I don't even think the Zarya's gonna speed boost in too much, and the reason why you don't speed boost in too much is because exactly what you just saw. Zarya will take too much damage. I, I think it's more... You can play aggressive, but I think it's more of a defensive-based comp. Now, obviously, I want to see how they play it, but look what happened there. Do you see how aggressive that they got, and then they got rolled? That's the problem you run into, is that players are really good at focusing down a Zarya, so that's why you almost have to play defensive. Like, your, your, your comp is basically making Cassidy a tank. It almost feels like, right? Do I have any match later? No, we're doing co-streams. Also, you look at, like, Cassidy versus, like, a 76. I think here, you have the Cassidy, because you have that Cassidy's really good right now. It kind of takes all the movement offline for, you know, a character like a Doomfist or an Echo is... Uh, you be putting good pressure here on FD God. He's got him a few times now, but they're just kind of making it a little bit more costly on the mm -hmm. way in. It's going to be like Twisted Minds getting... No ult yet. Uh, Twisted Minds and Peps are about to have what we call a um, a Kiriko uh, ult. I don't know. That, that's what I went with. Kiriko ult. They're both going to be... I meant to say they're both going to be using Kiriko ult. Get ready. They're going to counter each other. There's one. There's two. <laughs> Wow, what, great analysis by me. They're going to go with what we call a Kiriko ultimate. That's why we're here, chat, bringing you all the really good information. I got you on that one. They're going to mirror their ults, which they did. Now, Peps has a slight advantage here on beat. So I'm really curious to see if Peps decides to hold uh, their beat as long as possible. I feel like it's so hard to track if the Lucio is going to get that ult charge. 
Kellex in terms of sound barrier. Right? Overwatch Red Zone, yep, that's where we're at right now. Bit, you know, kind of loose in how you decide to use this. Yeah, I feel like that's a couple of flats here where you Yeah, that's a good beat. That that saves the team. Kellex is still really far behind. I don't even think Peps has been able to track that. Unless they like really know the exact numbers. I don't think they even know Kellex doesn't have beat. Don't be surprised to see them try to dive Kellex now because they don't have beat. One of the strategies is you dive the Lucio. To try to force out the beat, but like if they don't have beat, then they're just gonna get him anyway, right? A double headshot there, taking out Stelios and Kronos. Here's the beat. Two of the hardest targets on Peps to bring down with hit scan damage. That is incredible. Tracer and Kiriko already removed. Not a close to an ult there. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, I can't really relate to that grab. I usually hit all my grabs. I don't think Chad's ever seen me miss a grab, so. Is Cassie even good in the metal ranks? I mean, probably. I mean, like, obviously it comes down to hitting your shots, but I think the most important part is Cassidy just has a lot of HP. And has a pretty powerful shot right now. So, obviously I play a lot of, like, games with Wanted. And, like, there'll be games where Wanted just hits all the shots. And I just sit there and go, yep, I'm a tank. You know? No, a little bit more sturdy, right? Like, you can kind of, like... I would say maybe not... Here go high five. But the Winston... You know, can kind of like uh, yeah, I, I actually think Twisted Minds just wins this team fight unless they really heck up. Look at the ults right now. I know Peps recognizes this too, and they just have to go in an all-in play. That's why they're going Winston. They're going all-in. Look at look at Twisted Minds. It, it, there's like on paper, there's zero chance they lose this team fight. Obviously, they could. Like it basically, it needs to be Peps making an unbelievable play. No, they're building. They're building Kiriko ult. That's what they're doing. If you're taking damage to build Kiriko ult, here it comes. That's why they're not doing anything. They're not engaging them yet because they need to build this. They're gonna. They're gonna grab whoever dives. Yeah, I mean, it's just. You know, Peps did exactly the best thing they could do. The other team already had most of their ultimates. Like Twisted Minds already had their ults. You just try to build up a Kitsune and hope that you win before they can react. But they reacted perfectly. And take the first map. I mean, that is so, a, uh, gr great first map by Twisted Minds. Just a great first round. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it, and I don't know if Team Peps will do this, but don't be surprised to see them make a slight swap. Um, is, is, is Team Peps the one that has, like, three tanks right now? Because Hyper's been tanking? Is it still, is it still Poco and Ven as the other tanks? With the good counter here from Twisted Minds may not be the answer. Uh, yeah, again, and there's also a question of just how far were you expect things to be able to go with? Because one thing that Team Peps does have going for them, like from a hero, like, from a, I mean, from a like a roster point of view, is they should be able to bring in a, another tank if they want to. I know Hybrid's not a tank, but Hybrid's playing the Doom tank, so technically considered a, a tank right now. Don't be surprised to see like. What's the next map? Cassidy What's the next map? Like a staple pick amongst teams, right? Like a lot of Kings Row. Playing, you know, I, don't like, be surprised to see them get off the Doom Kong. They've been playing some Tracer Echo stuff, right? Uh, oh, is it? Um, perfect. Oh, well, hope everything's going well with him. Ramatra, like not a lot of teams. At least, Th you know, this could could be a map for Poco, stuff, only because like they kind of Twisted Mind show the comp they're gonna play. That they saw with Team Pets. So they may not be able to run that Doom comp because that's the new counter to Doom comp. I'm not saying they can't make it work, and if they're comfortable with that in practice, then they'll do that, but. I want to. I don't be surprised to see a swap. Is the next map in the series. This seems to be that like course the, is really good. The home a lot of shots. field of every OWCS team at this point. Like, uh, no, don't even do the the hybrid, you know, map picks, right? Just just go to King's Row here for map number two. So, um, and Mishi, uh, thank you for the four team on that team. I think I appreciate it. Does Poco different. play Queen? I, I would say among blankies, among blankies. from a hero pool point of view. Like, if you watch my hero pool, I'd say Poco is probably very similar. Like the heroes that like he's very capable of playing. Um, so yeah, I would say I would say Poco can definitely play Queen. This is Group A. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more. Uh, Seraph, thanks for the six months. That'd be Thank you. I, I would say can definitely play... Um, Poco can definitely play... Um, Queen? I think it's like... it's Poco's like... If you if Poco's on Reinhardt or like Winston or... Um, like Doom. Kind of like... If you see me on any of those heroes, you go, oh damn. You said Poco's a very good diva? Yeah, but guess what? I was talking about this yesterday about Poco. Poco, believe it or not, before Poco was playing D.Va, was actually known as, um, like, an insane Zarya. Like, was just rolling the ladder as Zarya. And then can play Sigma, can play D.Va, can play a lot of these heroes. Maybe, so my point is, is that that's where you would see that hero pool. Um, so I, I think Poco plays a good amount of Queen, too. The Defiant later? Yeah, we're going to be watching all the matches today. First match starts at what? 5 o'clock? Oh, this is great timing then. The, the, the timings for matches today are perfect for us. I can't wait. This is good. The last match of the day is set for 8. Yeah, this is going to be great.
They, they just have to score too well, which is probably something that they have to fix that. Uh, stick bowl, thanks to the um, 18 most average friends. Thank you, appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. Like, like Poco has a very good hero pool. It's just when the hero pool is either you have to play Doom, Winston, or Reinhardt, or any of those heroes, that's where, like, um, like Poco wouldn't play those, just like I wouldn't play those, too, because it's just, like, it's it's just not our strongest heroes. But, like, Poco is a very good player and has a very deep hero pool. A lot of players, tank players, got known for, like, being really good at D.Va also, because D.Va became, like, a must-pick hero in most comps for a long time, up, up before, like, the double shield comp started to exist. Um, where, like, D.Va was just a go-to secondary off-tank that you would play, and, like, you had to get good at D.Va. Because if you didn't get good at D.Va, other teams would be able to run really good comps against you, and it became a struggle. So, um, like, a lot of players that you see... It's like, for example, um, another player who... who um, we were, uh, Chad was talking about Dante earlier. Dante was also known for, like, an unreal Zarya on ladder at the beginning of Overwatch. Like, you, you, you think of Dante's, like, really good DPS hero pool, like, dominant. But, like, before before that, I Dante was, like, Zarya. Just played a bunch of Zarya all the time. So there's a lot of players who have these hero pools you don't even know exist. Um, just because, like, you haven't seen them for a long time. Like, believe it or not, chat, I have, like... I don't even know if chat will believe this. I think I have close to like 1,500 to 2,000 hours on Zarya. Would you even think that when you watch the stream? Like, not because I, I, I play Zarya and you go, oh, I'm terrible at Zarya. It's just I don't play Zarya because I, I, I just not much opportunity. Yeah, I, ha I have that many hours on Zarya. Like, I, 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 like that hero, I have a ton of hours on. But I, I just like, that hero's been so out of meta a lot of the time. And, like, on ladder, that is, that, like, I haven't even had that opportunity to, like, play much Zarya. Now, what I'm excited about is if Overwatch, or if, um, we do play in, uh, when we play with Team Overwatch in April, if we have to play Zarya against Doom comps, that's going to be good for me, because then I can fit into that team comp. Oh, Poco isn't on the team? Oh, okay. I thought Poco was on the team as a sub. I swear Poco was. Very, very hard to beat. Uh, very resilient, and obviously with really high damage. It's a comp that really shuts down a lot of those airborne targets, like Naga, on that Echo. Yeah, right now you just start every composition with... Uh, Karina, yeah, I was going to say, Lucio, Poco's on the roster. Just, Maybe because uh, Poco hasn't played a match yet, it doesn't showcase that, that but yeah. Those two heroes in the support you said Ryan Bastion Brawl would roll Zarya comp then? Strong. Ryan Bastion yeah, won't work as well as like so you think it will, though, in like, a lot of the OWCS yeah, stuff. Like in ranked, I, I can see the argument there. Like, like Bastion is a, a viable option, but like most teams won't run that. Uh, it's me, Just Jay. Thanks for the four months. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks all the love, everybody. Appreciate it. I'm missing something. Sorry. Obviously, the... The, the Cassidy composition was tough to break down, and we saw a light mm -hmm. switch eventually to like a Reaper Winston set out from Team Peps. Is that the antidote to this? Because I think they went Reaper Winston, Winston because they wanted to just play fast with their Caracol. Well. I think that was it. I could be wrong, and maybe they run that again, but I think they ran that comp because they wanted to just go in and run a really fast Brawl comp against all 12 of the Ultimate Swiss and Mindset. You play like a decent amount of D.Va, right? But you're not going to, like, especially like with teams that play like the 76, but you're not going to play D.Va. Okay, they are sticking with the comp. Like, that would just be crazy, right? Uh, it looks like here... They are sticking with the Doom comp. Is it better to mirror Zarya in OWCS now? You know, I don't know. That's the thing is, like, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I, I, I think... I, I think what will happen is, is I don't think that... And... and, and I could be wrong and, you know, maybe players who are playing in matches or scrims might, might be able to answer this question. But I feel like their comp is good against a certain comp. And because they know they're running a Doomfist comp, the Zarya comp it makes sense. If another team is able to switch off that comp and go a different comp against that, then more than likely they'll switch off of Doom and play something else. So now you see them go the Winston comp. So the Winston comp is good against Zarya, right? Their dive target's going to be the Cassidy or bubble off the Zarya and get the Zarya. So this is why they run this comp. Um, and then if you look what happens is Twisted Minds immediately switches to D.Va. 
They, they do play the actually they might go Ramatra. The there it is. Yeah, I was gonna okay, say I saw the Diva fly away. Now we're gonna see a Ramatra switch up, which like Ramatra, I feel like. Do you see what uh, I'm saying though? You know, how I don't think like, it's Zarya like, most that is necessarily like the go-to like S tier meta. Right now, it's just if you know what team is gonna run the Doomfist comp, the Zarya comp is good for that, right? Uh, people all thanks for the two months of tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. You, you see where I'm going with that? Seems to slipped in mostly undetected while Twisted Minds are trying to bring that. Winston down. Crucially, though, your initiation really now has been diminished, losing that. Winston and FD God That's why, like, having that hero pool swap can be very important. Um, it's kind of like in the tournament. One thing that worked well for our team is that, like, like Queen was meta, but if they needed me to switch to D.Va, I ain't going to complain. If they need me to go Zarya, I ain't going to complain. If I need to go Sigma, you know what I mean? So when you have those hero pools, you can play around those comps. And when one thing that Twisted Minds is definitely very comfortable with is the ability to switch off of whatever their comp is and play their strength of the comp. So imagine this. Twisted Minds loves playing the Ramatra comp, but they play the Zarya comp because of the Doom. And then Peps tries to counter that comp, and then they go, well, guess what? Now we get to go to the comp we've been comfortable with. And that's where, like, it can be tough to play against that, because your team is constantly trying to figure out ways to work with your comp. And then the other team's like, okay, now we're on our comfort pick. Thank you. It's actually an interesting team fight. FT God's about to have B, so he has to counter beat in, like, three seconds. There it is. Not really inclined to pulse midway through that, but now is a chance to finish the fight. A short-handed sound barrier. Good job, by Just getting a little ahead of themselves. Yeah, I, I think like FD God didn't want to use that. I, I, at that point, it's like an okay trade. Like you know, you get beat out. So I guess that's pretty good, right? Supernova, thanks for the seven months. Savage Prime, thank you, appreciate it. Like, are you? Do you feel like they fixed the graphics? Yeah, they'll do good with that. Lose the fight, right? Like. Because now Twisted Minds comes back. You have this Ramatra Ryan Zarya days. Yo, yeah, Flatside didn't get to play too much Ryan Zarya in Overwatch in One. With the Moira. Like that's why we met playing Ryan Zarya on ladder. No but like that. It, that 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 shifted really quickly yeah, to where like that was not a viable comp anymore for a long time. It could be a hybrid's calling for it because he's very low and is worried how the fight breaks down in the first few seconds of the engagement. Got, got to go in with a pulse bomb here. I, I don't know who to pulse bomb. Probably the. KSA pop the annihilation. I've seen people pop the pulse bomb on the Ramatra, but I feel like the Ramatra is getting. Like, not having the beat for this or any it doesn't seem to go as well as anymore as it used to. You're in big trouble. I mean, yeah, you can't do anything about that. I mean, this is why. Remember how I was saying, like, you were gonna wish you had that barrier back. One hundred percent. They were talking about that beat that was used earlier. Like, it, it, to that's why I was kind of saying it's actually pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult to be like, oh, that was a bad beat on Twisted Mind's side because. Peps was forced to counter beat, and then they go come back with their Ramatra ultimate, which is nothing you can do unless you just roll one of them right away, right? And a lot of these teams aren't going to give you that early pick. I know we didn't cast. We, we played well in the um, qualifiers. We'll be going again in um, April for that, so I'm excited. Is able to make it out alive. Three minutes and 47 seconds on the clock, so not a trifling amount for the Twisted Minds. They've been pretty speedy getting across this map. And in this next fight, we will have sound barriers matched here. FD God... Really hoping to get that timing down, especially to shut down a Death Blossom. Here's the call from Slade. If you don't take an early fight here for Pepsi, you uh -oh. get a ton of uh -oh. progress, and now put yourself in like Actually, a one fight territory. But I would say they're going to hold their ults, yeah. Huge. One, one thing that is really important when you play Overwatch, by the way, and this goes for ranked or pro play, you need to also understand when it's time to just go reset rather than waste your time. Right, you ever had those like team fights that last for like a minute and you just don't win them? And like you like you're like throwing ultimates back and forth and you keep taking these like long like team fights? It's why players get really frustrated when like there's a lot of staggering happening. Because as players you want to go in constantly try to do something that will be to be quite frank, like you constantly want to try to win the team fight, but sometimes it's a team fight's over and you just need to reset. Oh wait, notice how they went Doom and now they're back on the Zari comp again? This is what I mean, is like, the Doom comp I, is not... People aren't quite fully countering it, but we're definitely seeing a, a shift. So the reason why they're diving the Lucio is because they think Lucio has beat and they're trying to force beat out. Um, if you notice how their whole team committed to him there. Kellex did a really good job of getting out there. The whole the whole idea was dive the Lucio to get beat out, and it's actually not a bad play. When when you're when you feel like you're down in ultimates, that's the play you have to make. Twisted Minds reacted really well to it, so yeah. How the volume levels, by the way, Chad? Are they good? Oh, so close to the ult! 
Jedi from Quartz tucked in there on that right hand side. Kellex now trying to force Stelios. Seems good, okay. Has to be very careful, and Quartz will finish the job there. Some store with a tracer. Never Quartz has been playing very, very well. Again, by that hindrance, forced to stand like, even though you're seeing a couple missed shots right there, like, I feel like Quartz is always lighting up the kill feed. Am I wrong? Yeah, and the biggest play during that uh, was actually like, so Pebs gets some early damage down onto Kellex, and Kellex is the sound barrier, and they kind of expectations like about the small ball really rework. Nice from KSA I, I don't know what to expect off. actually. I actually have zero expectations in the sense like I don't know what to expect. Deep, and they they've committed so much to try and get that kill on a Kellex. Oh wait, check. I'm gonna be honest with you. While we're just sitting here watching matches. How cool is it? Basically, like that. Finally, after. What is it? Just take out like six players. years of uh, so not right? being able to watch matches with chat, we can officially watch a casted match with chat on Twitch. Heck, I can even upload these casts to YouTube if I wanted to. Like, like how cool is that? Where you're finally back to being able to do things like this? Something that Overwatch has needed for years. It just feels so good to be able to do this now. But it's KSA with the Zarya like now that we have the official also, cast and we're watching it, like it's starting to settle in. That like we get the co-stream Overwatch now. It's pretty pretty cool. Exactly, Gavin. It's like it feels good to have it again. It's been so long, and I, I don't know if chat like pays attention to like other scenes with that stuff, but like like Valorant, CS, Apex. I think League might even do it now. Have been doing co-streams and like allowing this, and it's been such a, like a really good. Good success out of the gates here. that Not people love it and you see the growth of that too in like in like in games like apex yeah well apex has a lot of stuff there dabby to, to what you're saying because apex has that like wet website that somebody made or has where you can put all the streams together there right and then at lands they also do the the, the voice comms um but i think apex is also a little bit different than over than overwatch has it like I don't, I don't think they could ever set it up that way without requiring everybody to have their stuff live you know what i'm saying uh, and FT got falls early, so but I agree. Like, is 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 it Nice Wig that does like? Uh, and Nice Wig's awesome. I I remember when I I, I met him a, a few years ago when we were doing something. Uh, super nice, and I'm glad to see his success over in Apex too. He's been he's been killing it. He'll he'll like even do watch parties of scrims. Like he will play Apex. They'll have scrims at like six o'clock. He'll do watch parties of scrims, which is awesome. Shock factor, but when that expires, so do they. Yeah, and Quartz back over to the Cassidy. Right, so. It can play a little bit more in that mid range uh, as opposed to the Sojourn. Yeah, he's always been super nice. I, 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 I last time I had talked to him, he's like, Yeah, if you ever, you know, ever playing Apex, let him know and all that. So he, he was, he's super nice. I mean, I'm glad to see his success. Is he still streaming for 100 Thieves, too? Which, I mean, 100 Thieves is obviously a great org, so. Good for him. But point is, I'm just happy that, like, we get to co stream and watch matches and do all this now because we never got to be able to do this. So it's, it's really cool to be able to do that. Yeah, just a safer bet. Because all you're doing is the Sojourn. Oh, she's all regions too? Heck yeah. Power block of a doom fist player, right? By trying to charge your rail guard. Uh, Crichton, thanks for the 40 months. Swedish friend, thank you. I think in Valorant, you've seen a lot of Tarek doing that. Um, obviously in CS, I'm good, good friends with Eric. Flom. So Flom has been, uh, that does those a lot. So I'm just happy to be able to do this. I've always wanted the co stream matches and talk about this stuff because, like, yeah, I play, you know, 30 games of ranked a day, but, like, I've also enjoyed this part of the game, too. Also, gotta give credit here to Twisted Minds. They were playing very, very well. And they have a good set plan. The problem that Peps is running into is that, like, it's not that Twisted Minds has the Doomfist comp solved. They're just comfortable against it. So because, like, Peps isn't really able to switch off to a comp that they are comfortable with, it, it just, it just, Twisted Minds is like, okay, they're running the comp that we want to play against? This is fine with me. So. Not a lot of time for Peps to work with no ticks. I can't look for either. What are you supposed yeah. to do here? Yeah, like, like he doesn't even he doesn't even use any of his abilities. Can I boost the caster volume a bit? Can I get confirmation on where the sounds are from all of chat? Only reason why I say that is because there comes this point where people keep telling me to switch the sounds back and forth, and I can never get it right. From my point of view, right now, I can commentate well without having the voices go over me too much. Um, in the sense that like it becomes almost jambled, or or I don't even know if that's a word. So I want it to be a, a little bit lower. A little bit louder? Okay. What are we at right now? Alright, tell me how 30% is. Tell me how that is. That better? Okay, perfect. That's why I just want to make sure. I want, like, basically, I need a large sample size on that because 
I'll have people come in and be like, oh, your volume's low, can you turn it up? And then I turn it up and people are like, wow, that's too loud. So I, I, I have to have a, a much larger sample size on that. Just so I know. Like my favorite is? I, I just like watching the matches. Just trying to take him down as, uh, you lose Cronus here towards the end. Uh, Sounds good now? Perfect. Spawn camp going on right now. A 30 seconds I mean, here for I'm even happy that, like, play. also, so Twisted Minds is just rolling table, right now. Uh, going up I'm also really happy that they're gonna within, they're gonna within the matter of hours, they went from telling players they couldn't stream their POV, and then after they saw the feedback from people being like, why? They let people stream on their POV. Love to see it. Um, Angel, thanks for the nine months of doing the appreciate. I did. This is just Twisted Minds, Twisted Minds playing extremely well. Like I, I, I don't even know where to go at from like an analytical point of view with this. Like Twisted Minds knows how they want to play. Peps is kind of playing this one team comp that Twisted Minds wants to play against. So unless Peps is going to switch it up a little bit, that's yeah, a little bit tough. On the esports channel, there is up here. Quartz looks like he was knocked out briefly by Hyper, but here is that annihilation. And once again, Matt, like... Yeah, it's good to see. I mean, like I said, this match has just been a stomp, so... Ultimate. You are at an extreme disadvantage. Quartz has so much room to breathe Nice here. beat. Stelios has another recall forced out, and Kellex with the perfectly timed sound barrier. One that FD God, might I add, does not have available to win. I, I think the only strat... Here's my take, and I... And I, 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 I with an absolutely dominant show if you're looking at this right now, yeah, I mean, oh, so your volume's like blasting. That's fair. That's fair. I get that. Kind of like looking past at this point, I think you're kind of crazy, right? As uh, Peps, you look at this roster. Here's kind of my take. I feel like what's happening right now is is they need to just basically go in all in strat and see if they can dive like quartz essentially the Cassidy because we've when we had the issue against Cassidy or like um or like Ash you just have to all in that and make them have to swap. The problem is it's easier said than done, right? It's easier said than done. For like twisted minds, but to do it against this type of competition. Definitely shows that they're they're yep. a serious contender in EMEA. I want to point out the team Peps also are largely likely to come out of this group uh, as part of the top eight. They are a very yeah, good team and they've had a, a great start. Yeah, out of the top eight, yeah, yeah, I can see like that. But you see how desperately they're trying to set up positive uh, sort of compositional matchups for themselves. And when you're attacking on King's Row, when you're so close to the spawn, you can do that. We saw a lot of switching from hybrid, right? Uh, you know, between different. Did Uber's shirt is awesome? To play oh yeah, it, 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 you know what? Uber's shirt so will also always be awesome. In a weaker spot, but that is why good to see Matt and Uber. Really good to see, good to see both right? of them very casting again. I know there was a lot of, of tank, basically every tank you could imagine there. A lot of like of not knowing who the casters like were going to be, etc. So it's really cool to see they were able to bring them back because the switch off the I, they're just such good yeah, casters. And, uh, you know, it, it is twisted minds of two uh, And I love seeing them both do well and, and have success, etc. I've been friends with them for so long now. It's it's crazy to think about. And I think Crazy it's also about. like a composition they're running. It's like very. But I think the Overwatch like, uh, will ban ad adopt the hero ban system once they have enough characters. They aggressive. They want to play with like a doom. All I have that is a good question. Like, I don't know. And probably not. I, I think there. I, I, I imagine there's probably like discussion about that. And we even because, even I think like, when we had in, when we talked when engage, right? it was like, talked about before they they talked about how internally they test that stuff. But I think one thing people really like about Overwatch is the ability to play whatever hero you really enjoy. And they'd have to have a deeper system to like. Not being able to see people's in, like names before you know, they would need a like straight up a better like in terms of a like better mode to so you don't know like let's say that you know you're going up against a like a Cassidy only like player every time because you load in and you know that information just because you know who they are. Uh, Those become a little bit more difficult on pick band. So there's like a whole yeah, system they'd have to do. I don't think they'll do it. Uh, Keep in mind, me saying I don't next. think they will do it is me saying um, that they won't do it. You know, maybe, it's just I don't think they will. You know what I'm saying? stand there at the beginning right? i still think there's a lot more heroes to be involved there i know it's a pretty hot topic on that one i i just i don't, I don't have a definitive answer just kind of like wait but my 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 assumption on this is they probably have looked into that tried stuff whether or not they'll do that i couldn't tell you there's on the flip side of things a way higher chance i couldn't tell you can punish this right if you want to play aggressive and with these long sight then maybe after 40 or 45 heroes much room to back up and run away absolutely is adventure hero number 40 right now is such that it's just new queen street in there and perhaps have just decided that they don't want to play that so coliseo is going to be locked in for our third map is venture hero 40 Twisted Minds could have it all tied up here. I was going to say, uh, did, you, did you know that? Guarantee their advancement here. Venture, who's out next month, the, the new DPS, is, is hero number 40. So. Uh, group stages here. This is group A. Twisted yeah, can you believe that? The front foot. Overwatch has 40 heroes about to be. Yeah. 
So by the end of the year, there'll be 42 heroes in Overwatch with the new support and then tank. After Venture. Yep. Can you believe that? You said I'm a dork? Do some push-ups, dork. do some push-ups you dare me you know what the best part about this chat is chat knows like what like that we've been on that like workout routine for like three months now of strength training so i i, I it's like i just love that you call me a dork that's a I, I i i still love that one don't you dare call me a nerd if you call me a nerd i'm gonna be so mad let me tell you you just realize you're gonna turn 40 when you when we add a when you add a 40th hero like the exact day, Gavin? First of all, happy early birthday. I'll remember that or try to for the release, but heck yeah. Just very close. Well, there you go. You get to celebrate your, your 40th birthday with the release of the 40th hero of Overwatch. Did everyone... Are we dorking it up today? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, well, actually, believe it or not, in May, Overwatch has essentially been out for eight years. Not including the beta. Can you believe that? We've been playing this game for eight years. How's the strength training? Good. I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, definitely starting to see more of the results now. Uh, especially with like when I do like my weigh-ins and stuff. Like it's definitely starting to show. Diet's been clean now. Um, I've added the the walking on the treadmill during recording some videos, which has been super nice. I'm happy with that, so... What are the different stages for? To qualify for the DreamHack event eventually. Which will be um, end of May uh, into early June is going to be DreamHack Dallas, where they're going to have uh, Overwatch land there from different regions. I think there's three from NA and then two from other regions, if I'm correct. I could be wrong. And welcome back, everybody, to your EMEA group. Suravasa. So I wonder what it is about Suravasa they want to run here. advancement here. A win in this game would be a big deal for them, arguably solidifying them as the number one team to come out of this GSL group. That's right, we have GSL groups into... I love that video of Arnie on What a Swell Cat, by the way. On here. So plenty of opportunities for teams that stumble, Peps... Because he has, like, shaky tail when he gets excited. Series. First map had yeah. some competitiveness. King's Row was not competitive in the slightest. Like you'll see what I'm talking about. He has a shaky tail. To a very straightforward composition. This is excited tail. He gets so excited when he sees. From twisted minds. And they Will they have OWCS at DreamHack Sweden? Yes, like DreamHack Sweden is the second LAN event. Of, uh, um, Rube, right? so I might go to that one. one and zero in the group. Am I not? Uh, How long is the flight from here to Sweden? To I don't even know. So I love the excited tail. I know. Arnie. Arnie's the first cat that we have that does that. Like Luna and Sully get excited, but like in different ways. But Arnie has the shaky tail. Uh, like his tail just gets really shaky. It's uh, so cool. Into the double elimination bracket. So, uh, looking at things across the board for uh, both teams, no substitutions on either side. Uh, okay. Don't expect a. Uh, don't expect any. I think I think uh, Pep's is just very comfortable with their now, comp, and then like what rather what than than shift step up, shift stuff up. How will they're comfortable that you know with their uh, with their team that they do, the or the team that they have, and that they they want to stick to this comp. And hey, we'll see if it works. We'll see if it doesn't. At the start. So. Talking a little bit about it, though. Uh, yeah, they haven't eaten, unfortunately. Okay here instead of the Cassie, Maybe in the future they, they'll do that, but right? like you're not gonna be I wouldn't complain to, if they did. Cassie excels in those like medium to short range, which you can force a lot of these fights. But you see this sight line here, which you're going to be fighting over pretty much uh, most of the game. Like, this is a great sight line for the soldier. 
Did Arnie such a good name? Yeah, he, when we adopted him, his name was Arnold. And we were thinking about changing it, and then we were like, you know what? I just feel like the name Arnold fits Arnie. So then that, so that we, we call him Arnie. Court's going to be trying to get around hybrid as much as possible here or find windows where hybrid's not doing that. The next stage will be the new patch. Do I think it will affect them? It depends what the patch is, right? We don't know. If it's a major shift in the meta, yeah. I mean, sometimes meta shifts will make teams go from being like, you know, top three to, you know, top five just because like a, of a meta shift. A lot of really good teams will pretty much stay in that range. But yeah, I mean, there's a chance that that could happen to some teams, right? There's a chance that our team could get worse or we get better just because of like, you know, what if D.Va becomes the go-to meta tank, right? Maybe that will go better for us because uh, I can run that comp and be you know super comfortable on it. Just kind of like track or should I walk on my cats? Is, right? like UB, whether it's can I can like I can I increase the con? I, I can't do that. Uh, firewall. I don't have in, access right? to that stuff. This is from their uh, cast. The contrast. Really nice I'm sorry. Job just stopping. Team Pep's getting really When's the next update coming out? The one with Ana Ana grenade buffs? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday of next week. Which obviously will be streaming Thunder in the midseason patch. I'm excited. Force some of these defensive cooldowns if possible. Quartz eventually parts with the power slide. Stelios in the meantime trying to keep UB quiet here. Right. To, to pulse him. Well, Pretty good start for Twisted Minds again. And, and I mean, it's just like. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Wait, 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 wait. Get the, get the early pick? Oh, the 1v1? No. Nope. I was gonna say I, I was really liking what we saw there from Twisted Minds because yep. Peps, right? You get control over that bot, like you have the high ground, and Reaper, Reaper's kind of like um, to kind of keep pushing them back. Good in the right team comp. Yeah. Where Twisted Minds, they don't want. But have an OWL. This is what it is now. It's it's this, this is the ground, right? it's they kind of everything now. That's why we're able to watch this stuff, co-stream it. The to back hey, yeah, I think right now, like it, the rail gun shot there takes out Naga. I, I want to see what the alts are looking like for Team Peps because I feel like Peps have to over alt so much just to be able to win a team fight, and then they fall behind. At all. So it's good to see that they were able to actually get away with. That's about as good as it gets for what you can get. So look at Team Peps here. They actually kept three ultimates, and Twisted Minds used four ultimates. Well, three ultimates. So they actually have a bit of an alt advantage now. Over towards the Cassidy, we have a Baptiste switch. So the, uh, this is where they can start to take a it's little bit of map control back. So They're probably going to lead in with uh, the Echo. To keep, uh, you know, the Cassidy See the Echo set up for a flank? Uh, same with the regenerative burst in case they get quite low. Oh, they uh, seize the map. could just be because you want to keep running this Ramatra because you're close to the Annihilation and maybe we see a change after. Is uh, Or it's kept alive there with that Immortality Field. I am going to get a duplicate there in midair, but this is just taking too long. Echo has to get the job done. I was going to say, remember how I said, like, the Echo playstyle now is you have to go into the back line and get those shots done right away? That's kind of what happens there if you don't have that happen. Although that was also a really good play, like, just with the Ramatra shield up. But I, I think that's just, like, both teams are going to be at a stalemate. Yeah. Yes, uh, looks like there. It's just FD God. Uh, now you have Hybrid back in the fight here. Is it doesn't look like KSA wants to give up mm -hmm. any more of this bot progress. That was a really good shield, I agree. Stand there, take space. So if they Wait. dive in, you have this annihilation to use. Okay, sorry. It, it, it's just, it, like, it, to make things, to give you an idea, Chad, of how things work and push, too, the worst thing you want to do is trade, right? So, like, a trade would be you go in, you trade a limbs, it's a 2v2. You want to win these fights very cleanly for the most part. At the very at the very least, only lose one. So even though Team Peps went in there and, and technically won that team fight, it wasn't a one team fight because it ended up just being a 1v1, and then you just sit there and then, you know, the way that the way that Twisted Minds is going to play this is that they, they know they have a lead. They know they have the lead, so they don't necessarily have to do anything. They, they might. They might play aggressive once they get beat here, or they might, like, lead off of the window, but they can't do anything. So they're just like, all right. All right, Team Peps, you make the move. What are you going to do? And if you don't make a move, then what happens? Can't do anything. If you pulse bomb somebody in the woods and no one's there to see it, there's an immortality field. Did you pulse bomb anybody at all? You see what I mean? And then there you go. Twisted Minds plays defensive. They just wait for them to do something. And now they get the bot. See? Because Peps is like, well, what if we just stand here? They're going to just have alts. What do we do? And there you go. Uh oh. That Doom's going back to spawn real quick. If Peps can't get the job done quickly, which is to use, to do actually use beat. Setup, it's going to be brutal. Here's the annihilation oh, okay. here. Dead eye was questionable there from Quartz. It definitely was a dead eye. I think, I think the vision of the dead eye there is to get the damage reduction when you high noon and hope that you survive during it. It just doesn't happen. See you later.
Yeah, and that was a, like they uh, they got hybrid low, and I think they kind of rushed everybody in. See you there. later. Uh, but that that's better than most of your dead eyes. Well, I mean, you got to build a dead eye first, right? So that's probably the first step. You know, off in that close quarter room. That's the first step. Happen so. Uh, Twisted Minds switch over to the Zarya. They will st keep the Baptiste in play, though. Uh, this is the comp that Twisted Minds want to play. What? They're saying they're... Chat, they're saying that, they they're saying that they're, their high noons are... That's a better high noon than theirs. Again, what else would there be? High noon-wise, that, that, that outside of not building the high noon. Okay. do prevail in some of those high-intensity situations. Power block for hybrid doesn't get a lot of value when you just get it. Yeah, you see hybrid on doom right there. That punch, that's me on doom. And this is dangerous. Already a checkpoint for twisted minds. That's right? me. That up earlier on now, so they will extend that lead even further. And we'll be starting to play for this bridge. And it's brutal because like you're forcing peps. Like they're gonna yep. have to use some of these ultimates to even just kind of like get out of spawn, make any progress whatsoever. I'm it's sorry. Really what a shot. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Because you keep playing the echo into the Cassidy, but that's just tough. I yeah. I mean, because the reason why they're playing the team comps that they're playing is because they're just comfortable on this comp. It can be it can be difficult sometimes to make those swaps when you're so well practiced on a comp too. Because I know some people. Oh, nice stick by Stelios. I will say Stelios has played very well in general. Like yesterday's matches uh, too. Then what rank roughly is this? I would say every single player here is champion. And they may not be champion right now because of the grind of champion, but these are all top top players. Like these are like best of the best you'll see. It's enough to get a fight win though, right? Uh, so that's the best you'll see even further behind now you're like well practice a lot of like been rank one top 10 players uh, been in you know overwatch league a, a lot of players you're, you're seeing a couple new players like i think if i'm correct stelios is fairly new but if you invest all that into if i'm correct at halfway of the map i mean you're absolutely screwed oh my gosh thank you yeah, this is what we do with co streams. It's a good time. We have a we have a fun stream team for it that um we play matches sometime soon. What what do you do when that happens? Like when you have when you have quartz hitting those shots like that, like what what do you even do? Filthy stuff is uh like there's just nothing you can do at that point you can play everything well there but if they survive the initial play if they survive like a katsune play like what do you do at that point you just go wow that's why i think like if they look back at some of like the vod and like review stuff because they obviously will with like the coaches and things it's like they're probably going to notice that this is where they're losing most of their team points right quartz stays in the back using your here I mean, and doesn't get as much pressure on them. They use the bubble, which is what we were talking about earlier, where, like, the whole strat is designed around just bubbling the cast and then playing safe as Zarya when need be. And they try to dive them, they get bubbled, runs away. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. So what's going to happen here? They're going to have a bit of a stalemate again in the middle. Peps needs to recognize this really quick and just go for play. Don't let them like. I don't know what the like the how you would explain it. Don't let them just get set up on the middle there. They want to push the bot there. Okay, they're doing it. Now the stalemate part happens. Twisted Minds doesn't have to do anything. They can sit here AFK until until Team Peps makes a play. Peps is gonna realize that and they're gonna go for something because look at this. There's no point. They just sit here. Just sit there. They have no reason to. Yep. They, they have to know the Graviton Surge is on the oh, I love that. For and there's the early pick by Quartz. Oh, I mean, you just have Quartz I, what do you do? Angle, right? It's like really difficult to do anything. It's not just Quartz, it's also Kellex speed boosting him to chase after mm -hmm. Stelios. I think he must have used his... Yeah, what do you do? Was short on Blinks. And there's like a whole goon squad on the right-hand side there uh, of that pathway. They chase down the Tracer. Again, huh, Mag Grenade is so messed up. You said is that a design so flaw and push? No, because let me give you an example. Cassidy? You ready? Okay. If you're playing Dorado and you want to hold second point, you have the option to push into their spawn doors, right? Window grab, they do trade. So Peps does win that, but they're going to have to overalt. They're going to win that, but they have to overalt it. Like, when you play Dorado, do you push into their spawn? On second point, or do you play back and play map? Right? Not a design issue, it's just how you play the game with that stuff, right? You you, you play the map, you play angles, it happens in payload, it happens in in control, it happens in all that. So with push, that's the same thing. You said you just int in 24-7, actually? Oh, understandable, have a nice day. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, you, you've just been stuck here the entire time. If you're pets. Yeah, right? because they're like, they, like. Yeah, hybrid is done. There's no way he's getting away from that. He takes far too yeah. much damage too early, and this dead eye really just opens the space up. Oh, okay. Living dangerously is FD God is absolutely his MO. Great stick. I will say, from like for Team Peps, I I, I still do think Stelios has made some cool plays. Quartz has just been dominated. I mean, this is this was literally just Quartz running around and just like. What do you even do at that point when 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 that's what's happening, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Like when I saw the matches that we had today, I was like, this is gonna be like a like a banger. I thought this was gonna be like a really close game uh, between these two teams. And I knew Twisted yep. Minds was good. Uh, I thought I still think Team Peps. Is Anybody streaming POVs right minds. now, or is it one match at a time today, chat? This is just dominating. There. You know, Twisted Minds. I mean, uh, if there was any doubt about how good this team is or could be, right? I mean, that's got to be out the window now. I mean, they just look tremendous. Ah, uh, yeah, very impressive stuff from them. Now advancing, of course, to the main event here in Stage One, and. I think it was oh yeah, because they're gonna go to the top eight right now, right? We have, oh know, yeah, I forgot the group play matches are gonna be quick because it's Swiss like style, right? With, like, team Saudi right? So now, now it would be Team Peps will, will play whoever's one and one, and then the winner of that gets through groups, correct? Get to play the better so that's why it feels like there should be more group matches, but there isn't because it's Swiss style. In order to do that, despite the best efforts of Peps to get something that no hybrids are good too. Keep it in mind. Yeah, it felt like Team Peps. Oh, I agree. I, I agree with you on that one, uh, Grandma and uh, uh, Shazana. I agree. It, it's really good to see her back. It's awesome. It was quite unfortunate to see, just not working out for them. Twist of minds were. I think he is on a team. Um, Nova. I think he is. I'm making their comp work. Let's talk about a little more in depth on that. He's not a good doom. I mean, I, I've seen good plays out of him. Zero done on that echo. Thanks, of course. To the I've seen some good plays. So I mean, that's where I'm going from on that one. I'll let you answer that one, Mitch. Uh, I didn't catch that because I had, I had, I think so he's muted. I was muted in Discord. I was muted in stream. I don't think you, you answer that one real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you were reacting. Matt, I've got to give it to you. You were reacting as if. We were both yeah. reacting. I would never. Yeah, fair enough on what you're saying on that one. Like I said, you, you may even have more information on that stuff than I do. I was just like, I was like, oh, let me I know some really good stuff yesterday. I so well. I was like, am I the only one that can't hear Soi? He's like, hmm, yeah. I saw a bitch freaking out. I was like, I hope. Long story short, what I said. That hoodie looks really comfy. I agree. showed up with literally just one playbook. And they couldn't make their comp work. They didn't make the right switches there. Also, they just couldn't find an answer to the slow comp that we yeah. saw from the other side. Twist of Minds. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they rolled it slow. They were happy to take it slow. And Naga got zero done on the Echo. Um, did her team uh, qualify, Tom? I don't side. think what so. What else did I say? I think that sums up oh, yeah. my... Yeah, I, my I could be wrong. Quickly. If so, then yes. You were saying it the first time. <laughs> yeah, no, you really did. <laughs> You're so full of it, bro. That's wild. I mean, yeah, I think that like there are like ample opportunities to craft a composition that suits you a bit more. Up next is right? Especially on BSC attack, versus you can change. You can change your LRG. Point. You also know that like that's why KSA I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know what teams those are. What teams are those? He's gonna change the composition a lot. He wants something that's really very strong in general. Who's on those teams? Doesn't have you know overwhelming matchups against anything else, but it's just good you know against sort of any other main tank. But they had chances, like to, to put some pressure on this Cassidy. I think the dive. I feel like I must have right? missed their matches. You have to find a way to get on him, but uh, they, they weren't able to do so. And yeah, again, I think our team was have, about having a lot of fun too. So to the main event, they are by far. The and Super and OWCS win. I feel like that's just a, really a decision that Super would a, make. I don't think that's a lack of uh, skill. I think it's more if Super like wants to win. Super's probably comfortable to stream in too. This, right? That right? Can, like, run the Obviously, I think it would be fun to see Super on like a fun stream team for OWCS. But at the same time, like Super's been vibing. Super does a bit more variety now too. Like you know. A team that can figure what, whatever. it out. Oh. Like maybe it's like, hey, instead of Oh, us, okay. Uh, so this is the we kind of like get rid of the Lucio. The Kai like the, the, the Kai like Kevster team lines, right? versus okay, I see. So that's a that's a good matchup then. Like okay, thank you for that on, on the roster. So I'm not used to the new like roster names. Like I know like I know who SSG is now, right? We know who like Twisted Minds Rock. Like you know what I mean? Like roster, like some of them I don't, so and I mean so far they have not really been pushed neither in the Swiss nor new groups uh thus far, and they are now of course moving. Moving on to the main event. Did you and cave? You bought a PC. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. Chance to also qualify for the main event. There are Night, everybody. Hope you're all enjoying so the co-stream. Still up for grabs for them. Now we're gonna take a very quick break for now, and afterwards we will be back with Buo Spray Check and Left Right Good Night on the other side of this. Okay, now I know those teams now. Okay, most important thing here, chat. I want to see. Let's see how quickly they can get through each section. Okay? 
Let's see how quickly they can get through each second. So far, so good, though. Good first match. Feels good. I, I just want to say this one more time. I am so glad I can sit here and watch Overwatch Esports with chat. You have no idea. Also, chat, I, I definitely do plan on doing this consistently um, with co-stream. So if you really enjoy this, keep stopping by for them. We have a lot of fun, obviously. We talk about the game. We, we talk about a lot of the stuff. But, like, I will be co-streaming or playing and stuff more consistently. So I, I really do hope you enjoy and, and I have a lot of fun. We'll, we'll try to figure out bringing guests on stream and things like that. I need to put a little bit more time of, like, my the solo production time of things for me figure it out um, since it's such a new thing for me but like at the same time I really do enjoy it so it just it's just so cool to be able to watch this and hang out with chat and just talk stuff um as you know I was a huge fan of that during the world cup too so. mm hmm Oh, here's the matchups, by the way. And then um, ROC versus SC. And then we have Toronto versus... What team is that? LG versus... Oh, LG plays Citrus Nation? A surprise team from yesterday. And then TML. Oh, is that... Wait, is that Timeless versus M80? Ooh, we got matches today. Okay, we got, we got some good... Li okay. Rest of these matches should be really good. Uh, Wham, thanks to the Tier 1, actually... Toronto's been dominating, so there's a chance that the Toronto match might be a, like a quick 3-0, or it could be a close matchup, but Toronto's been dominating. But thank you, Wayne, for the Tier 1. Appreciate it. All right, the games have been good. They've been fun to watch, for sure. They've been absolutely fun to watch. ROC is the checkmate team? Ah, okay. Okay, that's going to be a good matchup then. Yeah, yeah. That, that's some good matches. Cool. Yeah, Citrus, Citrus Nation won that. Um, they beat, uh, was it Seekers team yesterday? Which I was, I, that was a surprise. Was that the team that beat us? The one that's playing Toronto? I don't know. It wasn't. I, I, I forgot some of the team names. The Rack Attack Group 4 game is on at the same time? I mean, I'm down to look at Rack Attack stream during that. I gotta say, I, I thought Rack played well yesterday. Am I wrong? Like, we got to watch Rack Attack and, like, some of that point of view for a while. I thought that, I thought that was really well done. Uh, Sanji, thanks for the free just prize. Thank you. Appreciate it. Like, I, I thought, like, uh, Rack was playing great. What did I think about Quartz there? I mean, Quartz dominated. Who's on Seeker's team? Um, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I forgot half the rosters. Uh, why, I can remember everybody in their roster. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, chat will let me know before I remember. I know it's Seeker. Oh, Mirror. Yeah, Mirror. Because Mirror was playing um, a really good Ramatra. Did Top Dragon. Um, they have a really good roster. Now, here's B... Oh, let me put the volume on. Sorry, chat. They got a lot going for them, guys. See this roster yeah, right here? We were watching Masa's point of view EMA, yesterday, uh, and... You know, Kebster and Kai, you look at that, like... Stall, this is, this is a good roster. Have, like, Good to see Crimzo playing. Been all, like, excited about that for hours. So, wait. Even now, Crimzo kind of, kind of like, plays back and forth I, with I Ghost. Never, is that correct? I never had a bad time watching Crimzo play. He's always been a fantastic... Is that correct? Player, so excited to see him continue his journey. Yeah, I mean, a lot of elements of, like, that SRP yeah, yeah. check team that we, we sort of got to see... Yeah, this roster's good. ...of last year. Keep in mind, this is also a very, very DPS like heavy like style of Overwatch right now. When you have uh, Kevster and Kai as your DPS line, <laughs> you know what I mean. Sort of leading as well. When you have Kevster and Kai, veteran of the game, you know, featured on some of the greatest teams of uh, that previous year of Overwatch. Got a really good head about him, and also uh, a filthy environmental. Kid. And I also, I also just realized that like they, like their their bench too, like has great roster. I was gonna say, I just saw their bench too. I'm like, look at this team, by the way, too, chat. Also, a really good team. They will be dealing with some ping issues. Also, a really good team. Players will be playing from the NA region. I mean, so Huffy is that a good excuse heading into this? Half these guys are like from the Illinois State University team. 
Oh, is this the team on high ping? Oh, wait a second. This is the team on high ping, right? It's pretty interesting. I mean, they all have to play from NA on high ping. Is that correct? So many of this team is playing from Europe. My own obviously looked really, really good. So they have really high ping. Towards the end of last year, we know admirable. Uh, Admiral, so yeah, yeah. So this is the team. Not getting brought on. This is the team that they're a part of a college team in, in, in uh, NA, and they all have to play on high ping because of the region rules. So like, even though they're in NA, they have to play from there. So. Young Aussie lad, definitely out there to do. So I'm just checking my phone for one second here. Any POV streams here? You know, playing for that Redbirds team. So fun roster here. Uh, and again, some some very powerful players. But I look, uh, I think it. Looking through yeah, their opponents, I'm thinking this could be a little bit rough. I'm a spray check, uh, looking hot to drop. Yeah, it could be a one-sided affair, but let's see, let's see. Uh, I have I have faith in every team until they prove me otherwise. I don't see anything yet. <laughs> so let's get this one on I the have road. Faith in uh, Sleepy like, Noodle, thanks to the 10 months of I appreciate and it. I, and then I lose faith. It's it's a good one. Your kitty TikTok it's channel has given me so much. Yeah, rewards so if you're on the esports channel, you do. Actually take a look at where we headed map-wise. I haven't seen any uh, as uh, all the rosters, Erica, so I'm not entirely sure. I can't believe. I just saw that now. Where do you want to see them take it? Maps Thanks for the 10 months, uh, Sleepy Noodle. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy the, 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 the TikTok, you know, which is... <laughs> you haven't been there yet. Sorry. So. Field. No. <laughs> that is um, not your home turf, my brother. No, I think... Um, I, look, I think everybody's pretty much, like, gonna try and play King's Row. Like, if there's one... Uh, you know, Call of Duty, it's like a like GAs, right? Like, I can totally see, like, you know, King's Row being in a majority of our series. I would probably say the other map would be, like, Blizzard World that teams would King's Row? Uh, go to for hybrid. I think Control chat? is really What just, team is Hydra and like, Sugar for you on? Um, M80. Like, I don't think M80. Of the my, am I excited for the next tournament? Oh, yeah. Change, like, vastly the composition. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Why like, is this like this? Run, right? um, Here we go. I probably think you'll I'm super lot, excited. Like, I, I, I chat, teams. loved watching the matches. I love yeah, playing in the matches. So, yeah, I definitely expect like more of that. See, you know, potentially a majority of series have those two maps in it. Uh, you know, Actually... Actually, no, you go ahead, Mitch. Actually, oh, I, was, I was just thinking. <laughs> I think like if we if we think that these tracer hit scan compositions are really powerful right now, like Kai and Kevster in that role, I don't really know how you could ask for anyone better. And the fact that your opponents are playing on some ping difficulties, like uh, that's going to be the uh, problem. Is that I ping issue? Don't have as much faith, I think. Uh, Is that issue? Yeah, so. yeah, right. Good night here. I've got to say it. I think Bubba spray check are, are filthy. Yeah, maybe they have to pull something, uh, you know, a bit more creative uh, out of their sleeves for this one. Uh, let's actually talk a little bit about the meta, uh, since we didn't get an opportunity to really discuss what we're going to see. Wait, you're, you just said you're happy now. Team Custa didn't make it to the groups this round? So many stacked uh, teams? Are you kidding me right uh, now? Uh, Why don't you want us in these matches? Far in your guys we would be getting dominated. It's going to be... Are you kidding me right now? Kariko Lucio, I think, in support. On a two-minute delay. Always going to be a, a really strong support combo. Uh, you know, I actually think we wouldn't. Moira, I think, are kind I of think like if we players, made it to groups, uh, we would probably be in a pretty good spot of like not winning, but I think like we can, you know, we can, we can Weaver, capture a first Percy, point. You know, probably not. You know, anytime. Soon. I'm not biased at all. I know. With the next update, there's a scenario that that happens. Uh, and then I think after that, it's a little, it's a little bit more open than I think in the past, where I think you'll see uh, Doom, Junker Queen, Ramatra. I think you know is like kind of the. If the high ping team wins, you'll give five subs. You're saying that I have to like cheer for the high ping team so I can get five gifted. Uh, All right, sounds good to me. We know we're cheering for. Let's go. Like, no matter what they do to the game, it always seems like. Tracer Tracer is just always what is this? This is OWCS. Yeah, so we're just watching <laughs> matches. Co stream. Tracer Genji. Tracer Sojourn, Tracer Echo. Oh, we're more Tracer, of a land team? You know, yeah, Sojourn, we just gotta... Cassidy, like any kind yeah, you're right. Team Custer, we're, no, we're known for being a land team. Unfortunately, we have to qualify for that. Any kind of combination so. of those seems to be uh, acceptable at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, and I think that she's so relied on by teams because... Yeah, I think we'll have the whole team show up at DreamHack Dallas and challenge them to show matches the whole time. We'll just we'll go up to the teams, we'll point at them and be like, you, me, go on the stage right now. We're going to the stage and we're going to be doing a show match. And they're going to be like, we can't do that. We're like, well, you know what? You didn't accept our challenge. You know you're going to lose to us. That's what it is, right? The most flexibility with, again, like the most, yeah, room for that individual skill to shine. Through. Am I going to Dallas? I don't know yet. No, we're not going to do a shoey match. Uh, Cyborg Gen, we would win that one. We have Custa. Cyborg Gen, thanks to the 11 months of the finish browser. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks to the 11 months. There's just like, you know, slot whatever else in that kind of like historically makes sense. And you're in a pretty decent spot. Like we, we even saw a lot of teams in the qualifiers play like Ash counts uh, because 
teams are mostly playing like rush on rush right and then the the dynamite like kick like gets yep. that passive like constantly so like you know, i i really think just you know have those three heroes in and then figure out whatever else is around it uh you know probably no reinhardt just stay away from reinhardt i would say i don't think anybody's playing Ryan at the moment and then otherwise you're at a pretty decent spot no, we don't play today, Croissant. We're not in this right set of on. groups and all that. Color. We have matches you again in April. We'll probably scrim beforehand. Yeah. Probably a tournament ready. beforehand, too. <laughs> like if we decide what? to play together. Although, like, I, mean, I, I still like the idea of doing the random, like, Friday stream team tournaments where we just, like, get four other people who want to play in those, whether they're pro players or streamers, and have a good time. There's definitely been some interest across the board for that, so we'll see. I know Hydran mentioned he wanted to do one of those, one of the days. So, like, his team isn't scrimming, we can, like, get, like, a, you know, pretty good roster for those. See how it goes. You know what I mean? I have to get a pressurized tank to stop receiving out my ears every now and then. Just the monkeys with the tambourines that just jam packed. I mean, it's a very, it's a very small monkey. You gonna see good old Ryan days? Uh, Doc, thank you for the gift of sub, thank you. Appreciate it. They're all, they're all in flowery shirts and they're all doing the tambourine. Yeah, but in a very, in the most small fashion possible. So, I'm, so, I will apologize for your beard. Uh, and you got your sub I don't really drink that much unless I do the shoey today for 420 I'm just, gifted. I'm just here for the ride. That's that's what uh you know I signed up for really. Um, oh, I don't know if I should do that. Quick Although I'm not streaming tomorrow. To give the gents here a little so maybe there's a there's an opportunity uh, there. Yeah, and we will be right back, hopefully, with our next match. And I'll be right back. Who do you have taken this series, chat? I I I'm leaning a little bit towards I'm leaning a little bit towards BSC. Um, mainly because their roster's stacked. LRG is good, but that ping difference might is just is it might be too hard to overcome on that one. Like I said, they're all playing from NA. Like I think their their lowest ping they might have is like 150. I would say. I mean, maybe 130. It actually depends where their college is located. Because I, I ping like 130 to like EU servers, 120. So if they're like more East Coast, then they'll probably have good ping. If they're more West Coast side, then they might even Central might might have a bit of issue there. So I don't know. I don't. I forgot what college they play from. Oh, is it Illinois? So yeah, they're probably. I want to say like a hundred and thirty ping. I'd say around a hundred and thirty ping. Yeah. So, around that, 120. Which, I mean, like, it, it, it's it's feasible, but, like, I, it just, it's, you also have to look at the team they're playing. Do the, you hope they start to ban people who are bad at the game? Well, you don't want your account to be banned, do you? Is this just the season nine trailer? Like, we need some filler. Oh, I got the season nine trailer. All right, let's put it up. I have to mute this at the end so I don't get DMCA'd. I will say, by the way, I did. I have liked season nine. This is I, it, it, this could be a hot take, but this has been by far like their best season, if not the best, one of the best. Uh, Liam, thanks for the 13 months of the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of Overwatch 2. 13 months. Hi, Among Hi, chat. You could argue that season one obviously was more hype at the time, but it also felt like some of that stuff was still a bit more like bare bones. Um, you get what I'm saying? Like, where it was still like very much in like the early phases of what they wanted to do with Overwatch 2. I feel like season nine was kind of that turning point. And if they can kind of continue on with how they've done season nine. Um, I am very happy to see where they go from here. Yeah, season three was pretty good too. Was that the, what was the Halloween season? Uh, Lumber Dan, thanks for the 18 months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Also, remember, I do stream Overwatch, so there's also a bit of a bias for me on that side of things. So, no, not not like the recent Halloween one, but the one before that. Yes, that's uh, fun. We are. This trailer was really well done too, by the way. I hope they continue to make trailers like this because I really feel like their trailers 
are really good. You know, hey, wait, is this out yet? Or is it, when is this out? I, I forgot about this already, and I was the one saying this was underrated. I'm looking forward to the tower defense. Keep moving forward. I know the DMC. I'm getting ready for it. Don't you worry. Unfortunately, I thought I have to pause the hype at the end of this. All right, here we go. Sorry, chat. Here it comes. Route 66. I just when anytime it pops up, I get the copyright thing on on YouTube, so I can't do it. I have to mute this part. This is where they were they were showcasing the Cowboy Bebop like uh, teaser at the end of the trailer. Okay, we're good. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to our. All right, we have a Samoa to start again. Here, okay. Uh, in our EMEA qualifiers, of course, for stage one of the OWCS. That's a mouthful. I'm back. So I, I do see a lot of discussion about Reinhardt in general. And I can go, I can talk about it a little bit. Like Reinhardt is a is a, a hero that they they want. I, I'm sure they want to buff. Like I don't think they look at Reinhardt. I don't think they look at Reinhardt and go. You know, that's a little bit of a curve. Hey, by the way, we, didn't cover all the we want to just never make Ryan awesome, good. Seems a bit the problem is, anytime they buff Ryan, especially in like, well, no, uh, in, in chat, we'll mention like metal <laughs> ranks, etc. Reinhardt will have like a 60 to 70% win rate. I mean, my numbers are made up right there, but usually it's a really high win rate. Um, and that's the problem that they run into is that Ryan, even with the slightest buff, becomes like dominant. So they run into that issue where it's like Ryan probably still has a fairly good win rate, maybe not as high as before, but like that's where the problem runs. Is likely going to be so. Plenty of time to chat here, Matt. We sort of covered what we. That's where it does. But now, already here. What if like let's say that you know again Colosseo coming up again. Not let's say that Reinhardt is the next Mythic skin, right? Match. Reinhardt's buffs are going to be unreal that season. So maybe we've got to hope for that. Where we got our team sort of through their first games here. So that means Twisted Minds already representing All right. part of that main event. So we're, we're cutting these teams down in size to have that. They don't team. actually do that, but imagine it's, it's a Ryan mythic. Bracket. Ryan's Top buffed on <laughs> from each of our four groups will advance to that event. Yeah, so uh, I mean, this is a huge match, right? Like, you never want to end up playing in that loser type scenario. Um, hopefully, this is closer than our first match that we saw. Uh, today, I ex I, definitely I hope so. Like Peps to probably like, still come out of Group uh, A, even with their kind of like poor performance. Uh, the first map. We don't know what the next myth is. I have no idea. Actually, so, uh, you can't. Hey, can't hey, Moira's better, better right now, chat. Uh, so, although real talk, the Moira so, uh, mythic is really cool. Uh, I will, I will say that. Select it. So uh, obviously, uh, no, we're gonna go to Nepal. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Digital kid. Yeah, thanks for, Thank you thanks for, that. for clearing that up there, Matthew. Nepal Honestly, Beans, we have no idea why it's there, but every <laughs> she's been having that. Maybe because there's drops coming yeah, soon for mid-season. The folks at home here. And again, I sort of talked about it in, in the pre-show. Maybe. Yeah, Moira's a, a very meta hero right now. Yeah. Uh, they're, so they're typing. That are based over in, uh, uh, the reason why they type P in the chat or like, can we P? That means they just want to pause the game already. because they need to pause. Unfortunately, no one's pausing it. So. They're getting another one. Chat. <laughs> yeah. So. What are my thoughts on Mauga? I mean, Mauga's okay this season. Like, not my not my go-to hero for sure, but not bad. Potentially that Ramatra. So, could see Ramatra kind of like rush. Why are they buffing Mauga when he has the highest tank win rate at all ranks? Is that an actual stat? Signs of what we'll see in this series, but is that a legitimate stat? Or is that just like there are a number of individuals on this left right and right team though that despite perhaps some ping issues that they're trying to overcome uh, are still. We just explained that beans. We have no idea. That's so what we were trying to tell you on that one. Yeah. For the uh, the Great Britain uh, team for the Overwatch World Cup. Course, Checked Kong. Overbuff. Keep in mind Overbuff. I don't know if Overbuff will have the best data for that because I don't think Overbuff tracks private profiles. He's really well known, obviously, uh, at Illinois State. Nor does it like I think you have to go on there for the track. For quite some time, I think sort of still is now. Uh, again, these are a number of players that, yeah, probably have like what north of 100 ping sort of playing here. I think Gala is uh, potentially. Do you despise more being good? Why is that? In Europe here, quite a mix between these guys. Yeah, so yeah no, what I'm saying is, is like ever since they made private profiles, Gary, it's been really hard to go off of that sometimes. I'm not saying that it's necessarily inaccurate at times. There probably is stuff there. But overall, um, players on this team, like from like. All over the place, right? Like contender. But overall, there there would be that issue. Like, like, like we don't know the direct direct uh, stats. Or really, from like all different parts of the globe as well, right? Uh, just so. kind of coming together. But uh, you could be very much right. To train. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I would like to see more of the stats in that uh, one too, Golem, for sure. Uh, uh, I don't disagree with that. Check. Yeah, I mean, bestowing I think the game probably has all the stats in the game. We just don't see it. Like, I, what's my map win rate? Tell me my map win rate. I, I legitimately want to know my map win rate. So I know exactly what map to consistently complain about for, for reworks, okay? If I have a 60% win rate on Havana, map's great. No complaints. Give me a 30% win rate on Havana, map needs a rework right now. Right? How am I supposed to be able to do that if I don't have the data? You know what I mean? To get here too. Yeah, they both won their game yesterday, so both of them sit at one and zero. All right. Uh, we'll get off to uh, a start here. Uh, All right, here we go. Let's see how this ball. goes. So, uh, it'll be Kevster on Tracer and then uh, Kai on the Sojourn. So they're running the Ash comp. We actually ran against this comp specifically before. Keep in mind, chat, uh, LRG is really good right now, but they're also on really high ping. So we'll see what happens. No, it's, it's great against the Ramatra compositions, right? It puts constant heal pressure down on like a Moira team where it's not always convenient nice dynamite. for Crimson to have to constantly top people up. He wants fast fights where he can just let a Biotic Orb go. He doesn't want to be slowly sort of, you know, death by a thousand cuts. Unfortunately, right now for LRG, though, they already lost the map control, so like, this is going to be a, um, like a free point take for BSC. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. It's just going to be, like, they, they lost the map control right away, and they just got stuck there. So like, they want to be able to kind of help here, but, like, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. On the eSports channel, there is that, man. If you stop by there, it's like OW underscore eSports, right? So, like, left, right, good night, right? They want to play these fights in a... Just you play on like 480 you ping in Overwatch? That's even, that's, that's even, dynamite. like, way different chip on that health, one. Chip health, chip health. You have the Moira on the other side, though, right? Like, Moira can kind of keep everybody topped up, uh, you know, rather effectively. Uh, Coalescence are already available there well, for Crimson. So it's annoying it for her, just, though, because she is yeah. using... Oh, yeah, there's some maps I would love to see reworks, too. After seeing Junkertown, maps I, would, I, maps I think would, would, would benefit from a slight rework. Especially with sight lines, Dorado a thousand percent, uh, Havana a thousand percent. Possibly, you could argue Circuit Royale. I think I, I, I've, I've mentioned that a few times. Those maps, I think, should be. There's probably some reworks those maps can do. You want to play around that like burst damage, right? Like because of the sight lines. Nambani, yeah, Nambani's probably a map also. And and, and listen, I love Nambani, but I know people have a huge complaint about first point Nambani. Like, I, and I like Nambani, so there's a bit of bias there, but I also understand the complaint about it where players struggle on first, especially. Um, so, good as gets here in terms of value and old economy. Pistola pressing into a corner, but it's gonna be able to snap back here now. Nice boop! And they're gonna get the point. Bob capture the point. Wait, this could actually be kind of huge for LRG because, like, like winning the team fight, great. Being able to get the point there to get it below eighty percent, that guarantees another retake opportunity. Unless they trade off the point again, like that means that LRG can actually get to the point one more time. If that got to like eighty-seven percent, that's one fight territory. So that's really cool to see. Same with Estola, but uh, Akbon, thanks for the, the tier one for six months in advance. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. That's really cool to see. Combination here uh, with a sound barrier, so left, right, and I should be able to hold on to the Sojourn all aggression in about four seconds. Once more here is uh, well, Kai. even sooner. That's scary stuff. Massa absolutely stone cold, refuses to use nice beat, barrier. but that Ramatra's in defense mode. They can't win that. There's too many else. It is, it, it, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. They are trading the point, but that's okay. Wait a second. The 1v1. Okay, that was actually a really good disengage. That was a really good disengage. What does BSC have coming up? Nothing. LRG has Kiriko They're going to build Kiriko and then go. They need to build Kiriko ult. They're going to be there start calling it. Like, you're going to say, take some damage, take some damage, and then go in. Good trade, though. Uh, four left, right, good night. So trying to just push them back a little bit. They'll get That's your point in time. You're fine. Of this, but the boost spray check getting to 99. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, someone needed the touch point. Okay, wow. They get the retake. Wait a second. LRG has Bob here. I actually think this might be down to last team fight. If BSC decides not to take a really, really early fight here, this is going to come down. To, I want to see. I think BSC recognizes this. They're going to be. They're going to take a quick fight. I could be wrong. I think they're going to play this aggro because they, 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 they know that. Eh, maybe they'll just play the long game because they have they have Ramatrol soon. 
gonna move up with the power block. I think he's just trying to build this annihilation. I got Bob so out. Kind of the stick! Because the Bob's behind him. Yeah, Bob contesting here, pressuring. But the boot by Masa. Oh no, that's gonna get him closer to beat too. They were gonna be really far away from beat, but now it's like. That's an environmental kill potential from Masa that I was mentioning earlier. You've lost such a high value target to such a cheeky play. Masa though doesn't get away with that one scot free though. They, they touch the point. Kevster with a huge pick onto the and then the ash. But they know they don't have they don't have recall. The beat! More is gonna be one. More is going down quick. They're gonna look for that more right away. He can try and set up for a call, but my moon chased him down. I made it impossible to use. Oh, but if has the alt point, no one can touch. Yeah, that that's a tough one. Keep in mind. Hey, just to give people an idea, because people might be like, oh, let's go! Let's go! Did, did you said that the ads running pop up? I'm sorry if the timing was like that, maybe because of the long pause. I'll, I'll try to get a better timing on that, I apologize. Usually I try to make sure it's in between games. Sometimes maybe because the, the I, I should have checked that, that's on me if it's going to be playing ads right now. Like, I just need to check the timing so that way it plays beforehand. I think it was because of the long break. Unless somebody randomly got an ad. I want to see Ramacha. That was a good first round. Very, very good round. Uh, Chad, can we get some ladies over? Duran with the five gifted. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the five gifted. For some love, Chad. Oh, you said at least five people now won't have uh, ads randomly? There you go. Heck yeah. Miracom, see him out of the gates. Miracom, yep. Yeah, as I now we get to see uh, Lethal on the Sojourn as opposed to. Uh... Kai has great positioning right now. Vistola's like, hey, low though, but Kai's positioning, like I. Great damage of Vistola there. I mean, there's nothing Crimson could do. I think he was actually. Oh, lethal, lethal found him. Okay, honestly, good start. I gotta say, I, I, even though like the high ping, I, I will say, um, uh, LRG's playing fairly well right now. Marcy gets picked up at relatively long range here. Left right could not have the luxury. The honor. And um, uh, Duran, thanks for another gift and stuff. Control. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good start, but actually, they're able to... BSC's actually able to get two limbs. They're going to trade the point. Yeah, they just have to leave the point, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you give up the point for... I mean, you can't trade two people out and then expect to hold it. I know. You get the kills from players that are split Damn. off a little bit, so you give up 8% to probably gain, you know... Uh, 20 or so here. Uh, four Buos hey, somebody said if LRG wins, we get five gifted, so. I want to see both teams play well. Uh, Knight? Thanks for the feature prize. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. They traded there. What are the, what, LRG is going to go out with more Elton in one second. There it is. So the reason why they're doing this play is they want to be able to lead out of the, the high ground. If they wait too long, eventually that's when you get spammed. The reason why Vistola's playing close is because Vistola wants to try to deny them that space and then backing up as Nemesis 4 backs away. So LRG's kind of happy with where their map control's at right now. The The problem they're going to run into is what is the counter ult going to be? They use beat to counter ult. Moss is going to be able to lead in with an ult now if need be, which does happen. Masa leads in with the ultimate. Oh, the stick! I was gonna say, even with an overclock, right? Just didn't see if they had fade or not, though. Is, I want to say this might be a bit of an overall by LRG. Here, but, man, you had a really Chad, can we get some blank shot for Duran with another 10 gifted? Early. Thank you, I appreciate I it. High ground control. That's what, 16 it's gifted? Thank you. Throw some love, Chad. Kai dies. It's a great pulse bomb stick from my own. I think it was on Masa. Yeah. Now, while it didn't eliminate him entirely, it took him very, very low. Well, I think the stick was on to the Moira, and then the Moira faded. But even that's like a huge play. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be fairly aggro here with Lethal. I, I think that they also recognize BSC overalted a little bit too, so they're probably gonna use Sojourn. I, I don't be surprised if BSC just runs away right away the moment they hear that sound. They're gonna hear the voice line. They're just gonna they're gonna either rush at him or disengage. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, that's a sick shot. Yeah. Okay. Try it out though. Vistola eventually gets what he wants. Yeah. Left right and I forced to play down towards the point, but Vistola. I think BSC takes this fight if they get more alt in time. Yeah, there it is. I I I just don't think they can. They, they're gonna try to like just disengage that, give them the point for free, and then retake. That's the smart play in that situation. They realize now they have more ult. Now, here it comes. Right now, after this pulse. There it is. Yo, you, so you see if the pulse bomb gets in a limb. If it doesn't get in a limb, you just lead it with your Moira ult. And they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna stack ults. They want to retake now because if they get the point, again, this gives them the opportunity to build ults even if they lose a team fight. So the trade-off here is that BSC is going to have beat against them, but they're also confident that they're going to be able to just counter their beat anyway. 
with Ramacher ultimate. So actually, the ult usage by LG has been pretty good here, and it's almost even now. Lethal's gonna be our, probably be able to build an ultimate a little bit quicker, especially if BSC doesn't win this team fight. So watch for Lethal's ult charge to actually pick up pretty quickly because you have a little bit of that like defensive advantage, um, especially on the cross with the AOE from, from them. Duran, thanks for another gift stuff. Thank you, appreciate it. so far for obvious reasons, but my is doing a great job of putting pressure on Massa constantly, being a loose end. Actually, Lethal's just low. I think I think um, Ariel is gonna have to go in here with L in like four seconds. It's gonna happen as they grind, like grind him down a point. Yeah, there's the B, there's the L. They're all in and on him for now. Yeah, it's honestly they might have had to even do that a little bit sooner. They might have been able to do that a little bit sooner, but like they lost the point now. Ariel's gotta go over to the Doom it's gonna come down to the pulse bomb. To be able to get in the fight with the team. It really comes down to this pulse bomb. If this pulse bomb gets in a land, they're in a good spot. If it doesn't, then it's gonna be tough. Next fight kicks off. Time is short, and you're right. They're verging on some. Yeah, they found lethal. Lethal got caught out there. Ariel can only look on as they've lost their sojourn. There's the pulse. Does get in the limb. The Doom on point though is gonna get rolled. The Stola has the L. Ariel though gets a steaming hole punched through his face by that call. The Stola, of course, with that annihilation. The ultimate timing. Wait. Bono spray check. And now my moan can only try and stall this out a little further. Vortex to slow style down. Coalescence looks good, but not when it's not on the point. Not when it's not. A you know, though, team. not a bad first map. I, I would say LRG played that very well. That wasn't a bad first map at all. Like, like they're not looking at that going. We got rolled. That came really down to just two team fights. That that was a. That was a 2-0 on, on, on control, in my opinion. That was also a two, like a, a, a two team fight game. If LRG wins two team fights, that's 2-0 for them. That's it. That was a great first map. Great first map to see right there. Both teams play that excellent. All right, Chaz, is it okay if I go make my next coffee very quickly while I wait for the next map? That sound good? No, I'm going anyway, so. Right back, Chad. Hit the follow button if you haven't. Uh, next match will be in like two minutes. I'm making my coffee. Good, if not better, on many occasions, especially on Village. Unfortunately, it takes a little bit more than that to, to sort of win out. And uh, despite the great pressure from my own constantly on towards Master and Lethal finding these great charged rail shots, they weren't able to come away with the win. But you kind of pointed it out going into the last fight there, Matt. It just happened that Bubbo's spray check was. About to verge on, you know, five or six ultimates. Annihilation it, was it was a massive one there just to let the Stola play more aggressive. I mean, yeah, you had like four ultimates there, uh, you know, and there, like you ha you also went into that fight with sound barrier versus no sound barrier on the other side, right? Like, uh, even though Ariel had the annihilation, you were able to just burst uh, burst him down pretty fast and then just move on to the point and hold on everything else after that. So. Uh, really competitive map number one excited for the rest of the series yeah you pointed it out blizzard world will be a popular one and so it has been selected in this series as well stick around here for our group b winners match map number two as bubbo spray check go to an early lead a good fight
All right, am I back in time? Wait, what did I miss? Uh, Ginger Ninja, thanks for the five months of the tier one, and thank you for the five gifted. Obviously, chat's been got the blankies in there, but get some blankies, chat. Thank you, appreciate it. And ha Honda Civic, thanks for the four months that. We're just friends, thank you, appreciate it. Did YouTube Premium? Yeah, a lot of people mention YouTube Premium, they like it. Same thing with Twitch Turbo. The Twitch Turbo have obviously been pretty cool for... Uh, thanks for being with us I have that now. Today. Folks at home, yes, already we've seen Group A send Twisted Minds to the main event, and now over in Group B, Bubba Spray check after a little bit of back and forth on the pool. Oh, so Ghost is in from Masa on map this map. What map in. is it? And of course, here's your lineup. With what map are they not running the Lucio comp? Now I'm curious. What did I miss? Here, which but thank you, Ginger Ninja. I appreciate it. Thank you. Double flex support approach. What did I miss? World, our second map of the series. Yeah, Blizzard World, uh, with some high ground, uh, interesting that you kind of like drop the Lucio potentially, but uh, maybe they want to play something that's a, a little bit slower, doesn't want to take advantage of that, like bringing in, uh, you know, maybe you play the Baptiste with like a Kuriko or something like we've seen. Take my phone uh, for a second some chance. Some teams do, but yeah, curious on what they decide to do. Devs and Kai again. Uh, Kind of as we speculate. It's Blizzard World, so yeah, yeah. This is a this is a tougher rush map, actually. Primarily for Kai, who honestly met his match up against Lethal. Uh, actually, Lethal left, right, good night. Yeah. Really yep. put on quite a display there in that first map. It went very, very close in the end, and as we kind of mentioned, it came down to ultimate economy at the end of the game, which still is a big part of winning and losing in competitive Overwatch. Blizzard World, though, for our second map was in the past a map where yeah we saw teams. Why do you think we're seeing Doom being played in the, the pros? Ground, we've uh, been seeing well, a lot of Cassari is the counter. So Cassari has kind of become that counter to that comp if you don't feel comfortable playing against it. Which I actually I love seeing that because if for some reason that ends up still being the meta, I'll be able to play Zari in that comp. So we have an actual. We ran into an issue where if we played against Doom teams, we struggled a little bit. So. Now that we have a secondary option as a team for Team Overwatch going into the next qualifiers, if that's the meta, we don't know how the midseason patch is going to be. Um, then we can we can make those swaps. Uh, the, the the reason why you go Life Weaver is so Widow goes for an early pick and then the Life Weaver pulls him back. Um, after I mean the Life Weaver um, gives them a pedal. That's it. It's just to get a pick. No, no way. Okay. Kai was just waiting in spawn for them to track what... Kai was sitting in spawn to wait to see what their team comp was. Um, you can see their team comp within 15 seconds, then you can make a hero swap. So Kai's just waiting. Seeing what he wants to play. That's it. Your traditional kind of like, quote-unquote, off tanks, right? So... Now, on paper, the Sigma comp is like okay here, but the problem is, is that they can get rushed on and take a lot of damage. I like Sigma on Blizzard World, but don't be surprised to see it not initially work unless they get a random Zenyatta pick. Okay, never mind. Or a Kiriko pick. That also helps. <laughs> That's a good start. You get a, you get a Kiriko, you're going to have a good start, I'd say. So not only do you get the support, you also get the DPS in their team. On point eight. And if you can't have your tracer like punish the yep. Zen, like you imagine this is going to be pretty long. Uh, Zariel actually moves over to Diva, so uh, Diva can you know control the high yep. ground a little bit better than like a Ramatra in this case. Kai on like, his scan strat, yeah. Oh yeah. It doesn't seem like Gua's Freychick is interested even playing for high ground, right? Uh, I mean, sure they'll probably go and contest it, but it isn't like they're playing like a Winston or Diva dive, really trying to take control of it. No, I mean they can move up there as a unit, right? Leave the the Zenyatta potentially. On that car for the team hey, team. chat, D.Va! We got a D.Va swap! This is a second point, by the way. I, I actually like D.Va on second. What they're gonna do here is they wanna play a little bit aggressive and close. What they need to do is they need to win this first team fight so they can take the high ground behind where Kai is. That's what, they're, that's what their vision is. If they don't do that, then they have to retake. But they would ideally like to be able to get that high ground on the first team fight. Uh, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen, but... Oh, I'm glad to hear it went well, Mick. I'm glad to hear it went well. That's what we like to hear. Let's go. Thanks for the spray. Kai, like we needed a reminder. His uh, immortality field there used to uh, you know, keep Crimson. Alive. This is one of those things where like LRG recognizes that when you leave Kai kind of like on his own as Sojourn, and it's not a good idea. Then you also have to deal with Kevster's Tracer. So what they want to do is they kind of want to play like this Death Ball comp that takes away a little bit of that value. Get ready for Kitsune very shortly. Try to get Eat Out maybe. Actually, no, they just windowed after the window. Ultimate from the low ground here. After the window, they're going to use Kitsune. I think. Now in play, going to make it even harder. For left, right, good night to engage. Oh, that's a huge pick by Lethal. Now and he's delivered so far. This is why you still want the high ground, even with this Sigma-based composition. You leave Lethal free to send these railguns across the map, and you're likely to lose players pretty quickly. 
So OWCS is essentially OWL contenders in open division combined. Um, so you have a lot more of like, which I, I, I enjoy this. Once again, there's bias because not only do I get to play in tournaments and people really love watching tournaments, I also get to co-stream and people enjoy co-stream, so it's a win-win, but... Um, it's going to be good. You know, obviously we have to kind of see where it goes. I'm excited to see where, like, where they take this, what's next, etc. But, like, overall, this is really cool. Also, a great job by uh, LRG there. LRG actually is starting to build a ult pool. So is BSC. But in my opinion, having a lot of ults or, 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 or a good ult pool on defense second point Blizzard World feels a little bit better. Just because, like, you can kind of dictate your pace a lot better. The, uh, the other part of this is, you see what they're doing where they have to take map control, take their time, go this way, go that way? It's a little bit harder for that rotation. That's why you see their Zen almost falling over like four times. They're trying to force out Zen, by That's why they keep pressure in the Zen. This is all about map control. You don't see this type of rotation happen a lot in, in ranked and pretty much any rank, and that's mainly because it just takes too much time and players kind of don't feel like doing that. It's one of the reasons why I think Dorado needs a change, because this is kind of what, how they envision Dorado to be played on second point, where you take like these very really long rotations to get map control. Ain't no one doing that on Dorado. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't happening. That Sigma can die here in a second. They might lead, and now they just have the EPs. They know they have Zenult, though. They want to get Zenult out. Problem is, they're about to get like move it towards the goal. It's also LRG's defensive. running into the territory of like they might be in a weird spot alt wise in a second. So durable, even with that orb of discord on her, Ariel able just to head upstairs very quickly, get out of line of sight immediately. Yeah, they went for the Zen to get Zen ult out. They can counter in a second with Kitsune, but Lethal's gonna fall over. But then Diva's really good in Kitsune Rush. BSC don't have to go up there to deal with it. They don't. No, and I'm on a Cuban thing, so the 55 monsters here, when they give me shit. Oh, they're just playing this well. They still have D-Alt, they have Pulse Bomb again. Oh! That's it, that's the team fight. They're gonna dive Zen. Diva Tracer are gonna get that Zen easily. Hey, I gotta give credit, by the way. Uh... The way that BSC played that can be not frustrating to play against, but like you're just kind of waiting for something to happen and you can kind of fall into like this tendency to kind of like not play as perfect as you normally would because you're just like, wow, this is a long rotation. LRG played that smart. They went through the almost the entirety of BSC's out pool. They used theirs, but they won the team fight. That was really well played. Kind of hold his hand, that was so. really well played, in my opinion. Yeah, left right, good night, doing a great job holding this high. I do read the YouTube chat too. Yeah, the mm -hmm. defense, the good spot to potentially prevent uh, uh we will straight check from completing the second checkpoint. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, you forced the okay. The here we go. Now they're good. Now they're done going to that room, they're taking this high ground. Trapped up inside, disrupt the shots, susceptible to getting split when they try and go. Actually, Kevster's in a spot on the same page as my mother. can blink behind soon. Ooh, I have to recall out. Hardly putting a scratch on Ariel there. He doesn't seem to be too bothered about the no ults for LRG. I mean, it's going to come down to this window. I feel like unless Kepster hits like a really good pulse bomb, it's going to come down to this window. Damn, no one's handling lethal on that one, but it's just because of like where the map is. Oh, the trades! I think Kiriko might die here in a second. They got the cooldown out. With an air matrix in play, may yep. favor BSC. Even though Crimzo falls, the damage oh. is well and truly done. It looks like by most I, You know what, though? Really good second point by LRG. Just a stall, it won't be really good. Also, Vistola on D.Va. Very good on D.Va, too. Yeah, we got D.Va versus D.Va right now. You know how happy I am to see this? You get to watch some D.Va gameplay. Feels good, because obviously I like playing a lot of D.Va. So, not biased at all. When Kevster goes in, I know, on the lethal, just... It makes it very difficult for him to survive, and you know you give any extra advantage over to Kempster, uh, it's going to be difficult. To, it's difficult to stop him already. It's going to be even harder. But you see how important the traces are in these compositions with the Sojourn off. The official stream plunder. Mobility is left as a loose end. That in itself is a vulnerability. Whenever we have drops available, we let people know in the title and like post stuff. Good lead by Lethal there too. Got the pick. Oh, Lethal's aim's been really good. Duran, thanks for another two gifted. Thank you, appreciate it. I don't know to be honest with you, Prince. I usually get like something with. I was called. Back out and go through the main choke, but then decided to just try to wrap around the corner and go with the rest of his team. Okay, LRG has LRG is going to lead aggressively in with their character ultimate right now because they know there's a time where the bat probably doesn't have window. So they're going to the probably lead in, the in with this, or they're going to wait as long as possible uh, for the last team fight. This actually is last team fight. I don't know. This is a tough one. Do you lead in with your ultimates, or do you let BSC make an initial play? 
trying to take more. Is this gonna be a team philosophy? It looks like they're going in. Yeah. Better, I guess Actually, no. Diva just flew in and then left. They're gonna have to use it. Like, do you isolate yourself to some degree by trying to make use of it? Emac, there by Ariel. As the sound barrier came in, that really hurts. The <sighs> See, this is a. Do you, okay, do you, do you kind of see what happened there, by the way? Remember how we were mentioning, like, what they needed, to, like, what they wanted to do? Or what they... Oh, I know that's there, babe. We've, we've... Everybody's been having that up on their thing. Like, it's just there. Maybe they think they can actually save Ariel there. Uh, they end up using the sound barrier, and uh, they end up using the barrier and just getting the baby diva, not actually getting him in. Mech, like I'll have it in the title, et cetera, like with the commands and all that. With that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so just to talk about that for a second there, what happened was his LRG was in a spot where they had to decide, do you save your ultimates and then go in back with your ultimates? Or do you try to play to win and force out their ultimates with your ults? They got stuck in the middle, their diva got demacked, and because their diva got demacked in that like indecisive stage of their team fight, they lose the team fight because the attacker will then have the advantage with the with the uh, even being out of the so suit. Right in, so in that was kind of the problem they ran into right there. Not giving it up. It can be really hard to finish right now. Yeah, and I, and I do wonder if, like, what uh, Spreshik wants to do and maybe play, like, the Sigma is even better on defense because you have the natural high ground. Right? Oh, that, that was just a, to, like, a, a good play. Fight for Basically, to, to, to summarize that, kind of, like, if they wanted to really make, a, like, a, like a play on that, they just needed to be more decisive on it. It can happen. Like, when we played, we had a little bit of a decisive uh, indecisiveness. I think potentially, um, like, this composition works we had a little bit of indecisiveness, and when you do that, you kind of like get caught out on their plays. We cleaned it up a little bit after our scrims, especially, but like that can happen all the time, whether it's in bronze all the way to pro play. Is that indecisiveness, even if it's for two seconds, that's how you can lose a team fight. It's okay. They just wanted to be a bit more proactive there, or play to disengage. They, 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 it seemed like the overall plan was to maybe trade out the ultimates, but you can't really lose your diva suit beforehand. Um, it's a problem where like if you lose your mech there, you lose about half the value, or not half the value, you lose a ton of value that diva would bring to your team and the team composition, so it's just one of those difficult spots. My coffee, medium roast. I think playing the Genji is good here. Like, you kind of want to play something that's a little bit more all-in, so to speak, right? And uh, You go Genji against their, their hit scans. Like if you feel like you're not longer, able to do well initially against their hit scans, especially on the first point of this map, you run the Genji to get on their on their hit scan. Which would be, which would, I say hit scan, to get on their Soldier. Which, or their Snipers. Soldier has, like, both projectile and hit scans. An attempt to take in the high ground. Lethal needs to be basically topped up before he starts any of these engagements. Kai had to use a power slide already, but able to get away. Ever stole though. Almost unable to get back towards the rest of his team. Just playing. I still have to try that coffee that I was sent in my PO box. Um, uh, someone from someone gave me a bunch of uh, coffee, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Broken, but goes to the lion's share of the healing and gets taken away, and that entire backline has been compromised. Good job, good, good first point there. I, uh, yeah, both supports are just so low, trying to play around that You said espresso is life to you? I've, I don't really get much espresso. Uh, Lani just recently got that machine that does... What is it called? Is it called Nespresso? Does that sound right or something? She's been liking it, but I haven't really had any of it yet. I'm just used to my coffee, so... Uh, Torb here against, you know, the, the double flankers plus the D.Va. Quite effective, just like taking shots at an off angle. He's also so tanky. Then you're about to order some gamer subs. Does anybody have a code for you? Oh, I got you. Hashtag ad here. Code Emong, 10% off. And you can try the free samples to see what you like. Torb becomes a very difficult target, and that's why they switch off of the Genji. Go over to those soldiers. Yeah, and, that, and Kai knows that's going to happen. Okay, so LRG does have Pulse Bomb here. They're going to probably lead in. The, the Pulse Bomb here is actually a tough go. Uh, BSC, by the way, recognizing the all-in strat they had when they were running the Genji, has switched to Torb now. That's why you do that. It's more defensive call, more survivability. Um, you're like, wait, Kai on Torb? It makes sense in what they're going for. I don't think so, Mace. married to playing hit scan DPS at all times. I, I don't think those, yeah, I don't think those tokens exist anymore, right? Listen, I just, all we need them to do now is add drops to the, all the streams during this too, for like the World Cup stuff. Like just have it be on the same timings. Good to go. What the heck happened? What does that mean, Maestro? Uh, Sludge, thanks for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks. They always have that immortality available. They're very unlikely to get that drawn out unless the fight is already well and truly broken down. Yeah, you're also like trying to push into the high ground, right? Which has you no. Know, I love that blink spot. Talk about Zen with the Discord and the amount of damage that yep. he's. Yeah. Um. Pretty, uh, let me see what LRG has right now. They're gonna they're gonna go take top right. Remember that top right control we saw a lot of. They're gonna probably try to put a tracer to sit in the car. They're gonna kill the Torb turret first. That's the first step here. Actually, they rotate it out. Kill the Torb turret. It's it's really difficult. Cookie turkey, thanks for the Prime Thank you. 
fly in, contest the cart, cycle there with Kebster, right? It makes it very difficult to get any progress. And Sludge, thank you for the gift that's up. Thanks. Kills. Very much so. Keep healing up, keep healing up, keep healing up. Keep healing. So they don't want to draw out. They want to take that top right control. The problem is, is like they're waiting for something to happen. That's what the whole strategy is. The problem is, is that like. Okay, they got Zen ult out. There it is. So, this, so it looks like they had the Tracer try to pressure out the Zen, but then they got the pick on the Zen. Now they're going to push in on them with the Zen ult. Actually, might have a trade in the BAP. I was just going to say. But they recognize where Crimzo's at right now. Don't be surprised to see them trade out here. Crimzo drops low here. Maybe thinking they're just going to kind of clean up the fight, but the Katsune Rush, I think, caught them off guard a little bit, right? Trying to back up. Yeah, I was going to say, that actually was a good reaction by uh, Left Right Goodnight. Do you mind? Left Right Goodnight's on high ping. They still get crushed. Even more importantly, you've maintained a sound barrier. Yo, I'm glad that, like, players can have whatever, like, weapon skins now. Not weapon skins, but, like, whatever, like, skin they want to, like, play with. Like, because, like... Do you, do you stay there was, like I said, there was a lot that OWL limited. Um, I think after that, you can start switching. Like, I don't know if the... I don't know if it's, like, being as impactful, right, to turn the die. The ultimate is generally horrendous here. The only bonus is that they have to play on cart in order yep. to capture the point. It's more of a defensive play. Nice. They got the point. They got the point. They, they just got the point for free. That was it. They got it. Yeah, it's been a good game. Yeah, I thought that was a stick, wasn't it? The pulse bomb? I was like, oh, that's a great pulse bomb right there. No, as uh, you kind of mentioned it, like they needed some of these uh, you know, big bursts. Uh, Honestly, you can't really play the song there, and the reason being is like that was like that was not a one team fight. They basically they they try to use their counter ults, but like LRG had too many ults. Look at their ult pool; they use a ton. What's gonna happen here is BSC is either gonna lead with window right away, or LRG is gonna go in first with their ultimate. This is where they need to be decisive. Are you disengaging? The window, or are you leading in with Kasune? Disengage the window. That's your play now. You disengage this. The boop. The boop by the Lucio on the Diva. That and and it's the full Mech Diva too. So that's gonna bring back Beat like really quickly. Not not quickly. Now what they're gonna do is they're gonna lead in with Kasune. They're gonna try to dive their Zen. They're two. Another boop limb. Sorry. They're either going to lead in with Kitsune, or they're going to dive their Zen. That's their play. Or both. The reason they know Zen has ult, they don't know where the Diva's at ult-wise, but they, they, they want to get the Zen. That, that's their target. Yep, okay, they're going for this. Yeah, there's the Zen ult. Four self the ult. Admiral has beaten 2%, which, by the way, if Admiral gets beat now, that boop was huge. There's the beat. They get the Elim on Zen. Pistola has ult, but they know that. They're going to... Pulse Bomb play by Kevster is going to be the make or break here. That's pretty much it. the Zen kind of comp, right? Like, you're all in on this without having a Lucio in the mix. Ooh, the stick! It just does not seem to be winning out as LRG's dive just seems to be proven too strong. I mean, there it is. You've got no choice but to... Wow! It's the annihilation and LRG manages to take the team fight and now has the opportunity to either win, but BSC at the very best can draw. So at the very least, this is not going to be a point for BSC. At the very best for LRG, they take the map. Wow, what a, what a great job. Uh, Space Indie Kid, thanks for the 17 months of the tier 1. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, what a map! Feels like Ariel's able to break line of sight much more easy. What a map! It doesn't have to take a face full of damage. That mobility means that the windows for which you can exploit that damage increase from the Discord orb. How do you send a clip, my Discord? Shorter. And like, you have to obviously be in, you know, the harm's way. I think the boop limb on on Kevster was more of like a like the shot combo boop, not like a boop off the map. I could be wrong. I mean, I didn't see it, but that's usually what happens when you see that. So LRG's uh, comp right now is an all-in strategy. What happens if they draw? It's just 1-0. That's why it's uh, it's first to three. Is because if there is a draw, that's why they don't call it best of five. Because if there's a draw, how do you go about that? So it's called first to three. Um, so it would just be BSC has a 1 only. If it was a draw, there would be like there's nothing there. So. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, I would say we open up the, the yeah, submissions for everybody for all ranks now, but it's gonna be up to you. Like, it's, um, there we go. Can't keep the Zen up. Yeah, any of the clip uh, stuff, anything, would be my Discord. Okay. 
Opportunity here for left right. Good night. To close the map up. Here. All right, here we go. Ending into extra innings. They are the only team with the time bank to spare. And again, we have that Sigma based composition here, which looked like it started fairly well for BSC, but eventually they got sectioned off from each other. And they're going to go to point with somebody on their team. They're going to pull them to the point they have to. Alexander, thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Maybe not. Maybe they want me to have control. I thought maybe they would They would actually send the tracer to the point because nobody was there. And then try to just pull them off the point, but they're just getting map control. They're going to be, they want to be a little bit quicker than they normally would be because like they just don't have the time. So they want to go here and guarantee two team fights. This is the this is the general like what you'll see as you flip the map. They have the they're basically gonna play like they're playing attack, and then you just go from there. They're all in in the diva right now. That diva might just lose their suit. I, I don't think they can keep up in a second. If that diva survives, they're gonna have like a really quick. Oh, they're playing for Katsune. They're playing for Katsune. They're gonna have a really he fast Kasune. Huh. They called something to go all in on him and it did not go well. That did not go as planned. They had a vision right there, the dive there, Zen. It didn't go well. That was their play too, you could see, because the Genji wanted to make it there, so they tried dashing across and the Diva was in. I think it was a miscom. I think they had two different like ideas. You know, transcendence as well. Sune Rush is available for LRG. It would just be a feel like a bit of a miss if they didn't win this one. They've got to dodge away from the Ant Matrix first. That is a scary prospect. Here's the rush though. Crimson getting pressured heavily, but the immortality field's gonna prolong. Ooh, the 1v1! Oh my moan, that's dirty! Kevster brought down, and a moment like that could give you the key opening here to win the map. Oh the stick! Oh my is in pieces now. Who wins this? It's still so close! Vistola has ult too. Yeah, but he can't push in! It's a draw! What the? What a series this is! Yeah, so I mean... Uh, you know, you never want to say like a draw is huge. But what a series this is! There, uh, you were probably really happy with the draw. Oh yeah. You finish barely with no time remaining. Uh, what a minute! And Holy on the crap! Clock, I think it was there uh, for LRG to get get that you know checkpoint. Uh, if things actually you know, kick off. What uh, happens now? It's just one zero. It just goes to the next map. On to uh, Kevster at the start. And, like you're like, oh man, this is gonna be. The map just doesn't count for anything. Uh, it's just one zero. Yeah, Maybe like the draw would take place in like some like tie, like crazy like, tiebreaker in the future, but like that that wouldn't do anything. It, like that's for like map like, differential and stuff. I don't even know if that like, matters in the current system they have. teammates coming. Give me one second, chat. I need to like reset. TikTok stream. I'm turning the TikTok stream off for now. If you want, you'll see everything live on Twitch there. Just stuff is a little bit. There you go. Give me one second, chat. But it doesn't lag as much. Good there. It's not really laggy. It's just good there. I didn't miss any subs, right? Nope. Uh, paper cuts. Thanks for the three months. Average prizes. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then we go back here. That, that is that is a great point. And you were playing like a very like heavy commitment based composition on the attack, right? You had Genji Tracer. You were were absolutely going in. It got dragged Damn, what a match. Only 30 seconds to spare towards the end. Uh, Barry, if you I go to the Overwatch eSports channel, that's where you'll have that, right? Maker, but eventually, uh, BSC able to stabilize. I think they I mean, might... the last spike kicked off like 16 seconds, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, yep. you, know, uh, the, you just kind of like wandered. I mean, the, the issue is, is like, you just kind of keep poking and doing damage against the comp that, you know, uh, 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 spray check pass like they just gave them the ant matrix pretty much yeah. like going into that next fight right uh you gave him pulse bomb as well so 100 percent. well there's gonna be much more to come from this series with the draw in our second map it's still one to zero favoring by spray by check. streaming all the matches today so yep that's the plan match coming at you with more right up that is the plan to stream all the matches today yep All right. Dude, why is my, my logo a tiger? Well, that's a Bengal, because I have a Bengal cat. I have three cats, but I have a Bengal. Uh, Vlex, thanks for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for the tier one.
What a, what a great first map. Do we have actually a Masa's point of view? One second. I don't think so. He's looking through. I know you have Vistolas, but there's no voice comms. Okay, Masa has that one. Okay, cool. I see that. Yeah, draws are very uncommon now in Overwatch. I don't know, Mace. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you go to What a Swell Cat on TikTok or Instagram, that's my kid, my my kitties. Yep. This has been a great series. After the first matchup, which didn't go as like well, uh, it was just a stomp. This has been much better. This is what I think everybody expected for these matches today too, which is really exciting to see. Checking my phone for a second. Should be good. All right, we're good. Nope, they actually, so did you say, didn't they forbid players from being able to stream on? So believe it or not, believe it or not, they actually just uh, changed that. So they made it so... Um, they heard the player feedback. Players said they wanted to stream their POVs, and they said, you know what? You're right. So now all players can stream POVs on a three-minute delay. Yeah. Which was great. I mean, that was... It's also really good to see that they're willing to make those really quick decisions on that rather than like, okay, we'll reevaluate it next week type of situation. You know what I mean? Well, a draw in our second map of the Because that's what will happen. Oh, well, next week we'll do that. Right away being like, you know what? You're right. Go stream. I, that is great. I, I think that's wonderful. Back in here, again, offering that Lucio play that he is so famed for. With Ghost moving back to the bench showed us uh, some solid Baptiste play. I thought, yeah. really. Moss is back in. Makes sense with their comp. Overall, on Blizzard World, wasn't really what the doctor ordered. He would know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I think the his like Baptiste play was totally fine. It was good. Mm -hmm. uh, I just I, for me personally, I think like Lucio with Kiriko is just like way too good with so many different things, right? Uh, and especially you have a great you know, Lucio on the team like Masa. It makes sense at least in this meta to have him in. Masa, yeah, Masa is really good. I mean, the Lucio comp. I mean, Blizzard World is just hard to really do that dive comp consistently. Doesn't mean you can't make it work. Obviously, we saw LRG make it work. So. By the way, I, I, once again, gotta give credit to LRG. Also, remember they're playing on high ping. Like, like they're playing from NA right now. Think about that. You know, on Blizzard World, try and shut down that flank pressure. It has some success, but generally, Kai's not able to do too much more than to stop those flankers from, from doing their thing. When it comes to actually how you advance your, you know, your progress... Because there's no hero limit? No, it's just they ask the player what their favorite heroes are. Able to contribute when you see the cast. Much there. Yeah. So already being put to the test in a big way are uh, uh, Bubbo Spray Check. Yeah, it feels like, I mean, we, we kind of mentioned it during the last map, but these two teams way more evenly matched than I believe, like, our first match of the day, I uh, you know, was. No balance. The subs, uh, you just have to go to OW underscore esports for those drops. The first match of the day would be a little bit closer, but uh, New Queen Street uh, will be the push map here. And, uh, you know, seeing New Queen Street, I mean, that team is a good team. Map, yep. I feel like Lucio is, you know, kind of like how Flashpoint where Lucio is, like, required. It feels like push the same type of way. Absolutely. I mean, this is the kind of, especially when you need to either, you know, get back to the bot quickly or come off your All right, here we go. as fast as possible so as not to give up too much progress to the opposing team. Not look, not shocked to see like a, a potential Soldier 76 here, a popular pick right because of that mobility and, you know, to take those flank angles. But we've seen um, a vast difference in performances, uh, you know, depending on the player with Soldier on this map because. If you're not able to take some, if you're not willing rather to take some risks, then all you'll Ooh, do is. Ooh, okay. So we have Ramatra versus Ramatra. Healed, uh, healed over and forgotten about. Lethal's going to need to be able to commit to some degree here. I like to pick. Very popular, of course, especially in 2023 on this map. Yeah, and Soldier's awesome just for consistent damage, right? At range, like, 
consistently putting down damage, applying the DPS passive, and then also like just personal survivability, right? Can sprint to go to a different location, right? He's very difficult to track down. Here we Run go. For both sides here. Very much that rush down front line. And again, keep it on the more This is interesting to start. Like One thing I gotta say, by the way, is it me or is BSC had a really good starter to matches? Am I, am I right? I like to think in there from Like a really good start. Kill, but the damage has already been done. Somehow lethal was found in the front line and quickly torn limb from limb. Now you've got your Like they get map they control really well. Oh, nice boop. Wait, what just happened? That boop was unreal. Are you kidding me? This, uh, lots of screaming going on over there. <laughs> so everybody just making their way off the side is uh, the, the one thing with the soldier is like the, the damage is consistent, right? But it lacks that like burst damage, right? So you can like you can push. Did Masa? Yeah, I think Masa was just trying to figure out what he wanted to do for that stuff. It, it's it's good to see him back. Uh, but it, right, this is a free pulse like, bomb really for Kevster in a second. Just kind of like sat there fighting no man. <sighs> what? Time, right? As oh, that was actually right as he popped the coalescence. Not good at all. This has gone from bad to worse oh. awfully early now. Coalescence coming out later here from Crimson. He gets it for free because Sile lost his. That is for Stoll of finding two incredibly right, big I think OWCS is in front line, in that interesting to the majority of people. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I like the co-streams. Like, what's the argument on that one? That you don't have what for it? The Moira. You can fade during like, what are they looking for in co-streams that uh, you were saying? I, I missed that part. My OBS yeah, is covering that, is that part of the chat. I'm sorry. It's going to haunt you. 32 meters and counting a progress, and you've lost the call. You don't get it back. That's the worst part. Master uh, charges for it. Here's that sound barrier, which Admiral is too late on building. Oh, this Admiral is a tough one. Three fights consecutive. Like, LRG, I, I, don't, I don't know how, like, after a match where you draw like that, where you really feel like you're going to win, and then, like, you come to the next map and you just get rolled right away. This is where, like, as a team, they just need to settle down for a second. Now Recognize it's only been two minutes, then get back into the game. Like he was getting close to the visor, he may have had it, but feels like, uh, no, how I mentioned before, you can just kind of push into the 76. Here we go. No respect to being kind of shown for the 76, where they were just speed boosting right into it and taking down the first target in front of them. Annihilation's here for both Ramatra's aerial. Might be inclined to reach for that particular resource now while the pressure is still mounting. No, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here for a second while we're watching this team fight. Like, I, just, just so you, like, I, I want you to, like, kind of put this into perspective of what you're arguing about. And when, when you say, like, why is it such a, like, a big deal or something, like, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, uh, uncle on that one, you're the only one making it a big deal. <laughs> Everybody else is telling you why it's like there, why it's respectful. And you're just like, well, uh, you're the you're the one yeah, making it a big deal. Like, uh, this got one Masa and, uh, like everybody else is just saying it's great, it's, it's it's good to have. have the, the the other so what, what we're trying to say there is like, uh, it's just giving up the just, checkpoints it's so just, it's just early, it just puts you in such. I mean, push is so unforgiving in terms of like, hey, we had a you know two bad fights at the start, like you know we can come back, like to come back. That means right, like, here we go. you need to win like four fights in a way, right? Uh, bam, 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 bam. Which makes it really brutal. Decent start here though, Crimzo. Yes. Pulse bomb during call, if I'm not mistaken, so must have already used that fade. Bam, bam, bam. How's everybody doing, by the way? Hopefully, good chat. Down, though, but again, that's your two consecutive fights you were looking for for LRG. Kaido, still a bit of an issue though. Finding that second kill on Desile. Good matchup so far here on the matches. LRG are not in a position to actually push their advantage. They're not even pushing the bot right now. Nice to bam, bam, bam. Eventually, Kevstor is brought down, but he's bought a decent amount of time for these respawns to come through. Yeah, and the way Errol, you got LRG pizza? Heck yeah! You need to win what kind of pizza with, did you get? You know, no to limited investment, right? Win a fight with a pulse bomb, right? Win it with a, an overclock, right? Like, you need to win probably like two of those fights, like using just about nothing or close to nothing, uh, and then have some ultimates to like, basically you gotta fight to tie the game. Like, that's kind of how you work your way back and push, uh, which becomes very difficult because go. BSC can kind of use their ultimates at will. So much pressure on Ariel right now. He's gonna have to, ooh, he's I, I will say, by the way, I'm really happy to see where, like, I'm really happy to kind of see where BSC has, not BSC, uh, LRG has kind of brought this back. One of the, like, a tough start on push. I, I want to I kind of point this out to everybody when you're playing push. It is okay if you have a tough start on push. Remember, it's a 10-minute map, although apparently they're considering changing the timing on it, which would be interesting, but... Um, in a 10-minute map, if you get rolled in the first, like, two to three minutes on push, that's not uncommon. Okay? That's not uncommon. You said olives are the best pizza topping? Don't even get me started about olives. We're not going to go down this discussion. you can be, a little bit more loose with what you decide to do because you're going to tie the game. Is there a chance, though? We're not doing this. I can't stand him. I've tried. 
still very low in Isolation. I have tried. I went from, I, uh, by the way, great team fight there from uh, BSC. LRG's also okay with that because they got ult out and they have a pretty good, they have pretty have like a healthy ult pool, although they didn't use Ramatra ult, they're probably not too happy about that. It's like, so yeah, you kind of need that fight to go your way because now you're starting at square one. Uh, if you were able to keep your ally alive for another like two seconds, you had Admiral with the sound barrier coming in. You most certainly, if he was up, uh, would you? I, I will say this that we played like, push on eight minutes during the beta. I didn't like point. it as much. I, I didn't mind it, but I think 10 minutes is a good is a good sweet spot for push. I, 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 and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it goes to 8 minutes and I love it, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think 10 minutes is a good sweet spot for push. 8 minutes was just, it was too quick. It didn't feel like there was any comeback for it. And if maybe that's what they're aiming for, they don't want like to have like close push matches, but 8 minutes did not feel good. But maybe now that push has been out for a year and players have been playing push for a really long time, that it plays better with 8 minute timer. But eight minute timer, in my opinion, during the beta, did not feel good. Positions himself there, just like forces the support so far away that there was nothing that they could do to help Ariel stay alive, and then also like they're just in a in a terrible spot. But it's really you know. Did your team ranch? Oh, are we back down to blue cheese and ranch? I I I'm ranch. Uh, that just puts them in a bad position to really help. See, we're lucky Flats isn't here because then Flats would sit there and try to go on this 45 minute discussion about how Blue Cheese has a higher skill ceiling than Ranch and that and Blue Cheese is actually way better than Ranch and that, that I'm, and I'm like, no, and it just not happen. It just, no, I'm not doing this. We're not, we're not talking about the skill ceiling of Blue Cheese. Also, great team fight here for left, right, or LRG, but like I think there's gonna be a Moira time at L. I was just gonna say. But I think I think there's gonna be LRG's gonna counter with their own, but they get out Kai gets a huge pick on Admiral. I, listen, I, chat. We we will have I, chat knows that we will have really good discussions about things. About different various topics. There's one thing I will not budge on. I am not talking about the skill ceiling of blue cheese. It is just not happening. I've tried every type of blue cheese and it's too overpowering for me. Oh, you know what's even grosser than just like blue cheese? Like oh, the crumbles. Ever had something with blue cheese crumbles on it on accident? Oh. Sorry. I'm very passionate about this discussion. Admiral's beat, lethal, yeah, no value found because of the sound barrier, I'd suggest, in that previous fight. And this is starting to get away from LRG. Good stick on Kylo, that's a big one. Sound barrier now for LRG. Once again, a must-win situation here where there's no excuse. See, now Lonnie's in the chat saying that she loves some blue cheese. She probably wasn't even on the stream at that point. She heard me upstairs talking about blue cheese, and she had to come in and say she loves blue cheese. We've had this discussion before. Blue cheese tastes... No. Uh, Visionaire, thanks for the two months of the Features Process. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. And Cat's Meow, thanks for the 13 months of the Terramoy. So that's accurate? Yeah, that's what I thought. I can't... You think I can hear you at the... Like, Why didn't I do this thing where, like, we'll both try to talk to each other from a distance? We have no idea what we're saying, but we'll still try. I couldn't tell you what she's... What, what she... I heard her yelling in the background. Couldn't tell you what she was just saying. Fight mid -map. We'll act like we can hear what we're saying. Like, uh, yeah, I gotcha. What chance do you have? As uh, I mean, they they've done such a great job of just putting so much. Every time I you know see Ariel's health bar up at the top, it's like what cheese is top tier to me? Not blue cheese. Fifty percent HP. I mean, just like in terms of like likes like, olives too. She does like target, olives. They are just kind of. She's like, like a eat olives out of the jar type of person. You see the position of Ariel relative to the rest of LIG there. He was completely on an island. They must have called a cancel. My sister likes fight. olives out of the jar too. Around. I do not. Or pressure down. You can't move quickly when you're blocking, right? So we either runs or die. Sorry, chat. Let's get back to the match here. We had a deep discussion about random stuff for the past ten minutes. One of the best part about co streams, by the way, not only do you get to watch good Overwatch, you can have random rants. You can have random rants about blue cheese and other stuff. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I think LRG has an opportunity here. Now, the, the problem that... Oh, nice shot. The pro the, I was going to say, look at the reaction. The problem that LRG will run into here is they don't have the checkpoint yet. And when you don't have the checkpoint, that gives BSC like an extra team fight because of the quick spawns you get. For anybody who doesn't know how push works, when you get checkpoint for the first time, the first time, which is where the bot will scratch his butt, I mean, again, right? I, the only I suspect maybe for when the bot does that, that also gives you instant spawns. So this, because they haven't got the checkpoint yet this late in the game, even with the overtime spawns, it's going to give like a benefit of a spawn to that team because of the checkpoint, if they do get it. But it does look like BSC doesn't even want to get to that point. 
Oh wait, the checkpoint. There it is. Honestly, it, it, it might be. It's, it's not easy. If you give him the point, it, actually, I know they didn't plan this out. But isn't kind of a five-head strategy to let them get the checkpoint last second there, so that way the teammate that you just lost can respawn immediately and then give you a numbers advantage in an overtime fight? I'm not saying they plan that, but imagine. Like, let him get the points so you can get the early, you can get the quick spawn. See? Do you get the quick spawn? BSC is looking pretty good mm -hmm. there on push. I mean, you get that big of an early start. I still think LRG is playing very well. I, I, I do want to reiterate one more time. They're on pretty, like, high ping. The DPS from BSC, you know, weren't exactly, you know, dominating that entire map. Like, my had some fantastic So, for them to be able to pop off and still make plays is good. Kevster's nuts? Oh, Kevster's great. I mean, there's no other way to put that. Kevster's a good player. The challenge of keeping their Amatra alive, at least into the fight starting. Yeah, very like one of the bigger i don't know i don't know if like surprise is the best word but like one of the things that you looked at like in this series where you're like kai and kevster you know uh you know uh, obviously going up against uh the moment yep. and then lethal you're like oh man yeah once again lrg has to play from na because they're on like a college team so they like they're on a college team in na but because of where they're from and the rules for like owcs they have to play in the european the, 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 the emea tournament they can't play in the NA tournament. Still, uh, being able to get that Ramatra into position, Ray, right? whether it's like split off supports, then take out area. So they're at like a probably like what 120 to 150 ping, which kind of when you're going up against a team of that caliber too, can you can definitely feel, feel that ping a little difference. bit. Yeah. So after suffering a small setback in the form yeah. of a draw, Thomas Brightcheck feeling pretty good now about being 2-0 up in this first yep. three series here. So. Unlikely we need to go to, to too many tiebreakers, I think, in this one. Stick around, though, as BSC look to try and close things out. Left, right, good night, trying to throw a Hail Mary Haymaker to stay in the series. Okay, so now while we're going to the next map here, let's quickly talk about this, though. I just don't like blue cheese. I've tried it. I've tried blue cheese with wings. I've tried it with cereal. I've tried it with everything. Everything that people have recommended me. And I just cannot find a way to like it. I just don't like it. It's just not good. I don't know what it is. I, I can't. I just can't get the taste. What? What's up? Yeah, Crimzo should be on a high ping too. I think Crimzo. I forgot what Crimzo said he was, but like, I, I definitely is on high ping. I didn't play the cosmic one. Apparently, it's good with spaghetti. No. You know, whenever I get really hungry and you start making these random combinations of food, some things sound like a great idea. Putting blue cheese on spaghetti? No, thank you. Not happening. You did blue cheese on pizza? I mean, people get the... Don't people get, like, the buffalo chicken pizza with blue cheese on it? Like, isn't that a thing? Like, you get buffalo chicken pizza with blue cheese? I don't think I don't think blue cheese is a conspiracy, but All right, let me ask you this question, chat. You go to a wings place. You only can have one sauce. Type one if it's gonna be ranch, two if it's gonna be blue cheese. And don't go with like if you're getting like a like a mango habanero, something you don't necessarily need with that. Listen, I see all the people putting the blue cheese here, okay? And three if you just don't get any of that. You just want to type a number. You don't usually use the dipping sauce, though? I do. Oh, I, I like my... If I ever have wings, it's like smothered in ranch. It's like smothered in ranch. Said, what is ranch though? You're British. Um, have you ever had I'm trying to think of a comparison? Okay, have you ever had like fish tacos before? 
has nothing to do with that. I just thought of the first food I could think of. So. All right, everybody, welcome back here. <clears throat> That's not helpful at all. I just, I just. In this matchup against left, right, uh, night. Payback, thanks uh, for the two months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. I don't think I've ever had fish tacos, to be honest with you. Two months, baby E. Also, is there any server it's used for anyone? Yeah, it's, uh, it's flavored uh, mayonnaise? Uh, yeah, that's okay way to put it, but like, I don't like... Uh, right, with the three hour earlier, and then now with a So it's basically, it's, it's basically flavored mayonnaise. No subs. I also think Wait, what are the go-to sauces in like the UK or something? Like, what's like a sauce that like everybody is like with the Lucio, obviously like, like in na you have people love ketchup PSC. people have their hot sauce and like in, yeah, in, in, so. in, in certain places like people their, uh, tank. I think um you know there's different variations of stuff some of the incidental poke damage coming his way ketchup garlic left right good night we're in a position to start curry sauce curry's good barbecue sauce what is brown sauce is that like stuff you put on like mashed potatoes like what what is that to be and it makes you that much more exploitable i'm gonna say those some of the timing though the ultimates coming up for Crimson Master was pretty big here, but off we go. New Junk City is kicking off here. Barbecue sauce is brown sauce. Mirrors with the Moira is in tow. Like, uh, we're, we're right you said Worcestershire sauce. Is that how you say it? Because like uh, we have a town uh, called Worcester in Massachusetts, well, and it's pronounced Worcester. So much damage. Uh, you just kind of see like the health bar. That's like, how we say Worcester Vistola here. Just, it feel, feels like the stole is already like teetering around seventy-five to like a hundred, where I, I, like area looks like at like you know fifty, but. All right, here we go. Right here, it is um, pretty good start for LRG, actually. That's, that's kind of what they were hoping for. I mean, LRG has always been in this. And one thing we talked about, by the way, remember how we just mentioned that it feels like BSC always has, like, really good openings or, like, they have good first team fights? That was one of a, a more dominant one for LRG. So I want to kind of see how LRG plays right now when they're ahead a little bit. Um, no, there wasn't many trades. There wasn't, like, 3v3s. It's like they lost one, got two, won the team fight. So how do they play when they're up now? As they really want to see. Because I think they benefit from this a lot. With a Lucio in the mix, you get, like, I, I would say, like, three fights a point. Maybe. Did Welcome to Worcester, a dollar twenty-five, please? Is that because they have a toll there or something? I don't know. I, I haven't been to Worcester too much. huge. I mean... You lose Masa, that is basically I know GG on this push, probably even GG on the point with where things sit at now. I mean, put you, uh, yeah, fortunately, you know, Admiral probably isn't going to use sound. Ooh, what a pulse bomb by Kevster. LRG is going to lead in with Moira now. It's going to be double Moira. You ready, chat? Here we go. Masa is going to use beat if need be. Right now, it's between Masa and Admiral deciding who wants to use beat first. They want to counter each other. So it's like this really tough decision of like, there it is. There it is. Admiral uses it. Masa uses it. And then Ariel's going to probably come in with Ramatra Ultimate now to win this if need be. Because they know they have a time in. I don't know where to go with this one. Ariel's looking for a target right now. Sile's gone down though. Yumora not being there means you're not what? far behind if you're a matra. Have you had brown sauce before? Uh, Ariel ends up popping the annihilation HP there. sauce? Uh, which I was surprised. I don't know. People from like the UK said so that they like like the players. brown sauce. Uh, maybe it was just one, but uh, is that HP sauce is the question? Using just kind of like the uh, power block to stay up. And then pops the annihilation and gets taken out. So you don't have that. Yes, uh, yes. I mean, that Ramatra would have been huge here. BSC just trying to break out here, make it impossible for left. Yeah, right I don't know. To contest. They do. Lonnie did like a semester of college in like the UK. So uh, that's what I was asking. Come around that corner, right? They put oh, I'm talking about Worcester because of the sauce. Like Worcester supports sauce. on the left, and then just or Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Uh, yep. Wait, where'd you go to? Where, 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 where was it? Like the Moira and the Lucio at range. Obviously, can't really do anything. There Norwich. And Lethal stuck around the corner on the left, like you said. Not a good. Saying that's in Norwich. He's overclock at all. So Where? Just gets to basically uncontested for Norwich? Punish Ariel for, for being I have no idea. Uh, yeah. As LRG was split up. Oh, this, this push is great. What a speed boost from Master. Wait, did, by the way, did BSC really turn the, the tides in this one? I mean, Sile, yeah, coming out with a bit of a belated coalescence here. But it's too late. It's pronounced, it's pronounced Norwich? All right. There you go. Him topped up enough so that he could wow, I can't believe BSC took that back. You know, I, I wonder if, like, LRG looks at the VOD review of this game and goes, maybe they should have been really aggressive with their Ramatra ultimate when they had the opportunity there. Because they got they did a good job of trading out ultimates. But they waited really long to use the Ramatra ultimate, which then gave BSC the opportunity to get the point and win the team fight. I think in hindsight, they probably would use that, like, just slightly quicker. I really feel like it's really come down to... It hasn't been mechanical. It hasn't, it's just been, like, down to ult usage a lot of the time. 
think it's just they get picks, they, they make good plays. It's just they're like always one out players. behind. It feels like just by just by not even like from like matching the ultimates, just like when they use their ultimates. The speed boost is that five. That is pretty sick. Are you saying already? They're gonna that's gonna force sound back. What's happened? Use one of his own though. I guess they just really want to commit. They don't want to back away. They don't want to yeah. give up the. Yeah. It's just like it's so close. That what was the college call? We're gonna win this fight probably anyway, but we're gonna throw you a sound barrier in to ensure okay. it. We'll have another one. I guess we'll that's where she did like anyway. school stuff there for a bit. Yeah, as uh, you get the tank low. U E A or something. On the other side, you just. I mean, it came out like basically at the same time. Or U A E. A little bit later, but you just have that. U E A. You know, extra sound barrier towards okay. the end. I believe pulse fob lands from Kevson. I don't know what. I know that is another fight one for BSC. My moan here. Yeah, it's a decent idea of. Yes, that's the, the university. Uh, red eyes, yep. We'll just contest this. Likely we'll draw Kevster and Master out of formation. That's exploitable. Dukes are thrown up. He has a But see, there's the ult again. In a very safe position. And the problem is that they're down there, Moira. So, like, using the ultimate, yeah, just, I mean, they're just going to trade it out. Yeah, they, they, right? Vistola can use that because Vistola knows they win that. It, it's okay, like. Vistola's vision of that is that they just lost their Moira. So, you just pop the ultimate to guarantee you win the team fight. The Ramatra can't do anything. They're going to get grinded down. And that's been the problem. I really do think right now it's just been LRG's ult usage. It has nothing to do with their skill level. They've been playing great. It just comes out of alts. It's gonna be the coalescence here at the start here. See, like they're, they're getting picks. They push in. I mean, that's a tough one v one. A one v one against Kevster on Tracer. That's tough. Far from over though. Yes, you lose. By the way, the reason why uh, BSC use their alts early here is they don't think that the team can touch the points. So what they do is they overcommit their ultimates to guarantee they get the point. Uh, because in Flashpoint, obviously a two zero lead is huge because that's his first to three. So what they want to do at that point is just go in, use their alts. LRG will have a bit of an alt advantage, but LRG has so far proven that like their alt usage has been like their their biggest issue. So BSC can kind of like bank on that a little bit that they'll eventually get caught up back in the alt game. Uh, but there's also a chance that LRG can sit here and you know there's there's obviously an opportunity for LRG to kind of sit here and also um you know pick up their alt game and then go from there. So, we'll Kevster we'll stream? Not that I know of. And Kevster out of position for a time. They have to know he's seen me on a pulse bomb, and the stick is good. Kai's going to be brought down. Power slide or no, he's done. Great stick, though, from Kevster. And now both traces have done their dirty work, getting rid of the sojourns here. Only two DPS players left on the field right now, and Sile and Nicole What's the else looking like here? Spot for it, but he can't see Admiral behind. It's like so winnable, but like losable. To complete that elimination. Does that make sense? Yeah, that, that's just... Like, see, that's a team fight where I feel like LRG has the advantage on that, and they they still lost it with their ults. But then they'll go and, like, win a 1v1 against... You know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean. It's like the ults right now. You came into that fight with... Skystream probably sometimes. Just about everything there for LRG, and to, to lose that, uh, that is brutal, because what? Annihilation, Pulse Bomb, uh, you know, Crimzo with how aggressive they've been going with Coalescence, right? Uh... You, know, you, you gotta be able to keep your uh, Ramatra alive here if you're L LRG. Also, where's my YouTube chat? Like, Annihilation should be online for both Ramatras here again, though. It's Crimson slightly out of phase with everybody else's ultimates. Means he yeah, I, I, this, uh, honestly, though, I am. I, I, I think LRG. I wouldn't doubt it if LRG is the other team to get out of this group, though. Because I feel like LRG has proven that they can actually match up pretty well against BSC. That they, they, this has been like a four team fight game outside of the flashpoint here, of course. Like, this game has come down to like four team fights, is what it feels like. You know what I mean? And there's no way you're coming back. You're so productive today. You finish your laundry. Heck yeah, good job. The the right after. Chat, should I be super productive today and also do a treadmill in a little bit? A workout in the morning and then treadmill like mid afternoon? Not yet, but. I mean, BSC played that well, but I will say the 3 0 scoreline does not showcase how good of a match that was. That was a great match. That was a great match. Definitely unsure as to whether. The Fry Good Night could actually find opportunities to win yeah, that was a great match. Match throughout the course. No, I, see, of I see it now. They look good on Blizzard World. Makes sense. Uh, you said know, I might like blue cheese as degree. I get older. But again, I think we really see the gulf no. between these two teams. It's exposed in those last Tomatoes, yes. I like tomatoes now. Tomatoes are great. City more than any other. Blue cheese, no. It's not going to happen. But still, I mean, if you're looking at the very beginning of this series, it, it did seem a lot closer. I did than try. It was disgusting. It was the blue cheese crumble one. I think they played awful. really close rounds on Nepal. I, I actually think blue cheese crumble is worse than blue cheese. Nice I'd rather eat blue cheese there. like on wings course, than ever have anything with honestly, blue cheese from. I can't. So I, I don't know what it is. It just I tastes so strong. Unsophisticated uh, palate. That's the exact opposite uh, of that. Really anything is, ground, it's too so sophisticated. I think they were really able because it recognizes it doesn't taste good. Jack, can we get some blankies in the chat for Doc uh, with the ten gifted? 
Thank you, Doc. Appreciate initially. it. So all around, though, uh, very, very impressive showing from both teams. Yeah, and I, I, I think it just comes down to... Like Thank you, dog. Wait, they didn't win. We saw kind of like a mirror in terms of. Is it like sriracha hot chili sauce? I will say one of my favorite sauces BSC that I probably should get more is sweet chili sauce. I love but, that sauce. Um, it is so good. World, right, where, I guess know, it's finding things that like combo. A slower with like the Zen and the Baptiste and the entire map. Uh, I'm lagging thanks to the tier one. I, I want to pause for a second here too to the person two. telling us they got banned from like, somebody else's chat. To I'm going to be real with you. One of like the dis people the do that sometimes and come to the chat like the, it, the speed and kind of that is that is that is a thing that like really that's only going to probably increase your chances of getting banned from other chats. Tempo, that's when there was really no answer. Like straight up. I'm quite I'm happy ready. with what we saw, I think, though, from, yeah, from LG. Like, obviously, they're... Yeah. Yes, and can we get some blingers, Jeff, or I'm lagging, bro, with the 10 gifted? Thank you, appreciate it. That's what I say every time I'm playing DPS. The only reason why I'm not hitting my shots. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Shows of love in the chat with Doc and I'm lagging, bro, with the 10 gifted each. Thank you. So much changes on your front line, being able to stay alive as long as possible. I was just about to point that out because uh, heading into this match, obviously we talked so much about Kai and Kev's story, Appreciate but it. it was really a lot of lethal uh, Mamoni. Oh, you say the same thing on that one? Heck yeah. And got those crucial picks. Yeah, they played awesome throughout the series. And and uh, also oh, that's fair, saying dog. like, hey, like when they sped up the game, you know. Uh, 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 I think that was a different sauce like, they had in the past, speed, uh, right? uh, Senna. Like, that's when they did like the collaboration the, the stuff. And maybe they still have that sauce, but yeah, I mean. Team of like owl players, right? Who are drilled to play at this speed and this pace. I, right? I'm gonna be and honest with you. Know, sometimes when that discussion happens, only here for drops 33. Right? I like that. You know, contenders I, I just don't. Like, I, sometimes it's, it's just like, it's just I don't a, even. A, a it's just some things you kind of have to. At that speed and that you know what I mean? Where, when you that's saw, one of them. I just, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you get banned from a chat, like, you just, it's just like. Like, they were going. It's what we always have the rotation where, like, somebody will get banned from Jay's chat. They'll be like, dude, I just went into Jay's chat and told him he was terrible and he's really bad at DPS and he banned me. Can you unban me? I'm like, dude, first of all, I know Jay memes a lot, but, like, if you're first, if you go into a chat and your first thing is you're terrible at the game and then you get banned and then you get surprised, like, I, I know there's, like, there's banter and things like that, but, like, Half the time, it's a first-time chatter that goes in and goes, you're terrible. And they're like, no, it was, it was a joke! But it's like, dude, you're, it's the first thing you're going in and saying. Like, what, what are they going to do? ...about themselves, and now we're ready for a quick break. Afterwards, we're going to see the last match for the region with ROC... Slinky, thanks for the nine months of the features prize. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'm going to the bathroom very quickly, chat. Next map we got coming up, ROC versus SC. How's the timing, Ben? Time is pretty good right now. We're back in a second, chat. Hit the follow button. Hope you're enjoying. Here you be. And Slinky, thank you for the nine months of the features process. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm back. Uh, stream it. You said I suck. I'm a bad player. Yeah, well, you know what? I just had a sip of my coffee right now. It tastes pretty good. So I hope you're having a good day.
So chat, uh, Ven had given me a challenge to do in between one of the queues. Let me know what you think. Well, actually, no, not in between the queues, but gave me this challenge. I think it was for like 69 gifted or something. I have to play Ramatra in quick play. While being on the treadmill at four miles per hour and get three of limbs of my ultimate. Should I do that in between the uh, the EU and NA matches? Oh, 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 oh DMCA! I know, no, I got it. I can't get DMCA. Well, I got my top ten by playing on a treadmill, but that was on two point three miles per hour, so. That was close, I know. You live in Hanoi, so you're spoiled by amazing um, Viet food? Oh, I, I, I don't know if I've had much uh, Viet food. What are some, like, what are examples of some, like, really good dishes? Pho? Oh, yeah, pho's really good, isn't it? I haven't had pho in a long time. Okay, I think, I, I think I've had some, actually. Thinking of it now. You still want me to do the shoey? That's the 420 gifted one. You've been binge-watching all three of my channels? Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy. Let's go. I, uh, the, 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 the everyday uploads has been, been nice. People are we're seeing growth on all the channels. It's been, it's been cool to see. I still, I still have a lot to go on YouTube, but I, I, we really, I think we're really... Going in the right direction with, with being also a full-time YouTuber on top of a Twitch streamer and a TikTok or all that. So, definitely making progress, at least in my opinion. I hear you. So, are the matches today. Our last match for our EMEA region is going to be... Rock I learned that the Cassidy is, uh, his name is Spike <laughs> and not Bebop. I thought the whole, I thought he was Why would Bebop, he be called but... Bebop? Well, because the show's called Cowboy Bebop, so I figure that's the cowboy and his name's gotta be Bebop, but... I... I give you that. I, I like that you're doing your research. Every time you play the trailer, I'm you, getting better. you, you seem to like learning more. Sometimes it's the name more. of the show being named after the main character. <laughs> Sometimes. You know. Yep, that's... you know. You gotta, you're doing great, Matt. Keep, Keep it up. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> you watch, I want you to watch one episode. Okay. We'll back on your findings. You I watch, will report watch back. I will watch of it at least. I will watch Please the episode do. and I will report back. Yeah. We're good. Cool. I'll quiz you right after that. Uh, well, I want to get into the weeds of our next match, though. Uh, Rocky Esports uh, currently sitting at the top of Group C, thanks to their clean 3 0 victory against Bingus and Sheer Cold, uh, their opponents. They struggled a little bit more in their first game against. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, That's a good roster right there. Two, so, wait, who are they so playing against? I like, I like the Roadhog uh, on the, uh, by right there. It's a really interesting mix of former Owl players. Izayaki and Owl champion. The Koreans paired up. Uh, the Koreans paired up with three Saudi players. Um, I didn't see that coming. That was that was not in my script. Yeah, it's a lot of players like. Uh, and ROC's like, uh, been playing really uh, well. Oh my god, I haven't seen Saudi ROC play. They have a really good yeah, roster, yeah, but I haven't yeah, seen them play yet. The Saudi League, right? Uh, am I excited for the Cowboy Bebop collab? I haven't even seen it. I am. Uh, so yes. Bringing a lot of firepower into this roster. Again, sheer gold. I okay, I know some of these players so, from uh, ranked. That's, that's a lot of well-known names within the contender scenes we're seeing here. Yeah, we are talking about players who've been playing contenders since like. 2021. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this will be interesting. I don't know too much about the teams. Wait, does Sheer Cold has been a fixture in contenders for yeah a long time? Like a genuinely. Does Funny Asters so, team not play uh, today? You know, many of these players have been playing since you know the game first released. Like, make no mistake about that. We actually. Where do they already play, console, or like, what's the deal with like, that? High level console players as well uh, on this roster coming in. So don't underestimate this team. If you're a contenders watcher, anyway. you know them. If you're not. You won't. Did no more hog? Why? You don't want to see hog gameplay? Uh, uh, expect them to have some impact here. You will bet yeah, five subs on whoever do so I don't far, pick though, to I win. Up against uh, this Rocky Sports team, which, like we mentioned, Wait, how's that work? More than one Overwatch League champion. I'm just seeing as any like yeah, players I mean, uh, playing uh, in the uh, matches. Skytor did play for uh, Belgium in uh, Overwatch World Cup. So outside of just kind of contenders' experience, uh, you know, some some experience at the World Cup level, I believe this team's actually made up of like players really from like all Looking over through? Europe. It's not kind of like. Perhaps you look at like as like a French team, right? Like a, this is a team of players from everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think it's on Rocky Sports. Though. Oh, their first uh, match is to... tomorrow. 
you know, step it up here. I think they're the ones. Oh, is there more matches tomorrow for Coast Dreams? Obviously, having former champions in their team, they have to prove that. You know, they're an owl for a good reason. I didn't even know those matches players, tomorrow. They don't have as much pressure, as much weight on their shoulders. It's great having Pro yeah, Overwatch on Twitch. It's been a long uh, time, hasn't it? Three overall seed, uh, in the NBA, if the team right? you pick so wins, you don't give like, subs. If the team you bet on team wins, you give subs. Like well, I just got to, station, oh, right? okay, I see so what you're saying. You an idea of kind of like where this team sits in like I'd say on paper, ROC should win. Early on in EMEA. Uh, although maybe some players that people aren't as familiar with, right? Like, uh, oh, there's like three there's matches really tomorrow starting at 5 p.m. CET. Arabia. Now you add Checkmate and Izyaki to the mix, right? And hey, we got a top three. I don't know if I'll co-stream tomorrow, Chad, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, and Kariv, obviously a really good coach uh, as well, with so much yep. experience as a former player himself, then turned coach. I don't think I'll be playing tomorrow. For actually ever. I'm just, I still, I, I just thought like when that Is it a sheer was cold wind, you'll give five subs then? Mix -up. I did not see. Wait a second. Korean players getting matched up with, with some of the Saudi players. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go for sheer cold of this match. We know why, but, uh, you know, I think it's very, I think what <laughs> Do I like fermented things like beer? Different, no. Completely different sort of worlds in terms I am of not a fan of beer. Structures that these players have been sort of competing in right uh you no. know coming together like this there's always a question of in before somebody says oh you got to find the right beer you got to go to the mountains in north dakota they have a brewery up there has all the finest apas you can get it's great i just it's not my not my thing it's less about the individuals popping off and more about creating a team it's like more than the sum of their parts like that's what kareem's job has to have been coming into this and that's not easy it's really very difficult to to sort of create a mesh together yeah i know no no not ipas the apas okay you also just can't go very far like if you're like okay we're do i like whiskey like, you know i mean if it goes down smooth right because whenever somebody tells you it goes down smooth it's going to taste good correct so team oriented that like that will only get you to a point right? and it probably doesn't get you to the point that you finish like third overall in swiss right like i, I would say like you know if they had the number like eight overall seed i'd probably be like a little bit more like skeptical of like okay then imagine like, you know, being from like boston and not liking no pairing, beer obviously GM oh yeah sorry my bad i'm supposed to go around i'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk really outside and be like anybody want to go get a boston lager with me on the past but I'm, I'm looking to drink a beer anybody want to get a boston lager beyond that uh, something like a nice that, boston like lager like i listen i know i'm from massachusetts but that ain't happening absolutely and uh, mitch share cold you pointed out there's some console players in there yeah. Well, no. I mean, yeah, I actually do like seafood. Uh, so crap. Let me just check the document. That no, I'm growing up to, now. Uh, I do. To check that for you. Uh, again, yeah. So like, you know, Will, for example, I think was a. Was I mean, honestly, Malice uh, in Massachusetts, my neighbor probably would say that, that as like a, as like just saying hello. Uh, I think there was another one in there, but I can't see because I don't want to read the words on. Uh... I set this up. Did you saw me drink a hundred beers at Seaport? Actually, am I not? I'm gonna be at Seaport, right? Seaports for Paxes, correct? I don't think I'll be drinking hundred beers. I don't think I'll be drinking any beers, but I think that's where that is. They develop like these mad. I think Seaports for Paxes from around that area. And then they translate over to playing PC relatively seamlessly. You're from North Dakota. You can turn it so flat here. You can watch. Especially uh, when it comes Listen, to the game. And the aim I just had to come up with a random combination of stuff, you okay? Aim very highly, but we're talking like a high time to kill game like Overwatch where positioning and coordination are actually more important in, in almost every role. So this this isn't like that that rare thing. Actually. Is it our crab legs uh, so all they're cracked up to be? Like, you know, someone like Will. Uh, you know, isn't that really like a Maryland though. thing? I, mean, I don't think crab is my, my, huge uh, in Massachusetts. That's like Maryland, uh, right? Main account does not translate well into my PC experience. So you play Torb on the Switch. Yes, because I'm playing on the Switch. Torb <laughs> shoots for you, right? I kind of see that. <laughs> yeah, I, all I need to know is good turn placement, and I'm golden. And also, if you're playing on the Switch, you're actually pulled together with a PlayStation and Xbox people. So, unless you want to have, like, forever queues. So, you know, pick your battles. It is it is what it is. Uh, I but you're a console player. Why. Yeah, I, I've always been <laughs> a... a, I've, always been a uh, <laughs> I've always been a player on the sticks. Yeah, I was a... You know, when, when Mitch was talking about those amazing console players, uh, that then he switched over to you. PC. I'm surprised well, he didn't no, mention me. because no, I was talking there. about game space, uh, for Christ's sake. And oh, I mean, yeah, even more and of coordination. A yeah. yeah. I'm All things that Matt is known for. Yep. I have, I, have, uh, I have two controllers here on my desk. I'm always on the console. I'm always flipping the sticks, you know? It's like just... Uh, <laughs> it, it's for some people, it feels natural. It feels more natural than the, the keyboard and mouse. Mm-hmm.
Yeah. Well, one day you might make the big leagues too, Matt. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. one day. Don't you love the when you have to wait for the match to start and they don't really know what to talk about, so they start talking about this in the meantime while waiting for the match to start? Welcome to esports. I love it. It's no different than us talking about blue cheese on a push map. I think Conley being South African here, so. You know, no difference in talking about some blue cheese. Some of their best results, you know, they had through contenders. They were able to make it like third and fourth for a lot of contenders' seasons. So, a mainstay, very experienced. I expect this team not to look like a slouch in this matchup. I'm excited. I don't think they're going to look like a slouch. I do think, though, Rock Esports is probably going to. Can't believe they're not talking about blue cheese. Make a statement with, like, you know, how good Twisted Minds look. Not at all, Jamie. I just agree. Obviously, BSC in the last match, obviously getting clean wins. That I made I you cringe with the accent, but that's the also how you sound. I mean, I'm from Massachusetts, yeah, I, I, so I, I know I very much of the Boston accent. Here, and I, think I don't have much of an accent. Um, my family, family does, like my parents do. Like Even my sister has a Boston accent. I just don't. Like them, you know, so. we've seen I have an accent, like you'll hear it in some words, but like not like a thick Boston accent. Like you'll hear it in some of my words. Also, kind of, you know, keep pace with that. And let's not forget, Karif, uh, his coaching resume is quite impressive, right? Even before Rock, he was... Uh, we got Ramatra coach, versus uh, Boston Uprising. And he Ramatra. And someone Twisted Minds coaching them uh, back in Contenders. So, like, this guy might, we might remember... His, All right, Chad, I've decided. Right, it was sort of right I'm going to go for the... Are you drawing it, Zoe? What do you think about the gameplay so far? Yep. All right, thank you. All right, let's ah! <laughs> Little try cast, little try cast here. Oh, no. See, no, what I'm was that? Because I would have been stuffing my face with some form of food. I would have been absolutely caught red handed. Oh man. Love to see that. Love to see that. Sheik, although great start here. Uh, TVNT obviously being the first player to fall there is, is pretty big. They punished that front line. Hey, look, watching too. How often yeah, I go for donkeys like runs? Series, right? Not much right now. Mainly because um, I've been on like my yeah, nutrition plan, so like I what I would normally get from donks would be a little bit stacked on that. So I just I just saved the nutrition plan for making like, the stuff because like I didn't want to. Yeah. Trying to stay alive here, and uh, Izzyaki looks like he's kind of weak. Yeah, he actually ends up getting taken out by Will. Yeah, that's it. Your previous console champion Will turning up and putting the pressure on Izzyaki. This is what I was trying to say at the start of the game. Checkmate, Izzyaki. Obviously, these individuals are very storied, right? But already we kind of see Rock not being able to play around TVNT as well. Is Iaki getting picked off there by the tracer? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, wow. Cold have really kind of control the Honestly, game a game good game start first. for Sheer Cold. Uh, Sorry, Sheer Cold home. So, Sorry. Will, will the pulse Look for him to put some pressure on Izzyaki yet again. He did a really nice job in both fights doing that. 47% and counting. Sheer here we Cold go. The ones making the statement here early. Very, very surprising Despite start. Expectations. Checkmate and Will happen to duel for the time being now as TVNT just inches this way on the water point, but it's going to be forced to the Nemesis form soon enough here. Wayward Pulse. Not bad at all. The checkmates is right on target. Zonial brought down. Checkmate able to find yet another one here. And that's an individual skill expression starting to display itself. There we go. Yeah, as I mean, uh, checkmate, we what do they have coming up? The, uh, you know, best I'm trying to see the what world, they have coming up. Kind of in terms of like a flexible DPS. They removed it as soon as I said away and home. Let me definitely see. play with the best. Uh, Izzyaki, I know, finishing some uh, kills off. And then, uh, so SC has uh, beat uh, Ramatra Sojourno. ROC uh, has Sojourno beat Ramatra. So this is going to be one of those. Well, who, wants to, who wants to be the first team to ult? And who's ready to disengage? So what SC is probably going to do is they're going to probably set the tone here with their elves. They might just lead in with one of the elves. There it is, soldiers. So they've gone first. Now they got the beat out. Then they counter the beat. And then now both Ramatras are going to stand and stare at each other if they need to. Actually, they're going to reset that. I, I gotta say, I actually like the way that SC played that after they lost that. We've seen a little bit of teams doing that incorrectly, so... Yes, uh, now that they win two fights in a row, right? You're going to get near potentially a tie game. Was well, uh, checkmate with a pulse bomb? We'll see what he's able to do with it. Is uh, wait for it. If you can like kind of like dodge this pulse bomb and then get a fight on the point with that annihilation advantage, no support off the other side for Rock Esports. Here we so go. That's probably your path. It's been an easy one for checkmate. They are asking for it. Fade there was an option, I guess, but Checkmate is able to find two very quickly. Not bad. Zodial, yeah, losing him there is pretty brutal. Wow. 
Wow. Here it is, that tracer. That actually didn't want to happen. So SC had a really good start, but ROC has just started to dominate now. So what I think is going to happen here, don't be surprised to see ROC get really aggressive with Moira. Like, do not be surprised. SC is going to try to lead off with it, but I think ROC recognizes their L pool isn't quite where it is. They might just, they might just trade this out, too. We'll see. I mean, it's going to be Moira ult versus Moira ult now. I think if they lost their time in... But SC also has the Ramatra ultimate. This is going to be a good spot. Annihilation here for NKZ, though. That's a big one. Noham trying to push up now as well. Six TVNT on the side. Coalescence enough at least to put some respect on him. Decently safe position now. And of course, a healing blow. I mean, checkmate's really good. Really good disengage there. Actually, a huge pick by Will. The problem is for SC is they're not going to have any ultimates coming up. But, like, if they can get the trades right now, they're going to be in a good spot. And they do get the initial pick. I actually think this is. Yeah, not as ideal like, I, for ROC. They're going to have ultimates, but they stayed there for too long. Right so they do have ults coming, but they don't have a good retake. It's really going to come down to the Lucios here. I think if the Lucio is able to get a good boop, they might be in a good spot. It's going to be really tough. So we'll see what happens. Overclock here for Rojo. Checkmate's always a threat lurking now with another pulse bomb in tow. They do have the ults. Oh no, the one hero. That's what I was gonna say. I think it was gonna come down to the Lucios, and if they survive that with ult, I just, I just don't think they can trade out here. Uh, it's, it's like it just comes down to like these. I have to say, it's so nice to see these games come down to like one team fight on maps. It makes this so exciting to watch. I really, really enjoy that aspect of it. I have thoroughly enjoyed that. Nice job. He, and it, and it feels like once they got nice control job. of the point uh, and kind of like eased into the flow of the game, that's when they really started to kick off, right? I think maybe a little bit surprised at the start with like sheer cold coming in and just getting like, you know, the two fights back to back straight away. But uh, you know, after that, Rock able to get control and uh, really... Has Sojourn ever really been bad? Uh, during the beta. You know, the lion's share of, that of Overwatch 2, Sojourn was in a, in, in, a, in a somewhat difficult spot. Um, then then but then Sojourn's been pretty good ever since then. I will say Sojourn struggles in a lot of ranks, which is why Sojourn constantly would get buffs. If you ever wonder why a hero that you think is strong, especially when you watch pro play, is getting buffed, it's because while the hero's strong and being utilized correctly in pro play, sometimes in other ranks it's not being played the same way, so the win rates plummet. So they need to find ways to make it a little bit better. So. That's also why, like, when they made changes, like, the um the new changes they have to, like, the projectile sizes of shots, that also kind of helps heroes like that not have to be buffed as much anymore because they're going to get more value in general. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but still, it feels like a pretty big concession, right? Uh, in mobility, yes. And also, yeah. you, know, you, don't have that you know, I've been seeing more and more of the BAP gameplay, and I, I think Custa kind of touched on it yesterday, where it's like, it feels like teams just know to dive BAP right away against BAP comps, and like the lamp just doesn't give you that survivability anymore, which I know people love. When it comes to the comp they're running, it's like an all-in comp. It's a different philosophy of strategy on how they play it. Like the window is huge, but if the team is constantly making it so your BAP doesn't have fun, how do you react to that as a BAP player? And I'm just not sure. Um, and that's more of like, I, I don't know how to play that as much. You have to that was close. Shot there. Yeah. So, you said ranked people don't shoot the lamp? I mean, people in matches won't shoot the lamp. Think I'm shooting the lamp? I have some DPS to do, okay? We haven't seen patch notes yet. We did see a blog post. If you go to my second channel, you can kind of check out the review of that blog post that talks about it if you want. Um, they didn't talk about all the changes, though. I, I wouldn't doubt it if we don't see patch notes till Tuesday. Usually it's Tuesday. Sometimes you get lucky and it's on Monday, but, like, that's rare. You see what I mean? Like, they just target the BAP down. So, like, it's... Like, they're gonna switch to Moira, right? Yeah, look at them just leave NKZ here. Like, it's gonna ha- like... period of time. They wanna finish him straight away. Just to get a few extra seconds on the point now. Look at this, just like... I, I guess they're staying back. I mean, I... I here with a pulse bomb. He went up winning one of for me, it's just like, I, I've seen a lot of teams run the BAP comp, and the BAP just gets run down by the team. So... No stick there, but... The, 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 the lamp will go away, you gotta do that. Do I think that they'll have a collab every season? I think that's not something that they can guarantee. I think it's just going to be, is there a collab? Is it a possibility? Is there a company that's interested in doing something? Then yes. But like, I think it's going to be more random. Like, who saw Overwatch and Porsche being like a like a, like a a thing? I'm sure they weren't like, okay, we need a season 10, or season, yeah, what is it? Season 10, season 11, whatever it's going to be. I think they said season 10. 
I mean, yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a Porsche collab set for this. Like that, that's just like it probably is gonna be more about when they get in contact with those companies that want to do stuff and then go from there. But I mean, yeah, the collabs are cool. I mean, seeing Porsche and, and um, Cowboy Bebop be involved in Overwatch. Oh, what a stick! And that's gonna get him the point. Might not mean anything, but we'll see. I mean, you me? It doesn't matter. They got the point. Look at it, and they won the fight. Also, they did switch to Moira, by the way. He really asked for it. He burned his recall and he knew Will still had his. I don't know what he was going for. I mean, he probably thought the game was Yeah, the La Seraphim one was great too. But you know, just kind of concede like, all right, like. I had fun at BlizzCon. That was a good time. Hey, you'll, you'll, you'll let somebody back in the game. We'll see. Maybe I can't believe that was like months ago. Out of it. And you're gonna have some degree of respect. Is there a two-minute delay? I mean, I don't have a delay on. Turns out, but this is already delayed to begin with. Once again, being pursued. Probably be aggressive with her alt now. Play it defensive. Oh, what a stick! Oh no, the stick on the slide. So they went into their teammate. Oh no, that's that. Am I going to Pax East? Yes, I'll be at Pax East. Probably on Saturday. Probably Saturday, I'll be there. Check it out. Of stuff that happened there, right? What a uh, stick! It's the ravenous vortex there from the Ramatra to just lock the player in place, and then uh, I think the, the I think they show the diva skin for Porsche. Bomb. Wow, what a, what, a, what a good map. I mean, I will say SC played that probably a little bit better than everybody expected. Obviously, Control Center didn't go well. But I, I think that's what I've been kind of wondering a little bit with like some of these games is like when you see that comp being played, right? When you're seeing that comp being played of like BAP, I, I find that these teams that are running the Mortar comp just recognize, hey, just go for the BAP and we'll probably win most team fights. So I, I'm, I'm surprised in that one. So. I, I don't know, honestly, Peachy. I, I didn't see any of like the other stuff after that. So if they did, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. I'm sorry. In a hard fought five map series. But again, Overwatch does have a strong individual. It's been a year since the One Punch Man collab, right? So one anime collab per year. I don't think that's how it goes. Listen, if five different, like if One Piece showed up right now and said, "Hey, we want to do a collab in, in two seasons or three seasons," they're not going to go, "No, sorry, we already did Cowboy Bebop." We're gonna, that's what we're going with. Oh, they would take that in heartbeat, right? Or vice versa, like if it was something that was mutual, like they would do that in heartbeat, right? Yeah, it was the reinforced Reinhardt style uh, of play uh, where. But oh, I mean, listen. DPS, I, mean, it, I, 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 I am, mean, I am sure they have put feelers out right? to see if anybody, if, if, really if one piece would be interested. Anything. Because this is the, if there's a time a fantastic job to get one like piece playing, like you know, as a collab. Like this is the, this is the time, and especially and after the show like, popped off. Kind of like people are, people who already watch a lot of anime loved one piece, right? I've always heard good things, right? Yeah. The only thing I've heard from people with one piece is that there isn't enough episodes. That's like the one complaint I've heard. But then the show now, where people who didn't watch that. That shit. Like seen One Piece the anime, which is which I uh, me I love the the live action, right? The live action part, I, I loved it. Very very sharp there. Great start here for Rocket Esports. First map under their wing, so to speak. And there might be a few more joining them right after that. Omnic, thanks for the nine months of the tier. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. More from this group. Appreciate it. Okay, I need to open that again. The break. Yeah, oh, absolutely, Sean. So you were born in Boston, but you moved to Vermont. And sorry, my YouTube chat was minimized for a second. Uh, so you didn't get the accent as much? Yeah, I mean, like I said, my parents have it. My sister has it. I just don't have it as much. Do, do, do. By the way, are they playing ahead of schedule? I don't know if any of like the NA teams know this, if any of them are even there. But like, if like, like let's say Toronto 3 0s, do they just go right to the next match if it's like a 25 minute match or a 30 minute match? Or do they have to wait till the set times? I hope they don't wait for the set times. Like, have players on standby ready to go if like their match is quicker. Like, I think the matches should be, like, good to go after that, so. You're new to Twitch and Overwatch, what's happening here? We are watching uh, the esports side of things. Why does Toronto Defiant still have their team? Because that the org still exists, right? Like, 
Uh, if I'm correct, and, and, and Chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Toronto Defiant was one of like the actual like new orgs, as in like they were an org that was created at the time. Um, a lot of other orgs were like already set teams. Like this, an example, Shock is NRG. If you know the org NRG, like that's Shock. That's who Shock was owned by. Um, if you know like London Spitfire, that was C9, right? Like C9, like so. Uh, some teams had that, some teams didn't, some teams just, you know, they were they were they were done with all that side of things, and then some teams like Defiant were like, hey, let's let's keep the org that we have, let's keep building on the brand and get a team. So You know, I I have to say, by the way. I feel like 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 some like some of these people who have been getting heated in the chat, you would act like they got punched in the face or something. And, and I, I don't understand why either. Like it, it's like it is it is such a I, I don't even understand it. Like you would act like they're just getting like punched in the face and they're so angry. I'm just like, dude, like it's like I I, I, I are you serious? Like I <laughs> Oh, I, is this the is this the trailer? Okay, we're fine with that one. We're good until the, the Cowboy Bebop stuff plays. Our victory is at hand. Ashes, flashes. Die, die, die. You're mad at how my, my hair is? That's rare. What's my cat's name? We got, we got Luna, we got Arnie, we got Sully. Sully's a Bengal, Luna is a black cat, and Arnie is an orange cat. I'm getting readings of cosmic disturbance in these ruins. Who's the cat in my logo? Yeah, it's Sully. It, it also kind of like... Like, I can tell you like my the, the logo now. Oh, here, I'll just do this. So my logo is, um, it's a Bengal cat. Um, it is Sully. It also kind of pays a little bit of, um, I don't even know if I've talked about this part of the logo. Um, it also pay, pays a little bit of homage to my grandmother, who also had a Bengal cat, uh, and she was an amazing woman. And so it was kind of like a combo there of like, I do have Sully, but my, my grandmother also had a Bengal cat. It was her last kitty she had. Uh, so it's kind of like a double whammy on that father. one, where you kind of can kind of, you have both of that combined there. And then the sword is because I grew up playing Zelda with like my dad and like all that. And then and then the staff is because I love Lord of the Rings growing up. So that's kind of where all the logo came together. So. Yeah. Yeah, my my my, my grandmother's Bengal cat I think was twenty. 20 year old Bengal. So. Who did all the art stuff? Um, it was a company called Paper Crown. So they did a very good job. So. Yep. I didn't really talk about it at the time because that was, you know, that, that's essentially where like the inspiration comes from for the whole logo. They did a great job because like it was like an idea concept we wanted to see and it went, it went well. So yeah, yeah I, th I think she was like 20, um, uh, uh, the Bengal was, yeah. Kozak, thanks for the two months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Logo. This is match here in Group C over OWCS. Kings Row! Good to see the return of Kings Row. Sports. Your friend has a Bengal that's 22 now. We love to hear that. I'm honest with you. Didn't really look like they'd be the dominant team, but very quickly they started to wrestle the game back under their control. And uh, not in, in no small part due to the heroics of Checkmate there on Lee's Young Tower. They comfortably take away map one. We've got Midtown and Hollywood. Yeah, that's why the logo is how it is. Hey, you guessed so. it. King's Row available for our second. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? King's Row and Blizzard. World I don't think I've ever played that, by the way. Chosen from, and then I think at that point, it's just. No, uh, I don't really feel like starting it. Uh, interesting, we've seen. Uh, you know, They're going to run Brawl or Rush? Uh, Brawl. Brawl. Uh, it's going to be a lot of Ramatra. Typically, we see teams uh, that move towards like either Esperance or New Queen Street, but. Yeah, Luna uh, is that, six. That will be the third map. Sully is five. Arnie is one. 
pretty standard. And whenever I get a house, I would love to get another kitty. Like a slow start, like adopt one first two yeah. fights, but then so we've after adopted that, Luna and uh, Arnie. Point, it was the all, same place, and they're awesome. Uh, so going their way. So it'll be interesting to see if they can kind of keep another that cat? momentum uh -huh. going here. In the if I get a house, you know, if I get a house, there's room for more, right? You know, I gotta. It is currently zero to one, favoring Rock Esports. Disregard. The numbering there. You said orange. You said orange cat sleep. that's still a kitten. Oh lord, I have a Bengal. A My Bengal is a here, really is five and is still a kitten. If anybody who has a Bengal, like showcase. Bengal is a high Post energy kitty right. who acts uh, like a kitten a lot of the time. Water, a more so I, I, I have no there. problem with an the orange kitty center. that's 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 still kind of in that kitten phase because I have a Bengal. Like if you have a Bengal, you you know what I'm talking about. She called this time though, favoring the Lucio Kiriko as you'd expect on a map like this. Yeah, so uh, I, I think the Lucio Kur Curry gives like the best just overall kind of a gain to a comp, right? Like there's just so many different ways you can play it. I also think the Kuriko puts out great damage, has awesome survivability, and then the rush with either you know, Sojourn, Ramatra, right? It's just awesome. Yeah, I think my grandmother, she uh, had like four cats at once. She had a, uh, a Bengal, a Siamese cat, uh, a Maine Coon, and a... Right? Uh, and check me probably swap I want to say a to like, you know, get them moving and get Oh there what what there was a another cat I'm trying to remember what it was Nope not going to be able to find a pick Tracer probably But she had she had yeah she had quite the cats Tracer Cassidy then for Rocky Sports regenerative burst already I'll, I'll tell a little bit of a of a Poke seems to be favoring Shea Cole I'll tell a story about that after with the Soldier cats too Um Although I will say it's it's a bit of a It's 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 a, it's a, it's a very uh, fun moment, but also the it's also not. But I'll, I'll explain it after, right? In between the uh, in between the in the in between the games. Yes, uh, we saw. Uh, like, it's fine. It's just earlier in the day by Twisted yeah. Minds, right? And uh, now you have uh, you know, Rojo picking up the role here for Rock Esports. Uh, Twisted Minds ended up playing it uh, with a different type of tank selection, but. Uh, the, they ended up playing with the Zarya to kind of like bait out the die, but you can you can definitely run this with a Ramatra. Pretty good start here. Uh, actually, I'm I'm surprised by the Sigma from ROC. Yeah, I think some. I'm actually surprised. I predicted double Ramatra, but they actually ended up running the uh, Sigma comp, which I like Sigma. Slower really allows you to emphasize the impact of that Cassidy pick. Again, it's still. Everyone, any dogs? A group of pugs. You know, exploit that lack of mobility at times. He really has to respect Mac grenade. Primarily. ROC is really good yeah, right now. Also, right what now. is the name Everybody of that Cassidy? HP. They just kind of LOL, JK, haha. Uh, that feels like an alt account in one of my ranked games. Lucio 2v2 here on the side. I mean, I, I, Shrivel loses that one. Unbelievable. I know why. Uh, was basically in one versus two for a time there. Will eventually has to opt out of the fight, though. So the cart is still on the move. That's literally an alt account, one of my rankings. <laughs> you feel like you played against that cast? That's what I'm saying. Damn, the dead eye. Dead eye lasts so long now. Chat, be honest. How often have you peaked the dead eye right now in your rank games after you think dead eye is already done? Are they going to go with it? Oh, the flux inside a close range. Is it every time? I do it so much because, like, if you played Overwatch 1, you kind of have, like, this internal, like, dead eye timing, so you, like, expect it to last this long. And then you're like, well, dead eye must be done. How's it? And I'm back to spawn. And then you go, oh, I lagged. How'd they get me behind the wall? What was that? Meanwhile, you know what happened. You know. I was able to live all throughout that with TNT. You said not a single time you're that good? Or is that because you're always just running back from spawn so much that you never have the opportunity to get high nooned? This Ramatra here, so obviously Sigma will excel at the poke. He will exceed Ramatra's capacity at poke. All right, what do we got here? Yeah. I mean, tough to win that fight out. Checkmate's been nipping his heels. No alts, we have ROC. Still running the Sigma comp, which I just said, I mean, I like seeing some Sigma. I do play Sigma, so. Yeah, eventually gets brought down. Sigma's just really hard to uh, to handle when it comes to a shield battle, unless you're willing to commit. Well, and you won't commit if you have less than five players. You're probably gonna lose there. Yeah, and that, that's the hardest thing, right? Uh, they need to commit sheer cold because, like, you know, the the Sigma with the damage, the shield, the kinetic grass, like, he's just gonna be able to poke way longer than the Ramatra, right? The Ramatra, like, can't like if you go Nemesis for him, just stand there. Like, what do you really? You know, doing and the shield obviously does not last. Wait, is that enough. actually a thing, Jack? That'd be uh, unreal. So really? Player, even if you're a player down, I haven't heard about that. How long has that been like? Probably to go forward, uh, to just kind of stand there. You're just waiting. I like the trace run and go up there. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, trying to get up on the high. Yeah, he missed, the, missed. missed the blink. Yeah. There's a blink you have to do up there to make that work. Frustrating, especially because he's lost his other DPS in the meantime, and Stribble gets... Imagine that's like your whole sequence. You're trying to do this really cool jump spot to get up onto the high ground, and then you just end up having to run back because you get rolled, and you're like, oh, I wanted to be there for the team fight. Backline, Hale and Hardy, despite Will's best efforts, he'll eventually be brought down. And we're talking more I wanted to be there for the team the fight. Right Come on! To try to end the map with. That's lots of time. Uh, TNT moving up into the spawn it is uh, is not not ideal here for sheer cold. Uh, that's gonna be the flux is gonna actually. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's bad. That's not ideal either, Matt. As you would say, well, and that'll do it. That is a tough play here for Rock Esports. Okay. Yeah. Of Rock just absolutely was, uh, dominated. I don't even know where yeah, to go with that one. Steamrolling right there. We'll see those sheer cold maybe bounce back on offense. I think at, at the same point, time, is there a chance that Rock is mad yeah, because they've they've held him under four minutes, or they got held under four minutes? Like There's always that side of it too, right? Uh, by any See what I'm saying? Because 3:42 is a time that uh, not a lot of people. Yeah, I'd be fuming. Or even contend with. And bear in mind as well, I would be fuming. Esports are playing at Sigma Com, which is one that normally is a bit more attrition focused. The, those poke comps are not really going to run at you unless they find like a a clean, easy. Uh, pick in so many of these fights. So I had to have so much time left on the map here. Despite that, is, is quite impressive. Yeah, good it boy. also speaks, I think, just to how much trouble NKZ had playing the Ramatra against the Sigma. Ramatra is generally very good. They're probably going to win 3 0. I mean, maybe. You never know. Ah, but look at this. SC is might be on the Sigma now, and that's when you start to know they're in that territory of like, like, uh oh, that didn't work for us. Let's try something a little bit different. But does that mean they've practiced the Sigma comp as much? Also, I think the reason why they're doing the Farah at the beginning here is the Farah has this new strat where you boop somebody off one of the initial high grounds or behind the statue just to give an opportunity for a pick. How do I know this? A couple teams we played against did this. Yeah, there it is. So you you have the Farah use the boop towards the statue in case they're playing there. Exactly and then you have a Widow set up for a shot. Wants. See? Can we just see the lineup see? Like a conk into a Widow wow. shot? That's it. That's the play. Did you enjoy that chat? The way already. The idea will be switching too. So it will be Sigma Cops. See, that's the play. For both these sides. It's just to try to get a boop, uh, a boop a lot of like, uh, I also think, doesn't boop do damage now? Absolutely. So technically, if you hit the boop, the Widow may not even require a headshot on some heroes. So it's like a double whammy combo. Is that correct? I think they made it so like the it, it does a little bit more damage now. So like you have a good opportunity. Eh, yeah, it'll probably be a free tick. Tracer might tap in time. It's a good idea though. Like force them off the high ground that way is good because like you don't really want to play in that spot as a team. So the way that SC's playing this is the very methodical approach is where you kind of like take the high ground slowly. We did see a team do this yesterday where they spent way too much time up on that high ground and it didn't go well. So that's why it's really good to see SC actually drop down from that high ground really early on. There's a difference between getting map control and just sitting there doing nothing, right? And I, I think one thing that SC did well there was like be very decisive on this. Whether or not they win this team fight, it was a very good decisive play that gave them map control map control, and should give them a win. I mean, look, look at... She doesn't just climb walls, right? And you also have a couple plays, I think. That window is actually pretty solid, believe it or not. Left. Yeah. They, they, they have to get off the point. Them, it's, it's not like amazing, but it's not like terrible. If you are playing a Sigma comp that wants to reposition and keep you at arm's length, then you're not going to... Yeah, that, that's, that's just a reset. ...trying to shut down this outmaneuver play. You have to just go to your prescribed location and hope to find some picks. Yeah, we've all been there. Which we get, eventually. Wait! Yeah, so looks and there you like go. Not They're still going point. for it. Yeah, it looks like in, uh, TNT, and then Checkmate hits the pulse bomb. So yeah, is this a reset? Well, if need be, no, the Sigma's going back to spawn. Uh, I mean, that is one where it looked like Sheer Cole is going to be able to take it. Will actually gets the kill there. This will be I, I, why is this so close? By a sound yeah, nice I think they get it. I think they get it. There's no way. Window? They don't have window. Oh, no, the high noon! Run! Barry They're all one. Very low goes Strebo. He's able to get away though. Rojo just throws out that mag grenade in case someone's trying to come through the hotel on a pick on wheel. I mean, honestly, like, even close. if you're SC there, I mean, if you're a uh, rock right there, I don't even think you're mad. That was a good retake. Like, yeah, they they still have a good amount of time, but like, that was good. Will we have an OWCS bingo in the future? Maybe. I mean, I'm not against the idea. I'm not against the idea, to say the least. I think the sound barrier is able to keep them all up, but. Uh, sheer cold, able to get the payload moving. You have this over. I'm on against the idea. Zodial, uh, use here in the second point. 
Like one the thing I'm up for here is gonna be TNT with the flux and no sound barrier on the other side. Okay, we're good. How much to combo with it though? Not often required. Especially if you have Is there a, a where are they now video one coming? I haven't recorded one in a bit. Our predictions going on right now? No, we haven't really done that. Usually when we had mods around, we'll have them set that, but we don't really have that. Good Sigma. Oh, yeah. Yep, Rock 2. Okay. And just like that. Yep. Now you play the choke, and you just, you're going to get it to, like, Bleed time off Even the if they lose the team fight, you're at like 2 minutes 15 uh, seconds. And this is where the time bank can start to really play into how SC has to play this because they don't really want to play for a draw, right? Like you already have to hold for 4 minutes. So they need to be really decisive and they need to win this team fight decisively. They're going to tell them to take damage. They're going to tell the Sigma to take a little bit of damage because they want to get window. There you go. There's the window. Oh, that's just a team fight win. They might not even need window. You know, it, I, I'm surprised they went with the, the window there, and, I, and I'll explain why. They already got a pick on bat, right? And they don't really have beat yet. So sometimes you have a set plan. The plan is you're going to lead in with window, right? Like, that's the first step. You're going to lead in with... Um, but really nice shot from Shirkola. If you, you're going to lead in with the window. But then, like, if you get in the limb, you might be able to change that play. They went with it, but, like, now they're going to get counter window. So they have to disengage it right away. They're going to try to get eat out on the Sigma first, so that way the window gets more value. What a shot. There's the window. Oh, no! If I'm the Sigma there, I'm going, it wasn't me. I have no idea how they got up there. Life Weaver. Life Weaver put him up on the high ground. Don't you hate when they have a Life Weaver who pedals them up? Don't you hate that? Hate when that happens. That's a good swap, too. To, like, you don't even know they went Life Weaver. That's dangerous. You're giving artificial high ground to a hit scan hero with an When are people playing Life Weaver? Oh, you, you, you can't. You, you, you're not able to see it. It was a quick swap back and forth. Right. Do I watch anime? I mean, not as much as. Um, I, don't, I don't watch a ton. Now. I, I, I'm not against the idea, but that will be just a one day I'll binge watch anime. It will happen. Good news is I have a ton of anime to watch. So. Good counter outs there. I think they win this. I mean, I, actually, let me see. They should win this. There's no way they lose this. Yeah, they, 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 this is... I, I don't even... Checkmate might get in a limb on Lucio, but I, I just think, like, at this point, just a reset. Will be prioritizing at this point. Yeah, you wasted that beat. That's unfortunate, but plenty of time bought here. She and Carl, gonna finish There's the about two minutes on the clock, okay? SC has an actual pretty good ult pool right now. There's, a, there's an opportunity for SC here. Obviously getting close. Will trying to just... And figure out where checkmate is and just prevent him from coming back just easily, right? Like That's the matchup right there. You like it's a 4v4. Checkmate. Is this the you last game of EU? Yes, yes flat. The other it side is. of things. So. Well, Will's gotta be careful, though. Trading pretty evenly in length here. Will has natural sort of health packs pretty close by as well on his defensive half. Here we go. Eventually, though, he'll have to turn his attention to the matter at hand. That is the card inching closer to the golden box of victory. High ground denied. AOI with a beautiful boop, I think, knocking Sheer Cold back off that platform. But the defenders still aren't in very powerful positions. Very long range, again, with a lot of that sort of uh, reduction in damage go. was an issue for the Cassidy. So Rojo's have a nice pick. Sort of sojourn here. Oh. And Checkmate's dead again. The, the, he still has a uh, it, it's so tough. They have to go for the BAP right now. They have to force out BAP. Otherwise, they're just not going to be able to win this. And Tracer recognized that. Yeah, it's such a tough timing. It is such a tough timing on this one. Holy crap. That's how you know you have a good team when Checkmate can get picked off first. Who's also a really dominant player and then still win. You know what I mean? I just don't think they're going to have time. They need to go in with the Pauls. They, they, they want to... You have this opportunity, like, okay, maybe you play for a draw, but, like, I just think you go in. I, 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 you play for the win here. Ooh, that was close by Will. Go top left. 
Next checkmate will have his pulse bomb that he's been hatching like a bloody century egg. And he'll be looking to make use of it in a moment now. Gravitic Flux oh, catches no one though. That's a bit hasty from TVNT. Checkmate still considering this one. I mean, at the very worst now, it's a draw for Rock. To make use of it before Stribble can build his up, and it's very small now. That might just be it. NKZ, the Damn. Target again gets served up, dished out, and ripped to shreds. Yeah, and uh, AOI just consistently those sound barriers able to be dropped right after the wounds from Shield. And there you go. Cold. And that gives that extra survivability, you know, even though if they did not... Yeah, Rock's rock playing pretty well on the second map there. I I, 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 I don't know how is SC's going to play on the third map, which looks like it's going to be push. Bank, it was like close to but we'll, we'll very much they were able to do, uh, That was a proper rock easy, oh, was it me? Their offense and then hold strong on D. They, they looked yep. really good. Yeah, and again, and, you know, at the start of this map, you're in a Sigma mirror. When you get out positioned by the attackers, you have... It, it was going well so far, but, like, at a certain point, it just becomes difficult if the other team is just rolling. And then they were rolling that the whole time. You have to try and find a way to manufacture an advantage. I've, I've got to give it to Sheer Cold. They understood the flow chart of that engagement. Make sure your Sojourner's up on that high ground and make sure she's impossible to sort of to flank, to hit from the side. So thumbs up. Sheer Cold's protocols look really good. That was, that was a good one. It's a, it's a big difference maker. And your Rock Esports yeah. seem to be really well drilled in that regard. A little flash. Yeah, Rock is good. Even. I just don't deny uh, that. And they definitely take rock away, is good. Uh, a very well-earned W in that second map. I mean, look, you, you were able to get... What region is this? EMEA. The, checkpoint the early, NA matches right? start uh, in yeah, about an hour and a half. Just some of those, but if you're going to get there, you know, star player... That tracer, can happen for Bronze Stall, because there actually isn't as many Bronze the, players the, as people think there is. If, if I'm correct, and I, I think Gavin's touched this where, before, I know, Will, there's actually, like, top 500 and Bronze are very similar in how their Q times can be. There isn't as many people in Bronze. Am I co-streaming the whole thing? I'll be co-streaming all the NA matches too, yes. So, like, Bronze doesn't have the same, like, player pool that people think. Like, Bronze is very... It's a very small player pool in comparison to, like, very similar to how top 500 rolls about that matchup in that moment. Nice to see him really put this pressure down. And again, Sheer Cold can hang. Oh, I don't think they quite yeah. have the uh, the X Factor though to to create the kind of leads that we are seeing from Rocky. That's true for low bronze, so like Man, bronze five? With is, is, that, is that that? Yeah, and, so like bronze five, bron like that area? Teams play the sojourn with the yeah, tracer, yeah, that makes right? sense. Maybe but like bronze five is change. very much in that like the same I as like top 100. To the side, but also Rojo has looked really good on the sojourn, able to land shots at range. Also, we see... He said Gavin will also attest that gold is high rank as well. This is uh this could be a little bit of a closer one. Listen, you know what would be amazing? You know, we saw, I think we saw earlier on as well. Gavin needs to meme that in an interview. Next time Gavin has an interview, Gavin needs to just like just straight faced say Yeah, no, gold is and just just do it. Don't no context. Don't even like don't even go back to that conversation, just throw it in there and then just keep going. Uh meme machine, thanks for the gift of stuff. Thank you, appreciate it. You know what I mean? Like, just, just don't even to touch on the subject again. Forward. Just just say that statement uh, about it and just keep going. Swords looking like they're primed to take that, <laughs> uh, I guess, direct slot into the main event here. Sheer Cold can hang to some degree, but eventually it looks like their nerve breaks. And then Rocky Sports have those years of experience behind them, not yeah. only on the field, but also in the coaching staff. Even if Kareev leaves the map halfway through, he can trust his team. He's like, oh, we're job fine. Done. Yeah, no, I mean... This map actually is, uh, looks cool overall. It, it's just going to be difficult, I think, for Sheer Cold to kind of like... <laughs> win in this type of scenario right oh um, i know i'm i'm not actually really saying to do that gavin but that range you know the sigma again here like the sigma is a little bit interesting uh in terms of like <laughs> trying to play that on this map you know you never know right you know uh it's not one that we see a lot of teams go for whether it it's like good kind of like doom ramatra like those are kind i know of that good I, I know that wouldn't go it's well but it's the thought you know it's just, you know, right? perhaps that's part of the reasoning we're a bunch of memers here so yeah i mean uh, uh potentially right um actually from everything i heard people loved uh, you in the interview with um the ml so. here as uh you know, right now it's going to be about well so see they don't want to put the shield out right away because um adam melody so thank you for the freeze process thank you appreciate it thank you right so you want to like poke without the shield uh, also, train track, also like, chat so after this on the other side to make sure you don't like poke without your shield and just get killed. Um, the shields only go up when the sojourn is glowing blue. That is basically the after this, we're gonna do the so obviously she's not we're gonna do the charge. challenge that she has um, uh, Vent had, had mentioned to us the, of the shot, right? like, I am gonna try to get three of limbs of the Ramatral in quick play while going four miles per hour on the treadmill. Yeah. Sound good, everybody? It's either gonna take one attempt or I'm just gonna get through one game and say I'm too tired. So not only am I am I going for the challenge while we wait for the NA matches, I'm gonna be working out. It's a win-win, right? <laughs> 
didn't really four miles per hour you're cold but he's still able to find a few players with some nice sojourn shots building some pretty comfortable momentum here to start the game off and there's another one this time it's like, oh, why getting taken down if it's not one it was talked about a while ago crap too might have been in the same day i have no idea to generate these picks and then lean into their opponents in shorthanded situations when you can deliver those picks with such consistency even mind you playing from the freaking low ground here that's a big oh yeah i mean it, it, honestly gavin that it, it's as you get through the first interviews <laughs> You'll probably learn more and more on that stuff, and then you're like, okay, next time around, right? You know? Also, uh, good start for SC. SC needed that type of start. It isn't like the best start, like from like losing people here at 44 meters, but like they still have a, you know, two minutes off the clock, a little bit in the lead, right? So. Close to happening. I mean, that would be just really bad for Rock if you know you give all that first checkpoint straight away. They get control of the bot, they'll move it now to. Uh, you know, yeah, that just goes with that sometimes, right? The halfway point of the map, and. I think this next fight, Mitch, will be like the, the first, like, you know, quote unquote, like, real. I think it's also kind of the opposite of how my interviews went. Like, I felt like when I first started doing the Overwatch 2 interviews, it was almost a little bit too, like, the investment, how we see the rest of the map play out. Um, I, I don't even know, like, I, how to explain it. It was like too, um, I don't know. We didn't like the, the questions we asked. So, like, I remember the, 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 the next time we did an interview with uh, Jared, which, by the way, I had a great time when we talked to Jared on stream. And we just talked about everything. There was no, like, we were just like, yeah, hey, let's talk about this. Why not? Good pressure. It was great. Really trying to get away there, but he can't. Is Iyaki going to bring him down? And the finish is there. Yo, Checkmate is so good. Holy crap. You spend your support ultimates and that's Chat, it. remember when, like, we, like, explained to you, you're like, hey, in your rank games, you know, what do you do in that situation? This is what the tracers are doing? What do you do? It's crazy there. I mean... In that situation, if I'm playing tank, what am I doing? Try my best to hope I hit that there. You know? support ults there, so... Uh, no, double support ult on the side for Sheer Cult could be huge in terms of, uh, you know, them even preventing Rock from taking the lead. Awful close now. Overclock still in the hands of Exodial. That I fell over? Yep. Is compromised early in the fight. Last time it was checkmate. Ah, oh, this is everything here. Well, we've all been enjoying the co-stream today, chat. I, real talk, I appreciate you all hanging out with me during co-streams. It's, I know it's a bit different than ranked and the grind, but we don't get, you know, a ton of co-streams to be able to do it. So heck yeah. Uh, for the drops, um, um, Leslie, for these ones, like the esports one, just you go to the Overwatch underscore esports channel, you can get them there. A lot of the time we do have drops here, but for the esports one, they have that separate for their own uh, channel. All right. That is a real difficult one because, you know, you end up using so many of your ultimates there for sheer cold. Like, you're kind of like all in on that one. And then it just does not... SC had such a good start, but Rock is just taking it back. I mean, they are able to get um, a little bit of a team fight early here. So I think what, what Rock will end up doing is they're going to play that low ground and try to force out an ultimate. It's a very safe spot to play. If you're playing push and you struggle around this area, going down there and just chilling is fine because you keep the bot in place and you give yourself an opportunity. If the other team isn't trying to make a play... Then you can eventually grind them down and win the team fight. So the only really interesting thing in terms of ults up right now. Maybe they don't matrix here, but it's a tough angle to get used to that for all immortality fields down. They might be able to go here. Johan being forced to use that a little bit earlier. And that's the pulse finish. Checkmate was waiting. No, I don't think their team name is South Carolina. Beautiful accretion there. Strebel, uh, that's just the team name. The We're watching the EMEA and matches and they their their team name is really South Carolina. Them back into the spawn is Will trying to make it back to his wow. doesn't, I mean, doesn't do so. Is I, I, Rock is just dominated right now. Just making it around that corner. So still a really, I know, far stretch to go here. But man, with every Rock is playing, it's going to be difficult for Sheer Cole to get back into it. Now, what's the play here? Uh, you have to tease What's the play here? Field, if you will. will needs so to go for a play. Your head blown off by Rojo. They're gonna lead with Sigma. Ult. Oh, the rock dodge. Okay, first of all, how do they get their ultimate not to just randomly get stuck to the the, the lamp in the back and go off the map? Because that's what mine would have done right there. He said, "Yep, rock." Don't need to make use of it. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like, maybe if people were a little bit healthier, you could have sound better there and like use your own flux and taking them out of it uh, if you were rock. No, that's not who. That's not who ROC yeah, is. Plush. Nice flux just on his Yaki. Nice job there from NKZ to like dodge the accretion up in the sky. Uh, and then you just take out that uh, Baptiste. Uh, Rock decides to just give up after that. 
I mean, yeah, Vern. They have, they have a great roster. I don't think SC is necessarily played bad. It's just ROC or Rock is just like a step ahead. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shine, thanks for the two on Savage, friend. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Solidly has swung against them. They spent so many ultimates on a losing fight prior. That's what ultimately caused them to give up the checkpoint. We're back to that point again. Big ultimates for both teams. Is Odil really hoping to find an opening? With this overclock, but not in the best position to make use of it. And oh my goodness. He's about to get fluxed. Sound Mary has to be used there by Strebo. AOY gleefully holds onto his for a rainy day. That accretion not connecting. The pressure is too much for NKZ. Eventually, Damn. he'll crumble. Oh, and Johan actually ends up using that. Uh, Ant what do I think about the OWCS ground. compared to OWL? I think they could actually help NKZ live. It's that, really uh, cool to Yohom see that we can watch matches. There. It's been exciting. And I've enjoyed it. The coach streams have been fun. I get to talk about Overwatch. I get to talk about random stories. Uh, I've loved it. I, I think it's great to have the, this this uh, type man, of stuff now, back in Overwatch. Like o that, uh, OWL took this it's, away it's the, uh, for years ground, of not right? being able to watch like, matches oh, like live on Twitch or like together like co-streams and to have it back. And like you couldn't even like you couldn't even like monetize this stuff. Like you couldn't even like go and post content about it. Otherwise, it would get like you know they'd be like yeah no that that that's ours. Um they they allow that now too where you can you can monetize it like I can post these like my reactions on like second channel like I can do all that which is it's great it's great. By the way, this is where you're gonna see that standstill happen on this map. Both teams sit in the middle. You wait for something to happen. Usually the team that is winning just sit there and wait unless they have like a huge ult advantage. The other team just sits there and tries to spam them out and then eventually they have to make a play. Usually it's let off with a support ultimate, but like all that matters right now is getting the time off the clock. So like there's no, there's no incentive for them to really push, right? They, they can just kind of sit here and just play this trading game if they want. This is where the real fight happens, right? This part of the map. This is where Sheer Cold need to try to find a way to put some flank pressure down. NKZ close to a flux here. I wonder if you just pop it in the That was high peachy, but that was also when it was still on Twitch. No, at least waiting for Exodial to be in position. You have to do something to try and yeah, force some of these ultimates out. Bro in a great spot. Oh, I mean I I, I co-streams and like the ability to do this has been a it has been something that for years we've all been requesting, especially as streamers. And it was always like, yeah, well no. Sorry. Now it's much different, which has been awesome. I I I don't I don't I, my my initial thought is if they go eight minutes on push, I don't know how it will go. Like I said, during the beta, I remember one of like the largest feedback we had on push was that it felt like we couldn't do anything, so they made it ten minutes and the map played infinitely better. I didn't like it on eight minutes. Uh, Granted, that, the player base now plays push a lot more, so players have gotten better at push. So it's also maybe eight minutes is good now that players have played it for years, or for a year, right? Year and a half. You know what I'm saying? Get caught, especially when it was Rojo using that the overclock there. Focus on Johan here. It's about the Baptiste, and it's about forcing that immortality field out of him. Yeah, we don't know. I, I don't know what the... If they do any type of push changes, I don't know what they would be doing overall, so it's hard without knowing the context of all the changes to tell you if 8 minutes or... Oh! I love I love the confidence there to get stuck by the Pulse Bomb. That was a beat. And trust your teammates enough just to go and hit the shot. Yeah, I was going to say, they're looking for a map completion. Uh, like, they are... Well, SC is going to lead off with beat here. They have beat advantage, but... Or, but Rock has... Rock has window very shortly. They're just going to window, because why not? Yeah. Got beat out. Good luck to their Sigma. Yeah. And she called are struggling. Got the bat. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's the good news. Here's the good news for SC cha SC chat. They only have to win 22 team fights in a row to win this map. And that was just one of them, so they're down to 21 team fights now. But not able to do so. I thought once they like That's pretty good. Sound barrier out early from Sheer Cold that Brock was going to back up, play a little bit slow. That's it. It's uh checkmate. Just trying to find a cheeky kill here mid map. Going to have to back up. I mean, I you're gonna need what? Three or four fights here? More than three. Goal, right? Instant spawn, one team fight here. You're gonna get it under the bridge. That's two team fights. Three team fights are gonna respawn immediately. Four, five, probably six team fights. You'd have to win six team fights in a row, I think. Maybe five because of overtime spawn. Because this one, 
One more team fight before the checkpoint. The checkpoint gives them instant spawns. Yeah, I think it's five team fights at minimum. Not a good start. Buy some space, but checkpoint eventually gets rid of Will. That's devastating. Now what is it? Zodial to really deal with most of your damage here. NKZ already forced into some defensive cooldowns here. I think there's still a drone up for Johan. Gets the lamp. It's brought down by Checkmate's pulse. Yeah, it's just the GGs. The they weren't gonna win that anyway. They had everything. Is that is tough. If you were if you were rock, would you stack just would you wait to stack all five alts? Yes, uh, but they gotta pick early, so then you just ult. So. And there you go, there's the first set of matches. They definitely oh yeah, so I was telling here. Chad, I was going to tell my Chad the, come in, you know, the story with my my um, call, really my grandmother. And, and to give you an idea, the story is like, it's both there, like super uh, super happy and like, you know, they they were be a little King's bit row. obviously sad at the same uh, time. But so uh, my, my grandmother had, she had passed away at, yeah, about, said, I think, two weeks before the release of Overwatch 2. And so we had gone to the... When we had gone to her funeral, she remember I told you how she had all those cats? Like growing up, she had all those cats and all that. I thought it was absolutely amazing that she she also brought all her cats with her too. She had all the cats with her during all that process. Throughout the years. So during that, she had all the kitties that she had. Uh, Chad, can we get some blankies in the chat for Doc with the five gifted? Thank you, Doc. I appreciate it. So all the kitties she had. It's got to be so hard we're also to with her go up against players like that over the years i mean this this play right here i mean that was kind of like you know one of the ones that really turned the tide in map number one you know being able to get that uh stick then get the finish off on the yo-ho yeah. i thought that was amazing and then push on through and the it apparently it was one of her highest requests uh, she's like I, this, he's like listen you can scenario. forget this we'll you can forget that really if you heck up so here we'll, 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 that's we'll, fine but the one thing that she wanted to be made sure of that all the kitties were there constantly on the soldier and able to pick up some kills well, no Volt Bite. Yeah, if you take it like that way, then, 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 then you just, I have no idea what you're puts, even saying at that point. That's just uh, dumb. I, it can make DPS plays look very good. Uh, I think at times, especially when you're playing some of this Soldier and Tracer. Uh, Rainvern, thanks for the five months. The Future Prize, thank you, appreciate it. Like, there's no one sticking that way. Which is, you know, like, story, that's, guess, that's just many, stupid. Many different metagames here, but it's always such, such a question of how do I pick a tank that can both put pressure on, but also, you know, stay alive and take some space here. And that's just a problem. The that second one, Mary. He was struggling to take enough space. And again, the Ramatra isn't great at doing that against the Sigma, especially if that comp is moving slowly. And they have a Cassidy as well, who's like basically operating at his optimal ranges. And then this, obviously, this play was really big. Uh, getting that immortality field forced out there. Uh, checkmate able to flank really deep so much on this map because he can trust the rest of his team to that was a good tournament. play 4v5 for a while. And not lose any players, not get anybody picked off. They played really safe, really effectively, especially through this part of the map, right, where you do need to break. Oh yeah, I thought it was awesome. Frequently. As I was saying, be, like it was really cool to see. Really she always had all our kitties growing up. the enemy soldier free railgun charge off your shield. Okay. Was constantly like pulling and pushing their shields to make sure. Yeah, that, that's what okay. she did, Myriad, with well, all with all the kitties well, after. If she doesn't have rail, she did. Then she had them, and then when she when that when that whole actually do damage, force her to get. That's what she did to charge that up and actually. That's what she did. I was like, I think it was like five of them. Yeah, well, they came out on top. I'm very interested to see how they will be looking like against a team, which may be able to push them. Thank you for the five gift that I appreciate. Okay, chat. I am going to be right back a second. Wait, really, Caps? They didn't allow that? Oh, you know what? First of all, good on you for being able to do that. I'm sorry to hear that you even had to go through that process. Good on you for doing that, too. Yeah, they had no problem with that. They were like, that's totally fine well, when they put that in there. So. Wait. Oh, SSG plays tomorrow. Okay. All right, so chat. NA matches start in an hour. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay? I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then we're going to be going on the treadmill. We have a challenge. I think it's for 69 gifted. I am going to be on the treadmill at 4 miles per hour trying to get um, Ramatra. I have to get three of limbs with the Ramatra ultimate to win the challenge. For an hour? I hope not. I don't, I don't think I'll, I, I, I legitimately do not believe I'll be able to make an hour on the treadmill at four miles per hour. I got about two quick play games in me before I, I am losing it. Like, that ain't happening. Do we have one more match? I don't think so, do we? Or maybe we do. Of those groups, uh, some of those other games have not, like, played or finished yet, so we don't know who they'll be going up against, but uh, those teams that were 0-2 are currently at 0-1, so uh, just to kind of clarify on some of that. 
Thank you so much, gentlemen. And uh, now that we're all in the clear, uh, it is time to re-watch some of our highlights. There were some really explosive plays. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom during the chat, and then we'll figure everything out, okay? And we got a fancy little segment called... You keep in mind, by the way, the, the treadmill only goes to four miles per hour. That's it. Because it's, it's, like, it's like something that goes under, like it's like under the desk treadmill. So it has like a minimum speed on it, or a maximum speed. So it's four miles per hour. That's the maximum speed. Okay, be back one second, chat. I mean, I'm, like, I'm, on the I'm sharing them between, between OW. You see us in my own material, so I, uh, you can't expect like, the, the, the quality output. It's a lot of work to all right, both of our material here. Lethal was great. We were really happy, I think, with Lethal. This is like a big oh, yeah. 4K uh, on that Sojourn performance. He and Mamon yeah. were easily at the same level, I think, as their opponents. And this Pulse Mat, yeah, this I mean, it's awesome. hard to go past this. Boop. And then not only this, but also just finishing off Yoham and then doing the recall, then just, you know, dunking on the rest of the team pretty much. Well, uh, Mitch Mount, uh, what are your big takeaways from the winners' matches? We got to see Group A, B, and C today. Anyone in particular really stood out to you? I, I am still super impressed with Twisted Minds. Like in a weird way, like I, you know, we're still talking about you know some of the other teams with like you know loads of owl players we've seen but i am excited to see games like you know twisted vines versus like space station uh even to see how uh you know rock esports fares against like a team like space station or you know uh bsc so that's kind of what i'm excited to see one thing i think uh to keep in mind i think every time we advance through this comp like this competition the level of competition gets much higher so you know from from this point onwards now that we're in like going to the main event out of many of these teams like you know we're gonna see a different level i think because everybody you know we have a lot of three o's in these winners matches right so each of these groups are producing a team that are definitely more than the cut above the rest we'll see them tested more later i want to draw everyone's attention to tomorrow's first emea game ex oblivion versus space station yeah. gaming that should be much more competitive than what we've seen today that's what my expectation is i think that'd be quite explosive and honestly i mean as good as space station are i expect ex oblivion who are a household name uh, in Overwatch, especially in the contenders region prior to this, they will give them a run for their money. They will put them to the test. Indeed. Uh, well, I definitely am excited for more EMEA action. What, what did I miss? For now, we are done oh, chat, can we get some uh, blankets and chat for Kozak with a 10 gifted? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for 10 gifted. So, see you both again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. Bye. All right, one more hour till the NA matches, yet, chat. We got some great matches in the NA region just around the corner. One more hour till NA matches. So we're going to watch those two, okay? That was great. Which is going to lead off with Toronto. So one hour, okay? Go back into Overwatch here. Thanks for watching the first set of matches, Chad. Like I said, if you, this is something I, I, I still want to continuously do, is these type of co-streams. Like, I, I love doing these. These are so fun to me. Okay. Chat, we're going to do a challenge. It's either going to go terrible, terrible, or it's going to be go going really well. So here's how... Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, great start. I just... All right, I'm fine. Ugh. I, like, moved my knee, and it was just like, it hurt for a second. All right, good start already if that's going well. All right. Keep in mind, I did do my workout today, so this is technically a double workout. So here's what we're going to do, chat. One. I plug the treadmill in. Running shoes are over here, yes. Oh, why am I doing this? You know, I, I think I should just go do the shoey for 420 gifted subs at this point. Why do I even, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's just, I, I want something to do for the next hour that doesn't involve playing ranked. You know what I mean? Ugh. I'm doing the shooting after Yeah, that's great. <sighs> yes, we already. Yeah, we, well, I have a dress shoe caps I'd use. Camera's gonna freeze. I'll fix it in a second. Oh no, it didn't freeze. Okay, hello, chat. Are you ready for this? So here's how it's gonna work. I think it was 69 gifted. I forgot what it was, but here's how it's going to go. I have to win a, not win a quick play game. I need to get three of limbs as Ramatra in quick play while going on the treadmill at four miles per hour. 
All right. Can you run in them or walk as them? I'm going to be honest with you. It goes four miles per hour. If four miles per hour for you is a run, then yes. Okay, Chad, are we ready? When I record the videos, it's usually on a, uh, it's usually on a 2.3 miles per hour. Let me get it at least started so I can get used to some of the speed here. One second. Start. Connect. Perfect. It's three limbs of the ultimate. Now arriving at Nijang, prepare Give me one second here. Since hero. I have no idea why I'm doing this. All right, here we go. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm getting used to the speed. I'm at 2.6 right now. We're at 2.6. Three miles per hour now. Uh-oh. We will have peace at any cost. 3.5. Four. All right, we're at four miles per hour. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I can do it. Come on. Is it going to be a new definition of sweating? Yeah, people always say they sweat in quick plays. Is that what they mean? I need Ramat to practice anyway. Oh, this is... Come on, quick ults. I can get this over with. I can't do this all day! I know I've been working out, but like... I mean, I worked out earlier, Caps. It counts as a stretch, right? Team fight.
It's going great, chat. I'm loving this. I need three limps. By the way, it counts if I, like, I'm, I didn't have to be kill feed, right? Like, I can have my ultimate up and get triple a limp. What's going on? I'm doing a challenge. Can I get three limbs with Ramatra ultimate while on four miles per hour on the treadmill? <laughs> Come here. Give me L charge. Just give me L charge. Please. I just need L charge. That's not a good start. It's okay, we can res. We don't have a mercy, so that'd be a t that'd be difficult. Oh, nice Moyer orb. Let's go. Uh, Geico, thanks for the 14 months of the Fridge Prize. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Wait, when are the next matches start? Are they starting sooner than later? Oh, Dave, you don't think so? Three months is here. I think you appreciate it. Thank Loving you. the content. Keep up the good work, Oh, I just thought the cast was still on. Okay, you ready, chat? You ready? We're getting it done this game. I ain't doing this all day. Let's do this. Come on, team.
That's fine. That's fine. Build my ult charge. Unban me from my server, please. No, don't get banned from my server in the first place. All right, here we go. I am not Actually, what'd you do? Say exactly what you did in the chat. And before you didn't do anything wrong. Okay, I got my ult. Are we ready, chat? This is the moment. randomly get CC'd by an Arissa using their javelin. Uh, flats, thanks for the 47 months to win. I'm at four miles per hour. It's a challenge. I need to get three Alims with a Ramatra ultimate. Have that cranked up? Okay. Three Alims with a Ramatra ultimate at four miles per hour. It's going really well. I'm on my second map. I've gotten one Alim. I everybody pick an Arissa and quick play and Trying to, trying to play a counter the Ramatra strategy. So. Been a bundle of joy. In a single ultimate, yes. Hey, right? How have you been? Busier than you, I'd assume. <laughs> I missed you too. You look great, by the way. Same saccharine tone. Same empty head. This is the map. This is the map. shot. Oh no, my man! What's up? Because I gotta get the challenge. It's 69 gifted subs. That'd be nice, I know. I, I can do the 420 for the Chewy. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm doing it, so.
I'm out! I have an idea. Do we have Kitsune? point with the Orissa? They all waited for me right there and then high noon me. The Ana and the cast just wait for me. They don't even play anything else. They just wait for me and then the Arisa. Oh man. Remember when I could play quick play. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. I thought that wasn't an LOS. My bad. Oh, I can't even get the point. All right, apparently the, the stage one groups start in 11 minutes chat. It's like, I think I got one more in me right now. Perfect map, the lore map. Let's go. Come on, come on. Start the lobby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, start the lobby. I gotta commit to it, right, meme? This is it. Are you ready, chat? This is it. We're gonna get is this. That, is that a bow and arrow? Yes. Are firearms not to your taste? They make killing too simple. Let's go. Put them in the crown. Thank you. Yeah. 
should be fine. Supports. Thank you. Charge, please. Chat. Four percent all charge. They have a wrecking ball now. Oh no. Okay. How am I getting shot? Okay, we ready? Nope, they're too far away. Why aren't they pushing in? Go again. Holy crap, they play more defensive than in a raid game. Clever tactics. Finally. everything for them. Good wall. Let's see again. Come here. Hey, you come here too. Play. A bastion, are you kidding me? Kitsune, please! Kitsune, please! Kitsune, please! Please, I need this Kitsune! Kitsune! Oh. 
I love how in the games where I need a Ramatra ultimate, the whole team plays back. But if I'm practicing Doom, I have everybody on me and spawn. You know what I mean? Holy crap. Okay. I build an L charge again. I think we just win. Oh, the team played so passive. How did the ball go over there? Okay. I tried. We'll try this again another day. The matches are about to start. And then they're starting a bit early. It says two minutes till stage groups. I think, right? Unless it's like, are they going to go through like the intros first? Because if so. One more. One more. One more. Jack, yeah, can we get some blankies in the chat for Meme Machine? With the 10 gifted. Thank you, Meme. Appreciate it. Thank you, Meme. I appreciate it. Really fun premise. I can see it now. This video is the jump starter to my first YouTube, right? Starts getting 100, 200K per video. Now I'm spending the next six months doing treadmill challenges, trying to get five with Genji Blade. Well, I guess there's a quick way to reach my goals, huh? This will not be won without sacrifice. Be ready. After this game, we'll put on the, the code stream again. Sound good, chat? The walls humans call. Um. Ravages, yes. Squad killers. And ruder things. Does it trouble you? Being so feared and hated. I did my other workout today, too. We have more games. Hey, three games coming up. Little feeling inside. Five, four, three, two, one. In Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Great, they're all mobile heroes now. We're playing a Zen Doom comp.
Come on! Let me do damage to you, please! I need L charge fast! Huge pick! You ready? What? What? Wait, where did I take damage from? Where or bad? Huh? Come on. Stand still so I can take a bunch of damage here. Or spam him. Come on, I can do this. Nice tree. Sweet. They used every elf in the game on me. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. Come on! Their confidence will be their undoing. We are outnumbered. Objective lost. Listen, I'm bringing the true meaning to sweating in quick play, okay? They still have Zen ult. I'm tracking ultimates in quick flight. Deal with it. Here we go. Gawk, thanks for the gift itself. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, predictions are up for the match. I'm sure that will be. Please don't have Zen ult. Please don't have Zen ult. Please don't have Zen ult. Please. Oh, got me again. Hear me out, chat. Our Ana builds Nano. We go in. Ramatra ult. Nano, beat. Okay, just Nano. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Make some damage. A little bit. Okay, there we go. You ready, Anna? Not yet. I have to wait. Did 
The May on our team. The May on our team walled off the Nano. So I couldn't get the other Alim right away. So May walled off our Ana so they couldn't Nano me. That's why I wasn't Nano. Our own May walled off him. Supposed to be a full like feature length Pepe film. Run suffer, as Imon has Pepe run. <sighs> All right, I tried. Matches are about to start. I tried. We'll continue this a different day. All right. Oh. Okay, just to give you an idea, that was 2.35 miles with 170 calories burned in 35 minutes. I tried. Rosalie, thanks for the six months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Among and Chat. I hope we'll continue everyone that, is though. having a good That'll day. That'll become a video one day. Don't worry, I marked it. the games going? In regards to Earth, May sometimes it really be earned team LOL. All right, let me just... I'll put the match on. Give me one second, chat. Toronto versus... The other team here. Give me Sexy man, 69, please watch out behind you, please. Shikigami, check your corner. Just gonna let him walk in. Hello, someone. Oh, short punch there onto Vintage. Just received the shout from the Queen. Someone's gonna punch straight back in, decides better of it, just charges that one up. But it's just being a menace, just being a pain on this corner. It does leave Shikigami in an odd spot. They leave their back line unattended. You're gonna get insta deleted, and exactly what just happened there. Two sound barriers coming out, but with Vintage already dead, and that blade pulled super late from Sugar Free. It looks like a clean sweep for Toronto, two kills for Sugar Free. Overtime done. Toronto take round one. Vintage didn't even have a chance to use the dead eye there either. You heard yeah, the sound go off that he was ready to let it rip, and then there was someone ready to punch you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's the worst all in the game. <laughs> like it's Warren, it's thanks for the tier bad. one. Thank it's you, appreciate it. it. It's good Thank if you have you. speed boost and whatnot, but yeah, the amount of times you're gonna get interrupted, like you How's said, it going, chat? from someone or just sugar free could dash through, through you. Like, How's it going? Like, yeah, there's so many it's, answers. I could be the challenge, no, but we're doing it between matches. We're on to the next matches now. Just for the cheeky reload, right? You Woo! Get the double reload if you hit the roll too. So. Oh wait, did you actually it's like a, that chat as like a challenge, like on YouTube? Would you like watch a video like that trying to see me get that? We're just evolving through the Korean meta right now. <laughs> Sexy Man 69 will pick up the uh, Zarya. I love Zarya in this meta. Zarya got some really nice maybe, maybe, maybe we should start part one of the series. Of I will complete this challenge. Can we just post that? Maybe about 30 minutes long. I'll that. Thanks to get this up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's super good against the Doomfist. Um, the, the way you said that's the cringe to throw Zarya matches? Really nice because the Doomfist can't just be Dude, what are you talking about? I was playing seriously the whole time. So Zarya's able to keep up the pace. What do you mean? Bubbles. The Doomfist comes in. You can have a bubble ready. Doomfist has to get yep. out. I, I, I played that seriously the whole time. There was no, at no point was I not playing that correctly. So it's gonna work out really I didn't think well. I was amped up. If they can find an entrance into the fight, Toronto, they end up taking the point super quickly. They end up putting pressure on the front line and Rupal already goes down. Vinci's just gonna follow them to the grave and Shikigami so the reason why the teams run the Zarya here is because like the doom comp is like the Zarya comp is a counter to doom if you can't play doom the Zarya 2 is going to be a pretty so. weapon in the face of Toronto, so it looks like they're just going to go for a quick reset here and group up together as five. Yeah, but to, oh, look at that. Oh, Shigami wants to try to chase down some of these picks, but with that pulse bomb coming through, Parrot's at least going to try to keep the pressure on to Shikigami so they've got a back. Should we do a part one of that video or wait till we complete the challenge and do a long video? Been, uh, Probably a part one. In a casket. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough of vintage right now, but it's the perfect target acquisition. The Cassidy's just so much currently in this current meta, just so much damage output and uh, the ability to part use one, okay. to stop one of the more mobile heroes on the side of Toronto to find. It's just Sorry, so I was just looking at that. Hey, hey, look at this. Not a bad start. I mean, you know when Sexy Man 69 is playing Zarya, like, 
or not even Zarya, just like any of the heroes, you know Sexy Man 69 came to play, right? Has grab soon, but I would play a little bit further back in a second because I think they're going to look for the advantage on the Zarya now. They're trying to burst out the bubbles early. Has to grab. Yep. I don't know if we'll get a couple kills because of the ults, but like if they win the team fight, that's huge. I was going to say, grab doesn't work like it used to. You would say do a compilation when it's complete personally? I guess that's true too. I'm down for either work on grab. I'll let you dictate that since you'll be taking over that stuff very shortly. So, that's your decision. I'll give you the, the control on that one. And ideally, what you're looking for with those ultimates is just to play defensively, but you've got the sound barrier for the extra health, and then you also have the Katsune Rush to do... Now, keep in mind, I think most people agree that Toronto's, like, the clear favorite, like, of all of, like, NA right now with stuff. Doesn't mean that will be the case in the, in the matches, but, but Toronto's been, like, unreal so far. Okay, you trace and help. Should be coming. Uh, Queen, thanks for the tier one for three months in advance. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, what a punch! What a punch! Target for Toronto, and you're happy with that? I mean, because the comp executes so quickly, Toronto's comp, and you can just dive on one target and just burst them out. You don't really mind Rupal going down like that, the sacrificial lamb, as it were. As Shikigami once again lose another fight, didn't build up too much ults in that last fight either. However, here we go. I'm very curious to see how they play this now, because they need to like go and take away the map control. What they want to do is they want to bait out the character. Goes, uh, TP. The reason why Toronto's playing so far back is they have zero ultimate. So what's the best way to like to deal with that? Go to a spot of the map they don't expect. What in theory should have happened there was they actually should have just went to the point. Toronto was trying to debate them in there. Like I don't, I don't know if Toronto has their comms up or anything like that during matches, but the idea is that they're not going to be able to win that team fight normally because they don't have ults. So just play in a spot that like they feel like they have to go for you, and that's what happens. Uh, simply Peachy, thank you for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. He, he is him. Is it tier one? This is going to be the mechanical skill that we've all come to love and expect out of a player like RuPaul. And it's going to really lead to a, a nice round win here, I think. Because she can't go. Me. They still have yet to get back into this one. Deandre can't even use this pulse bomb. Yeah, it's been pretty rough with that already. Had to hit the recall there, so has to get the rest of his team. There you go. Five man sound barrier coming in, but Vegas gonna have a better be here if he uses it. Yep. But he doesn't need to use it that quickly either, because they will already win the fight. You know, it wasn't a bad first map. It just obviously Toronto's like it's just a very good team right now. A little bit closer than I initially Yeah, I was gonna say it wasn't like a stomp that I think some people expected. I returned to my chair just like that. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that pajama? Hey, no one can see the umbrella. I was just. I don't know why I was <laughs> so he's jiving in in the background. So, Look, so in with the. Hey, I need to stand uh. up. I love Auto it. Auto thanks for the gift of something. Thank you. Listen, thank you. You're, it's all it's all comfort. It's all comfort right now. Comfort for us. Comfort for Toronto Defiant. They're feeling good. They're feeling revived, refreshed. That was a very good first map win for them. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit closer than I anticipated, honestly. Uh, Shikigami putting up a decent fight, but Toronto to fight, nowhere to strike, and that person is vintage. You take down the Cassidy, that's a lot of damage now gone from the comp, and even switching to the Zarya, which is pretty decent against the Doom, in all honesty. Um, but, uh, when we, in terms of, like, also, that was a good workout. Tropical Pyramid, thanks to the 26 months of the tier 1, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. just weren't enough bubbles in the world. You're, you're, about, you're getting close to 30 years like, old? Survive. Oh even no, yeah, I can't I'm relate. approaching 30 like, years old. Toronto, no, I am exactly becoming a boomer. Better. Punish. Can't Shikari. relate. And yeah, it's definitely in the DPS lineup. I mean, Hollywood next map, a decent map for, for dive and Toronto to find. Rose, I'm going to be honest, they're probably going to run the same thing. Um, we're going to jump to Hollywood in just a second. Yeah, I would love to see if maybe the Zarya can come back out again. I think one of the difficulties of running Zarya in a map like that is that you have so many different angles in which Toronto Defiant can also approach you from. But in theory, it also feels like a really good choice to have into something like the Genji that we saw from Sugar Free. Yep, the Genji, you can't the Doom. the Zarya beam, no matter how much you try. <laughs> it'll still laser you down if it's supercharged up. But He's yeah, so we've quick. all been there. You just can't track a guy that is just that quick with the mm -hmm. Lucio speed. It's just impossible. Look, I know the projectile size has got increased but Sugar Free's movement's a bit, a bit too sublime, I think, for Shikigami right now. It's rough. I mean, uh, I think Twitch chat agrees, too. Toronto Defiant, a 96% vote versus Shikigami's Are you peachy? Heck yeah. Honestly, a 1 to 20. We have an awesome birthday. On you know what? 
That's a value bet right there on Shikigami. I respect it, but uh, I think Toronto to find. Maybe it's a 3-0. Maybe Hollywood, they can kind of turn it around, but you're going up against champions here. Are you it's, not? It's oh, that's, that's okay. Fair enough. But hey, diamonds are forged under pressure, right? So maybe Shikigami can take a ton of lessons from this match to be able to bring into the subsequent stages that we have. But also, the job's not done yet. Even though that first map looked very, very good for Toronto Defiant, there are still some bright spots here from Shikigami that could bode well for them on something like Hollywood. I think the Zarya could work even better here if you want to try to force those fights to be in a little bit more close quarters. You have way less openings on some of the rooms that you have that you could play All that right. Overwatch in. A little tiny Overwatch. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. We love tiny Overwatch. Hollywood. We yeah, actually don't see too much Hollywood, do we? Thing that I would think we'd see, especially on slower maps uh, like Circuit. Is this I our first Hollywood of the tournament circuit, today? Like that we've seen today? Very good map for, like for over the last point few point days? Point. I don't think I've point, seen a Hollywood. Second point, definitely. The this would be, be good to watch. This would be good to watch. I'm really curious how this is played. I'm really curious to see how this is going to be played. I'm not surprised to see Toronto run this either. I mean, just stick RuPaul and Vega up onto the high ground in Cafe. Good luck getting on the back. This is group play for the stage of the tournament. You want to do exactly that though, Rose. With this Diva pick, you got to hit you got to hit every single matrix on those sticky bombs from sugar free though although uh, or your mech is going to be annihilated yep. We did see Toronto Defiant actually play this composition yesterday in their match versus Final Gambit which was a full hold on Hollywood by the way so whether or not history repeats itself remains to be seen. Not bad. But good start. I also, in theory, like the Diva choice. Like I said, Toronto's a very good team, so like you're going to see them work as like a unit really well. Vegas Basically, they have the Zenyatta set up, like the Zen sits in the back. It's a very spam heavy comp, as you can see. And they also have the hero pool to switch over to anything else on second point, so I like it. Both of these players have so much pick potential when it comes down to either of the supports they're picking. I mean, that's a real rough start for, for Shikigami. I mean, you want to get Vintage up to a point where either they can stand on the high ground or they have, like, a decent angle Here on the go. back line of Toronto. And Ash? The Toronto aren't going to give them to the, uh, give, gonna give them Ash is okay to against this comp, but, like, they're not going to... I don't think they're going to let the Ash... They're going to be pretty aggro towards the Ash, at least in my opinion. Vega. There's a really nice, like, line of sight there you can see uh, as Vintage is trying to shoot back at Vega right now. And you almost permanently have to have the Diva standing on top of you in order for you not to get bursted out. And then someone could just rotate to high ground. It's going to be a tough point to cap, but... Uh, Vega does end up taking a headshot there, and with Vintage making a little... I mean, they're getting map control, but, like, they're playing exactly into how they want them to play. They disengage all together into the room, they survive it. They they can they kind of, like, tap back and forth on the point, and then they can just get grinded down. They do get a huge pick onto the Zenyatta, though, which is Zenyatta is a big part of this comp, so... Oh, you know, the, the sugar-free on Lucio Echo copy, the, the expected result. Hey, it was a good try. Toronto has Zen all... I mean, they can just retake this anyway. They're just going to wait on the Zenyatta, they're going to retake in. Should be a fairly easy recontest here, especially with transcendence. You've got mm -hmm. the window to yeah. vintage. Because that vintage needs to be on high ground. But if, oh, they they were at 69.9%. Especially with that window up on heights. Even Merit with the pulse bomb could uh, land Shikigami in a bit of an awkward situation. Looks yeah, there's been a lot less mirror comps, and I, I think that's been good. And the reason why you're seeing a little bit more variety of comps now. That was good not to use NL. Um, you know how, like, for a little bit at the beginning of the qualifiers, you saw a lot of mirror comps? What might be happening now is now that teams have a little bit more time and practice to, like, experiment with comps, you start to see more variety to those comps. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, a lot more variety than you normally would see. Which is really cool. Because now teams can kind of figure out what they want when you have to, like, prepare for matches and tournaments really quickly. Or, like, figuring out, like, teams. Like, teams were announcing their rosters last second while building their teams, right? So you had a lot of figuring that stuff out so you had to kind of go with what you're seeing is strong and then over time you can kind of change those comps so you're starting to see a little bit less of those mirror comps and a little bit more hero variety which is nice uh, Brain in Force, thanks for the two months to finish prize. Thank you, appreciate it. You're going to have to use the sound barrier for the flux if it's a, a, a dangerous one, like if it catches two or three people. Probably one if I had to go for it, but it is someone. He's kind of the goat like that. Self destruct on, on top of Cafe. They do end up destroying the lab, but there's the Transcendence. Now going to see them through the rest of the fight, you'd imagine. I, I have to give credit to Toronto. Vega straight out of the Transcendence. They are just playing so damn well. I don't even know what else to say. does what Merit does best and kill you. Like, think about how many times 25 seconds and a giant stagger now uh, yeah you might as well set up a car get a, a little uno game right now There's no so this is what we talk about when you stagger somebody 
basically you don't let the baby diva remech until you're ready to go engage unless they, like they have nowhere to go they can't even go off the map there's nowhere to go in hollywood so they just wait as long as possible they have to run back to their team in the meantime you just make a play like that and that's it yeah. i mean this is the, this is just a think about how many times they got toronto to back up into that room and had to disengage out and how many times toronto just went right back in did you see that any shots off, so. I respect the confidence. You see that? Oh, I like it. This is a good well. play. And that's the big thing as well, right, Rose? Like you have to have confidence going into a match like this. Open bracket. It's pretty easy when it comes to the first couple of games, but as you get on and on and on, and now you're reaching the stage where you're facing champions. Uh, yeah, confidence is the best thing you can have, but it's just pound for pound. Toronto Defiant really have Shikigami beat currently, but still. Take like one thing on my phone. One, anything is winnable. Anything is winnable. Shikigami could just go with the fuller hold, to be <laughs> quite honest. All right, it's going to go. be a tough ask, but it's going to be giving a little bit of taste of their own medicine, I think, as we see Shikigami... It's going to be a tough hold. Ta tough hold here. Imagine if Toronto actually... Wait a second. Sigma, Baps, and... I wonder if they're going to do what I think they're going to yeah, do not, here. I'm not, mm -hmm. Chat, I'm not hear me out. Yet. We're not I think we what if they stay on Rhine and they TP they up to the high ground? <laughs> or they TP to the point? <laughs> and then the Sigma will struggle against that. Because no you can break the comps by going Rhine. I think that's what they're doing. I don't think this is a meme. One of the most fun. It's a meme. He's standing right at the spawn swap. Come on, don't meme us. Don't meme us. I think I, think I know what their play is. It is, it is. They're going to TP either to the point... They're doing it. They're trying okay. to break their uh, Sigma comp because they're going to play that same comp, right? So what are they going to do? They're going to break that comp by literally just going in and swinging on the on the on the Sigma. Yep, yep. Wait for the cooldown to come back. Because they're going to all gravitate backwards to that room, right? So a Reinhardt will roll a Sigma in that situation. Just take away every single yep. inch from Shikigami and uh, destroy Graveyard in the process. Uh, and see, they're good at that comp, so they know how to break their own comp. Look at Bap on the on the secret spot, but you can you can jump up on the high ground. Yeah, I, I gotta say that was that was that's what I thought they were gonna do. Like. among us there, trying to be sneaky. Ain't happening. I mean, we there told you Toronto's a good team. <laughs> Toronto Defiant having a little bit of fun towards the end there. Uh, and yeah, uh, uh, quick and clean. We told you Toronto's a good team, chat. To go, we weren't course, kidding. It being, a, it being a first to three, but who, who'd have thought, huh? Who'd Touch have, the spawn right? doors. Okay. Yeah, successful. I. It is group stages. Anything is possible. The full yep. world could have happened, but also someone decided to just go... Kill the team. Uh, technically, it's still 2 out. Wait, you put 100k points on the other team? Against Toronto? Seriously? That's on you! Yeah, you got 100% win rate. Yeah, it, it's pretty tough. Um, obviously, Shikigami, um, pound for pound, like I mentioned. Good uh, odds? Doesn't really match up to Toronto Defiant. But okay, if that... Kind of valuable experience but 100k well, points? Um, going up against some of the best, um, even though you are kind of getting beaten into the dirt outside of a car park at Wendy's, you know? Like, it's it's tough. It is a tough one. And Toronto, it might be uh, an everyday stroll in the park right now, but there are some incredibly tough competitors in the NA region. M80 is looking exceptionally scary. There's a lot of competition that's going to happen later down the line, and uh, yeah, they will definitely meet their match later on. But Shikigami Pandemonium, there's a nine ones to the, the tournament. Thank you, appreciate it. it I think it's 2 0 right now. So one more map. Yeah, they still have a couple of others. Here for nine stages. months. And I just added the wind to my ass. A year at this point. Group, so here for dad here for the people all we'll hail in Mong. We'll see what else they have in store for us as we no, look forward camera. to the next map that we're going to have. But it's going to be on the yep. other side of this break. So if it's going to be a push, I don't know if it's going to go well, Chad. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> if it ends up being a push, I don't know if it's going to go well. I'll be real with y'all. Did Overwatch versus Toronto, what would it be? I mean, you know what that would be? A match that would be played. Who would win? I think it's up for I think it's up for debate. You know? Who's the real winners?
And that, you know, it, it's, it's really just an Unos. Let's have a discussion about cats here. Do you have any cats that like to be pet, like, very aggressively? I don't know if that's a way to explain it, but, like, they like, like, the more of, like, the the deeper paths. Does that make sense? It's almost like the difference between if you get, like, uh, like a regular massage or you get, what's that, the deep tissue massage, right? Like, Sully loves that. The other two cats like the more like the red like the pets that you would normally do. I don't know why. We just discovered that about Sully recently. Like he loves it. I don't know. I just don't know how to explain it. Hi, buddy. The butt pats. Yeah, lots is happening right now. She's doing that, and, and Sully loves it, and he just rolls over back and forth. Like you know when you know when cats like go back and forth. Sully is on the ground, and he'll keep switching sides, so you go to the other side. Right, buddy? He loves it, too. That's when I hear him purr the most now. Oh, when you do those pets? I, this morning I did to him, he was purring up a storm. He was, like, louder than Luna. I was like, wow. Did your cat named Genji likes that too? Yeah, it's cool. It just, I just, it's always interesting. I never really just like discovered that with like my cats. Shikigami facing up against each other. It's been a uh, yeah, it's been a cat cam win. I mean, honestly, for my cats, if you just go on uh, Instagram or TikTok and you look for the stream called or not the stream, the channel What a Swell Cat. That's my that's like my TikTok and Instagram for all my cats. Sometimes we sometimes uh, Lani will stream on there too of like just playing with the cats or like hanging out with the cats. So on the same team together right now because they are all playing for the same university. I think that's when that, I think that's the sensory uh, part of that uh, when when your cat like he says you, your cat your orange cat loves aggressive pets, but that it ends with him being. And, like biting your hand I think that's when the cat's like okay I'm good like they've hit like their limit of like sensory of that I think that's how that works that since the very beginning of formation yeah maybe you just need that extra um, no. that extra bit of spice on top yeah, overstimulation yes there we go Toronto thank you overstimulated Ross's substitutions like he's really surprised. that's usually what that means uh, about that absolutely nobody um we'll, we'll see what happens man number three could go their way, but just stacking up, it's going to look pretty rough. And especially in this kind of meta two rows where it is so quick. Lucio is a must pick. And mm -hmm. I like what you mentioned before in the pre-show too. Like, it's, it's very easy to get good damage on Lucio right now. And a lot of Lucios, I was speaking to Astro about it. He's saying like, and just looking by his stats too. And a lot of Lucio's stats right now, do, 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 they're do, doing do. so much damage. Body content on the, the kitty Instagram. Heck, very yeah. easy to hit now with the increased projectile hitbox. Um, yeah, when I was so a kid, I had the sensory overload really like. I had it whenever I, when I was a kid, I had had sensory uh, overload i had to like a little bit quicker and if you're a team that i had to go to when i go to a movie theater i'd have to wear like earmuffs because it was so loud for me like anything uh, really loud i had to wear like speed, that kind of earmuffs and like headsets really or like topple you over the ear uh, that's currently what we're seeing here for a long but time growing Esperanza, up Chikigami, maybe they uh, end up switching up the tempo here toronto looking like they want to play a dive vega with the in the re oh. Surely not. This, Rank are they? I mean, all top 100. All these teams are like top 100, like top 10 yeah, players. They're really like, good. I can't really not good. It's not a good say pick. anything about it. Yeah, one of my nephews is too thrilling, so we we uh, we ended up we ended up grabbing him one of those headsets. So like, yeah. go play whatever you want at this point. Great. Show us why the Alari can still be a viable hero in some capacity. That would be great. Damn, that pilot went crazy. <laughs> Get insta killed. So yeah, one of my nephews has to. Um, uh, we, we, um, he gets overstimulated and we noticed it. Was it last year, Lonnie, or the year before? 
Toronto don't have to, as much damage, of course, as uh, Shikigami. It was like one of his birthday parties. Like, they were singing happy birthday to him, but you could tell he was getting, like, overstimulated. So we ended up, uh, one of the gifts we got him was that we got him this really cool headset where you can put, like, Sonic stickers on it. So now whenever, like, he goes somewhere, or, like, he's in the car, like, with, like, my sister, or, like, um, his dad, uh, he'll wear the headset and he feels much more comfortable now. Because he doesn't have the sensory overload. Yeah, I mean, someone is just creating so much space as well, and he also has the ability to just go back. We wanted to make sure it felt cool to him too like it was something that like he wants to wear you know what i mean like it was something that he was like okay i want to wear that so he's in the spot now where like he feels comfortable wearing that when he's when he has like the loud noise so. for all of these fights good sleep okay okay Okay, now, okay, Toronto, there we go. Okay, We're switching. Now. <laughs> We're switching. RuPaul, they can stay for Nano. I mean, you might as well. Um, I'd expect them to switch over to like... What a sleep I know. Hey, a good start here. Hey. I know, I said I didn't think this was going to go well to start, but hey, you know what? We take this. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe this series goes longer than we expect. I think that's the general... You still get it? I mean, me too, Mar Marianne, Marianne, but it's like almost random, it feels like. Even though, like, it's... You know, I'll, I'll always, like, have a little bit of, like, the, it's just very the sensory overload with that stuff, but, like, it's 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 not like it was when I was a kid. I can say that much. Ooh, nice play. I mean, I, getting the limb right there. Where, what? what? Where was the tracer? Can I still double duplication into the Winston too? How's your tank mechanics? I don't think you're going to get a chance to even show them off abstract picked off in that copy and they're gonna have to back up real fast and uh, shit got me they used two ults in that fight i mean toronto did it yeah you know watching two of limbs right there it just kind of felt like watching me play winston also chat knows that when i chat knows one thing when i play winston it's a guaranteed a limb yeah, I mean, Noctis is going to have to stay out of the way. Now, for what team? That's up for debate. But there's a there's going to be an elim that happens. All right? There's going to be an elim that happens. But does RuPaul stick on this choice to be able to get back into the game? Ooh, EMP. And guess who's getting EMP'd? Have fun. Good luck. Cool matter. They they already are there. Just in time, yeah. but they were so low, they definitely would have Did you want any that. tank? Vega comes That's in fair. With a clean up kill, beautifully timed. Solo does end up using that rampage, and it does force Toronto away. They lost two in that dive, and Shikigami saved the sound barrier. So it was just really a neutral fight with an EMP used from Toronto that didn't really net a whole bunch of space. They didn't get a clean team. Wipe, the animation so at the top middle should be flipped. What ball? is that one? What am I no, missing? No, but that gave Sugar Free an opportunity to switch over to the Echo of his own. And this is another hero. Go. That Sugar Free is very, very good at. And you don't have a specific hit scan on Shikigami that can necessarily. So far, they're just kind of chilling. Oh, wait. By the way, Chad, if you're wondering why they're playing this way, a lot of teams in push, what they want to do is they want to control the high ground and then make a play after. They kind of hecked up, though, because they gave him the bot. It was actually a really smart uh, play by Toronto, because Toronto could not only disengage that, that the other team also had to fall back and get the bot. So, they want to control the high ground. This is where the team takes the battles. Like, the, the bot almost becomes secondary, unless, like, you're the tracer player and you can kind of push the bot or take it away. You want to control this part of the map. Oh, that was so close! Wow! From Noctis, but it doesn't end up working out. What a play! The latest sound barrier there from Vega. They've got ults to back them up, but they don't need them. Someone cleans up the back line, and the bot is in control for Toronto. Oh my god, I thought Vega was gonna get that killed. Was almost there a Damn. Almost an Ajax, so. so, what's gonna happen now is if you watch, uh, Toronto's gonna set up on the high ground where the Ana is. I mean, they might try to stuff the doors actually with their dive comp. But the Ana will want to set up there. As the bot gets closer to the checkpoint, they may fall back a little bit and then play that same style. But don't be surprised. Surprised that they just nano get to get some progress down the Echo or the Winston right now, like pretty uh, quickly. They have a lot of different things to work with now too. The nano back online, someone could go for nano primal again. Uh, a lot that they can work with. They might nano the Echo. We'll see. see it depends where Winston's up. at. Okay. Suzu coming out. Yeah, you just rip that there goes the Lucio. Start this off getting a little bit I mean, it worked. Very good alt patience there, too. We've talked a little bit about how, like, alt management has been, like, an issue with a lot of these teams. I, I, I feel as a, if so, Toronto's one of those teams that their first mindset is that they're going to win on one ultimate. And if they can get away with one on one ultimate, they will. Some teams feel, like, the necessity to pop an extra ultimate, even though it's kind of, like, in a spot, like, you're not sure if you're going to 
you're going to win it. Um, Toronto's in a little bit of a different spot for that. I mean, that's a good, like, play by the Echo, but... Okay, they did get the Elim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll put these up. We'll put these up on YouTube. We'll probably take all the days that we co-stream and just put them up on the second channel. Like, it's one long video. Does that sound good? Rather than, like, 20 different matches? It'll be, like, day one of groups, etc., and we'll just kind of do that. And then people can watch them if they want to, our reactions. And with the bot still being in Toronto to find they did they did get a 69 meters, so Toronto's in a pretty nice spot right now. Now they just need to kind of maintain this high ground, win the next team fight, and then go in. You can just get hard stunned, like hard locked at this choke point, especially as Toronto. Do they want to clean there? I don't even know if they want to trace her. As that go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Probably it. I don't think any more time. But they got bot control, they got map control, they, they have a slight advantage, and now they can play with they want to again, which is further back up on the high ground. So like, they they they're they're playing the time at this point, right? <laughs> oh, with the push bot, that makes more sense. I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying. I, I thought they were talking about something with like the overlay. That makes sense. To work with here with the Junker Queen comp as well. There isn't too much natural just terror terrain for them to hide behind, and Sugar Free is using all of that to his advantage. Rampage hits two. Vega. Yeah. Barry, Good beat. I mean, they, they want to make a play. At this point, Tor Toronto started to like grind their ultimates down. So they're just running out of they're running out of stuff to be able to win with, right? And, and Toronto recognizes this. They're they're using they're using their ults as quick as they can. Like right now, what what's happening is Toronto doesn't mind playing this like trade game because they always believe that they can win the team fight. I mean, their DPS is sugar freaking merit right now, right? So like their vision is like, eh, we might trade one, but we know we're gonna win the team fight so good luck to you look at the out look at the else they're gonna nano echo in or they're gonna nano winston in, and they're gonna keep rotating these out they just can't catch up they just can't catch up happens here merit is looking for a quick little pick there with pulse bomb gets found out but look how close they are to that final destination good movement almost a pick here yeah, Solo in trouble, Sugar Free, Gracie lodged in him, but uh, survived at least for the time being. Bot still moving, and Merit is still killing. Yep. Toronto are going to make their way towards the final chapter. Notice how the supports, how one of the supports is pushing the bot chat. Remember how I told you no matter what role I'm on and ranked, I end up on the bot? Just point that out. Very comfortable with it. They, make the they actually might get the wins in there. I was going to say, they actually might be able to trade that. Nope. No Suzu coming out, but they are going to rip the rush instead. And instantly, as soon as Toronto Defiant hear the voice line, they back up. Yep. As they should. Because at that point, you would just be falling to the wayside and giving over a lot of free progress to Shikigami. Yeah. But not before Vega is able to find... They actually managed to get the bot. The oh, this is going to be tough. To try to the, job. the Echo's trying to take the 1v1. Oh, actually, good job by Abstracted. That was a good play. Well played. Yeah, that's, that's all I got on that one. Uh, say your time. Thank you for the 10 months with the tier 3. Right, that is almost a year. Thank you for the tier 3. 10 months, that's almost a year less than 3. Now Toronto's content with going high ground, playing up here. They can tap the bot there. Like, see how they have, like, each part of the map, like, almost kind of figured out? And that's why on this map, it's... Here for Shikigami to try to get this That's why Toronto starts to slow down their gameplay at times because they don't have to really do anything outside of force the other team to make a play. They know they have beat, they're all set for disengage, they can go back in with beat and nano now. Queen does have ult, but then they're gonna just gonna use that to counter with the beat. So even if they go in with the ult now, they're gonna use beat, but then they already won this team fight. There's the queen ult, which I mean they're probably going, yeah. Got the Elim! But like it doesn't, it's not does it, but it is all merit in that. Kill feed, it is all blue. Toronto like, you can't do anything there, you know what I mean? Towards the checkpoint again. They got forward oh. spawn still, of course, and with 20 seconds to go, someone he do be trolling. A little Malga pick at the very end here. Three ults. Malga win rate? I mean, Malga, you know? Picking up the stats, the infinity gauntlets of 100% win rates, maybe so. We'll see. Fight here for Shikigami, and their ult disadvantage is ginormous. Yeah, there's no, it's it's gonna be so tough to get any of these ultimates online, even if you get the pulse or the Kitsune rush. Toronto could just very well get a pick before you do that. You see what I mean? You see how they're playing the high ground? They're like, okay, they have to make a play. Like we're chilling. 
He's just popping all the He's balloons in a different down game. I, I, To be honest with you, Spicy, I think the timing was off a little bit there. So they, 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 they are fine with pushing the bot as far as they can at that point rather than just waiting. They're going to go for this. I mean, they, 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 they know that this is how you get the rest of their ults out. So at the very least, you just trade a bunch of ults. But even then, they're just dominating already. No cleanse. We'll see. Doesn't like it. Yeah, Mauga's okay. Like I, I... Still, uh, just a, a mammoth, a mammoth. Oh, are they Nana when the Mauga in? They are, aren't they? We've seen crazier things in Overwatch. We have. You can't step off of this bot at all, though. They... Okay, 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 uh, okay. We'll ignore that one. Cameras, uh, production, please cut to, uh, please cut to a different screen. Thank you. Oh dear. I love how I had a few people who said they came from the 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 the, the OW esports team because they knew I was gonna play that song based off of what we just saw. You love to hear that, don't you? The final thanks for the seven months for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate. It. Thank you. Like chat knew it was coming. But I think this is a good chance for them to play against some of the best. Uh, this is exactly what you just did. Overwatch League, but I chat knew it was coming. Just such a good. Uh, improving grounds for a lot of very, very <laughs> what is the song? It, it, the song is saying they could have easily touched the point. Uh, that's a song that Zombie Food in the chat made one day. And even if they do go down 3 0, there are still some bright spots. I think you could Yeah, they didn't play bad. I mean, Toronto's a tough matchup. Like, any of these teams who are, who are losing to Toronto, like, they need to look at like the steps they're making against them and be like, okay, that's the team that is really good right now. The more and more we play better against them, the more confident they'll be against them, and I can, they can definitely take those wins. Like, I don't think they should be like, oh no, like, that was tough. Like, oh, we're angry. Like, that's the tough matchup. They already got a map win. Next thing they can do is focus on the next match. Well, I heard her, so I feel like the winner. And so, yeah, I mean, this EMP specifically, this, this is. And win their about. next map to, the to get out of the this group. Speed. Vega RuPaul were only just coming back into that fight. And it was like, okay, we have a really, really good opportunity just to delete the Lucio here. We know they have sound barrier. So we're just going to go in, just trust in the instinct. You started saying and play the song on quick play games and randoms in the lobby know exactly what you mean. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, what a what a way to end. I'm sure Shikigami not super happy about. How yeah, I wouldn't be happy about that either. That's a. You know, there were some bright spots here and that's there. That's a toughie. Them. I'm interested to see yeah. how far they can go into competition. Once again, this is just a winning match, right? Uh, the winners match rather of the group stages. That means that the losing team here is not out oh, just yet. They still have an opportunity oh, to actually make it through me. to the main event and take those right. losses. Take what you learned, what uh, in in that loss, uh, in order to you know move on and maybe do that exactly. in your next match. Um, I'm excited for what's to come. This was just the first match of our NA region. We're now heading into a very quick break and we're back with more action after this. Sounds good. All right, chat, we ready for the next match? We expected that. I, I, and when we were looking at the matches earlier, we expected Toronto to have like to, it was going to be like a pretty, you know, a 3-0 was expected. Next match though is a surprising one that we have here, chat. Um, not because of LG. LG is a very good team, really good players. I'm, I'm excited to see them play. But we get to see LG against Citrus Nation, the team that we watched win in an unexpected fashion to be able to bring it to this round. Who's LG? If you know the uh, the Maryville team, um, like the the college team, LG picked them up. So it's it's now like LG. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a partnership. So LG is is uh, Maryville. If you know that like that college team, like Dante's team. Yeah, exactly. If you know Dante, so really good team. A lot of talent on that roster. 
Um, and then you have the surprise team of Citrus Nation. And then after that, we have Timeless versus M80, which I think is going to be a great matchup. So, Is Dante playing? Probably, yeah. If they're running the Doom comp or the Zarya comp, I expect Dante to play, correct? Like, Dante has a really good Doom and a really good Zarya. So, like, if they're running either of those comps, yeah. I don't know. Does Dante run the Ramatra or the Queen? If so, then yeah. I, I, mean, I imagine, is Dante just their tank at this point? My guess is yes. My guess is yes. You're just going to pick a random team you know nothing about esports? Well, did you pick LG? You probably picked the correct one. Whatever happened with SSG? I think they play tomorrow or something, right? I don't know. I, I didn't like, I don't know how the matches that aren't being played go. You said LG is such a popular org, it's surprising people on Twitch don't know who LG is. It's not really a Twitch thing. It's because of Overwatch, right? Like, if, if you played Overwatch at the beginning, you know of LG, right? It was one of the original, like, streamer teams. Um, not streamer teams, but, like, Seagull. Um, but LG, like, there's been no orgs in Overwatch for, like, six years. Because OWL. They, they prevented, they didn't want, there wasn't sponsors you could have, there wasn't things you could do, there was no reason for orgs to get in there because there was no other scene outside of OWL, and the OWL had their own set teams. Like, like some teams, so like in Overwatch, it was, it's, it's, yeah, I'm not surprised that a lot of players don't know some of like the popular orgs because, you know, if, if, if you're a Valorant, like a, a, a Valorant player, and I say 100 Thieves, you know 100 Thieves, right? If I say 100 Thieves to Overwatch, there's a good chance a lot of people don't know 100 Thieves, even though they're a huge org, right? I just want to come up with a random org. Um, so, like, there's just, like, these... It's just Welcome Overwatch has kind of been isolated from that part of esports for a long time now because, basically, that's what Blizzard did with everybody else. They're like, hey, by the way, we're going to control all of this, and what what was the reason for any of those orgs to go in there and do that, right? You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for joining. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I think you'll start to see more Great teams to join see in. You again now. So right? That first match we got to see on broadcast here, uh, you kind of made that look like you're stealing candy from a child. Uh, walk me through what do you think the level of competition is currently in the NA region? I mean, all the casters have been do you great. see uh, your own dog. team stacking up? I actually think it's pretty competitive. Uh, aside from us, like, we're by, by far like the best team, <laughs> in my opinion. A, a little bit biased, obviously, but. No, I think we're the best team. It's probably not incorrect, right? Uh, you know, the second through like fifth, even sixth, it's all pretty competitive. There's a, a lot of talented players in North America. Oh, I mean, I know see, about like, like LG win and majors out, and things uh, like that. My point is, is that like, if somebody plays strictly Overwatch and they've been they've been playing Overwatch for a long time and there hasn't been any other orgs, sometimes you just won't know those orgs exist, right? You know what I mean? There's probably CS orgs now that have been popular for a few years. I don't even know any. I just don't know. They, I just don't know because I, I, you know what I mean? I think a lot of the timeless players are pretty. Well, I, I think you'll see more orgs pick up teams after this. I would say after this qualifier, you'll probably see a couple more orgs. That's a guess, just because, like, it's kind of like a free-for-all at this point. You don't know where the teams are going to land, who's going to be good, who's going to be bad, what teams have like that. So I imagine you might see a couple more step in, or maybe you won't see it until after the first dream hack, right? That's a good question. Yeah, I think we Thanks, lost uh, Necra again, unfortunately. Uh, one last question for you here, RuPaul. Obviously, a new format, a new team. I like how she's like, I have no idea. Uh, in this very season. Um, how are you and the team approaching the Dreamhack? So, so the, the first LAN event very new, uh, for this year, Overwatch, well, first LAN event in, um, in NA is going to be Dreamhack Dallas. They're having, a, they're having the LAN there for like all, this is what all these qualifiers lead to, is Dreamhack Dallas. It's kind of and then it, it makes uh, after that, DreamHack Sweden's right? also going to have Overwatch. Because uh, I think yep. in like normal Overwatch tournaments in the past, a lot of times you kind of just pick the map uh, that you that you're feeling at the time. You, know, you go with the oh, flow, but now it's like all right, you pick all the maps at the very start, um, which I don't really like because, uh, for example, Flash Ops last year, uh, the tournament. 
Um, a lot of the maps we've taken were just like very last second decisions. Like, all right, what are we feeling, guys? Uh, you want to play this? Okay, let's go. I think what they do, by the way, is that the games where there isn't so the reason why they got rid of like the the the, the cameras there for a second is what they're gonna do is they're gonna have production go in there and try to fix whatever the issue is. So they go to a different scene where the producer like. So if I whenever I've done like a, like remember when I did the football show. That's remember when right. I did the, I like, when I did the Let's Go Football uh, show? You know, which, I, which was fun, by the way. Hopefully, we can do that again next year. You might I have a producer in my ear sometimes. So, like, or the whole time. So, sometimes they can pull me away from a scene and then talk to me. And you won't know what that has happened. And so, what they're doing is they're probably getting a. They're probably grabbing, like, like they're, they're, they're like bringing her to a different scene there. And then they can figure that out. Like, they'll figure out what the issue is and then bring it bring back. So, you have the. There's, there's usually. During these, like, tournaments and stuff, there's usually a producer in your ear. That will tell you about things and like Toronto like what you're doing, now, what's next, etc. So that's like know, yeah, what's happening there. The pink, I think, so whatever they're trying to figure yeah, out, like they probably do it that way. And stuff. Yeah, it's great. I think that's a really yeah. interesting conversation actually when it comes to like map vetoes and stuff. Um, and you said you heard there won't be any more World Cups anymore. You're asking the wrong person because I haven't heard anything about that. Feeling that map after oh say map one and two, you're not really feeling the third. Like oh I feel like oh. The, you know, this Arnie style of comp, like, the these kind of picks right now are way better. We want to pick a map for boy, that. Hey, but because you have to pick it at the start, it can lead you to a such a big boy. push yourself in a little bit more. I think that's a really interesting conversation to have. Um, definitely something that, well, maybe we'll bring up uh, in the future. But uh, yeah, I think so. you know, Toronto... They're gonna be How much longer streams? Probably just watching the, 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 the co-stream matches. Uh, also, Chad, don't be mad. There, you know, but tomorrow bar, but we'll have to wait and yeah, I mean, Monday, I'm probably going to be taking uh, off. Uh, and then we'll be back going hard in the paint so starting Tuesday because we got the mid-season patch, so say, the Cowboy yeah, Bebop stuff. Like, I'm excited. Uh, I got to get a couple things done. One thing I'm super excited about. As we as we get closer on that one, I'll let people know. But we'll see. That's still a work in progress. We've got Citrus Nation going up against Luminosity after this break don't go anywhere yes dreamhack stockholm excuse me thank you Vern. okay i i would say the favorite to win this is probably lg chat if i'm gonna be honest with you i, I think lg is definitely the favorite is it weird all matches have gone 3-0 no this can be common on the first day of groups i, they, they, I will say a couple of the three O's aren't really indicative of how the matches have actually gone. There's been a couple of really close matches, um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too like, I wouldn't look at that too aggressively. You know what I mean? There's been a few stomps. I'd say the first match of each region were kind of like not close. I would say the other two matches of EMEA were were fairly decent in the sense of like they were much better matchups. So I wouldn't doubt it if we see better matchups here. At the same time, I, I wouldn't... It, there's a chance LG just runs through and dominates, right? It's going to be very... It, we don't really know what to expect. Is basically where I'm at with that one. So we'll see. Yes, Citrus Nation is an underdog in the in this tournament and they've already gone probably further than people expected in a good way. Like, they're, they're, they're a solid team, good players got to give him credit I did straight up and you and you, that's one thing that's really fun about these type of tournaments is like those underdog stories where like you have these teams where you kind of expect these teams like they're good but you don't know where they're gonna go and like citrus nation showed up yesterday and played a tough team and won in a clutch moment it wasn't like it was a 3-0 it was a three to two like clutch so I'm going to go put my phone in the charger chat. I'll be like two minutes while we wait, or one minute while we wait for the thing, okay? Hit the follow button if you haven't. Hope you're all enjoying. We got two matches left.
I'm back. Want to know something random, chat? You want to know a show I found recently that I didn't even know existed? And it ended up being really good. It's called, like, Catastrophe? I don't know if you ever saw it, but, like, I'd never heard of that show ever. And then I randomly found it one day. And I'm almost done with that show. And then I looked it up and it had, like, really good ratings. Also, I started watching a movie last night that had, like, unbelievable ratings. And, like, it's so interesting. It's the, it's the new movie with, like, Emma Stone and uh, William, um, Willem Dafoe. I forgot what the movie's called, but it's definitely, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's something. Is it called Poor Things? Is that what it is? I, I'm like 40 minutes into it. It's just very, it's very interesting. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm like 40 minutes in. I don't know how to explain it. What was the show I was talking about? It's called Catastrophe. Just a random show. Yeah, I'm live on Twitch and well, yes, as well, yes. I love the timer here. Be back soon. You have to be on the uh, esports channel, Shady. Or W on the esports for the drops. All right. I'm going to be honest with you, Dropsy. I haven't seen any yet. I'm only 40 minutes in. So my guess is that it's probably... If there is, then I haven't gotten to that point yet. What was the Apple TV show I liked? Uh, Severance? I think Severance was the one I was talking about. Or Ted Lasso. Yeah, both those are good. Severance or Ted Lasso. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like Silo. Let me... Uh, by the way, just a little bit of a side note on Severance here, okay? All right. Give it, like, three episodes. And I know that you're like, well, I shouldn't have to watch a show that's where episodes are to be good. It is very good. A lot of people on the first two episodes of Severance are like, oh, we'll see. It is good. It is very good. I'm excited for season two. It's kind of like whenever you tell somebody to watch Breaking Bad and they're like, I couldn't get past the first two episodes. There's not enough action. And we're like... I just want to point out, you just said there's not enough action in Breaking Bad, and we're just sitting here like, just, come on, just make it to episode, like, four. Please. Yeah, I'm telling you. We're not kidding. You just make it, like, episode four. We're not, we're, we're not just doing this to meme you. It's a great show. Like, it's just, it's just, trust us. Yeah, Severance is an Apple TV show. Ted Lasso's Apple TV. Oh, Better Call Saul was great. Real talk, I think if... I think if you didn't, like, look at, like, the first season of Better Call Saul, I think people would say that show was very close to Breaking Bad. The, the, the last, like, few seasons of Better Call Saul was just, like, Breaking Bad 2. It was so good. It was so good. Actually, I'm watching a show right now. I think it's called Constellation. And it has, um, uh, what's his name? Was his name Mike in Breaking Bad? He's like the one of the main actors in it. That show's all over the place. I couldn't even explain that show right now. So... Is it hard getting your friends to watch Better Call Saul because they refuse to watch season one? Season one, and by the way, Joe, we're just waiting the matches here. Uh, season one is essentially designed to, like, really just introduce you to the characters, right? And I, I think a lot of really good shows, like, when it comes to, like, TV, is really good shows always have this moment of, like, character development because they want you to be either attached to, like, the characters or absolutely hate them, right? Like, for example, what is a character that in Breaking Bad, people ended up just absolutely despising because of what, like, how their character acted. What character is that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see chat's agreement right there?
But, but then there was an arc. But then there was an arc, right? And the thing was, is I thought the character ended up being really good, right? But you remember that. It happened in, it happened in Walking Dead, too. But like that, 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 you, but my, the point I'm trying to make here. Actually, I mean, honestly, I, I thought, I thought she was a great character, Momo. The, the point I was making with all of this, by the way, is like the character arc where like players became so attached to these characters on Breaking Bad, right? And that's what, I think that's what they try to do the whole time was showcase you the character development arc of those characters, right? You know what I'm saying? They wanted to, to, to create that long-term storyline. So by the end of that, you were like, wait a second, this was great. No. Yeah. Exactly. It's good writing. That's what I'm saying. Right? And then by the end of it, you're like, wait a second. And either way, no spoilers, but it, it was a great show. It was a great show. You know who was really good at playing like the bad guy? And like that's become more of his main roles now. What is the name of the actor from Walking Dead? Early seasons. Chad knows who I'm talking about. I felt like they should have kept him on the show longer. Um, no, not Negan. No, not the governor. Before that. Uh, John, John Bernthal, is that how you say his name? Shane. Shane. Remember Shane? Yep. He was really good on that show. And then he went on to do much better, like, really cool roles after that. The Punisher, yes. Did he piss you off? Yeah, but he was a great character, wasn't he? I haven't seen it yet, Wolf. I think I saw, like, maybe an episode. How's that? Oh, by the way, how's the new Walking Dead season been? Uh, the the, the spinoff. I actually, believe it or not, I actually did like the one with um, Maggie and Negan. And I also like the one with... Um, I really like the one with Daryl. I mean, uh, I, I don't know what it was with, like, Daryl, but I, like, really like that. You said Daryl's brother? Well, Daryl's brother had a redemption arc, right? Like, Daryl's brother had a redemption arc. And also, Chad, sorry for the delay here. They, they're waiting on the to fix some issues with the casters, so just gonna take an extra second. Daryl's brother had a great redemption arc. You went from hating that character to, like, he had his redemption arc. Is it Joffrey in Game of Thrones? Uh, most people loved jo jo Joffrey in Game of Thrones, right? Like, that was people's favorite character. He was such a, like, just a... Oh, oh yeah, it was great. He was so nice, and it just really... Ugh. Oh, yeah, DMCA! He said he was so likable. He was a humble lad. <laughs> yeah, Joffrey was known for being a humble lad. He said, Law stole so much of your time. You know what, though? I feel like Lost, though, was that show you could talk about with to people. Like, it, it was just, I don't know. It was so mainstream in a good way. The problem with Lost was Lost was good. And then, like, the show, and, and no spoilers, by the way. Chat, whenever we talk shows, we kind of talk in code with the shows. Some people would be like, oh, we're, we're not saying spoilers? What about an episode four? Remember that? No, we're not doing that. We're talking more about, like, we're, we're, it, Lost, the, the problem with Lost is it became predictable. And that was the problem. Is it spoilers a decade later? Some people have never seen Lost. I, also, we want to hear something else? You said a decade later, Lost has been out even longer than that. So sometimes you miss shows like that. Like, I, there's movies and shows I've never seen that I'll eventually watch. So. There's actually a new show 
that I watch that's like okay to me as like a like a fun like you know when you have a show it's like you know it's not your favorite show but it's still really good. Um, one of the actors from Lost is in it, and it has a very similar premise, but not the same at all. I, I don't know. I don't know. That, I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. Before that, once I remember the show name, I'll tell you. We have to once more quickly just run it down. No, it's, it's called um. You guys are on social media. I now encourage all of you to head on over to Solo uh, Solo's Twitter because um, uh, you know my my guy brought receipts. He he actually a he actually just tweeted That's out so some, funny. some screenshots uh, uh, about how this was not his fault. <laughs> Came with receipts. And I'm living for Sorry, it. I was just seeing what I'm this was. The show was um oh, it's on like you know, MGM TV oh, or something. Yeah, it's on like yeah, it's crazy. like yeah. MGM so, TV like or something. But what is it called? The replies to yeah. and uh, yeah. Like the show, if why can't I remember it? The best thing to do remember is remember it. Lucio play, it's Lucio one of the actors from Lost. Blame anyone. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to remember this show. It's okay, but like it's watchable in a sense. Oh, what is it called? Saying. Why can't I remember this? I don't have my phone on me. No, uh, Price is Right. Uh, now, uh, let's dive into our second match here in the NA region. Uh, let's talk what about the teams starting with Citrus Nation. For the name alone and the logo, I'm obviously a big fan. It's great. Yeah, What's it about? They end up in this small town Nation, that they get stuck in. That's, that's where I'm going to go with. Citrus Nation was the fact that they went from. to a game number Called five. From. We've had a lot that's of the show. Watch, I know, both in like, from. Uh, the APAC region and also here. But they went Pretty to good. Five it's not bad. With it's like, it's, like it's, WD40, it has that same uh, Lost vibe, but like so different at the same time. But it has a Lost vibe and one of the actors from Lost is actually a main character in it. It was an insane called from. match. Like, worth looking back in the All right, are we ready to see Citrus Nation possibly step it up and win this? Mirror Lion City, like uh, in an insane roster. So, Citrus Station, I got a lot of hope for, honestly. It's mm -hmm. going to be an exciting. I do too. Game. Although, again, you are going up against some of the best. And there's North America. LG, who has a. Dante King Vision Jubilee. By the way, I want you to look at LG's oh, bench. Camino as well. And Hunter, Hunter on the coaching bench. Did you see that? So this, yeah. is, this is a stack. That's how good LG is. Ridiculous. Yeah, it was amazing to watch their performance yesterday as well because this is another team that was able to get. That's like, the point. I'm like, dominant three they got a roster. Opponent, bang, bang, pow. They got the and support like, line. They got two the really good tanks. They technically have three really good DPS because Dante could definitely fill in on any of those so DPS heroes. Do we get a chance to see? So it's it's cool to see. Push. Do we get a chance to see another full hold? This is the type of roster that can deliver that sort of performance. And you also have to sort of look at specifically, I think, like King and Juby who are able good to roster, play the Lucio and the Tracer respectively yep. because those are going to be very impactful heroes as we've already seen throughout the day. Right, yeah. I mean, I think it speaks for itself too when they have Dante in the roster. Of course, an exceptional DPS player when he played DPS in the Overwatch League and then switched to the tank role. And the tank very much fits his playstyle right now. And I'm excited yeah. to see how Luminosity Well, I was saying earlier too, Dante used to play a lot of... Um, I think King has been an exceptional player in the past. He played on... Dante was playing a lot of uh, Zarya Dante's at the beginning of Overwatch 1, so he's kind of always had the ability to tank too, which experience. is really cool. Um, they're not going to be Almost game time, yeah. This early on in the competition, but maybe Citrus Nation can throw them a little bit of a curveball. I mean, you're going to be so, so high on your team right now if you just come off of a win against LFO. A, a bloodthirsty win, but a, a win nonetheless. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there is a lot to be said uh, about being an underdog uh, heading into a game mm -hmm. like that. But they are going up against what you already said. Very experienced yep. players. They know how to handle a W. Yeah, Dante they was a very good Zarya. Us. They do not scramble. Like, he, he would roll Another on the ladder as Zarya. Of course, have those players. They also do have, like, an entree on the coaching bench. He's like, hard, thanks to the 11 months of Fitch Prime. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks. uphill battle for uh, the Citrus Nation. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, yeah, and Matt Vitos is something, uh, obviously, we're just going to get into now, but um, something that RuPaul was speaking to. A lot of Samoa so today. If, uh, it's like a lot of teams are, are, are banning, like, Ilios and Nepal, and they're just going right into Samoa, which, I mean, I'm learning a lot. It's not one of my best maps, so good to see. If you squint really hard and you think that you're halfway around the world, so you know. Yeah, I mean... 
Sure. I think I, it's definitely one of my favorite hybrid maps, so I'll take it over. Did your hubby had you scared on that one? To told you it cost the first map. him three hundred dollars to change the cat box. Of, uh, what Turns out it was because he went to buy cat litter, more cat here, food, some mead, and a new Dante hard drive for the PS5. I would imagine a little bit of Doomfist here, but Dante. It'd be a bit of a miscommunication there if you're saying three hundred dollars for the cat box. Like what? What? What litter box are you getting? You got one of those litter robots? After. Midtown, that'll be uh, LG's choice. So, um, will we go to a map number four? I think, honestly, yeah, if we had made it through there, groups, by the way, first, we would have been playing uh, in this, four, yes. At least on or if we made it through the the, really the, the top to 16, out, though, which we have a chance that again is in April. Maryville I'm excited. Esports. Like, it is Maryville Did I play against any of these teams? Team. And that means that this Did we play against Citrus Nation? No, we played against the other team. There's a a team and that's in the in the groups, yeah. I forgot who it was. Was it Daybreak? That sound right? semesters in university. So, this is going to be a really big test of strength here for Citrus Nation to see whether not you know you bought one there you go yeah i have one but Sully doesn't like it as much know, like i haven't tried it with the other kitties Sully used to like it but then he was yeah, like you know what i'm good a, he's also a massive cat the, so the, the nail on the head they are practice already and maybe plays after this uh snowman diamond. you know if you got a, a, a mullet like hunters like that's some extra power like, that is like, powerful extra 10 percent exactly <laughs> although last time i spoke to him i don't think he had that much of a mullet i'll have to I'll have to get a mullet check from Hunter a little bit. Oh, you said we're going the with the big brain play. We're gonna we're we're just yeah, yeah, yeah chat. We didn't want to make it to groups for the first event because this gives us time to really settle down and you know you know how like they say in the NFL if you start off like really hot at the beginning like it's all about the whole season. That's what it is for us too. We wanna we wanna sit back. You know, it's still preseason for us, right? For, for Overwatch, it's still the preseason for us. We're taking our time. We're really observing the comp competition now. Wait till you see us in April. Some really dominant you know? performances was able to get some first picks. Wait till you see us in April, you know? Which really opened up those team fights and had definitely damage download so that you were always going to be able to follow that up with a really nice. Uh, All right, here we go. LG versus Tracer. So What's the comment? Really Why didn't they leave a comment? Tracer here does look like so with just that quick. Cassidy's already comp. Not surprised. More of the same from what we saw from their match. Citrus Nation running the, the other comp. Yes, yeah, this, this will be a good matchup. I really like. Uh, this comp oh. with the cat. Look at that! My I, I, I mean, say? nice shots! What did I say? Okay, okay <laughs> nice job! Maybe sit down. Manually taken over already. I like By the way, when you're a team that's considered the underdog and you so lead bad. off like that, <laughs> you're <laughs> feeling it. Good also, this is, uh, Chad, if you're wondering, yes, this is the Zeb that we, whenever we get to, like, rank five, we have to go up against the final boss, Orissa. That is the same player. Not only this is, is the Arisa really player. Leading a charge, but look at how easy <laughs> I'll be like rank seven. It's like, like you want to get past okay, here? You got to go through the Arisa. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go through the Arisa. And so now we're going to see Luminosity come back into this one, but with a couple of changes as well. It's like, hold your horses. Don't go too quick. <laughs> oh, that was a good shot. Oh, okay. Tap to have the vision that to one tap them right there was unbelievable. That was a good shot. I would much prefer the Casty here, but if you put in this much work with the Dynamite too, I definitely thought Ash was going to be um, a better DPS pick, especially with the new DPS pass. Here we go. The Dynamite can hit so many people at once and apply. Why not Arista though? I mean, as a DPS reduction. pool, just plays Arista like for, fu uh, for fun monster. and rank a lot of the time. Feels like Casty maybe just uh, beating her a little bit in terms of her DPS, but if you're doing what Vision's doing right now, taking care of that tracer, you're more than free to just kind of vibe. Has the hero pool, but like, shot after shot. you know, I think I think Zeb still plays Arista a little bit. Back 45% now and. Uh, I'm not see playing super far up. I also really like this too. Well, is Dante been a tank? Dante's kind of always played back and forth tank if need be. Dante's like a very talented a player. He can play both tank and DPS balls. extremely well. Yeah, Dante's a very good Zarya. Just the pulse pistol to be able to lay down some fire, Ooh. but take a look at the uh, the high noon. Is it noon? One bubble use. That's what your call is going to be. So LG might have to disengage very quickly. I was going to say, like, they're going to run into an issue where they're kind of getting stacked in the corner here. Don't. Do I can't believe they bobbed that. That's why I was saying don't bob that. Because I can see the kill feed. Ah, oh, no! Oh, the cleanse last second. I like how that bob is perfectly not on the point. And, uh, vision going down pretty late into that I like how Bob was perfectly not on the point. A little bit here. I'm wondering if Vision's going to switch off this. Isn't that great? Doesn't look like they're going to staying on it. Not a bad choice, I think. Dynamite into the 
uh, into the grab it's pretty a deadly combo yeah and sadly you did use the bob there but bob did get a little bit of a buff which makes ash just a little bit more impactful when it comes down to the yep. ultimate but with that graviton surge ready to go dante's just looking for an opening to lay that down especially when you would want to maybe catch zeb off guard or that back line well, they're definitely going to wait for... I mean, at this point, it's just like... They try anything. Dante trying to get a little bit of energy there. We've all the been there with the grab. Uh, We've all been there. Yeah, that's rough. Didn't hit absolutely anybody. Citrus Nation... It happens. We've all been there. Now, wow. So Citrus in. Nation's being aggressive. The, the stick's going to... Oh, the cleanse! What a cleanse! As a spectator, it's great to see. If I was the one that watched my pulse bomb got cleansed, I would be really happy about that. Manually's playing well. For vision. A early rush here from Z Man and Squid just trying to catch up with a rush of their own, but they're three percent away and his teammates just falling apart around them. And a high noon, a little bit of zone in there, but uh, an extra kill for manually. Just absolutely lights out on the Cassidy. Four kills to finish off the round. I mean if, I, if manually's oh, playing like that. Thank you, manually, for giving us a great showcase for what I was saying before we If Manually's playing like that Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nice when they pay it off for you. Yeah, but he's so good though, right? Like you, you can't help but look at a player like this and Citrus Nation. You have to think about how are you going to counterpick that? Is it going to be the long range Ash? Is it going to be King trying to get a little bit closer with something like the Tracer? It's a really tough call because Manually is very good at circulating through those cooldowns, whether it's going to be the mag grenade to help create some space nice or just time. using it to land a huge stick. It's very, very cool to watch this player perform on this level. Yeah, it looks like it. Here we go. I'm going to be sticking with the same thing, just Dante on the Zarya. Of course, when we're seeing Toronto to fight a little bit earlier on. Excuse now, let's see if they can get what happens if I don't get that immediate pick. You can do that pretty easily. You just can't get that's like me playing Cassie. Just throw your hinder randomly for fun. That's currently what that let him get away with. We're watching. Um, we'll see if Luminosity Gaming can make use of this space now. Vision's got a lot more kind of room to work with with the long range Ash. But They're both kind of just going to chill here. Although, the more aggressive team will probably be Citrus Nation. As I'm saying that, is a Ramatra in the back line. Wow. Yo, they came to play. Citrus Nation. Look at that. That's just a, such a big opening pick. Jacob does get taken down, so there's a little bit less mobility on the table here for Citrus Nation. But if you're just going to be able to clean up the rest of the fight, doesn't really matter, does it? A huge control now being taken over here on this point, and that percentage is going to start to rack up. Maybe okay. He's already uh, close to that high noon as well. And on this map, it feels even more impactful because of how many open sight lines you have. Yeah, it's tough to really escape from the high noon, especially mm -hmm. if you're trying to get around the point as well. Yeah. You kind of separate yourself from the rest of the team, and yeah, you might be. And Zarya into Ramatra is rough. I mean, it's it's it's, it's fine. I, I think they're also kind of predicting Doom comp, so like sometimes like the Zarya comp is like. It's not it's not it's not bad there. Like I I don't, I don't think it's terrible. I mean, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I also feel like Citrus Nation is just playing very well. So like, don't look at it as like a like a tank versus tank matchup at that point. Think about it as just like an overall just like their team is playing well. There's like not a lot you can do when the team is playing that well. Like Citrus Nation came to play. Another fight win for Citrus Nation and the only ripped one off. Yeah, just the Kitsune rush, and you still have so much else to work with. That sound barrier is going to be really impactful as well because Jacob's going to have that online before Juby if they can continue to keep up with this damage output. Is it Ash is not the pick? I mean, Ash is fine here. In the wings right now, trying to land this. I'm going to be honest with you. Like when I look at their hero selection, it's it's fine. Nice LG's hero selection is totally fine. <laughs> Definitely been grinding. Really super low. All right. I'm not saying they can't make swaps. I'm saying like from like a team composition point of view, it's fine. But like right now, Citrus Nation is just setting the tone. They're just they're just setting the tone. Straight up, they're they're the ones making the first play. They're not playing reactive. They're constantly in their back line playing smart. This is more of like they just LG just needs to play a little bit quicker. Does he even get it Probably. But their comp that definitely doesn't help with that because they want to play a bit more defensive. So point as well. Positioning is super nice as well from manually. He can activate this high noon down on the slow ground. Okay, decides to join the rest of his team. I was thinking, do something rather cheeky, but there's the high noon. Dante's gonna have to bubble that one, but no double bubble and actually LG might be able to slightly retake. 
weakness. Ugh, that's so tough to say. I, I think I think they can. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. L I mean, LG had a lot of ults. So the positive note for LG right now is that they do have beat. Here's the problem. Citrus Nation likes to play aggro, right? I don't think they're going to slow down the team fight here. I think they're going to try to get out their last ultimate and then just roll in with Kitsune. Or they're going to have Zeb take a little bit of damage because they know Bob was just used, Pulse Bomb, etc. And then just run on them with Kitsune. It's going to be one of the two. It's a great answer. It's going to be one of the two. It's going to be working up to that Kitsune rush rather quickly. Yeah, this rush. yeah, yeah they're, they're going for rush. Let's get ready. Right after they get healed up, they're going in. They're not even worried about the beat. And it's time. Yep. Press the go button at this point. Uh oh, someone's in a little bit of trouble. That is vision. There's the suit. Oh, the beat timing was huge. That actually might have been almost perfect. Yo, I gotta give credit on that beat. That was like perfect, but like, like that was perfect. Uh, Tartar, thanks for the 12 months of the tier two. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of those beats that if like it didn't work, everybody would have been like, uh Sometimes they just call it risk reward, right, chat? And guess what? LG can actually go and take this round because they can just lead off right now with a Kitsune and do the exact same thing. And I think that's what they want to do. I, I really do. They know they have a time in here. I think they're going to be aggro. I, I could be wrong. Maybe they want to just stay for the ball, play it slow. Like play like a disengage Suzu, but I, I think that maybe they just want to get a charge of... I don't think Citrus Nation will allow that to happen. I think they want to play aggro. Yeah, there it is. There's the rush, okay. Yeah. Shouldn't need too many ults, no. Especially with Jacob going down. You want to make this last fight for Luminosi? Do they end up pushing? That's it. There's the grab. Yo! We got a series because this was looking unwinnable and looked like Citrus Nation was about to take this. LG just brought that back. Most pleasant to Butler. Just brought that back to go to round three of this. We got a series. Uh, nothing good. Thanks for the 34 months of the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We got ourselves a game. It's up to you, Tommy. Whatever you, whatever you enjoy watching or both. I thought Citrus Nation was going to be able to run away with that one until we saw a huge turnaround by Luminosity. Just great timing of those ultimates. Finally, got some value out of. Even though you have to kind of throw everything in the kitchen sink at that one, it still paid off. And I miss any subs, right? Good, good. Just making sure. Also, chat. Make sure to hit the follow button if you haven't. It's it's looking really good so far, though, Jaws. This is turning out to be a really great. Remember, chat, how I was saying. And like, I mean, you can't ask much more than that after we saw a. Uh, Remember how I was like saying how it wasn't going to really be about their team yeah, comp? It was, it it's like really it nice works. It's just the other team was playing well. Do you see how they still won that round with the team comp? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, they were able to still win with a comp that was... That's what I was saying. Like, they were fine. It's just Citrus Nation was playing lights out. And then when LG finally settled... I mean, truthfully, that, that beat by LG was, like, perfect. If they don't get that beat, that's the match. That was perfect. If that beat is, is like, a second later, that's it. That, that, that's our, that round's over. So... All the, uh, sorry, yeah, they used their Vortex, they used their RAM uh, shift, they used pretty much everything in their kit to try and execute on the back line, and Juby just completely countered them. Just very nice pacing from Lus Luminosity Gaming. Yep. And uh, yeah, we are just in a brief pause. Of course, we'll get back into the game in just a moment. But um, yeah, a fantastic start to the series so far. And a lot of... Uh, a lot of superstars that need to get built up a little bit here too, and it's an exciting time I think in the Overwatch esports space where I we agree. have players that might not be as well known. Yes. I think manually is kind of making a name for themselves. I agree. This is what's great about this. I'm liking what I'm saying so far. Yeah, this I, is great. I think that that's something that Luminosity has absolutely identified as a pain point for their game plan is manually in that back line. One of the ways that Luminosity can so get the, like, Citrus Nation player, like, still has the same people yep. on him, which is really difficult to do when you've got Zeb creating so much space. You've got Jacob and Z Man that are able. I disagree, to Solo. I think these casters have been doing an amazing job. They're a great when team. Manually needs that All the casters have done an and excellent job. It's just been super self sustainable. So it's been amazing to sort of watch. Watch this team did great stream today Flourish. you had to make 400 cookies at work today and watching me made the time the fly by that's a lot of cookies we get to see yeah, exactly. I feel like if like I try to this. bake 400 cookies if I exactly baked that. four yeah, cookies I'd probably heck it up see, never mind 400 uh, stacked roster in terms of luminosity gaming and like you mentioned a team that's been well practiced and well drilled already uh, for Maryville 
I like how Dart takes pictures also Tracer still. Still a DPS player at heart, of course. I would. I, I, I think, like, it, you'll always have that, right? But I think one of the things that made that really cool about the way that Dante utilized that knowledge in Overwatch League and just in the collegiate scene now as well is the fact that it gives you so much Cookie respect dough? and so much just extra attention to detail when it comes down to how you can... Oh, you're doing your catering prep? To help support what, like, what, what is that for? Like, what do you cater and prep 400 cookies for, like, a wedding? Tank that you're playing with or how All right, Bar, thanks for the 12 months of Thank you, you know? appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm also curious if they're going to end up swapping their comms too. I like Zarya uh, for Dante, for sure. And it's been interesting to see the different meta developments over the different regions. If anybody's watching uh, OWCS Korea right now, a lot of Cassidy. And will Vision stick All right, here we go. Not entirely sure. We're just gonna Who will take this game. dub? Looks like we'll find out. Nation. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Jacob potentially... Uh, Zarya comp versus Ramatra comp. They are back in it. They're back in it to win it as we go to our third stage on Samoa. Okay. Cookie so dough is like okay to me. I don't mind the flavor of cookie dough. I don't love it either. I don't know how to explain it. Action. It's good. How close quarters this point can be. Yeah, we can't talk about cookies though. I'm still on my nutrition plan. Although, wait a second. Could I have a cookie because I did the four mile per hour challenge? No. Probably get some really good results out of that. But. Can they figure I want a cookie. out how to actually lock down this Cassidy in the back line? I want a Luminosity cookie. figured that out on that second round, but can they repeat the success here? Yeah, a bit more of an interesting point in terms of like architecture here. I like the way uh, Sushi is playing just up on high ground, but just reminds me of City Center on Oasis. It's it's going to take a little while before the. Uh, so the idea here is to get the bubbles out from Zarya. Dante's had good bubble management, though. Bubble management's key here. Like, the energy will come with time, but the bubble management is the most important part, and that was a very well done, uh, really good bubble management. Get rid of him as quick as you can to leave Zarya vulnerable. That's kind of what they've been doing here. Zarya might be high charge at that point, but it's a sitting duck, especially with that health bar. Oh, Ruben, I missed what you said earlier. Yeah, I heard about that. 28 years later, I cannot wait. Don't even get me started. I love zombie movies, so that n now that we're getting 28 years later, tw about 28 years later, I'm excited. I can't wait. I heard it's finally happening. Also, great start there for LG. Oh, I can't wait. You make the best uh, snickerdoodle cookies? I don't think I've ever had snickerdoodle cookies. What is in that? Like, what is, like, like the... What is the flavor? Okay, so right now, uh, Citrus Nation is getting close to their Kiriko Ultimates. Don't be surprised to see the Kiriko Ultimate used really fast. They have a slight time in here against LG that they probably don't know they have. It gets really hard to track that. Actually, wait. No, they can't track it, yeah. They're going to lead in with it. They're going to they're, they're gonna go in. They're losing that time in? Yeah. So the cleanse, it, once you use, like, the reason why they cleanse right away, if they're going to die there, is they just, they just, they, um, they, they pop it soon and they get it back quicker. You see what I meant about the time ins? Do you see how if that was like two seconds quicker, Citrus Nation probably is able to go and roll through? Instead, LG bought enough time to be able to counter. Bob fell over? Yep. It's mostly doodle flavor. What is that? That's a good grab. Chat, we got to finally see something that's very rare in Overwatch 2. A successful pulse bomb Zarya grab combo. It's been all. It, it's very rare now. It, 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 it's cleansed. It's bubbled. A bunch of random stuff happens. <laughs> it's a great combo with just so. They're basically many soft me, cinnamon sugar cookies. Luminosity. They got first oh, okay. control at this point right now. They got the sound barriers. A great response to this annihilation gear from Zeb. Feels like Luminosity coming up. Ready to see both right beats now. be used here? Yeah, good speed boost into backline. You want to try and end this fight? Maybe not. Sharp, and uh, that's exactly what they're going to do here. Okay. Right? Just a few. Uh, just one speed, that's all you need. Really? Especially with the Annihilation? That's pretty tough uh, to run away from, and uh, Mandalay's gonna clean house. Luminosity, you're still gonna be feeling pretty happy about that fight. Uh, to uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Manually. Showing off a little bit now. Love to see. Did, imagine if Citrus Nation takes this. Quickly, to, to, to go from having the win to not having the win to taking it back. Citrus Nation out there. Here we go, yeah, I'm ready. City's not stressed about this one. You still have the sound barrier that you can use here and now as an aggressive uh, Don't punch her things. She's a picture prize. Thank you, appreciate point. it. And uh, Sabo, go to if you go to the Overwatch East portion, it'll be Tap is going to be harassing yeah. that back line. So as long as you've got Dante to be able to peel back or even just Juvie to try to get Squid away, this is going to be uh, fine here, here for Luminosity. 
King trying to set his team up for success. There was a pause doc, yes. Same goes for tap, I'd imagine, with that pulse. They gotta know King is So, so Citrus Nation's trying to slow the gameplay down a little bit because they want to minimize the team fights. Looks like tap kind of has an idea of where King is. They're trying to slow down the team fights as much as they can. Should get held up pretty quickly. Squid's gonna There's a double Katsunes. Same with Z. They're also gonna lay out their own road. Nice damage. On to Zev, and there comes the high noon, but oh, it's, it's, it's oh to, I was gonna say oh, Chat, we're down to one team fight. We got a series. It's one team fight left. We take those. Quick I'm gonna be honest with you. LG has the advantage here because of the bob. I'm curious to see how Citrus plays this. They might all in them. They might all in them. They either have to all in them or try to disengage as much as they can. Those are your two options. You either all in or you just back up and try to disengage the ult, flip the point, and then go from there. LG knows this. They want to they beat the timings on it. There it is. See? Yeah. They do trade, though. So, interest, interesting situation here. They actually traded a little bit, and I don't think they're going to win the team fight. But they, they've traded enough right now. I actually, wait a second. I think they might have just... Wait a second. Sorry, is low still. I don't know who's going to win this. Citrus Nation should back out. Back out. Back out. Ah, yeah, manually. That's, yeah, that, that's what they can do about that. I, they can retake. They have to tap the point, like, once. And then build up Katsune in the meantime. Want to keep Citrus from getting there, but uh oh, they, they they got him out. So just a bit oh, they touched. To try to power slide in. They they're gonna slow play for a second. They're gonna go in with their ult. They have a timing. They have a timing. The yeah, this is their timing. They have like a slight timing. Good disengage by LG. They're gonna come back in with their ult now. Oh, but Z-Man hits the two shots! Tap is about to have Pulse Bomb, too. They can't be aggressive anymore, either. They have to play back. Tap has Pulse Bomb, too. Dante will come back as Doom. Yep. They got... They flipped the point. Kiriko. Oh, the beat! Oh, the punch! It's so close! Yeah, but, but they still have the Lucio on point! The Kiriko's back! Is he going to be able to stay alive? It doesn't look like it, but a nice Zeus. What is going on here? They are somehow continuing so this fight. Wait! The sound barrier as well to sustain the life here from Citrus Nation. It's back to 5v5 on point! No, they have five. Oh, the Ramatra ult with speed. Fourth time. Ramatra, ultimate annihilation. Surely they don't live through this one. Surely. What? That thing gets them! They, they LG won that! Someone kill Dante, please! A team kill and a wipe. What? The flip and the map. What was that ending from Luminosity? That was amazing. That was just absolutely amazing. How do you even react to that? In those final moments. By the way, if you're a Citrus Nation, I want to point one thing out. After that round, just look at that and go, listen, we played well, it's okay. Next map. But what a clutch by LG. Wow. That is some Overwatch right there. I love this. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. How, someone, someone please kill Cormac. Someone please kill Dante. Uh, he survived wow. for too long. And then Vision getting those two kills too, getting the Bob at the very end. Sounders. Bob helped out wow. immensely. Okay, someone replay that fight. How long was that? That was at least two minutes. That had to fight. have been. That was ridiculous. I mean, Citrus we got ourselves a series, chat. As well. I we mean, got ourselves a series. Wow, that was unbelievable. That. They have unbelievable amounts of experience, both in the Overwatch oh, League. Oh, I love and that. Team Let's together. go. And Citrus Nation proving that you know what? Some sometimes we can't mess with the best. Yeah, I mean, LFO. If you were the Ramatra on that team, I, I, I think at that point.
a slouch team. Like, you gotta remember, Citrus cool. Nation's considered the underdog in this series, right? Right. And but so like, when you have a match like that, the best thing you can do is go, listen, they, they played that well, it was close, let's go to the next map, okay? Eyes they eyes can do it. If Citrus Nation plays their game, they have proven that it is a 50-50 matchup right now. The best thing they can do is just focus on the next map. Against LFO the other day, and that was a is the LG the underdog? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like people thought LG was going to win. In general. Could have gone anybody's way. But as we go into map number two, we'll see if everybody can kind of rest. That was amazing. Calm down, call out just a yeah, Taylor, we like to hear that. Get a drink of water or something. We are going to jump to a quick break. Is it because of me you started snacking on blue cheese crumble and it's awesome? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good time for me to go take a break too. Be back. All right, we're back. Oh, man. How we doing, chat? What a matchup, huh? I think what needed to happen there is there needed to be a certain point for... Uh, Citrus Nation, where they kind of just reset for a second. Do you know what I mean? Also, I think the underrated pick right there, the Bob killing the Kiriko when they just got their ultimate, was like huge. Was it a close one? I don't think it gets any closer than we just watched. We are back. Straight up. Luminosity Gaming. They got a couple of subs. Everybody uh, PB overheating, maybe. Boss is in now. Boss <laughs> coming in. And uh, Luca Mino as well, Juvi and Dante. Taking King's Row is the map or Blizzard World? Uh, for this next one, we are going to Midtown, so it's going to be a hybrid. Couldn't have guessed and, that. Uh, I yeah, couldn't have guessed that so more incorrectly than I just did. Perfect. Good okay. Great. Midtown. I love a good dogfight. I love a good scrap fest. I love just uh, people just swinging, throwing haymakers, just going at it. At uh, the very end, uh, I mean, I'm need, going to need to watch that a couple more times to really <laughs> truly understand what exactly. Wait, LG banned King's Row, Chad. Are you kidding me? They banned. And King's Row, we didn't get to see that. That's okay. Here for it. King's Row isn't. King's Row's good. And of course, Colosseum after that. But yeah, hybrid up next, Rose. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all of the five head content we're going to get from people breaking down the final fight because I think we all need a little bit of a slow mo replay of those <laughs> final moments. But yeah. as we look forward to our next map in the
in the series Midtown, looking specifically at the substitutions mm -hmm. that Luminosity Gaming has made. We actually saw them make these swaps yesterday as well when they headed to Midtown. You said LG Bank King, girl, you're rooting for Citrus uh, Station so now? It was Falls coming in to play the Sigma, and then we also ended up having Lucamino in to play the Baptiste, and it looks like we're getting more of the same of that as we take a look at their defensive comp. The Most of them just do their own thing. Right. They're busy. I'll, yeah, I'll figure I that really out like going uh, into the next set of co-streams. I think it's fantastic. I think with Zen too, I think Zen's really interesting. I think Lucio's still better than Zen currently, but if you mm -hmm. can slow the game down enough, Zen just becomes an absolute powerhouse in terms of damage, especially with the changes to uh, mm -hmm. the projectile size. Well, well, LG's running that comp that we saw Toronto up, run on Hollywood. It's very much a just playback around. comp. Don't mind that whatsoever. Tracer can take the 1v1s against Tracer, apply some backline pressure, shoot at the tank, etc. It's a very spam-heavy comp. It's a very... You know, you have to have good positioning, but if you play it well, you're in a good spot. Like, you see where the Zen is? Zen's, like, in second point. Yeah, nice little uh, rock there from Fox. Just to sway them, at least for the time being. Taking the Mega Health Pack room here it will be their imperative, at least for the time being. What was our team name? Uh, team Custa. Games here. Trying to, yeah, trying to stop Z from, like, crossing. Also, trying to poke the point out as well. And this, um... Is sitting all the way at the back. Squid with a nice... This camera work's been a cinematic experience. I'll tell you that much, because I couldn't tell you what just... Flood onto the point. They just get picked apart there. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way back to spawn for now. Uh, but I think that that Zenyatta pick really uh, pays off in dividends here. You're trying to slow down the pace of this game because the what Citrus Nation want to do is they just want to rush into you. That's like why you've got the Lucio for the speed, the Ramatra to just help try to soak up a ton. Are we of watching like a Scorsese like, movie here? Like, like what's going on? I twice if you're Citrus Nation about whether or not you can actually move in. Who's One year, let's Armand? go. Do you have the cooldowns to be able to actually help reflect a lot of that damage? Damage. Oh, there's the push. Zeb, Jacob, and the rest of the squad just trying to run down Squid, but still <laughs> Squid taking names and numbers right now. They uh, sides, uh, almost. But you'd favor the sick comp in this instance for sure. They're I mean, still the, the Lucio. they've got Squid in their sights. Listen, I don't mind. I don't mind third person, but I think we've hit the. Uh, for playing the Zen. I think we might have hit the limit on the. Uh, yep. I think we hit the limit on. King cleans them up. Another scrappy, scrappy fight. Oh, I mean, yeah, I've been there with Sigma Ult. You missed. That's rough. All good. There is some pressure on the point currently. As a false what happened? At that high ground. The and only thing I can think of is maybe, like, the other observer yeah, lagged out for yeah, a second, I mean, right? Or you just gotta rush down false at this they're point. trying they've a different used approach? Us, uh, they've used the hands. They've uh, used the rock. The shield's uh, gone. And there it yeah, is. Yeah, look at Citrus, Citrus won that. They're going to cap point A. I mean, Foss is in the ultimate there, just trying to buy some time for the rest of the team to come See, so you don't mind it? It's so easier to track at? To just Keep in mind, I don't mind way. third person. It just feels like it's been a very long third person on first point here. Put that window down and have Luke Camino and Squid you know what I'm saying? And kind of dominate, put the bob on the point. Real nice stuff, but... Or maybe I'm just not used to it. It was just a speed through the window, take down the support to... Maybe I'm just not used to it, right? Because they got no speed, there's no chance they run away. Three okay. minutes to go. They open the doors, the payload gets a rolling. Yeah, it's a good isolation of picks. Like, Citrus Nation is something that they really excel. I don't know, maybe it, maybe that's just the... I'm used to the other stuff, so it's, it's like different to me. Focus. So you see Fall sitting by himself. That seems like I, I, very I, easy pickings. And this is... with this Sigma, this is a hero that is relatively... All right, here we go. A mobile, you have the opportunity without the Lucio in tow to just walk into an enemy on Luminosity and take them out. There's there's Speaking really few which, ways to actually get out. I almost, of got, I almost got lost in the tree right there. there. That Pulseman getting thrown out by King narrowly avoided uh, the Citrus Nation. Just managed to dodge out of the way, but Tap gets caught out just out in the open. Vision did a little bit of cheeky damage going down to low ground. Used that coach. Oh, here they go, high ground. Here they go. I, th I think they're going up there. There we go. Ah, there we go. Here comes the okay. Well, Zeb just walks into death and squid right clicks. It took a bit, and there you go. There's the end of that push. Yep. Just take take a couple steps back now. Uh, at the very least, if you're Citrus Nation, you can start to figure out some ways to get back into this one. I'm actually surprised to see that manually wants to switch off of the soda. Oh, we're back again. No, like I said, I, I don't I mind having third like person. It just, it just, if you do it for like five minutes straight, it feels like it could be a little bit. Uh, maybe I'm not used to it. Maybe this is the new way that, you know, I don't know. So now you've got two bobs to contend against each other. Uh, you're also still clean with it. So I don't think it matters what if manually is playing at all. Yep. Still clean with the shots. Annihilation available in this two of. 
You see, I don't like how they that, that they change colors of the teams between maps. Oh, like up top right where it's like blue or red. I mean, it's based off of attacker defense. One thing they could do though is I feel like the spectator could benefit. Like they could benefit from just having an option to change that. I see the same thing when I do my spectating videos. It's like it's very confusing at times, and even I lose track of it. They should probably just have an option where you can kind of like flip the names or the colors on the thing and then go from there. On this hit scan. All right, and Citrus Nation's not doing too bad. Keep in mind, second point can be really hard to retake on. Um, if you feel that you play Midtown games, you get kind of stuck. You know what I mean? Oh, nice shots. Uh, it's not uncommon. This, this, this second point plays very much like... Uh, what's a good example of a second point where you get stuck? Kind of like King's Row second at that corner. You know what I mean? Gibraltar? Yeah, Gibraltar makes sense. I'm sorry, was there a tank there? I, did... I guess we are. We're watching a Marvel movie. Thanos just came in there and snapped him away. Like, what the? That's rough. Holy crap! Right. They, they, they've got time. See, see, this is the benefit that comes with trying to take these fights super fast. Tap. I guess we were watching a movie. I, I that, that's that's a tank experience. Yeah, I think Tap was just trying to hide out for the moment, wait for his team yeah. to come back. But I think uh, Luminosity. I should do an Overwatch uh, kind of an overwatch WCS watch party recall, bingo. Maybe one day. Not against it, but I need time to build up the memes and the uh, things well, around it fight, before I can just start off with a card. So you know what I mean? I don't want to force a bingo card if I feel like it's not going to be good to begin with. So what I would rather do is have time to see post-stream and maybe like in the April groups or something like that we can do that, but I think right now it's probably the best start for that. I've learned that when I do YouTube videos now, I want to do YouTube videos to, to have them be quality for what we're doing, not just be like, okay, we're going to try something and it might be entertaining. I want you to be entertained the whole time. So. They have to use it. The cart? Can't do anything about that anyway. That was, that was going to be tough. Uh, well, no one from Citrus Nation is actually near the point as Luminosity Gaming halt the payload in the Can I do more randomized abilities? We just did! Believe it or not, those videos haven't been, haven't been popping as hard anymore, the randomizers. The last two we uploaded are, are taking some time. They definitely can grow over time, but yeah, I mean, maybe it's just we gotta get used to doing them again. Um, we haven't done them in a while, so people just probably aren't used to seeing them right now. Sometimes you go a little too fast, you overheat, the engines go a little sputtery, and then, you know, it catches on fire. Maybe that's what was happening there. Yeah. They were trying to play the game really quickly, and that's what you should do against a, a Zen and Bap comp. You want to run at them. You want to force that, um, you want to force the lamp, and then just jump on the Zen. Look. He's, he's you didn't see them, so I'll see what. People away, but when you I might have missed five something. People descending on top of you, it's pretty hard to do much about it. But Luca Bino and Squid just showing up massive uh, in the back line, just being able to stay alive. Yeah, I, I, they did I mean, I, I, I think that's a way to do like, to do YouTube, though, at the same time premium, and I still do that with, like, relevant stuff at the same time. Still it's more about, for me, as, like, gives you, so you know, much being a YouTuber potential. on top of a streamer now, you can just is I want to make the videos a lot more enjoyable changes. when you watch them. So, like, I, there's a lot more curation, of more, 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 more curated processes happening now. We're, like, we're looking at the games that we're doing. So that way it's not random if you're going to be entertained by it. Like, we know it's going to be a game that you'll probably like, whether or not it's like, it's like your cup of tea. That's, you know, for you when you watch the video, but we, we want to improve that. So. Sneaking a headshot through. Yeah, no, no, one's, no one has peaked that angle since the beta. But could you imagine... Yeah, no, I actually think Citrus Nation needs one team fight here at the beginning. If Citrus Nation can win the first team fight, I actually think their style of play leads into that. But they can't lose the first team fight or struggle against them because if they don't get their ults roll, then that's going to be it for first. But if they win the first team fight, I think once they get their ults roll, they can probably get two to three minutes off the clock just like that. Oh, heck yeah, snacking. As a false just charging up his ultimate, just gonna waylay Zeb for the time being. What happens in randomizers? Basically, we we had a uh, a code made where. Well, you know, if you're able to get.
You have like a randomizer wheel that will choose your hero and the abilities you have. So you can have abilities from a different hero. And basically they try to win in 1v5 is that. So. A ton of time. Jaws, they have a lot to work with now. Did you been watching our, to our, our, our games, too? Uh, the, we, basically, it's a weekend That's stuff. The next one will be April, I, mean, I think, 5th. No. It's, like, it's, like it's like a Swiss-style group play. You, you play Swiss-style, which is where you play against, like, teams of the same record, and then if you get top 16, you move into what you're watching now. Yeah, I think the randomizer code is Z-A-T-E-3 or something like that. HP, Have I ever collabed with Jay in videos? Yeah, Jay and I have done a few things that together. Was, uh, yeah. Obviously, Jay and I are really good friends, so. If you want to come out and punch me, sure. There's like five other people, yeah. 16 other people looking at you, bro, so. Oh, there's yeah, so uh, much snowball potential here, though, right? Like, yeah, I mean, LG is playing this, like, clean. I, I, I will say, I feel like Citrus Station, they play well on the maps that really are, like, enabled by, like, this fast play style. Like, they just, they, when they can play aggro, it goes really well. Second point midtown takes away that aggression. You've got False's head that's been on a swivel with And that's just how it goes. And just and Suzu. Yep, Suzu. And immortality so field. <laughs> no, I know they picked this map, too. But, like, I, I feel like because LG has such a deep hero pool of comps, like, when they... I want to point this out, chat, because people will hear me, like, chat. LG brought False off the bench to be their tank. No map for you either. Luminosity Gaming, they take now players who know like pro Overwatch know why when I say that. Like it's like false was the tank off the bench. So they're okay with playing this map. From Luminosity quick cap because they can play that poke level comp. Like false is a very good tank. Five minutes and fifteen seconds. You got all the time in the world to get it there. Yeah, even if you wasn't going to be that one push, then you still have enough you know time what? to get through like two full rotations. We believe that Citrus right. Nation so can bring this back. It's like, uh, you know, what are the odds right. when you stack all the probability up against each other? Math that I didn't want to do in broadcast, but it's all coming up in good fortune here for Luminosity. Citrus Nation, though, the, I think this is a map type that they struggled with yesterday. Yeah. Like, I think just with these longer range sight lines, I don't know how well this Matra Rush comp. Next month is our next set of matches, yes. You've got such open sites to work with it's tough yeah it was it was really tough yeah i i really like the sigma on these kind of maps because you can just kind of play back how does face it work for the average player i think they have an elo system lucid so when you start doing stuff on there it has like an elo system where like just really i haven't really looked at it too much with the, uh, bap the um but like there's it's an really elo tough. system you that really exists just get in there and get on top of the zen they were just never really able to do that we are going to coliseo so we're probably not going to see the sick here um although we could do i mean you can still hold high ground with coliseo notorious for the high grounds but, i think they run the uh, doom we'll lazari comp here i mean honestly i think doom are maybe the ramatra comp actually they might run the ramatra really comp nice i don't know what lg likes really to play on these maps large on the ash so uh on the on the cassidy of course too um it's really nice to see some of these uh, more unknown players, especially compared to players like Dante on the side of Luminosity Gaming. It's really nice to see those players come. Yeah, I agree. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see what they can do on Coliseo. It was Luminosity's map pick too, so you can imagine they're going to... And then after this, we have a great matchup of so. M80 versus Timeless. On Midtown, I'm excited for that one. Why their roster is as versatile as it is. Being able to make those player yeah. swaps so flawlessly. I agree. Really execute the game plan that they are confident and comfortable with on a map like Midtown. And I actually wouldn't be too surprised to see swaps happen again as we take a look at the next map coming up for us. Yep. They'll make so swaps if they don't want to run the... Map, it will be sort of awesome, and that was I think they'll definitely bring the Lucio back Citrus. in. I, it's going to come down to what tank comp they want to run. And, uh, oh, yeah. So they did buy new Queen Street as well. I mean, they've been so far great. How about yours? Definitely the map of all time. Um... We'll see if uh, Luminosity end up switching out any of the rosters too. And use it on console? I don't think so, Brilliant, but I don't, so uh, don't quote me on that. I, something you have to check You're for back. yourself at that point. I'm not sure. Oh, Can console no play in there? I don't know. Lied. Technically, yes, if there's custom fine. lobbies, uh, right? So technically, you could, but I don't know how they have the system uh, yeah, so set up. Like we are uh, having a few substitutions here from Luminosity. Uh, so, um... Yep. A uh, snack like for uh, these specific drops. Normally, we do have drops in the stream, yeah, but for the esports one, you just have to go to the OW so underscore esports to get credit for safe, those drops, all right? It's gonna be Lucio. I wouldn't be surprised if there's drops next week, yeah, like Lucio, we'll have on the channel Zarya, for like uh, mid season, because usually they do drops around mid season. So if you like drops, don't worry. Well, we, we stream a lot during it, but for the esports one specifically, they only have it currently tied to OW underscore esports. So. It should be the channel that's live at the top right now. I did see Dante Juby actually gets a back. 
back in for Yeah, if Dante's push, in there, so. Uh, Hibis, thanks have, for the tier like, one. Thank you, appreciate it. So, Thank you. Sorry, the beer's looking good. Probably shaving it soon. It's so important when you take a look at a map type like that. Hey, bud. Sleeping on the treadmill? Yeah, most definitely. I, I will say, I'm a little bit disappointed in haven't seen Dante's Doomfist because that is a nasty, but I do think the Zarya is a little bit better. Um, we'll see how Citrus I Nation, of course, they end up Doom stacking up against them. You could. I, I definitely think you could. I just think the Zarya is better um, uh, in terms of... Really, that's like where the co-streaming applications are at. They're now open. The I already, I'm already, I already got the co-streaming rights. Let's go. Bubbles. You see how Dante is super, super good. This is out of nowhere, by the way. This came out of nowhere. More than happy to apply it to King. They're just talking about the match and they're like, co-streaming applications. Oh, and of course, uh, co-streaming applications <laughs> are now open too. So follow the link down there, or uh, I think you can just you can probably find it on the uh, uh. Watching Sports Twitter as well if you want to be a part of the co-streaming. Uh, action that's been going down. Yeah, it's also been really great, especially yesterday, Rose, when we didn't have that official broadcast to see a lot of the co-streamers come up, and it was nice to sit in people's chats and just uh, mess around while the games are happening. Uh, it was so meta. It was good time. <laughs> it was so like meta yesterday. how meta and meta it was? Like, yes. I saw if Custa watching, like, Epong oh stream, God. vice versa, or, like, um... Yep. I have I... never seen so many streams layered on top of each other <laughs> yep. in my life. There were, so like, five funny. streams layered on top of each other. Shout out. Yeah, she was in the, uh, streams, she was in the chat yesterday. Yesterday, I, that's what I was asking. Like, like, where I'm like who am I watching? She was in the chat yesterday, was, just kind of watching the matches and the co-streams. It was great. It was, it was a lot of good fun, to be fair. <laughs> it was honestly great, and I'm so happy that yep. we get a chance to have these co-streams alongside the broadcast that we have here, of course. So you can go figure out and chill with your favorite streamers, favorite players, all that jazz. Players are also streaming, which is also super awesome. Yep. So if you want to check out yeah. any of the single player POVs, they also have the opportunity to stream their gameplay too. So it might give you some really nice insight onto the comms that are happening. I love co-streams. I, 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 Chad, just from like real talk we'll as just, a streamer, uh, we'll just wait on one it is still kind of like, uh, to I'm still, the lobby, and then we'll be it's just so awesome to be able to watch esports on Twitch now. Just all the time. Moment, it's course, it's, just, it's so... On Rose, oh yeah, she's a great caster. Right? Timeless, which is going to be an absolute Ooh. Gigabanger. It's so cool just to be able to you sit here and watch you matches. Take a little break now, as we just wave this play. You can quickly go get some water and uh, rehydrate yourself. Yeah. But as we go into Colosseo, yeah, I want to see Dante on Doom. Is it going to happen? Probably not. But it is nice. You never understood why they didn't want that. It just, that I mean, sure. does like we're going to a quick break them. So when they when they first made OWL, the the, the concept and the idea the of co-streams was a little so bit we'll different, right? It wasn't quite as popular as it is now, right? I, I think we really started to see the co-streams pick up um, with. You see it in, in a different games, like CS has been doing it for a while now. Obviously, you, you have Valorant where, like, I think, I mean, Valorant, like, has a ton of co-streams, and it, it pops off. Um, I'm not sure if League's doing it now. I think maybe League might have after Valorant. Apex, obviously, has done it a lot now. Like, Apex just does watch parties of scrims. Like, Apex is, um, but at the time, they wanted it to be, like, a really professional league. Like, I think the vision of, like, OWL was make it like the NFL. But the problem was is that this just wasn't that wasn't gonna necessarily work if there was a lot there. So going down the route of it, it could have worked, but there's a lot of like different variations of stuff and everything. Um, so they wanted to, they wanted to dictate all of the stuff, right? Because like obviously in the NFL, I can't just go turn the NFL game on and, and start co-streaming it, right? You need rights for that, or you need to you know have be on the Manning cast, right? Um, so it was a lot different. But then they. In esports, over the past, and then I think the biggest issue for a lot of the companies was like, well, then how do we go to sponsors? Hey, look at this. So now they're starting to take all that and be like, look at the combined that like you're having all these people watch this. It's combined rather than just the mainstream. You know what I'm saying? So they can just combine that with stats by being like, yes, we have a co-stream here, and maybe it, maybe the you know, like you said in Valorant, it's number two on the section. But look at they're watching our point of view. Which is now leading to you being able to get all of that at once from different variations and different like areas, right? So, point is, is like, I think I think a lot of esports are starting to see the value, not the value, but like, not I don't say value. It's more like people enjoy co streams and people will watch esports matches a lot when the co streams are live. Does that make sense? Value, I can't speak for. I, I have no idea where that is. Uh, guided. Thanks for the three months with the features process. Thank you, appreciate it. And also, I, 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 will, I will generally be biased in the discussion about co-streams because I am a streamer. Remember that. So there's obviously maybe there's some counter arguments to it. But anyway. Maybe. Because Dante's Doomfist came in Dante is kind of, at the end of some Yeah, ball. Dante, especially when it comes to time, like... Oh, we got some Doomfist! Doomfist. Uh, his Genji too. 
Oh, my Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised, but... We got some Doomfist chat. Yeah, I, Aww. I didn't think... Come on. I didn't want to get too fast. Kind of knew it was going to be the Zarya. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, so, we got some Zarya. Manually on the Ash. Pretty good in the in the neutral and getting the high ground. The Cassidy is just so Sad. strong. I'm curious if uh, they do end up switching a little bit later on, but pretty standard comps across the board here. Vision also sticking on that Ash. Well, you're also well I, th I think co streams and like the concept of it will take time to build up in Overwatch anyway because it's so new. Like think of this as like the the launch of co streaming in Overwatch. Is it gonna be Vision? It's gonna be King. Vision's already eight years later. Maybe it's a pick coming quickly here for Citrus Nation. So, it's going to take time. I enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed it enough to want to come back and watch co-streams when we do them. I hope that has been an entertaining experience for everybody. I, I really do. And I, 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 keep in mind, I do look to up my game on this, too. I, I will, I will, I'll, I'll try to make it more entertaining and more fun for everybody as we get there. All right. Now, we're halfway there, so. I just hope that people enjoy it. At this point, I wonder if you're just waiting for a Kitsune rush to come online. Whether we're playing in matches or we're watching matches, like, I want to, I want to keep doing that, so. Probably. Oh, nice headshot from Manually Ooh. there on to Vision. Wait, Tapa was a Matt, false bomb. Matt, me and Matt had the record for the longest no kills Here we go. in an Overwatch League game, at least, and it was on Colosseo. Yeah, you just sit there and do nothing. Uh, we'll Four minutes. Because you see where the Ramacher is? Okay. You can't really, the bot can't push past that, so it doesn't matter. So it just comes down to a bunch of 1v1s at the beginning, and you just go for Oh, is that an Emerald Weapon? It took one minute. 30 seconds, there you go. Quick maths. Manny Lee doesn't end up going down. That dynamite doing a lot of work with vision. Definitely so maybe they can expand Twitch drops to, co uh, to approve co-streamers? You want my take on that? I, and, and yeah, obviously I'm, I'm a, I, I would be like, yeah, do that, great. I think they should just have it like set, like maybe, ha is there a way to set the time in so when the esports streams are live, people can get access to that across all streams, like everybody can, rather than just even the approved ones? It may be up seeing that a little bit differently. I just, I, I think it'd just be cool to have everybody during like the actual matches. It doesn't have to be like maybe the, I don't know if Twitch has that capability or if like they have that capability, but that can make a little bit more sense in that one. You know what I mean? When manually just get cutting pick after pick, but Luminosity now they've got four else to work with. They're making maximum value out of everything that they've used as well. So is it going to be the wombo combo of the grab pulse again? That is. So I would like to see everybody benefit from that. So. Nice grab. Oh, huge grab. Well, I, I think a lot of games do drops now during that. I mean, I, I, I listen, as a streamer, I will always be, I am going to be so biased when it comes to drops. I love drops. As a streamer, like, it just, I, I mean, you see it, chat. Like, it's great. So, LG, once again, just starting off really strong. I will say, like, LG has really started to lock it in now over the past couple maps. But I still feel like Citrus Nation has given a That's much better be match than people have expected. Progress there and uh, point capture on Coliseo as they just continue. And wow, we're seeing the Zarya out of Citrus Nation. Spawn. It's time. Luminosity. Uh, if they keep this pace up, this is going to be a full capture. Look at us actually see Zeb switch off of the Ramatra. Going to go over to the Zarya as well. I called out this pick a little bit earlier, seeing this get played in the series yesterday. But Zeb can for sure go toe to toe when it comes to this hero. And that might be the firepower that they need right now. Just being able to make a difference. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. It's not going to. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, ooh, the turnaround. Honestly. Honestly, great disengage. I thought they were going to get Zeb there. I thought that was that. Okay. Okay, we have a match. Got to give credit to Zeb. Zeb, Zeb. Zeb is very good. I will say, I think a lot of people have been very, like, not surprised, but it's good to see. Zeb's popping off. Uh, Wargasm, thanks for the 53 months. Thank you, appreciate it. Like, Zeb's had a really great hero pool. Really good player. Great you have those bubbles, just like Dante has been using, already maintaining some significant charge as well. And I keep activating the, the LG so assistant on your TV. Way to be able to just keep that Get rolled. Charge big and healthy. But what can you do with that? Like, can I just be like just LG and then like what? What, what is LG? Turn the volume up by one. Waiting and baiting. King there. King does have Juby with him, so. Does that work? No chilling. Mid fights. I love mid. We love we love mid. Remove the glass. I'm not gonna turn the TV off. What if my stream's on the TV? I that is not a smart decision because then that turns my stream off. Okay. 
Hasn't got too much energy. Well, too much. Zero energy. Um, so, not going to be building up that grab quickly. Okay, the Bob. All right. Someone else has joined the battle. Tap, try to go for. Did have to try to get LG to give subs. I think that's the play. To clear the way for Citrus Nation as Luminosity gets over here, farming gifted subs on the like, LG TVs. All dual on the side, but there's the grab. I'm waiting for the Suzu. There's the beat. The pulse. Yep. The pulse bomb combo. It's always it's a thing. Completely disappearing from Zeb's HP pool as he ends up going down to the Bob of all things. Dante playing a little bit passively, knowing that there's still a rush out on the. I don't know what type of TV I have, I'll be honest with you. I like my TV, it's great, but I don't know what, I don't know what TV it is. Might be an LG, actually. I think it is an LG. I think it is an LG. Ooh, the Zarya. I, uh... Oh, let's go! We saw a grab combo work much surviving I, lg is just nice. really stepping yeah, up that first map lg is like okay let's lock it in we ain't doing this uh johnny thanks for the 12 months of the tournament they can appreciate it. thank you citrus nation i don't think anticipated this is much more of a trade fight more than a citrus nation just complete clean sweep with a grab post ball everything basically thrown in you'd expect it to be nice right click i just feel like right now citrus nation needs a clean fight you can't have trades you can't give up any limbs during these they need to get a clean fight otherwise they just won't be able to bring this back it is just a reset. They're running out of time. They it. just need to. They need a clean team fight win. It's That's simple. Be resulting in the same thing. It's just they're going to have to win two to three fights to get this bot moving close to that 90 meter mark. I mean, look at that though. Manuel can keep hitting those headshots though. That's another bob online. That's another person that can enter into the fray here, and that is going to be just another nice bit of damage there. That damage bump to Bob has been. This team fight's so important for them. They cannot lose anybody during this bob. That's a good bob. It's going to back them up. It's going to back them up. Space. It gives them the map control, exactly. Nice bit of space created once again, but uh, it's, this is deja vu. This is exactly what happened before. Pulse bomb on the tracer. King gets the better of them. An ego pulse. Is it's just so, so difficult when that's this, happening. And, that's exactly what that and then now, like, they're the going to have Kitsune, team, both the teams. They lose that Kitsune time in. They can't get the map control. It's just like... It's tough because Luminosity is playing from a defensive position while yep. Citrus Nation is struggling to try to I actually agree. get some sort of meaningful amount of control. Goes no, goes back to the conversation you had started before about the battle over the you mid. You want Citrus? You can if do you it! If you get past the mid or the neutral, then you're going to be in a little bit of a world of hurt here. And, uh, and the so reference to like what, what the, the neutral is, that means when you're both just sitting in the middle waiting for something to happen or trying to wait for a pick. You're in like that neutral side of the game. about to have those same things online. So what is... Once again, battle for mid. But can Citrus but the problem is that, like, even if the battle for mid goes in favor of Citrus Nation, LG is going to save an alt here. Oh, I, I, I'm telling you, they're, they're, like, or they're going to build alts. Like, it's it just it's a, it's coming out of time now. The battle of the mid. Not quite. Uh, Luminosity is definitely not mid, I'll tell you that no. right now. Well, I was just going to say, well, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're saying battle for the mid on TikTok, they're going to be like, oh, I think, what do you mean? I don't think these teams are pretty good. Or they're going to be like, oh, they're not. Uh, but. Can play with the overhealth here. Does it not fading away, but don't they just... Taking names, taking numbers, taking I, checks away from Citrus Nation right now. What can you do? Sweep and are they going to push it that far? Probably not. They're just going to teeter on the edge of pushing the bot in, just waiting for Citrus Nation to use ults, burn them. I mean, they're just going to—they're just going to buy time. Again. You can see, but like even with yet? even with Citrus Nation sitting up there, LG just going to back up. They're going to disengage out. They—they they, they just like it's, it's just the same repeat process until Citrus Nation can win two clean fights, and they can't. I want to say from like a, even though Chad probably wants that really close matchup, from an actual like just good Overwatch point of view, the way LG's been playing this has been really good. And that's why Citrus Nation's doing what they're doing right now. Good bubble by Dante there because now they're losing to get out. That that was basically designed around being aggressive. The problem is, is like, oh, there you go. Both, both Lucios just wanted the, they both fell bad, so they went in. That's what they needed, by the way, was that right there. Good job there. Nice play by Zeb. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know you could do that there because I don't play Zarya in this map, so now I know. Good luck to Zeb here, by the way. Yep. What's that move? 
move a right click off the high ground. You can you can right click jump. Actually, they might be able to get Zarya here in a second. No cleanse bubbles used. Like I. What are the ults looking like? Wait a second. Wait, they already got. Wait a second. This has gone interesting. Good bubble there. And it's over time. Please don't step off the ball. Please don't step off the We've pod. Too many it's already happened no today. They have to go up in the high ground and punch him. That might be it. Good grab. Yeah, I mean, straight up, get, give credit to LG. They played that well. Citrus Nation, I, I, it can also be a little bit of that when you have a map that Citrus Nation had where it was so close. Sometimes you have all that energy in that first map and then it can kind of like taper off a little bit. What I will say is Citrus Nation is a team to... Uh, still a team to watch. And their next match is going to be exciting. In my opinion. There you go. There you have it. I think their next next match will be exciting. Because like they, they're going to be playing to get through groups. Great job. Great job. Find their groove and get into the... We don't have any matches to talk. Yeah, I honestly really enjoyed this series. I'm with you on this one, John. In chat, we still have one more series. We have M80 versus Timeless. Both very good teams. M80 is Hydran's team. Uh, Timeless is the team we watched yesterday that played against, uh, I think they played against Timeless Obsidian, and they ended up just absolutely rolling. So we got a matchup coming up. We got one more good match. This player really good teams. put themselves on everyone's radar. And I think very quickly, Luminosity Gaming... Oh, this is what I love about Coast Dreams and, like, the new matches in general and, like, the way they do stuff. Citrus Nation. We know who Citrus Nation is now. We know those players, and those players have played great. Right? So, just want to point that out there. A <laughs> lot of credit to Citrus Nation too. They've been playing well. Really nice showing, I think, from Citrus Nation, who had a, a very close game against some legendary players. Uh, in also, can you still believe that LG at any point when they need to make team comps, they can just have Dante go in there as Zarya or Doom, and they can have False go in there and play whatever else? That's a good thing to have. That's a good thing to have. You know he's putting in the work, that is for sure. Although he will say the opposite, but I know he's really done a lot of work. I feel like Hunter's coaching style is always one that uh, baffles me, right? I'm like, are you actually... Mine is like, baffles like, match. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was like, just about to say, I, I, I think just, like, just a Hunter, Hunter, <laughs> Hunter person specifically. No, but I think like what's really exciting about the way that Hunter coaches is I've always gotten this feeling that Hunter trusts so much in what the players are doing and is there to just help foster like the good ideas. Uh, and so I think it's really nice to know that like Luminosity has a lot of just already great ideas great game sense great synergy together yep. and they're there to just continue to foster that growth are they the favorite for the whole thing i would say right now the favorite is toronto toronto's definitely the favorite but coaching style is that i still think that gives a lot of time for these teams to like i think the i think toronto right now is is very very good i think other teams have the opportunity to catch up a little bit and get a lot closer to toronto but right now toronto has the rush they want they 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 they, they, they play well they, they 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 just have a good good team so that's like the it's we'll see what happens. But, yeah, this is uh, Luminosity Gaming, even though the beginning was a bit... Okay, ready for the next match? I'm excited. One more match. And, um, their footing in this series, they started... One more match. Really, really dominant towards the end there. So they will oh, be yeah. a team to watch out for heading into the main event, which they now officially qualified for. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was just That's... clinical at the uh, on map number three. Like, knowing the pacing of uh, push is really important, yeah. and they just have it down to a T. They know they don't need to overextend. You've got 90 meters, you've got the checkpoint, and you know Zeb has to, like, stand on the bridge to stop the payload, like, and then they have to kind of bundle on top of them, use ult to try and clear uh, Sheen, thanks for the uh, 11 months of the future sub. You just like, watch and react and play the game? Heck yeah, I'm glad you enjoy those. Well, uh, extremely well Can you believe we're at, like, episode, like, 70 or something of play of the games? And people still watch that? I love it. I'm excited for that's how you know I, I love that we have a series that's been extended for that long it feels good steak oh thanks for the two months of the future prize thank you appreciate it good to see so some of the best players on their individual roles too 
I think when we get to episode 100, we'll do like a special highlight episode of like all the best play of the game stuff. That'd be kind of cool, right? A few words here about Citrus Nation from you guys. Do you feel like if they may or may not have... That's a weird way to approach this question. Let's start again. You're good. Do you feel <laughs> that if they wouldn't have tried to shoehorn those Ramatra comes on, let's say, Midtown, that they might have had a better chance to come out on top? Or do you think it's just that's their comfort pick, even though it didn't work on that map? I think the meta is just kind of not solved right now, and I don't think... I agree. Like, okay, this the meta is shifting quickly. Is better. It's much yep. more... Yeah, what you kind of feel comfortable with. And yep. I think just Which I like, by the way. The day, it was That's good. To really deal with the Zen, with the Batiste, and That's the good. caliber of players, too. Um, in Citrus Nation, I think they're, they're pretty damn good at the round comp, especially with someone like Emmanuel mm -hmm. Leon Cassidy, but it, they just, pound for pound, didn't stack up to them today, but they've got a lot of fight in them, which is the most exciting thing, I think. They really do. I agree. Uh, let's actually head into an interview. We have good old Dante standing by, joining us for a quick chat. Dante, my man. Oh, Dante. Dante! How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you guys? You're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Look at Dante being polite. <laughs> no one ever asked <laughs> back, yeah, you know? The politest guest, yeah, I know. Uh, Dante, let's talk about the series we just saw. Uh, mm -hmm. Early on, it was a bit of a dogfight, a bit scrappy here and there. We love that, though. It was explosive to watch. I mean, some more at the end of it itself was just everyone was... When I record the next play of the game video? I don't know. I, I randomly do it. Maybe... maybe not expect that much resistance from Citrus Nation? Are you surprised at uh, it at all? Uh, I wasn't too surprised because uh, we watched them beat uh, Beaner's team yesterday and that's a pretty a pretty good roster so we knew it would be a harder match. Um, I was not expecting that overtime fight. That was actually an incredible fight. It was like probably one of the craziest overtime fights I've had in my career. I was going to um, say, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on not having a warm-up scrim. I'll be honest, we didn't have a warm-up scrim. We, we turned things up the later the series went on. so Which can make sense. Yeah. <laughs> It, I will say it very much time. felt like that, where you just like warmed up to it. Because as soon as you got to map number three, it was like, okay, this. Why is do they have that headset? Team. Yeah, that headset is designed to uh, it's noise canceling. So you wear like noise canceling headsets because if you you see how they're in a team house or like a team like facility because they're a college team. We'll do. Um, that Come basically on, blocks so, out your teammates from behind a, you, so you don't hear them as much. Competition as well. When you look at the caliber of teams, yes. Is there any team you're specifically looking at that? You know what I'm saying? Yourself, so it's so you don't hear your teammates shoulder, when you're above, scrimming. Maybe the rest of the pack, like M80, just as scrims, much. You might hear a little bit. Strongest in the Plus, room, like at like, LAN, you have to wear those headsets, so some teams like uh, to get used I just to those. Feel like Toronto will be stronger just because the flexibility from Toronto. Uh, like someone can play every single tank, and yep. there's so many different tanks being played this meta. Uh, you never know which one will end up being the dominant tank or if it'll be a swap game. So I think that gives uh, Toronto the biggest edge over any other team. Toronto's good. I'd love to ask you a little bit more about that, Dante, because we saw a couple of subs on your team heading into the second map. And so I'm just curious about your take on where the meta actually even is right now because of all the different compositions that we've seen so far. Yeah, um, I'm honestly not sure. Zarya feels good on the rush maps for us. Uh, we, we like... We've been liking playing the Zarya the last few weeks. Um, we play Sigma on false maps because if I play Sigma, Alter will probably kick me again. Um, I don't want to see that. Um, <laughs> oh, wouldn't be good. And yeah, next we're, mystery we're just heroes soon enough. Between those two maps right now, or those two comps, they're still playing. Some of the players are just. Uh, one last question. We uh, kind of yeah. I mean, some that might be also players like a part of the roster. They might have. They might already been like different teams. What's yours? Uh, how how involved is Hunter? Is it a top-down kind of thing, or is it more player-led? I'm pretty oh, sure that player is. Is that player practicing um, the best value Lucio in the training is, uh, range? He's just a really funny guy, and he gets everyone on the same page because uh, our our team is very opinionated. We have a lot of different opinions, but uh, they might have scrims coming up, maybe. Team, uh, with the I think they might have scrims coming up or something too. Together. So I think that's his strength for our team. Because they had they still have to win all their matches, yeah, so scrim is good. So they might have a scrim set sure. up. <laughs> Yeah. We're uh, always happy to hear from you, Dante. Best of luck in your next match. And once again, congratulations. All right. Thanks for having me. See you guys. Bye bye. Luminosity game. Good interview. Dante job. played really, really well. Dante played great. Good job by, entertaining by the whole team. Sure. That OT5, if you missed it, go back and watch it. So, okay, you ready for the last match coming up? Luminosity Are we excited? Now, I am. Ready for our last Hope we've all been enjoying. Today, which is coming up right after this. Heck yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom chat. Get ready. It's almost time. We got timeless. M80.
I'm ready for a good match. Hit the follow button if you haven't. I'll be your back, chat. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all are awesome. Be your bait. Yes, do it. That's like been stuck on that one. Um, I, I, go, I go out there to go to the bathroom, and all I hear in the background is is Lonnie jamming out like at full blast to Country Roads. That's all I hear. How that even started, I have no idea. Country Roads. Singing along to it, too. And I'm just like, huh? <laughs> Taking one thing, by the way, chat. I'm like, all right. I mean, hey, never works. Yes, yes. Dude, dude, dude. Sorry, I was just clicking something there. Oh, we've all enjoyed the co-streams today, chat. As I was saying, um, this is the last match coming up. I'm excited. I'm excited. Give me two seconds, chat. I'm checking one thing. Here, good there. Okay, good to see that. All right, chat, I'm almost done. Okay, we're good. Sorry, I was just looking at something. Almost time for some matches. Are the matches tomorrow? Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be co-streaming tomorrow. I need to take a couple days to get some things done, and then I'll be back. I'll be live on Tuesday again because Tuesday is also mid-season, and you know, you never know. Sometimes there's drops during mid-season too, so we'll see. Sam, who we think is going to win chat? Who do you got? There is no way they just... Uh, no, no, DMCA! 
Not happening. I'm not getting DMCA today. Dude, who am I kidding? The YouTube bot is already scrubbed together the first three seconds of this song, okay? It's already, it's already gonna happen. It's a great trailer. I love it. When you are an official co-stream, are you immune to the, the DMCA from that? No. It'll still DMCA you. When it comes to, like, copyright stuff and DMCA, sometimes it's kind of out of their control. To give you an idea, like, I literally played with and against La Seraphim, and, like, even then my YouTube stream, like, whenever the, like, whenever I'd be on YouTube stream and the menu would play the song, I'd get DMCA'd. And that's, that's not that, their fault. It's just that's the record label or, like, whoever's doing that stuff, so. Most of them just have an automatic bot that scans, so. To give you an idea, one of my, um, obviously, I, a lot of chat knows that we, 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 play, we play games with Zed. Zed, I don't, when he streamed, I, I, as far as I understand, he couldn't even play his own music on stream because he, he didn't own the rights at the time because of his record label. Like, his song would get, his, like, he could get DMCA'd by his record label because... <laughs> uh. Making headlines. Not great ones. But you know, headlines are headlines. Uh, but they came back with a vengeance. The team they signed up in the end is mwah. And I can't wait to see them in action. Let's talk about the rosters oh, yeah. we have. Did you miss Anton? Yeah, I, I mean, I've always enjoyed gaming with him. I saw him, uh, what, last year for one of his shows in Mass. But he, um, he, he's just, he, he loves playing Valorant. And he, I think he plays like Hearthstone or something. Like, he just, he loves Valorant, though. He grew up on CS. So, like, like when Valorant came out, like, he really enjoyed it. We have a lot of pre existing synergy here as well, right? Uh, with a good chunk of them having played in in Wisp yeah. together. Exactly. Yeah. That roster was also one that we saw in the pro am as well. I remember. I'll be honest with you, Zero One. I have no blown idea. Blown away by the performance that we saw from Chopper and Rocket specifically. Yeah. I All right, here we go. Uh, was talking about Chopper and Rocket for a long time, actually. And Timeless is very good. Are the next like DPS in North America that are going to come up and make they it have a good roster. A uh, very good chance for them to do that. Um, and Riker, CJ, Opener, Opener, and CJ have uh, Overwatch League experience in the past, but they are going up against literal Goliaths of the game. Pelican, Hydron, Hawk, UV, and Lep in the backline. Is that a thing, Dave? I won't even know. I don't know how any of that stuff works. <laughs> Spectra, Renko, Nero's there too. Like, MAT is an unbelievable roster. And I, I, I wanted to ask Dante what he thought of MAT, and he said, you know, I think Toronto is yeah. a little bit more... Yeah, MAT has a good roster too, by the way. Everything, but MAT is Wait, is Hydrant playing now? Because when Hydrant was in the chat yesterday, he was like... Pass, I think, because he said that he was, at the moment, not playing, unless it was a sniper map. So what's the first map? Are we getting, like, a Circa Royale or something? Like, what are we getting? And Pelican, Hydron, Spectre, and the DPS is just ridiculous flexibility there too. Right, and then you also have the Renko smile buff. How could you not be excited to watch this? Are they Andrew? Heck yeah, we, just, we, we like the hair cams. That's the last thing we're missing. I mean, the smiliest man in Overwatch. I love it. Sure is. Uh, M80 should be considered the favorite heading. Yes, it is, but I do think. But I think Timeless is a lot better than people expect. Yep. Snatch him up by two. It take it all the way. I don't know. I'm, 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 I read it in the tea leaves. Something, something's going. Timeless is a lot better than people expect. I think Timeless I is great. Think, I, I mean, I, I, I say that, but like, I, I think Timeless will probably put up much more of a fight in these games than people expect. Because M80 has all like the, but Timeless has been known to be really good. So. Yep. Yeah, Timeless is a very good team. You said M80 clears? I, I think it's going to be a lot closer. I could be wrong. I know M80 is still kind of figuring everything out with like how they're going to play as a team. I think right now they're in like that, that team cohesion phase where like you're still like, you know, getting to know your teammates, playing with your team. Like there's still they, that chemistry building of the team. You know what I mean? So, but they're a very good team. Very talented team. They also have a lot of pre-existing synergy. They know each other. They've been playing with each other in, in tournament situations. Yeah. That could... 
you know, that could really work. A long till kickoff? Uh, yeah, this is the Overwatch Red Zone channel, so. I would split the difference, and I would say this is a 3-1 for M80. Uh, That's not a bad prediction, 3-1. There are more surprises that we can see out of this timeless roster. I still think that the experience that we've seen these players have, whether it's been on land, online, has triumphed over the rest of the field. So M80 has my vote right now as the team that would win, mm -hmm. but 3-1. But I know yeah, I I, think that's that's pretty fair. It is. I, I mean, all of us could be right or wrong. You know, <laughs> see how it is. See how it is. I, I think you'll find everybody on right. broadcast is always right. <laughs> yeah, about that. You know, yeah. who is always we'll right. see. Who? Chat. You, uh, so have fun. True. Have a good rest of your night. Wait, so true. So true. Did they so get true. their preds right today? Although uh, some people were. Yeah, one thing. I think they did. I, the, they, they can poll at least. So make sure to yeah. make your voice uh, matter. You know, we want to see where you stand in this one. Are you looking for the up and coming players, or are you going with the old trusted? Uh, you know, sometimes it's just a lot of support for the new blood. I do like. That. I like it. It's the true underdog story, right? I mean, uh, they. Yep. Especially Rocket uh, in the DPS slot, like they played on Wisp in the pro am. Like in the pro am was, like okay, are some of these teams going to be able to show up? We have uh, Luminosity one three out. Room against San Francisco Shock, yep. and we saw a lot of them pulling their weight against some of the best uh, in, in the world. And I do believe we've got uh, the map veto as well coming up in just a moment. And we, we spoke mm -hmm. about it before, Rose and Zoe too. Like the maps and the meta is not really solved right now. Even Dante was Samoa saying, again, then Kings Row, and, and then Coliseo. So you're thinking a lot of these map choices, they're just down to... Uh, Force, thanks for the 13 months of doing thank you. Oh, you did? Oh, well, <laughs> thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate it. I, just, I saw that, and I was like, you, it's Dawes is going to be happy about this. It, look, oh, hey, I forgot to cancel this again. I'm on Lily Mong And, uh, yeah, I get to cast it now as well, which is great. Samo is a really interesting one, too. That was a, a timeless pick, as uh, Ilios was banned by N80, and Li Zhang Tower was banned by Timeless. It feels so bad, though, that King Zero isn't dominated by Reinhardt right now, though. Like, Sag. I, I, we're so close to getting perfection back in Overwatch. Uh, it, but no, oh, I'm glad she's, she is, too. I'm so sad. Uh, it's really good to see. Unfortunately, they're not eating stay for winning. this patch. Yeah, you are not eating. I, no. know. I know Cloudy's been very sad about it on the uh, on the timeline. What about Hottie? It sucks to see. <laughs> And, and uh, if you go to the OW course, underscore yeah. esports stream, Shadow, uh, uh, you'll be able to get your drop uh, pretty comfortable, from there. Especially with the, with the dive tanks. His Unfortunately, they didn't give us the... Uh, they haven't given any of the co-streams drops or drops channel for that during that. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's feedback they'll, they'll look for. Uh, but I'll be biased. Uh, anytime I get drops, I'm like... And I think that's Junkers. Yeah, it's uh, Junkertown City and then uh, Shambali Monastery for our final map if we go there and i really do think out of curiosity full distance i know yeah, that um apex has been doing drops does, they, does apex just do drops right. only for the the really mainstream like or do they do drops for all of the people these two teams are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each on other apex. on apex i'm only asking because i don't know how they do i don't know if valorant does drop so like i know apex right to such good dogs apex does it for all the streamers the very during like their match, tournaments uh, or just her previous match and now we get a chance to see whether or not we can run it back and this is going to be a great test of strength for both of these teams I was just yeah, wondering on really that. Will. And it will be interesting to see, especially as both teams are very high up there in terms of standings and uh, in terms of expectations too for both M80 and Timeless. So their takes on the meta against uh, two very good teams, of course. <laughs> Earlier, obviously, Rainbow Six the also does drops for all the streamers the across the board rather than just the esports streams specifically. Okay. Well. I was just wondering how that when stuff you're, works. You're expecting a ton. Of I mean, we like, like there's a whole separate set of drops that, that Overwatch gets that like we always will have. Just, I'm curious in the esports. Right, just getting the lobby set up, getting the players in, getting them ready to go. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be a good game after this. Hello? All right, one second again. Grab my phone, it's fully charged now.
on the open qualifiers. Just some uh, little view time there. You can get a little icon, a little spray, a couple of icons, a couple of little sprays uh, in February leading into March. And then later portion of March, there's a cool little Diva Winter name card as well. Some Kiriko skins, some Home and Away ones as well. So you get two different color variations and an additional spray and an additional icon. And yes, by the way, yes, I, I call it Junker Town City, <laughs> New Junk City. Yes, I know. Okay, there's been a lot of Overwatch today. Okay. We ready, chat? We still have more. We ready? And we That's still have more. I hope we're ready. Is that if you've watched from beginning to end today, you would already have your eight hours of watch time for the drops to get all of your fantastic in game goodies. And we still haven't even started this last match yet. So it's time. Jumping into Samoa. Is it going to be a scrappy? Probably not, but it will be fun if yeah. it is. <laughs> I want to see... Um, uh, v? Take, uh, Thanks today, Must do one thing. Appreciate it. Yes, Paige. Unfortunately, that's how it works currently. I'm sorry. Timeless and M80. I know Chopper's a mean Cass player. And uh, I think if you have both uh, open, technically, you would still get credit for it, because okay, I've, I've actually had this stream cool open the whole time. Over the last couple of weeks. We and I... Well, actually, technically, playing. that doesn't make sense. I got all the drops. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's a good That's a good step by just doing that. But yeah, you would have the uh, OW, it's called OW underscore esports, and you have that opened up, and that will get your drops, right? Arisa. Arisa's really important in this meta. Um, I She's think it's really, really good. Because yeah. she doesn't die. No. And that is normally the most important thing. I want to make sure everybody's able to get those. Not leaving your team in a 4v5, but um, there's so much def defensive... Hey, we have an Arisa. Arisa, Arisa versus Romatra, okay. You just have to ignore her and then jump on one of the supports, jump on the team. So Hydrant is playing. They're so playing the Sojourn comp here, okay. It makes it for very easy rotations as well. I wonder if they weren't able to play the cast comp as well. So their, their answer to that is run this, like... Point, playing them like this would be interesting. In I mean, the Fortify is just really strong. You can withstand, like, those big rocket punches, any of those boops from the Lucio. Just feels really good to have that alongside that sustainability. Here we go. That was a really bit... There's a bit of movement there from Hawk, just getting behind Icy and then pushing them towards uh, the rest of the team. But, yeah, we're just waiting for that first pick. But be careful. UV hitting that regenerative burst as Hydra was sliding under him. Uh, uh. Super low. It was a very, very aggressive push there from Icy Ultraviolet. Here we go. Low two, but uh, willing to take that duel across the map. Do, we know, do I know if Pelican's in NA yet? I I, I don't know. But did lead off with an Olymp. Long team fight, but M80 was kind of able to grind them down a bit there and get the Olymp. They're actually going to go right at this Ramatra. You know, I wonder if people play the Arista because you can be really aggressive and you can also displace the... You can also displace the... Um, Hydrant popping off. There we go. His way, you can also displace the Ramacha oh, really easily. Should be all good, and especially with that window. There's no real chance for time just to kind of capitalize on that. That over aggression from an eight. Can't what patch you're playing on? Whatever window. patch you're on right now. And look at those ultimates as well, stacked up. As far as my understanding, there's not going to be any tournament clients with this sure stuff. Thing. So like you're, you're going to play whatever the, sojourn, though, the meta, so whatever the patch is. You know what's going to be interesting? What if the mid-season patch actually has like really like intense changes? Oh, actually shot by Chopper. Okay. Has like an intense set of changes that like shifts the meta again already. I mean, maybe he's running it, but I guess it depends if Tylus has been running those comps. Wow. I'll be honest with you, I, M80's ult usage there was pretty tough. Take your head off. Fantastic. The like, Timeless is pretty happy with how that went. Already paying off here for Timeless as they're able to recapture this point away from M80. Yeah, Hawk's going to do him. I agree. And now they get a chance to work up to their own ultimates. I'm looking at Icy's Annihilation. Mm -hmm. That feels like a very big ultimate to have in this fight just to even be able to deal we'll with see. something like the Terrace. Going for an early pulse. Uh, nice stick. Cool to see how good this out here for good lamp. So. Okay, okay. Good lamp. Pulse bomb has lobbed so far. I think we've seen so many of those. Hawk's a little bit in a unique spot here, and Hawk knows it. Yeah. Across the map. Jump with a good kill onto left. Yeah, oh, the Hawk was on point. That happens sometimes. Like when you have a set play as a tank, but then the other team goes in and makes a play on you. So what? What happens is, is that you have a set play. You're gonna go make that play, but then that happens, and you're like, oh, what the heck? And that's basically what happens. That's basically what happened. Get back to spawn. It's gonna be another pick coming through for rocket and opener, but 
now with not expending any ultimates, Timeless still has... Timeless is in a good spot. M80 is going to go for probably a window play to lead off unless they want to go with Hawk in, but like they they know Hawk has Arisa ultimate. Like it has not been used yet, but then they're going to lead off with window. I could be wrong. Hawk is definitely setting up for the... Yeah, I was going to say. Like they know that ult's coming. So like Hawk can't really... I was just going to say, didn't it? Oh, good kill by Rocket there. Very delayed melee kill, but makes it work. As Icy does end up pulling uh, this Annihilation, Hawk trying to think they can turn the fight around, just unable to do so. That I think Hawk used that for survivability. I don't even think it was about turning the fight around. I think it was Hawk needed the way to try to survive that, so you pop your ultimate to get the damage reduction, and you hope for the best. to get the touch here, triple blink onto the point. Does end up backing up too. Here's the overtime, someone's going to have to go for the Yeah, can't do anything about that. That's not, that's not. Pelican can't quite make it, even with the Yeah, they require three minute delays now. I am glad they kind of went back on that and said, hey. A little bit. I think now you can see like, hey, by the way, kind of you can you, like you can you can stream again like a player point point of views. I'm glad they kind of went back with that. Also, do I just realize? Don't they do like ten minute delays for Apex too? The ways that we expected to. This is like ten minute delays that has been already highlighted by so many of the amazing players in Overwatch. Is just being the next DPS of the next generation. Are those players and on like OWL? Well, a lot only of them are. Yeah. Get some really big picks onto the back line, but Chopper immediately switching over to the Sojourn was able to. Take so oh, so yesterday Timeless was the remember remember the game yesterday where we saw that Kiriko that like popped off on King Jero? That was Timeless. That was CJ on. Very impressive, and now we get a chance to see what the squad can get up to. As yeah, yeah, no, I was just wondering on that, like what their time. Because I was like, wow, three minutes is pretty long. And then I'm like, wait a second, doesn't Apex do 10 minutes? I, I understand why it's 10 minutes. It's just for me, it's just like thinking about that. I was going to say it's like three minutes. I'm like, wait a second. Even Apex is way. Just because of that. It wasn't like comparing the two when it comes to like if they should do 10 minutes for Overwatch, vice versa. It's more like it just. That's a long time. Explosive. Getting to that back line for CJ to use the Swift Step. Suzu, kill the Kiri. And then jobs are good in pretty much. Punch as well is pretty decent for Ram, getting them away uh, from the rest of the team, especially when they go on Nemesis Fall. They're chilling for now. Yeah, but now you have uh, an opportunity here to play a little bit more passive. I don't think Timeless... By the way, chat, the, the team fights at the beginning where you see teams both just kind of sitting there. Take the reins in terms of the this is what this is, this is a normal start to the team fights. Also, Hawk is on Doom now. Timeless took the point, but they got the pick already, too. This is normal for, for Koth maps to, like, kind of just wait and wait for a pick to happen. It, it, there's just not... It's harder to get in on these maps and make that play. Chess does 15 minutes. Get a big cooldown out of timeless. It's been tough for Hawk to kind of follow up, and you can tell it just by the the old charge. Uh, speaking of old charge as well, I see he's not really had much say in this fight. Uh, Forty percent off charge on the, that annihilation, but these uh, rushes are going to come out in just a moment, I'd imagine, especially with that headshot landing from UV. Here we go. There Rush. you go. Forward, splitting up of the team. Here we go. So Vortex there, stops Hydron from really just sticking around. Speaking of sticks, I'm just trying to see what's Hydron, happening here. But uh, it's actually Rocket that's in Damn. the kill feed with the Pulse Bomb, killing Ultraviolet. Hydron I mean, there's not much you can really do at that point outside of, like, just try to get their ultimates out and make a play, but I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Timeless right now is playing this extremely well. Like, if you look at Timeless right now, they have Kiriko ultimate coming up. In Sojournal, M80 is like, they have alts, but if you ask me what alts I would prefer right now, I would take Sojournal and Kiriko ult any day of the week. They're just game-changing ultimates for your team. They're going to lead off with that, too. They know they have the advantage. They're probably not sure where Lep is at with beat, so they're kind of predicting, like, maybe within that range. But they're going to they're gonna lead in with that eventually. I don't know what Pelican will go here. Maybe, maybe Pelican goes Kiriko. Well, here's the perfect setup for Pelican. For Matra, probably. Oh, very help. scared of Chopper's railgun. Meteor strike into the back line. Hawk manages to get out of there. There it is. Over health, but it instantly evaporates as everybody was looking at him as he plummeted from the sky. CJ ripping that rush too, making sure that no one from here we go. can jump onto them and making it last fight as well. Sound barrier forward yep. from AMA. Good job. Good, good pick by Hydra there in the Lucio too. Beam kill from Pelican, taken to the sky. Right. That was a good fight for M80. Timer's happy losing this fight. All they need to do is save ults. They no M80 have used their beat to secure this. Yeah, what is, what is, I'm trying to think of what M80's call is going to be here because you have Pulse Bomb. I think they're probably going to let Hydran go in for a Pulse Bomb if Hydran gets the Elim. Perfect. If Hydran doesn't, then they have the Echo Ult or they're just going to lead in aggressively with Echo Ult. But I, I think Hydran wants to go for this play. I think that has to be, they, they, they're, it really depends who they think might have an ultimate. They might be predicting, you know, they're going to go for a Pulse on Sojourn. 
They've got all these yeah. other ults to work with. Good as punch. soon as I say that, never mind, Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good job there by M80 to recognize that they can't let them set up with that ultimate. The worst thing their comp can do is sit there and take a bunch of poke damage from Sojourn, right? That's the worst thing they can do in that situation. So, go in, play aggressive with Echo Ult. Now they have Kiriko Ult coming up. They're going to lead in with Kiriko Ult. I don't... They're going to take a little bit of damage. They're going to have Hawk take damage. I think they're going to go right in again. They know that they're just running out of time on ults. They have to make one more play to get themselves in a comfortable ult spot. Unless Hydra gets an early pick. This could yeah, dictate it too. Time, I think we see something get popped here, but if Hydron has anything to say about it, then you stop the fight before you even get in there. Rocket lets that pulse bomb fly. Ooh, there it is. Yep. The pressure on the back line. Yep. So I don't know what their exact callouts are going to be, and maybe you can see it on Hydron's stream when he's doing that. But like, it basically it was get on the Kiriko, get on the Kiriko, force out the cooldowns, and the moment that Hydron got a blow, Hydron made a call out the Pelican to go in there, and then you got the free picks. Now it's become interesting because Timeless actually had to commit ultimate there now they're struggling a little bit they still have a bit of a beat advantage here but hawk and hydron can both go play aggressive again so don't be surprised to see like a three-person dive here from hawk hydron and pelican and then the, the supports either go all in with that or disengage out really fast they need to trade off they 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 they, they, they know the alts are not in their favor so they're going to be aggro to begin with there it is yeah hydron's going to be fine unless there it is yeah, that, I, 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 there's, there's, what happened here, by the way, is M80 did exactly what you, like, need to do when you're down and out. You have two options. You sit there and take poke damage and lose the team fight. Or you say, hey, we have to go and make plays over and over again, and if we don't, we're going to lose this game. So they went into the back line. Hydron probably was calling the targets that were getting low. You go in. So a very good job by M80 to recognize what's going on there and realize an ult. That's why tracking ultimates is so important. There comes this, this part of Overwatch where once you start to track ultimates, your decision-making becomes a lot easier, right? If you, do, if you know they don't have this ult or you expect them to have this ult, the way you react to that ultimate and having that knowledge prior to going in is going to give you a free team fight. So that's what you're seeing. Using Annihilation and M80 disengage, wait for the Annihilation to disappear and execute on uh, no, I, I think we just saw a tracer with the, well. the jade so weapon. Wasabi I forgot who it was. Had an opportunity to come back in with the sound barrier and the Kitsune rush to help with that mobility. Uh, Lep was right there in the nick of time. Just stop it. Stop the round. Get that round right, now. And we get a chance to go over to the third and final round of Samoa, where we're going to see even more changes here. Hawk's coming out on the Sigma. I Sigma? I love to see this. Okay. Hawks are really good Sigma, so it makes sense. They run the. It's, it's, I think it's because they want to run the BAP comp. Although I don't know, like, I am still. I, I'm trying to figure out the BAP comp more and more. And I just feel like if a team is wants to play aggro, they just go on the BAP. The BAP falls over. Or did it matter? Put it up behind Icy, so he couldn't receive those offered her the healing from CJ and an easy yep. kill. Yep, or the BAP also gets the LM. Uh, nerf, thanks to the three months of the free just rounds that he finally hit GM for the first time. Congrats, it's actually a lot harder to get to GM now, too. So that's a, that's quite the accomplishment. Congratulations and good luck with your climb. You got this. Next thing you know, top 500, right? Or maybe already top 100. It's just so fun Congrats. to be able to watch him be able to pilot this hero and just see how he keeps Icy at bay as the Ramatra. Here we go. Heck yeah, Carl. Yeah, but just give up the space. Somewhat, but look at the damage that I mean, they're, they're just going to play back. They're just engaging. Uh, Lemon, thank you for the free Thank you, appreciate it. LG did win, yes. Receives the healing. From CJ and opener. CJ making a quick stop as well to the Moira. You know, I'm seeing a bit more of it now. So the, the, the BAP comp's a very defensive comp. So you need to be able to get out their cooldowns before they get to you. And that's what they're doing. So like, what Timeless needs to do is they more than likely need to find a way to route to them or path to them without taking a bunch of poke damage. Which is why, if you notice how their strategy is gravitated towards the bottom of the point... This kind of at least puts them at angles. Stuff. That might be difficult. Yup, rock by Hawk. Oh, the cancel on the call. Not before though. Pelican ends up going down to that one. CJ with the nice aim on the Pelican, who was trying to touch the point, trying to juggle it to make sure M80 got as much percentage as possible. Um, did a fairly good job of it. An Indian, yeah, thanks for the four months. Please round up. Season nine, uh, but in having way sorry, more fun uh, tie for the streams. Hey, you know what? Honestly, I, I think season nine has been very fun. Uh, that, that obviously, you know. Here, you also have the 
Sojourn Overclock. That's already called. <laughs> I am Blue Eye Girl. Thanks for the gift of sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hydron. Let's go, Thank you. Just turning opener into Sludge. Well, there's the lamp already gone down, and just a pile of bodies now litter the floor. Nice as job. Is just weighed, laid waste to there you go. by M80. Very quick flip there. 60% in building now. And this is just last fight by the time that Timeless mm -hmm. comes back. They have this yeah, um barrier especially as Hawk has got flux like, as well. Yeah, he like just stall. Early. Exactly. Like, Hawk can just sit, play super far forward, get the flux up, just stop Timeless from being able to touch the point, or even right. just stall it out so that you can get something. What do they like have right now? Timeless has beat, and they have Sojourn Elf. So I wouldn't doubt it if they lead in aggressively with this, but they, yeah, they, they have beat, they have window, they have Sigma Alt. I'm going to be honest with you. M80 on paper can just win this team fight. Yeah. But Chopper gets an early pick on Pelican, so like, yeah. That, I, uh oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this yet. I have to see how the team fight goes. But I feel like using the window a little bit earlier there is not going to go in their favor. Like, like, like they're they just lost that out time in, and now. Okay, look at Timeless's ult. They might try to delay this for like a little bit, and then just go in with Moira ult. They might all in as Moira ult. They know they don't have support ults. They know they don't have. They the only thing that they're probably predicting is pulse bomb. They're gonna all in this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. They're gonna go for the bat. Get engaged. Get a quick pick and win the round. Yeah, see how they backed away. They're trying to make this last team fight. They're trying to make it the last team fight. Yep. And now they're going in. See? So they backed away to create like a, a little bit of a longer like kind of poke comp out of the other team. So now they go in and just play aggressive and, and not give them any opportunity. Very well played by Timeless right there. Hydron with a huge pick though on opener. Pelican can touch. Yep, that's it for Pelican touching point though. Okay, now it's now it's a close matchup. Wait, Hydron has ult. No, they dove him. Already, the pulse bomb available from Pelican. He manages to throw it out, but look at the commanding position that Chopper is taking right now on this high ground. Is there anything at MAT? Timeless can takes map number one. Can you believe it? Timeless take the first map. Can you believe it? What a back and forth, Jaws. We were hoping that this would be the case. Yeah, they lost their ult. They, they lost like an ult when they used the window in that lost team fight. That opened up the play for Timeless to make the decision to go. Let's hide for a second. Get it to no time, and then it goes down to like they basically get it to one team fight, and then like M80 has to stagger onto the point. So that was a really good job. Oh yes, really well played. Really, really big, and I like the sweet adaptation there of going to the the Moira. I'm surprised it's not seeing a little bit more Moira. It was definitely more meta like a week or so ago. Well, Moira is good because it just gets rid of one dive target. Pro players and just like what I've seen. That's why the meta is evolving day in day out. But it's good to see a quick flip back to the Moira because they really needed that extra healing coming out from the orb and from the spray because they're all just moving together as a clump. And the coalescence too, it just destroys the Sigma. You can get the nice rock and you know. Hulk is gonna hit those anyway. Jack, can we get some blanking for a blue eye girl with a five gifted? Thank you. The six gifted that is. I appreciate it. Thank you. Show some love in the chat. The healing and the damage coming out from Cole is just it's just too much for their comp to really withstand. And I'm gonna be honest with you, actually, um H, I don't know. I haven't seen too many of those matches. This was their map choice. Uh, this next one, sorry, uh, in hybrid, going to King's Row next. Don't think Thank we're going to see the Sigma. Gifted. It's definitely going it. to just be more rush, uh, way less of this poke style. And we'll find out. Uh, we are just going to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Map mm -hmm. number two. We're going to jump into it after this. We are chilling, chat. Good first map, though. Very good first map. And thank you again for all the love. How do you see garlic out of that?
We've been live for a long time. It's usually my like normal stream hours, I'd say. You know, sometimes we're obviously playing a bunch of ranked during that, things, etc. But we've just been go streaming, vibing. I mean, this is a, a great change of pace, that's for sure. What an upset? I don't see. That's why I, I was saying earlier. I don't know if it's necessarily an upset. I, th I think Timeless is gonna. I, I was saying at the beginning before we even got to like that map that like I, I feel like Timeless is a team that a lot of people. Or might underestimate a little bit from how they're going to play, and I think that first map is, is is proof of that. They're a very good team. They're a very good team. So. Like a very good team. Oh, you're cheering for Timeless because of the channel points. Heck yeah. It's been, it's been a good day. I even got to go for a challenge earlier where I had to try to get Ramatra Ultimate on the treadmill at four miles per hour. Didn't go well. <laughs> it was fun, but... It was a good time. Checking one thing on my phone. Checking one thing while we wait. All right, map number two coming up. King's Row. It was M80's pick. Time to take the first map, though, Samoa. Uh, it was a two-one right, affair. Time. Small substitutions as well for Ooh, okay. Timeless. No more chop timeless going with, with ah. Okay, I see this. Uh, the timeless is going to the comp. I think we saw yesterday. Yeah, they like to run the Winston comp on this on map. Is that correct? Well. So two swaps that timeless is going to be making here. I think. And in their match that they played against Obsidian yesterday, they made the same sort of adjustments, heading over to King's Row as their second map. We saw Riker come in to play the Winston as well as so Ramatra. But Check I'm my really phone excited for to see Sonja come in here because do we get a chance to see an Echo versus Echo when we saw a little bit of Echo from Seonjun yesterday? Yeah, it definitely feels like it. Uh, especially with King's Row. Makes sense for Echo. Especially first point, you can get up to the high ground super easy. Easy access to it is a... Uh... Is always nice. We'll see how Are we excited? Play. I mean, yeah, Sunjin, like you mentioned, yes, they played the Echo, so probably going to see the so same So the Ed Sheeran song? Yeah, that's the... Very, um. Very experienced uh, Echo play Tracer yeah. players, to be fair, on MAT. Ed Sheeran. Like every roster right now is like two from Tracer there. players yep. minimum. It feels, and they it feels made that good. song. It feels good to see Tracer back in the meta as well. Um, it, it doesn't feel like too much of a time where we don't see a little bit of Tracer, but just how strong she is right now, she always makes for like... Uh, By co-streaming tomorrow's well. matches? Probably oh, not. Uh, I, I have to get stuff done yeah, tomorrow. I mean, maybe there's a chance I, I, I hop on and do, do it, but like... So I would expect like days off Sunday, Monday, and then we go hard in the paint Tuesday. I, that's okay. where I, I, I assume we'll be at with the schedule. Like, um, that could change. Chat really knows me whenever I say I'm going to take two days off. I randomly appear the rest of the game live at the exact time the next day. I'll see how I feel after my workout tomorrow. I got some stuff to do tomorrow anyway, but like I'll see how I feel after the workout tomorrow. I have, I have, I have, I have one more workout, which is what, what I have tomorrow. I feel like it makes a lot of sense for a map like King's Row. you got those angles to play around. Upper chest intensive. So I have Sigma can sort to play both dumbbell cl oh, close grip and eh, no got i got plank to push up that ain't happening no, yeah tomorrow might be not, day off not, okay, uh, there's something about the, plank to push up that yeah, i absolutely hate no, Whatever, man. I, what? tanks have been eating for far too long i just made no. uh, seven million tank players really mad <laughs> enjoy enjoy big map for the rest <laughs> oh little genji full dive for, uh, okay. okay i am Oh, I agree. It. It's definitely good to see your back. I agree. So they're just taking high ground here. Obviously, M80 is playing more of like the Sigma comp, which actually I feel like the Winston comp can do really well against this. It's really going to come down to rotations. It's going to come down to rotations. Just to heal himself back up, and Ultraviolet is there to bandage those wounds. Wow. Watch, watch the positioning we'll that Parker takes on this Winston. Look at the angles that Timeless is going to want to surround this point. Wow. 
Good job there by by M80. Also, M80 has that play style. If they get a pick, they go in. Um, that that's how they've kind of always played. I even noticed that whenever like I would be in ranked with Hydrant. It's like very much like you get a pick, we're going in. So that's why you see them like speed boost in after like the early pick on Winston. They don't want it. They want to. They want to get that ult advantage. And they want to get it quickly. So now we play. So no neon light. Like. hard against the echo, don't you think? Yeah, especially against the poke and stuff too. It's kind of annoying. You don't really want to dive in with uh, a limited health. Good job by Lep just kind of preventing that dive from happening. Kind of dominates the game. Iron might get picked um, off there. Nope. In the neutral. Wow. What, what, what are the ults looking like here? To get high ground control. Yeah, yeah, it's as tough. Soon as he realizes no one's uh, paying attention to him, yeah, just peeks his head <laughs> over the side. A couple of spheres sent your way. Pretty rough stuff. Oh, they have to pick on Lucio. Damn. It's still winnable, though. It's still winnable. They should give him the high ground. Don't be surprised to see them go to a trade now. What they're gonna do is they're gonna they're gonna give him a tick, then they're probably gonna go Winston. Ooh, but duplicate though here for Pelican. Ooh. And the Katsune rush as well. Lots of damage. You're gonna wait up the beat. I, I don't know what I am thinking baby yeah, Winston. Oh the huge pick by Rocket though. Oh wow. I think Timeless might just take that. Unless it's like a huge turnaround play here, yeah. Timeless uh taking that one up. I mean, wow. What a good play. Good start. Speed hawk around and, uh, boot what am I dying my hair again? Probably so before my wedding. A pretty tough fight to win. Looks like Hawk's gonna change things. No, probably a couple months before my wedding, and I'll do it again before the wedding. I don't know. Okay, I, uh, how are you feeling about the Hawker I don't know. Uh, we did see it on Samoa. I felt like it was a really good way to be able to find a sustainability, but it Here also felt like it was very easily punishable if you didn't have, like, the mobility. Yeah, I mean, yeah get married this summer, yeah? Impossible. Ooh, that was close to a one clip. For the Winston now, really to get much. Right back away for uh, a second, just wait. To use I don't know who I'd go here. In his I, I, I just don't... Winston, maybe? Yeah, I was gonna... You, just, you, you can't do that. Nice you just... Push. I mean, M80 wants you just gotta reset on point. point. You, you can't... And timeless, it did Damn. Not give them a single inch of it. So that'll be a big push. And Hawk making his third swap already. Oh, like I said, you have to give credit to Timeless with this. They're playing well. Looks like They're playing very Doomfist. well. Please. We, we love the Hawk Doomfist. This is such a fun hero to watch him play. And not only is he incredibly good at it with being able to... Yeah, Hawk's to very good at Doomfist. I agree. ...with that the Doomfist naturally provides. But now you have dive ability here with Pelican and Hydron on the Echo and the Tracer. So let's see some... The problem is, is like... Hawk. You're so far behind in terms of tempo. Yeah, I was going to say, when you're behind in your ultimates at that point, though, like, that's what's going to happen for a little bit. So I, 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 I hope they don't get discouraged with, like, how that team fight's going right now. Because it's, it's just it's, it's, it's a swap. Like, if you lose a team fight, you're going to be down in those ultimates to begin with. Like, it just happens. Great Winston play here. Straight up, like, just good ultimate, got value, got the point almost. But Lep gets the... Wait a second. I thought they had that. What a clutch touch on point. Holy crap, that was super clutch. That was just like one of those tempo pulse bombs. You throw it at the floor because you felt like you were going to be too accurate with it. So you reset your pulse bomb so you can build your ult again. We've all been there, right? It's no big deal. Right? The duplicate, the pulse bomb. You also had the sound barrier invested into that fight. And Timeless, they only lost CJ. They're able to come back in after forcing out all of those ultimates. And they've got two of their own. That all you have is tempo pulse bombs? So yeah, you just, you just go in with them, you know? Using that beat after hearing Hawk dash away. Using that punch. Although, just getting bopped around like a pinball in a pinball machine. <laughs> Opener did not know where he was there as Hawk just descended on him with the Doomfist. They do end up trading. Ooh, they almost had the Tracer. Down, Good patience. But Hawk's ability to kind of stick to this payload and... Uh, there you go. Hydrant with a huge pick. ...overextend on the Kiriko means it's really tough for time to wow. actually get into the backline and find some kills. I, this was like a... Sure. Uh, this went from that, that touch on point where he would love to be. was it's clutch. It's down to a minute 37 now. The payload makes some really nice angles to be able to get those... Problem for M80 is Timeless does have Kitsune, and they made a swap to Queen. Queen's a, a, a comp against Doom comps that is pretty good. So, we'll see. Junker Queen is a very interesting pick we've seen a couple of teams go for. I really love the opportunity to go for something like a knife and just disrupt somebody out of the defensive team. They can pull Doom back in if they're not smart about their punch. Here we go. There's someone smart about their cooldowns in 70 Hawk. 
There's the Kasuni rush. Oh, Pelican is transformed into the Queen. This is going to be nasty from M80 if they can Wait for make it. something stick. Although Riker and the rest of the You know what would be a really to, funny challenge? I don't know if it'd be possible. The point. Now they're going to have to contend with What if there was a challenge of like if you miss your pulse bomb, you, you, your team loses? Like, and you increase the size of the pulse bomb projectile, but if you miss it, then you just lose. And you have to use it within two minutes of having it, or a minute and a half of having it. If they can kill Riker too, this will be a big stack. Like you have a timer on it. You have to use it. Otherwise you lose. I don't know how scuffed that would be, but it sounds great. You gotta be accurate. This is gonna be a scrappy last fight, Rose, but Hawk's gonna get back there first. That was a perfect trade. That was a perfect trade for M80 to take there because you're right. Hawk gonna be able to get back to this point and it's gonna be a full 5v5. <laughs> it could be the full Can screen. Can even get there though? Like, do they have all the members of the team? The Rock is gonna have to go touch first. By the way, great job by M80 here, by the way. This has been an excellent second point. Pretty one-sided if he lands the shots, but M80 have got different ideas. Soundbarrier comes out helping the so stay alive. I want to say Timeless has this team fight. I, I want to see where this Ultraviolet. next pick now, is, Hydra but... Trying to make some damage, stick, spots, rocket. With a recall, though, it's going to be more than safe. This payload's still pushing in and Yeah, I, I don't attack. know. I think they're going for it. In their back pockets as M80 get yet another touch, but what a clip onto Roy. That was really good. Demolishes his opposition. You know, it's not about the pulse the bomb. It's it's a little bit wide, but it's all good. You got the you cap know. already. So we're all chilling, Hydron. There's a rush coming in. Another ultimate being thrown in. M80 trying to make like a hot potato hurt. arcade mode. Sound barrier urge. Not a moment goes by before Lep unleashes it. A five-man sound barrier beat. Hawk trying to create space, separating the back line from the front. But can he actually take down Sonja? Wait a second. Get out of there. Just Dude, time, what, Hawk, what a second point by M80, by the way. M80. What a second point by M80. Finally end the fight. As timeless away that was from point a point seven meter difference between that being on third point, maybe getting snowballed, oh silly to holding on second point. Oh, that was so scrappy. Unreal. That was so scrappy. There were so many times I'm like Hawk is so low, but wait, that pass sound barrier. Oh my god, look at Sunjo and getting a bunch of picks, but the Kasuna rush Scrappy online. Overwatch. <laughs> love to see it. We not love good it. on the voice, love it. but it's wow. good to see. <laughs> I love it. M80. Well, all of us really watchers like... are enjoying. Well, exactly, yeah. So, as long as it's fun for everybody watching. Um, M80, I really like the transition there from Hawk. Coming onto the Orisa, trying to hold the archway back onto the Doomfist, a pick he's extremely good at. And you can tell he's good because he has the Emerald Weapon skin on, uh, on the, on the <laughs> Doomfist. So, uh, that's how you know if someone's good. At the that's game. how it works. Exactly. For sure. Time is on defense, though, Rose. Completely switching up here with uh, Riker going on to the ramp. All right, Shaz, time. Okay, so we saw the Winston and the Junker Queen on the attack, and now we're going to see the Ramatra. They did do this yesterday, so just opting for the Ramatra on defense. I think what Riker brings to the table. Do I see some Diva here? And just the do I see some Diva here, Shaz? So that you can play with multiple different modes. Are we seeing uh, this correctly? Is it Diva time? Getting the, the emote in. I love that. I'm excited. Mad respect. Oh, Hydra hit the shot there, but it wasn't. It was oh, on the tank. Honestly, it's a good way to get ult charge. Diva's been seen on this map in some in some in some games. I do like Diva on King's Raw. I actually played Diva. I think in the tournament a little bit on Diva. Uh, you can take map control, high ground, kind of dictate some DM, all that. So. Exactly. It, 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 like it's not only is it yeah, good job. It's comfort. It's also already high drawing, getting a pick. Here we go. Uh, this is so much dive potential here for M80 to work with, and they want to push the gas. They don't have far for this card to go. Yeah, Riker right now receiving the most punishment, flung out by M80. He's trying to dodge out the way of Hydron. Hydron is just being such a nuisance, finally. Yeah, just sitting there being like, a, just basically being annoying on the outside. Like, hey! Wow, they dove their spawn. Might be some trades? They lost CJ, though. I think this is going to be just a... Yeah, they're going to wipe him. Yeah. Ramatra might pick up in a limb here, but no. That's it. M80 has really stepped it up this on this King's Row. They have really stepped it up on this King's Row. Without the heels, there's uh, it was only a matter of time. Five minutes and fifteen. Oh, Diva's a, a fun hero. Does M80 unlock that point? 
Yeah, like you don't have the Lucio there, so it feels very difficult nice. for you to actually find Here the we go. things you want with the mobility. And oh, what a stagger onto Sionjun as well as Hawk just continues to push that mm -hmm. envelope forward. And look at that cart. It's going to get rolling. It does, again, not have too far to go. And maybe has up. so much I, You know, I, I wonder if they're going to lead in with like a D.Va ult or something here or just save that for like a remake. It's so hard. I, I feel like D.Va value on this map, especially like in these like scrims and matches, etc., are so difficult to get that value so it's like where do you find it Maybe. i remember when i told you chad about the echo play style we have to spend the whole time kind of hiding in the back are you noticing that more and more in the matches now well there's a good studio rush from ultraviolet like you said keeping yep. up that tempo keeping up that pressure and Riker just got bopped around don't give them opportunity wow but no once again the feels bad the cleanse Suzu's himself pose bomb goes by the wayside wow nice shot that was unexpected that actually gives them a retake still marching forward yeah, you're gonna back up stack three and then just wait for your team. You run into the same issue that Timeless did, where they got this cart so close and then they just didn't have enough resources. And I lowered the video box and issues. I'll, I'll look into the future and make it like an even better um, location of it. I get what you're saying. It is time to start to use those ultimates. I get what you're saying. Rush here from CJ to help push M80 back, but M80 has so much fight in them. I'm looking at Pelican. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now they can just they they wait out this play. Go Ramatra Diva. To pull the rush. You're have to yeah. Else. Go Ramatra Diva. Go in. Be aggressive. You basically have a second tank now. The Diva keeps the Ramatra alive. Yeah, they're going to fall over. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just. That's pretty much it. But, chat, you know what? We have our first not 3 0 of the day. Uh, Bluebim, thanks for the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. We have our first. Not 3-0 of the day. I did see the Diva Heat. Talk to sure. deliver. The, the bomb did go forward. It just didn't get anybody. But... It wasn't a hopper bomb from 2020 NYXL <laughs> homestand. That is, uh, no one's ever going to be able to recreate bomb. that. Exactly. A Poco bomb. Uh, Normally use uh, Remac, sadly. Nothing crazy, yes. nothing flashy. See, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you got to use Diva Ult for Remac now. Feels bad. Like, it wasn't... I want to use it to get a limbs, not for Remac. Are you kidding me? But yeah, it was flawless. Um, it really was. And this is kind of what you expect, especially when you kind of pick your map, pick your comfort. But the flexibility from M80 cannot be mad. especially with Hawker on the on the tank. I think I still think he's the, the best North American tank player that we have currently uh, in the system. There's a lot of people that are going to be kind of challenging his name over the next uh, year of uh, OWCS here in North America. But um, yeah, right now, Hawk still the guy. Yeah, Hawk's really good. Of that for a second, I agree. Though, right? Hawk's a really good North tank. America, Thousand percent. Hawk, Dante, someone, all yeah. three of them, I think, make really strong arguments for themselves to be the best tank in North America for so many different reasons. And so, we ooh, we got a push map next. To be able to we got a push map. That talent in one region, and I think it's going yeah, to be co streams. I agree. Show stopping for I group agree. stages. We'll see who is able to advance further to show what they've got when we do the eliminations. Well, I'm a guaranteed a three-one at least the minimum right now. We're going to Coliseo as our next map. It was Timeless who did end up picking this one. I could imagine just a little bit more rush. I don't think we're going to go back to the Sigma. But then I've been wrong before. Um, we'll see what Hawk wants to kind of throw Timeless's way. And yep. we'll see if there's any substitutions uh, is hit, uh, going into this next one too. Because we saw Sunjin come in. We saw Riker come in for the tank. Um, but we'll find that out uh, mm -hmm. after this break. So don't go anywhere. We've got Coliseo up next. Sounds good. All right, chat. We ready? We got a push map coming up. I'm excited. I am excited. Let's keep it going. I'm ready. I'm mm checking -hmm. my phone for one second. All right, feels good. It's flashpoint after push. Um, I don't know how it specifically works with how they do the map selection. I, I think it says top right. Oh, it does say that. Flash and then escort. Hybrid push, flashpoint, escort. Yep. Uh, Dante's team did play. They they 3 0'd their team. Yeah, they're, uh, Dante's team is LG. If you look at the logo right above the. Where it says 2 30 p.m. That's what that was the matchup. Uh, David, thanks for the nine months. That's Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. 
Music? Heck yeah. I'm just glad we have a series, you know? Custard creams. I'm just glad we have a... What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Do it. I'm ready. It's match time. 10 seconds. I actually don't know what they are. Custard creams Welcome. are like a cookie? I have no idea. Oh, yes. M80 versus. I've never had those. They're all tied up right now. I've never been, been there before. Coliseo. Quick substitution coming in for Timeless. We were talking about it just before we went to break. They went we icy, see, so they're going to play the, the probably the Romatricomp? Riker taking a step back. So, um, Romatricomp is my guess. In Winston, maybe a bit more of a slow comp for Timeless. And Sunjun is also staying in two rows. So, Sojin, potentially. Maybe Sojourn. We did see a little bit of trolling come through from Timeless yesterday mm -hmm. when they were up 2-0 <laughs> over Obsidian. We saw Sojourn pick up the Torbjorn. Oh, I love it. I don't think we're going to see that this time around. But if we do, then maybe Lightning does strike twice. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't think so. I think Sojourn makes a lot of sense here. You could also play the Ash. Sojourn's been really good on the long range hit scan heroes. But with the IC substitution, feels like it's going to be more Ramatra, more Sigma. But M80 feels like they've got every answer in the book to what Timeless is bringing to the table. Yeah, it feels like they're just going to go into this, see what time is playing. It's a bit, uh, and then counter swap. Um, but it, it's a bit more difficult on push, I'd say. It's not something you can quickly jump back to, That's like true. you can on escort and hybrid. You can't really just, okay, quick. We can just quickly walk back into spawn and reset. You have to just roll out to mid. How are we doing, go chat? For the showdown, and then maybe make swaps uh, if the fight doesn't really go your way. Uh, How did we'll it play well? In just a moment, as we jump in, it was time as his map choice to to go to. I don't think they're playing Reaper. It just might be most played or like favored hero. They asked for those during this. A lot of experience. Our stream, yes, this is pretty much our normal schedule. Played for the Valiant uh, with uh, Lia as his co-pilot co support. Uh, Seeker, of course, uh, as well. Another superstar hit scan player, which uh, a lot of people should know by now. But if you don't, Seeker's games are just exceptional to watch, especially when he gets to play the Sojourn. And Opener too, Washington Justice, uh, has also been around such a, a long time. Um, and it's good to see uh, on a team full of people that are going to be up there in terms of the the greats in terms of dps chopper and rocket we spoke about them already um as we go into this next map in just a moment oh and in fact we're just getting a a live substitution okay so Sonjin, speaking of chopper well it's chopper's coming in actually uh Sonjin <laughs> is gonna enough. step away for this one so okay there you go okay so definitely no torbjorn i think is <laughs> no, no. so no torb wait oh so chopper's in okay so chopper coming back in too we saw the cassidy come out on uh samoa in their series yesterday i think chopper as well has just been one of those really stand out dps we've been highlighting already but chopper and rocket just have so much synergy together as a dps am i excited for the diva poor skin so yeah i i, I said it on twitter i can feed in style time. that was also the secret to success i can feed in style which i think is pretty so pretty sweet huh to turn it around here it's Sorry, I was looking at some of my phone for a second. Yeah. Apologize. We'll get for... to it in just a moment. I love live subs. Honestly, great. Because you're speaking about them and then poof, they appear in the game. It's they perfect. just happen. Exactly. It's like caster blessing or something. Yep, yeah, I can feed in style. Yeah, the Diva what skin? So there is a um, Porsche. Every single one. Um, I think I have the. Um, a Most Porsche thing happened with Overwatch. Yeah. It's gonna be Overwatch yeah. and Porsche as like a collab, yeah. someone, someone and they're doing a diva. Someone, they're doing a diva like Porsche a bismal, skin. It's an abysmal or Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> so. And if I'm on the if I'm on the call, yeah, I just said that. I, I that's that's what I said, David. Around. Just completely Please, out of context. It's, it's out of nowhere. Just came out of left field. No more. We'll no. see. All right, gates are opening in five seconds. Yeah, I see. Like you, uh, very rightly. Maybe I did. I, did. I, I hope I said the ram and Who knows? The Okay, make a little more of a long range duel. And like I mentioned before, there's a lot of players. I hope I did. If I did, then you know, hey, I'm lucky. DPS players can play tracer at the highest level. So it's actually Pelican this time around with Hydrant jumping over to the. Soldier. What if I did? So I, now, 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 now I don't know. Did I love? I gotta look. In, in Let me know. Someone, someone will look. 
Yeah, absolutely. And it takes a very, very strong DPS to be able to contend with someone right. like that. And Chopper's been able to live up to that hype. Either going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Soldier versus Soldier Mirror, as we saw on Samoa, or just being able to get those picks before... I never called that Arnold. Can. It's all going to come down to this neutral fight here. And uh, we're getting a little bit of a tussle here for M80 to try to take the Remember, this is the part of the game where if you look at the timer, yeah, you see how it's already a minute off the clock. Step. Teams are going to kind of get stuck here. You just get stuck here until something happens. Like, it's not, like, as much of, like, that brawl that you'll see in comps. It's both teams just kind of, like, I, I think it's, what, like, posture and just, like, stay there and take a little bit of the map control and spam them out. And then eventually, if they see somebody low, they'll go for it. And that's exactly what just happened to Icy. But do you see what I mean? That was a minute without anything happening. There you go. It's all good. We don't have to wait another three minutes. I was close. It was, like, 15, but... <laughs> I do touch that. There you go. All right, and this is going to be the big problem here. Four Where's the window at? Oh, oh wow. The window the high ground. I was going to say, that's an that's early window. Nice if they can actually find them. Chopper's in a really rough spot right I, I get the idea of it. It just was super early. Hawk, who's made himself known on that staircase over there. However, maybe overexposing himself a little bit too much to a pulse bomb, in fact, over rockets. I should insert himself. All right, here we go. Quite quick, sharp, and yeah. And 80 spreading themselves a little bit too thin. Yeah, now they've all been taken down. So Timeless here gets an opportunity to be able to make some yep. meaningful progress on this push bot, which is something that I feel like has been rare mm -hmm. for our matches today. Been a little bit one-sided when it's come to push. But all right, good job by Timeless. Able to flip the map. Bad. Like, CJ already has a Kitsune rush. So what are they doing right now? They're going to have Pelican just kind of sit on the card. Hydra will play high ground. They'll play off angles. Keep in mind, it's going to get reset a lot. This map itself, when you get these team fights in the middle of the map, it turns into, like, reset mode a lot of the time. Like, that's what you're seeing. It turns into reset mode. Maybe stepping a little bit too far forward, but they've given him a lot of time here because they won that first fight. Hawk has got Flux pretty much 5% away. There's a couple more spheres, but... It's a lot of, like, standstill on the point. Huge pick by Rocket. No weed on Sigma now? Yeah, they're going to take the lead. Getting some kills, though not successful, is at least going to push M80 back. You said you like Flashpoint? I mean, I remember when at the beginning people were like, oh, Flashpoint, but I think the more you play Flashpoint, I feel like any game type at the beginning of it, the, the general response may be like, oh, this is tough, I don't like it, etc. But like when I think a lot of the times, too, when you're learning a mode and you don't know how to play it, it can take a while. And that was my take on Flashpoint. I was like, I think I like it, but I need to play it more. And then when I played it more, I'm like, wait a second, I, can't, I actually do like this. So, I do think that... I, I, I think another thing, too, is I do think push... And I know there's like a fine line between it, but I do think push and... Flashpoint could benefit from one more map right now. Yeah, I think chats bring that up too. I think like one more map would be good. You know, obviously you want more, but I, I think both of them would would greatly benefit from that, in my opinion. Which is especially important when you look at Icy having that annihilation up and running. That is a close quarters ultimate. So anything that you can do to help burst down such a tanky target is going to be very helpful. So all eyes on ultraviolet right now. We go one barrel gun. That'll do it. Up to the high ground too. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> well, I just witnessed a murder. Oh no! I see God. See you later, son. Yeah, that pulse will not find you much there, Rocket. Hey. Do this map needs a rework in the center? I mean, it's tough to say. I, I feel like a lot of games, when you see like the way that they play in the middle of the map, I, I think the way that like OWCS plays it in comparison to like let's say bronze will be probably a lot different. So I I, I don't know. I don't even know how you would rework the middle of the map. I'm not saying you can't. Maybe you open up another side hallway or something. So interesting is that Hawk can put that barrier down for one of those backlight DPS. Across the map. Chopper, it doesn't matter. All good. Icy cleaned up. Jumps into the front line. Snipes Hawk in the face. And it worked out. It was a good ult. And Icy are pretty happy with Lucio's going to touch point again. Take the lead. Force timeless to yeah. use ults. Overclock and annihilation. Used to win that bot back. They bring back two CP. You're super happy with that. No. Because that's a lot of very... I wasn't the biggest fan of two CP. Keep in mind, I'm not in disagreement of bringing back the aesthetic of those maps and bringing them, like, a version of those maps to a different game mode. I'm not against that, but I two CP just had too many problems with, like, the close spawns and, like, the, the chokes. I mean, yeah, you could change it, but I feel like they, if they were going to bring back two CP, you know, I, I think it would... 
If they ever did 2CP again, I think they would need to bring back like a very like different version of what 2CP is. You get what I'm saying? Like I feel like it would require a few more of like redesigns within the mode itself before it would even be ready to be played again that way. Just managed to get the kill onto Hawk, and in fact, this is working out in an unorthodox play. Maybe uh, not respected by M80. Now they've kind of swapped positions. But yeah, but a CCP. I mean, Overwatch One had it. It's basically you have capture two points. You know how, like on King's Row, you capture the point and you push the cart. It was you capture one point, you capture the second. But the maps were very based on like chokes. So a lot of 2CP maps, and there was like, what, like four or five of them, ended up just not being played, and they actually had to get rid of some of the maps because it was just so reliant on chokes that people didn't want to get spammed out the whole time. So, if they ever did something, brought it back, wanted to try to do something like that, they'd have to rework a lot of stuff. This is a window. I mean, this is a Hail Mary window from CJ. He's got his I was going to say, I felt like the... He's an overkill, maybe a kill tax. Very ambitious. I was unlucky from CJ. He didn't quite find the damage in the team and the help uh, that he really required. Just like Times switching up their comps too. I see just wanting to match the SIG at this point. I think the Sigma has been more impactful mm -hmm. from M80 in that Sigma versus Ramatra matchup, just yep. specifically because of the shield. And so Actually, Icy has one as well. Now you also have CC with the accretion. Could just help out with some of those pesky, uh, pesky flankers like Pelican or Hydron. Pelican with a bat in his I don't know when Clash comes out. I have no idea. My guess is Clash won't come out next season because Venture's out next season. Um, so they might want to stack that in different seasons, especially now that they're kind of going in the right direction with how they're doing stuff. I don't think they want to overstack stuff. Season 9 was stacked, right? And, and don't get me wrong, like I would love it if they were able to stack Clash in Season 10, but I think that sometimes they'll, they they want to pace that out a little bit. Not before Timeless is able to come back here and push them away. So no first point capture for either team just yet but going toe to toe in terms of that but we'll see I could be wrong has this Covidic flux though so a really nice way to be yeah this summer would be a good bet on that one because then you have venture take back that meaningful and then the new hero would be in what August which is Space Ranger or whatever they're going with every so scared of peeking so Using it as a warning, pretty much does let it loose around the corner yeah can you believe there's two minutes left in this map right now by the way yeah, we've reset. It's just all the poke Can wall. you believe there's two minutes left? And it's at 50 meters for each team. Hawk has to lead in with an ult. I was going to say. Hawk was at the point now where they were putting way too much pressure on him. That, like, you kind of almost have to ult just to get rid of some of that pressure by them. To give him a reset. Wait a second. By the way, this is, like, one of the like the most clutch fights of the, of the map. Wait a second. Pelican takes down Icy, so is anybody's game right now as Hawk is just playing bodyguard for the Chat, rest of his did you see what just happened? M80 just took the lead. M80 just took the lead. I don't think they they M M80 just took the lead. Or, or I mean timeless. I meant timeless. I meant timeless, by the way. That's huge here when we look Yeah, yeah. Just I'm saying Timeless match. just took the lead over M80. Now, M80 though, it's been a long day of matches. With, um, this is back to so Timeless just took the lead. They were down. They snuck the bot there, and now now it's in their favor. M80 has good ult advantage here, but they, they just took it over. They, they need to buy time. They need to wait as long as possible. I think they're going to. I, they're not, they're not going to sit in the middle. They're, they're going to play further back. They have to. I mean, good trade. It's it's literally point. Oh, there they go. They took the lead. How close is this game right now? But the window. I think they're gonna get the sigma. I don't think they keep the sigma up. Maybe they can. Oh, Chopper's going down immediately. The rocket gets to pick an ultraviolet. Try to pull a hydron, but it wasn't a two B. That bot holds. Wait, I think they, I think they get this point. I think they get the. In front of Timeless's checkpoint, and they might have won the fight here, but M80 stole the lead right from under their noses. Uh, what are the alts? Now it's going back into M80. M80. Okay, so Timeless can win this because of their alts. Now they gotta win one more fight. This is gonna be really 
tough though because you're looking to try to just pepper the resistance onto this bot before you're able to get your team. I mean, this is almost a one team fight situation. M80 is the one that has the grab flux. They can actually just CC everybody off right now with the lead. Well, they know that. Yeah, nice. I think. Doom too, and someone has to permatage that bot, like you said. Oh my! Did you see that? That bot timer's tough. Did you see that, chat? Pretty unable to do so. They can't. They, 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 this, this, this ult will just. That was. He's the freest flux of his life. The post! He opened it, used the sound barrier to just rush them down. A big tempo swing here for Tyler. Oh my! Remember what I was saying, the support ultimates? Oh my gosh, everybody has to back up now because if M80 loses it. Like, M80 can come back to point, but like, it, 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 it's, they're gonna window high. They're gonna window high. They have to now. No, 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 it touches the bot again. Oh, the C9. The win on Colosseo, another C9. What a tempo play oh. from Timeless. Using the sound barrier to just run over Hawk. They could have easily touched the point. Like, Holy crap. What a game, though. This, what a series. Uh, Only at this point, at least it saves the age. Holy crap. Yeah, exactly. can blame it on Necra. <laughs> at least they have someone to blame. Oh, come on. Uh, this is so painful. Wow. What a series is this, though? Uh, I think Timeless playing it this close is definitely something a lot of people would not have expected. I love how that song has become a thing now. From the like, audience. people have been, people I mean, come over game. from the stream, like I mean, the mainstream, to go, please favorite. play the song. Oh, yeah. people like, people will leave that stream for a second just to come over to be there for the song. Them to show up like this. Well, actually, the three of us did. I love that. I love it. 80 20 from the chat, I believe. In yeah. Poll. So, yeah, very much expecting M80 to win. So that, that, that pissed you off? You almost broke your coffee that, cup? Why? I really felt like they were going to take that lead and uh, Hawk maybe coming back a little bit too late. But that's rough. That's, Nick. That's a, that's a rough one. <laughs> These have got some nice screenshots, though, of us freaking out. There you go. <laughs> Hey, well, hey, hey, they can run it Don't back. worry. Well, they <laughs> can worry. see nine on this next game mode. Uh, but yeah, maybe you know. Wait, what's the next game mode? To do that on, you know, New Junk City. So we the wins. Oh, uh, you can still do that on New Junk City. Oh please. You can still do it. Oh, you can do that on Flashpoint, 100. percent I think it's worse when you look at a Flashpoint map because of how fast it goes. Yeah. But, I mean, okay, oh. you can't be blamed for those. Maybe, maybe that's they're unseenable because they're too quick. I'm just cope. I'm just like mad. This copium is major right now. hopium. This it might really be major, is. major hopium here. All right, wow. God. New Junk City, the Let's next map on. picked by M80. <laughs> Very much could be a 3-1 here. Uh, oh, go the distance. Go to Shambali Monastery. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, of course. We'll jump into this game in just a moment. Time is, I can imagine, gathering themselves there after after that C9 on Colosseo. But uh, M80 primed for the position to take this one. I think you just take the mental damage. Like, like you as M80. damage. Yeah. You just you just run with the mental damage that you just did to your opponents, and just rush them. I don't know. I don't know I if that was a free that. win, by the way. No, to give you an idea, they still had to get through the butt scratching phase map, like and kind of play on the point. It actually could have ended up. You know what like could have happened there, by the way? Ton of that could have actually ended up in a very rare too. push the draw. Meteor strike can really help you to get out of a sticky situation. Which is extremely rare, but that could have happened. Well, I mean, I think. 
If like both teams trade, I think if teams trade in the bot, like if you say that both teams got the checkpoint, and then you both trade on that, like I wouldn't be too surprised if we see. Let's say it's a soldier versus a tracer in a one v one in the bot, and then the soldier headshots the tracer, but the tracer hits the pulse bomb on the soldier. It's a draw because the bot's not being pushed anymore by either team. You know what I'm saying? So just keep running that. Yeah, the Ramatra has looked really good. I think one of the reasons... I thought M880 capped last second. I could be wrong. As they have I thought M880 uh, uh, captured last second on the other side. But maybe I missed it by a meter. Maybe you're right. Over to a map type that is as scrappy as Flashpoint, I thought they capped last second on the first part. Is and, but yeah, so that then what would happen was is let's say timeless caps it, but then there's a team fight and then it's possible to have a drawn push. What do they do to but that would have been the first step. Flashpoint, it feels a little bit uh, we've, we, 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 have, we played before, Gasha. Yeah, it just has to happen quickly. And can you afford to make those changes when you know that your back is up against a timer wall? And What a match, the though. Holy crap. The economy can go absolutely haywire if you make a wrong move. Thank you. Yeah, definitely a fast game mode. Uh, that is for sure. I think with the pace that M80 is saying, they're very much able to kind of slow it down with the SIG yeah, and the speed yeah. with the Doomfist. But as I we load in that. to our next map, three ones on the horizon for M80 right now. The whole did, did the statement about 2CP and the one tank well, error would probably be fine? I mean, honestly, people have done the random, like, it's probably videos about on YouTube where people try playing 2CP with five tanks. Back. Or not five right, tanks, that'd be go. tough. Like with one tank, it's still very much the same issue. It doesn't it doesn't change the doorway sizes of like the chokes of maps okay. and how it plays. Well, you know what I'm saying? And maybe it's a map choice. That makes me even more excited to see like what we could get. But to, to be fair, to be fair, both flashpoint maps I feel like play so similarly that you're not really gonna see too much difference when it comes down to like some of the composition. Right, here we go. Can so, Timeless yeah, bring this back? Choice, don't you think? After not what getting on the bot play? to go to a fifth map. Is your favorite, or will right? M80 close the series out right now after getting that win, which may, and, may or may not have been a win? We'll find out. Oh, that pulse bomb play on Hawk, like in that middle part of the map, was unreal. That was unreal. On Servos more, I think, than the New Junk City. Man, I don't know. I feel like half half the time when you ask someone's favorite map, it's like very much just predicated on the if they've lost a ton on that map in ranked or oh, if they you know, won a ton. You know what I mean? So I feel like yeah, that's, that's so I feel like I win more Suravasa than I do New Jersey. So. Biased for that know. reason for sure. Well, right, maybe well, that's what M80 is feeling here. They've won a lot on this map, so therefore New Junk City is the way right. to go. I mean, Hawk's running the, the Sigma here. I don't mind this whatsoever. Just, I was ex I'm was, i still kind of expecting them to run these fast comps, but more than happy to kind of play the Pokestar. And yeah, I am. I yeah, am it's been an interesting swap. They're kind of going like. Exceptional. Because if they don't want to play the Sigma comp, they can just go to the Doomfist comp anyway well, with Hawk. So. Especially when we look at Coliseo, Icy felt forced into the position of switching yep. over to the Sigma himself. Remember, as the Sigma in this comp, you can't really face tank as much, so you're going to see Hawk back up a lot. And we'll go back in when the other team starts running away. It's, it's not going to be as much as like what Ramatra does. Where you lead in. Oh, just what a rock and a okay, shot well, there. Well, yep, rock. Just rock. Oh, opener was just cowering no behind the giant bot. Yeah, just exactly. Rock. Just rock. No thoughts. <laughs> Either. CJ, can he get another kill? Sure, Probably not. Right. Surely timers don't get another pick here. Well, there's gonna be I mean, this is way too close of a team fight to begin with. This form switches. They just gotta run icy down. There's okay, there's the kill onto Rocket. As a Katsune or a CJ, they really want to fight this. Yeah, I'm they do. I don't think they're going to win life. that, but that was interesting. It was. Up a, a decent lead over M80. I feel like that team fight went a lot longer than expected. Feels like it should have been over years ago. And Icy has had quite a few rotations of his nemesis. If you're new to Twitch, chat, anyway, welcome. Right, I hope you enjoy. There you go. If you have control of the point already, I think you just continue to work up that percentage. And by the time that you're actually able to get back into things, you're like, okay, like every little bit of progress is going to count. But now when you look at the ultimate economy, mm -hmm. M80 is, uh, is in such a good spot. Look at M80's ults right now. That's five on the board. Hydron gets to pop the overclock now before Timeless even... I remember, the remember uh, one reason why you like to yeah, use the Sojournal is because Sojournal also kind of go, it goes through on the ultimate. So you can get like you can get collaterals. So that's why they lay, lay, like the idea of leading with the Sojourn Alt here is because you can go for those collaterals on the bridge or they have to disengage out. Then you can back away and then use your ultimates as they come back in. See? 
Annihilation though, opportunity here for IC to try to make some space. I'd say a very quick Sigma ult soon. Just want to combo those together, although saying that. Hawk stepping up, there's the Annihilation, but oh no, he's popped down to the ground. No way. Extend it. He's very, very close to Rakshi. They're going to get the Ramatra. Flux does it. Nice play. Yeah, I, I, oh, but eliminated. wait, the pick. It will be timeless flip. I want to say that. Oh, wait. They got beat out. And they can counter beat. And then CJ's going to wait a second. Timeless might be able to turn this. I actually think Timeless turns this. Chopper ripping the overclock. I can't quite find it. There it is. Finally, that second shot landing after that pooped him away. Yep. And this is uh, Wiener Poop, thanks for the gift itself. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Early on, but now 85%. M80 might not have a chance to come back in. In fact, Hawk switched over to Doom to try. They are going to try to get back into this one because you want to get as much progress as possible. Touch. There you go. Touch, though, but for how long? And Pelican's high ground, so he's going to touch point. up with a pick. Yeah, and they got rushed too, so Hawk's gonna get after. Yeah. Get out of there rather quickly. Sometimes it's worth the attempt, like... That should be alt economy is such a big part of Overwatch. So if you look at... For, for M80, what they're happy with there is they went to the point, tried for a team fight that was gonna be tough to win, and they got out a Kitsune. Right? And now we That's go good, right? to bomb flats, it looks like, as the next flashpoint. And Rocket's already there. Timeless gets a beat. I made you to the punch, and they get to play this a bit more defensively, which means that Chopper on the Soldier gets to get set up. That's huge. Yep. You have all these sight lines to play with now. And what if you just get that opening pick? Yeah, so what, what I kind of expected with the Doom. I mean, Hydra's gonna have to make some space and get some work done. With Hydra's the close to alt though and can lead in with the alt. They try and just navigate the Come on, way what are we the seeing point? here? They're gonna go in with Hydra's alt. That's simple. Like they're gonna they're gonna go right side, wait to get healed up unless they get roll. Well, unless they they roll the team. Oh, now? No. This is safe. A lot of charge built off of his body too as Hydra and he's just ripping his health bar straight uh, from him. I still recall, but Timeless, they still in these fights. Timeless is really good at extending fights that look like they're lost like 20% ago. And that's like a make or break sometimes, by the way. When you're able to win off of those, that can be make or break. They were able to take the win there. And so now with Amity getting the flip, it's all about can you stall out if you're timeless, all of these ultimates at M80 have banked up here. That's going to be four by the time that time. All right, here we back. go. So, so <clears throat> opener sound barrier is going to have to be the biggest sound barrier we have ever seen. So if you try to mitigate some of that value there from Hydron's over. I mean, it could be the opener to this team fight. That timeless can play for here, but I'm looking at the sound barrier. Oh, there's the annihilation. It's going to be tough to really make this stick. Yeah, there it is. Does it not fading away? There it is. They use beat. They counter beat in two seconds. There's a counter beat. CJ's going to use Kitsune. Put the pulse bomb into a doom out. They want to try to counter this, so they're probably going to come back with their own pulse bomb. Or a Machiral. They end up using Soldier Out, which I'm surprised by. Which actually, I'm not surprised by, but. Tried to make a play onto Chopper. But wow, nice shot. A young superstar. The headshot. North American region. Putting his namesake to one of the better sojourns, too, we have in the region. Not bad. It's going toe to toe. Like, this is like Chopper High. Timeless so has, timeless has ult advantage. Picks. Actually, yeah. I mean, it's so hard to say. I feel like when you have those two ultimates, so but then the other team has Kitsune, really I feel like Kitsune counts as three ultimates. To punch somebody out of position, but Timeless still have ults. There's the pulse. Should we recall that? Recalling back to the. It was the exact same spot they were a second ago after flinging out that pulse bomb. It's what timers are really good at. This comp is very good at just sticking onto this point. You can see it right there. Wow. They won that. I think Timeless takes back to back Hydra. points here. Ultraviolet, yeah. I mean, there's just no way. Maybe you get a cheeky kill on the tracer. Oh my god. Yes, he will. Well, definitely got the cheeky kill on the tracer there. Holy crap. <laughs> Speaking, you what a shall play. receive, Jeez. That was such a right. great clip. Yo, UV, chill. Chill. <laughs> we love it. All right. Well, that's that going to be another flashpoint here for Timeless as we look towards the next one. And, uh, M80 has a advantage right now. Itself, it's going to be a... Uh, because they could soon end. So. Yeah. first and then a flashpoint finish? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not this time around. Of course. 
But now you go to the flip side of that, and guess what? Timeless has 80% on their Kiriko ultimate, and they're going to lead in with that now, too. These teams, see, some teams are really good at, like, a line of those ultimates, so you can't really use them as a way to win a team fight, only to disengage or, like, try to force out an ultimate. But it feels like in the M80 Timeless series, like, one of the teams has Kiriko and the other team doesn't. Like, they're not matching as well. Like, they are sometimes, but, like, not all the time in comparison to some games that we see. They're probably going to take a little bit of poke damage here to try to get the... Try to get um, Kitsune up, and then they're going to Kitsune ult in. Like, right now, I think they're just trying to, like, take a little bit of map control, but also get ready for that. There, there's no way M80 isn't not predicting that play happening, which is why M80 is kind of playing the way that they are. They're trying to disengage the Kitsune. The problem is, is sometimes if you try to disengage something too quickly when they don't use it, they say, hey, let's not use it, and just take the map control. So instead of having to use the Kiriko ultimate, now Timeless gets to keep that ultimate and also take an initial lead. You see what I'm saying? So it was actually a really good play call. I mean, like, the the, 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 like, the default play there is to lead in with Kitsune. Timeless saved it. Now they have it again. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I like that play too. Their own game, just you just don't give you don't give give them any opportunity. So you just wait a second. You just you just, you just like you play back like you're you're playing that, back and you just go in. Just going first, going super early, and I think that's okay, now Timeless is gonna is gonna counter beat whatever play whenever M80 uses. They're they're gonna play counter beat. They might want to be aggressive, but they really want to go all in and use beat Sojournal to guarantee that you don't lose the Sojourner in that. But I, I think they're gonna play a little bit defensive on it. Hawk is gonna play aggro because Hawk has all. Go in, displace them, use all. You'll 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 hear it in a second. Here we go, you ready? Back, even just force out some cooldowns so that Chopper can have a bit of an easier time here with that overclock ult. Yeah, Actually, they're building, they're building Kitsune. Not at the best time at all on this Doomfist. They're building Kitsune. They're slowing it down to build Kitsune. Yes, this stick, however, yeah. Suzu, and you still have all the extra armor too. Sandbarra comes in. Oh my. They can't counter beat, and then they use, oh my! In front of Pelican's face there. We're going to map five. away with this one. Just like that, M80 just get folded like a piece of paper. Hawk finds one kill seat onto like a piece of paper, not even like a lawn chair. That's how you know it was a tough one. As we go to another map, that's five maps. That, that basically that pick on left with the pulse. We're on to map five. Let's go. The orb has spoken. We have received no. I told you it was gonna be a good watch. In this house, I told you it was going to be a good one. This match right now. Time is an M80, and this is the big flip around in terms of tempo. There was two different kind of comps that M80 were running there, which is the Sig, Slow, Poke Style, and then they ran the Doom. Initially, it was to kind of get back to the point quickly, try and get that, uh, get that last touch to get the point flip, but... Then Hawk decided, you know what, we're going to stick on this fast comp, but then just didn't have the same impact as Icy did on the Ram. And they were just playing M80 at their own game, setting the pace, and then able to just eke out these high percentage leads. And whether that was capping the point first, Chilling. and then just making sure they were being as annoying as possible, not getting team killed, or just making the fight last as long as possible and then just winning them anyway. Yeah, by the way, to bounce back from that, that loss on push where it could have been a potential win, to be able to bounce back and then 3-0 a flashpoint, that shows you they came to play and they're okay if they, like, they, 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 it doesn't go as well for them on a team fight or, like, on a match. We are going to a third match chat. I want to point that out. We're going to a third map. I think that's going to make them a very, very formidable force when looking even just already tourists. How long did it take to do the Ramatra treadmill thing? Oh, yeah. We didn't complete the challenge because the match just started. We did 35 minutes and I did four games. Didn't get it. You're feeling a little bit extra confident going into a map pick of your own. I haven't seen too many map number fives at all in yep. uh, North America in Can EMEA, I... uh, at least on Ooh. the main broadcast, of course. There have been a, a few map fives here and there. Luminosity Gaming versus Citrus Nation, of course, uh, mm -hmm. yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, versus one. Sheer Cold in EMEA yesterday. Exactly. It's going to feel uh, pretty foreign, I think, to M80. A team full of, again, just storied, historied players coming up against some of the young guns. Rocket and uh, Chopper, who have had experience versus Overwatch League Yeah, they're good players. In the Pro-Am. Um, back last year in season six, so yeah, they're really standing tall right now. And the Soja matchup, not used to it going mm -hmm. someone that's not Hydron's way, is very much in Chopper's favor right now. And it's good to see someone stand up. 
It's been awesome to be able to see all of this new talent. That we, we got a Shambali. Like all right, chat. What are the chances Shambali gets past first point here? That we have here from that open ecosystem. So I think Timeless has a lot of faces on the team that people will be very excited to see continue to compete and they could close out the series. So what an upset that would be here. Only 20% of chat predicted that Timeless would win. Yeah. Even on the desk, we, we said it would be M80. Ah, the great wealth redistribution in the chat of 2024. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Yeah, that, and that's, of course, if time is end up taking this series, the 80-20 bet. All right. Ooh, M80 fans are a little bit worried right now. I'd imagine Shambali Monastery. It's going to be our fifth and final map here, unless we get some... Who do you have winning, draw. chat? Very, very unlikely to happen on Escort. It can happen, I, I, but... Um, I, this is so hard to predict. For certain. So, here we go. We're going to jump in in just a moment here and honestly i think m80 they're just going to go back to the sigma i think with hawk there's no substitutions either so timeless also very happy with the players that they have in their roster right now you said timeless m80 and timeless m80 you got uh, back and forth here this is also not only just comfortable with the players but also the comp that they've been we did lead off this match by saying so good Especially i think timeless is going to play a lot better than people series, expect and i i think that has already been player. proven uh, I, I think that the Ramatra could pay off in dividends here. That's what we're going to see. Timeless Ramatra's good in this map, defense. plus you get the lore yeah, passive on the map, right? This is Ramatra's map, so you get that lore passive. Why, why fix it if it ain't broke? You know? Yeah, exactly that. Exactly uh, Yahtzee, that. thank you for the four months see, um, of uh, YouTube membership. Passive, You're happy yeah, for the co-streams. I think uh, you wish Overwatch was in it, but there's uh, always next time. Exactly. We will be playing it again. By the way, Chad, if you haven't had a chance to, if you like these type of things, if you haven't watched uh, the um, Overwashed matches, if you go to my third YouTube channel called More Emong, uh, that's where we played in the tournament, and it was a great time. Heard a bunch of positive feedback, and people want to see more of that. So check it out if you haven't. That's on my third YouTube. Both Chopper and Hydron proficient at the Sojin. And we are seeing a little bit of a different look here as well from M80. We're going with the Moira, and they're going with the Rat. All right, I'm excited to see this Moira pick. We were talking. They're gonna about play up there until they drop down. Series that Moira can be really good. Just being able to have that additional healing resource available. And, and there they go. The extra damage they know that Ramacha used shield, shield, so this is their timing against Ramacha to push it back. Actually, it was a pretty smart play. I didn't even think of that at the time. Like basically, what you see is you see Ramacha sit up on the high ground and use their shield. Well, what's gonna happen now when you go on high ground? That shield won't be in the way anymore, so you can go in, use shield, and take the map control. That was actually very well played by M80. Very well played. Very quick and uh, clean of first fights. That's what you really need, especially on this point too. You need a very quick fight. Um, Came from YouTube. Welcome. 80, you cannot get stuck on this last corner here. Yeah. The overlook onto the point can be. I was gonna say that's why I'm saying like, do, is it gonna get through first point or not? Because this corner right where Hawks at is where the map kind of gets stuck at. And if you lose this team fight, you're looking at like 45 seconds left on the clock just because of how long it takes to get there. Yep. You're going to see this drop down, though, from Timeless to try to play around this first corner. Um, but look at Ultraviolet's charge that Coalescence is coming up mighty quick here. And that's a great engagement tool for M80 to work with. We'll see. Yeah, you just got to rip it. As soon as you get that Coalescence online, you just got to go for it. A lot of straight stalemate lines until here, then. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. It really is a stalemate. Down Hydron with a rail gun to the and there you go. And, uh, Timeless wins the, the team fight at the corner, and I want you to take a look at the alts on both teams, chat. This part of the map is so tough to get by. It, it's like, it's just it's just something about this part of the map. It's because it's hard to get that angle. You can't get a good angle until you get behind them. Where do you assail now if you're uh, LG1. There's only a couple of avenues that you can go with. Getting locked into that small room on the left does not feel like a viable scenario. So you're Timeless is going to lead off with Kitsune, or they're going to Kitsune the Moira L. M80 can't really make Coalescence a play yet. They don't have Ramatral. Like that's the engagement tool they want to play around. Timeless doesn't have Ramatral. It's basically just a waiting game. Well, that's also a wow. Well, that's And they don't have to use anything. Uh, that th this is wow. chat. I, even though it's a minute thirty, we're getting close to one fight territory. Okay. It's gonna literally. You know what, chat? I think we're legitimately gonna see an ultimate domino. Two attempts to work with it, I think we're going to see an ultimate domino. The coalescence, it's going to happen. The sound are going to prolong these fights. So where is this value? Serenity, thank you for the two months of the bridge process. Thank you, appreciate it. Have that explosive potential. You also are looking at the overclocks here from Hydron and Chopper to try to get that advantage in the neutral. 
Damage orb straight into that's one, that's two. He's to come in, that's other. three, that's four. Too much health to really shoot through. I mean, Hydron and here's the, the, the counter ult. Here, All right, we got Ramatra ultimate, ultimate now. We got beat. Open, open up with him. We have a soldier ult in three, two, one, and we got a soldier ult. There's a soldier ult. Gets one, gets two. For the Lucio, uh, we got a counter Ramatra score, ultimate. But Chopper still, there is just nothing stopping him right now on this Sojourn. M80 just falling apart. The annihilation's good for one, but that's really about it. And with 30 seconds to go in these. Listen, chat. When I say in top 500 games, you'll still see some of the things that we talk about in spectator or bingo cards. You do. You just see it a little bit less sometimes. That ultimate domino had to happen though. That was like the make or break. Now it's gonna come down to picks. Truthfully, if Pelican misses the pulse, I think by then CJ will be able to slow build the uh, Kitsune and go in aggressively. Try to get on a target. You got one shot at this one if you're Pelican. You're waiting for those blinks. You're waiting for that weave. But oh my gosh, Timeless has just had everybody's number. This high ground, they get to play around. That's so rough too. Pelican had to recall before he could get that pulse bomb off. So the pulse bomb is going to be a little bit more dangerous to plant now. Look like maybe Icy is the target. Waiting for that and I, uh, Ram oh, Such a good support usage into the Kitsune. See? They just slow play it a little bit, and now they're going to be able to go in, play aggressive. They know they got out clans. Ramach is going to be the first target. Now they just have to go to the point. They stack on their Ramacha to guarantee they win the team fight. They know there's no pulse bomb, and then that's that. They're just going to lose it. What did I say at the beginning, chat? What are the chances we get past first point? Oh, heck yeah, Nate. I'm glad you enjoy. Let's go. By the way, this match ain't over. This match ain't over. The team that oh, teams will hold this. Really tough to beat here. This match is On not over. Things, timeless, now here's the question. So many of those fights with the first Does timeless game? hold spawn How do you or play safe? If you're M80? Not timeless. M80. You have to play around. Does M80 hold? Uh, all these buildings. Does M80 walls, hold spawn or is there? Do they play it safe? Because the spawn strat's been viable, and it gets you like a, it gets you a second team fight at the other corner. But do they think they need to do that? I don't know. It's like not their fault. I just don't know. And they're mashing them too. They're pretty much going miracle. They don't have to hold spawn. They don't. Apart from the small. They really don't. It comes down to one team fight. They don't have to hold it that way. So the Kiriko. Just not like out. Out. We'll see. I'll be able to tell by their hero selection. Yeah, I do as well. I think Amor is pretty damn viable uh, at this current moment in time. The nope, no spawn hold. had a lot of impact over the course of the series. And mm -hmm. just in what general, Suzu will always be an ability that is going to be useful regardless of the meta. Re reducing uh, the incoming there. damage to is you know, not close from post bombs just oh your post bomb boom hit the suzu on the ground uh negating That's one of those true. large ultimates that massively turn round uh turn round is that a croissant and i so mean was it it looks like m80 yeah deciding yep, better coming. of the moira switching over to the kiriko we saw how well that paid off for timeless where pelican was not nearly able to find as much value there with the tracer i'm he curious to see how hawk plays that top out, left side to what happened last card. time is timeless uh, used their the shield early and made he recognized that and went up so is hawk going to go to that oh, window and just goodness. use shield i, that, like, I don't think so i think they're going to drop down the soon and just hold that corner and not give them the high ground that way oh no Pelican loses the 1v1 and they flip the map. Get out. So in that situation, what they're going to do is they're going to try and slide out. And they're going to go back all the way to the corner that we just saw the team fight on. Now they're going to go down main. That, that rotation right there by M80 was really good. Because now they can stop the cart at this corner. Yep. So M80 did what they needed to do now. They kind of won their team fight. But they, they have to watch the right side. They need to keep a... Like someone out there to scout, and that's what they're doing. Get that folder hold. See Sojourn flanking right now? They want to get an angle. Now they lost. Remember how they were scouting earlier? They lost that scout. So we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, so they, they, they backed off. They reacted well to it. Timeless is going to go for that timing a few times. They're going to try to get that angle. Otherwise, they're just shooting at each other. Hydra with the Hydra with the opener, and, there we go. and well, they get the team the fight. The okay, and then, Thank you very much. I told you, by the way. Classic Shimbali Monastery getting a bogged on first. Two here we go. Seconds to go, of course. And here come the big ultimates as well. CJ and Ultraviolet with a rush each. 
You have a pelican with the pulse bomb. I'm, I'm hydron as well. Like you've been able to get the like get a ton of damage down onto timeless. And that overclock can also be very valuable. I think what needs to happen here is timeless needs to go sure for like a really really aggressive Kitsune that play. Run here, I was gonna say get all these outs out a little bit earlier. And they already have the pick on Ramatra if they want it. I say want it, but like there you go. Yep. Now play to live for a second, and then back away, back away. Counter with beat, go back in. I I actually. I actually think Timeless is going to go for it, yeah. But Hydron gets the opening pick! Here we go! Hydron's going for it. You have to! Onto Chopper, but it's not gonna matter. Rocket's gonna clean up and Timeless take the map and the series. A five map of banger. Timeless! And Timeless come out on top. Win Woo. the okay. match! Holy crap! We love to see a five map series Timeless. What a great series! After the Preds were full wow. 80. Timeless. Wow. They did not fall to the mental damage. That's the most impressive part to me, honestly, is that they Well, we were saying that earlier. When you damage. lose a C9 like that and you don't win, what a that can be difficult. Was, uh, and they bounce oh, back and won that. Holy shambles. crap. And I think so are Holy crap, players, chat. Because quite frankly, we're, they were the quote-unquote better team on paper, right? Everyone That's what I was saying, M80 on paper, paper remember? But no. Into just this first match, Timeless. Uh, if we're looking at the highlights, Samoa. I mean, it off. was a back and forth, right? Timeless, they came out on top. Uh, M80 stepped it up mm -hmm. big times on King's Row, looking extremely dominant. And that's where we all thought, like, now they have... What a great matchup. They can, they can snowball off of that. Topper played well, I agree. Continued on Coliseo. Tough loss there, once again, for Timeless. But then what happened? For real. Like, I am so, so very impressed with Chopper and Rocket. I, I think those yep. were absolute uh, outperforming the opposition. And the opposition is Hydron and Pelican, guys. Like, to be tough. able to get the better end of them, that is very impressive. Uh, Chopper and Rocket, they are super... All right, chat. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I am getting hungry. And it's been a, been a, been a, been a nice long day of streams. I'm going to go hop off and get some food. All right? So I'm going to hop off. Thank you, everybody who once again just hung out on stream and watched me watch matches. It, hopefully you enjoyed the co-streams enough to want to keep coming back to these because I do plan on doing these more now that we have the opportunity to. So, yeah. Make sure to hit the follow button if you haven't. So that way you know when I go live. Obviously, if there's any drops coming up, you, know, you never know. Mid-season, possibly. Uh, Monorak, thanks for the two months of the Fetish Prime sub. So, uh, I probably won't be on tomorrow for co-streams. There's, there's a slight chance I do. I'd say a, not the highest of chance. I gotta get some stuff done, but maybe I hop on for co-stream tomorrow for just the matches specifically. No, like, earlier stream, etc. We'll see. I'm definitely taking Monday off. If you don't see me tomorrow or Monday, I'll be back on Tuesday for the mid-season patch. Does it, you know, so we'll see. Or I might show up Monday for, like, an early stream. Who knows? We'll find out. But seriously, chat, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy that. That was awesome. Chat, thank you for all the subs, all the bits, all the love, like everything. Seriously, chat, I appreciate y'all. Um, chat, will I see you tomorrow? It's funny how the world keeps turning. Stars like ladders in the sky keep burning, burning. Heck yeah, chat. It's crazy how the storms keep Boy, I meant Tuesday. Well, I see you Tuesday. You know what I meant. Tuesday. Heck yeah. I'll see you Tuesday or maybe tomorrow, but probably Tuesday. You know what I meant. Heck yeah, chat. Hope you all have an amazing day or night, wherever you're from. And I will uh, see, you, see you later. Or I will see you uh, Tuesday. See you later. Peace.